We are live. Welcome to the 2024 Winter Clash live stream presented by the Wheel Attic team and our gracious sponsors, Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Entente Frames. And who are we? Introduce yourself. Okay. Hello, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I'm a Wheel Addict, but today I'm not working alone. Yep, today we are the Wheel Addict team. We've got Janice, we've got Ricardo. There's Janice. We've got Ricardo, we've got Matt Mickey, myself from Intuition Skate Shop in California, and we've got Basti from Germany. Good and morning, guys. We also have Pedro on the remote cam down on the course, <laughs> and we also have Harry on the steady cam here. Come on, Harry, show yourself. Yeah, get over here, man. He's got some loud pants. Harry. <laughs> Bring that feet up. Bring so that foot up. Bring the pants. It's up. like a show us the pants. It's a five person. Show us the team. pants. Show us the pants. <laughs> oh my god. Pedro, don't show your nice back. Show your pretty face. Oh, Pedro's here. Pedro is Pedro's here. Pedro's from Portugal. He's Pedro. gonna be on the course. So we have four cameras. We have a steady cam here up in the uh, live stream booth. We have a remote cam on the course that can track. Why don't locations. we show them? Why don't we show them? Let's start with Camera number one, which is Harry. That's the steady cam up here in the live stream booth. Then Look. we are going to have, like the camera on the course is still not there yet because we still have a couple minutes. We have 13 minutes to start, but we have the camera that we call the robot camera. And I'm gonna show you how we can play with it. And that is this camera right here. And we have a remote and it can go from the, the logo, the logo Red Barn. Yes, and then we also have the public shot. Oh yeah, which I love how it pans. Goes over to the them skates in the firecracker rail and the Rosie's down ledge. Awesome. And of course the crowd. Yes. Don't forget the crowd. And the skate pro spine section. And then spot three. Spot oh, three. The we grindhouse have launch box. The grindhouse launch box. Oh so, my god. Did and you then realize? We have our ugly faces. <laughs> <laughs> Did you realize that the the box? Broke in the morning. Yeah, they had to fix it. They were doing yeah. some repairs just this morning. So the Winter yeah. Clash contest is world class on all fronts. A double level trade show, a cafe, a bar, a live DJ, and a skate hall that has been completely rebuilt and new obstacles added just for the Winter Clash. This is like the most elite contest in the world for rollerblading. Sold tickets were sold out in November. So if you're at home on YouTube, you got a VIP front row seat courtesy of our live stream and look at this we already have lots of people on chat we're oh, gonna yeah. have janice managing the chat and bringing some of your comments in no one and no you guys forgot to mention that it's also the longest running rollerblading event in the world is this the 18th year that they've been doing it's it the 18th it is edition it's the 19th year wow and winter clash is going to turn 20 years and we were there year. on the first one we were there on the first one <laughs> i wasn't there on the first one no, but the first one was 2020 but you are here today <laughs> here and, now and on this stream today we have a goal oh and the goal is we can't do it without you guys at home we want to break the record for the most consecutive viewers of any winter clash live stream and that was 3,000. we had 3,000 people watching live last year at the same time in the pro finals so today our goal is, and I know we can beat it, I've been telling people all weekend, yes. we're gonna get way more than 3,000 consecutive viewers We're coming on for the YouTube. you, Biz. We're oh, crack by the way, number. okay, so here's the thing, here's what most of you may not know. So, we have a couple more people working with us today. So here, okay. today we have six people, but this live stream actually has a team of eight people. One of them you can see here, it's Alex. Alex was with us last year in Portugal, Okay. And he's working with us. He's in Portugal, also managing the chat. And as the backup plan, because he knows how all the software that we are using works. So if something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, Alex is going to be in Portugal. And we also have bees on call in oh. California. So if something goes wrong, plan B. Plan B is we're going to get two cameras. Two phones become our cameras on course. Alex in Portugal will be able to change cameras yep. and Bees will be the commentator. Okay. Let's hope that we don't need to use these. It's cool to have Biz on backup, but... Well, he was with us last year. He's yeah. part of the team. Absolutely. Shout out to Alex the Lion. <laughs> Alex in Portugal and Biz in NorCal. What up, you guys? Just so you know what's coming up 
Uh, on the schedule of events for today, we're going to start off with the junior men's final. We got two heats. And uh, yesterday in the amateur competition, there was 100 competitors and 20 heats, the largest division. So we have junior men's finals first up at uh, 1 p.m. And then we're going to have at 1.45 uh, the junior women's finals. And I learned that there was there's over 50 ladies competing this weekend at the Winter Clash. This is like the most female competitors I think we've ever had. Do you even realize that there are, at most competitions, not even 50 or even, say, 100 competitors in total? Yes. We have 50 ladies and here. And easily over 200 competitors, all in all, from over 20 countries. And you know what's new this year? Tell me. OK, so it's the first time that the female skaters will be divided by categories. So you will have, today, you will have Junior, male and female. Yes. Amateur, male and female. And pro, pro male and female. female. Before, we had male in uh, junior, amateur and pro, and woman was just a category. Now... Woman was just one. Yes. But now there's three, because it's growing so much. Yes. They are a lot. There's like, there are 50 yes. women skating here. Awesome. So it's going to be insane. Yeah, the ladies' movement is growing, and it's super inspiring. And you know what else is cool, Ricardo? Uh, Thursday they had the flight school. Ah, oh, I was I was here. Which is in conjunction with uh, uh, what is that? Blading Camp. Blading Camp. Camp. Blading Camp. Yes. Josh, Camp. Josh Glowicki. Josh Glowicki. Josh Glowicki. Montre. Montre and Nils. And Nils. It's the project, and the flight school is basically the project that they do the Blading Camp for a day, so that people can experience and be with the pros, learn yes. with the best in the world. Here at the Winter Clash at Area 51 in Eindhoven, Netherlands. So basically a one-day mini camp. And there was, I think Montre said there was 37 kids, 37 campers. Yes, it was. Wow. That's awesome. Insane. Yeah. That's, that's great. Insane. And it's, you know what's cool? You see, year after year, some of the kids are the same. You see new kids, but you see kids that are amazingly good. They, some of the kids, you see them skate and you think, this kid could be skating pro. Yeah. But they are attending because they still learn. There's always like, there's always, a, there's always something. Well, if you get a chance to skate a world-class skate hall, and your instructors are Montre Livingston, Nils Jansen, Ricardo Lino, I mean, you can't mess up that opportunity. <laughs> uh, so some of these young, talented skaters, someone that I met yesterday, Haruhi Shimizu, a small skater from Japan who's advanced to skate in the junior men finals. Maybe okay. he's 10 years old. Okay. So you Skating with G-Skate in Japan. Unbelievable talent. I just met him. Yes. Haruhi. Yes. So small, riding the white USD Aeons, skating with G-Skate in Japan. This guy's level of talent and skill is off the chains. Maybe he's 10. Okay, so we should actually let the people at home know who are the finalists in junior, no? Yes. Should we? Yeah. So coming up in the junior men's final, heat number one from Japan, we have Jun Shoha. We have Torben Schön from Germany. From the Netherlands, we have Nolan van Ophoven. Adam Dejak from Dejak. Poland. Okay, and then in the second heat, we've got... Oh, Leonardo, Leonardo Araujo. From Brazil. Dude, he was killing it. My, like, like, my favorite, Haruhi Shimizu from Japan. Philip Huziak from Poland. Ooh, you, oh my God, the new Rochester kid. Yuto Akiyama and also the... Michael Pietrzak, yes, writing for USD and Head on Skate. So, Michael was the vice European champion. He finished second at the European Championships. And he's quite interesting to watch because he's the skater that can grind and do flips out of it. Ah. He can do everything. He's like, he's a street skater, but he can put like really he's nice... He's there in the white helmet? Yes, okay. sir. Yes. He's awesome to watch. So I'm very like I, I was about to say this. I think it's I think it's the first time that we ever see these many skaters from Brazil. Oh yeah, and it's they didn't came here to play, man. They oh, came. They, they I mean, they're playing, but they're they playing a lot of way pride. too good. They're representing Brazil. <laughs> okay, so let's give, let's send a shout out to Brazil and let's see where are the people that are watching this stream from. And you're talking about Brazil, I see uh, a famous Brazilian skater over there. Hello, Mr. Hippolito. Oh, Hippolito. Kaleo. Kaleo is there. You know yeah. Kaleo, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. 
Kaleo yes. is amazing. So Kaleo has been going, um, he's been dealing with a knee injury for the past, I would say, over a year. But I remember, I remember Kaleo, <laughs> look at him there. I remember Kaleo in the 2020 Winter Clash, he was completely killing it, huh, Basti? What, was it 2020 or 2019? It was 2019. Yeah, that was with the 450 back royal. Like He's definitely had some sick years, that's for sure. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> we got our first wave. Yeah, so like Ricardo was saying, if you guys are already in the chat, number one, share the link with your friends, help us break the record. Number two, comment where you're watching from. Well, we have five, 540 people watching. 540. We had a donation. We had a donation from uh, Street Niskau. Thank you so much for the donation. Right Thank on. You. Thank you. Mucho grazie. Mille grazie. Mille grazie. Yeah, so we got the junior men finals warming up right now. And uh, the famous Miguel Martinez will be your voice on the course. A very recognizable man just standing alone and his voice will ring true to your ears for sure. He's going to get the crowd in the building hype and we're going to keep you informed here on the live stream with what's going on, what's coming up and give you exclusive four camera access and let, let me ask you something, Matt. What's your favorite obstacle on the course? Dude, you know what's crazy is I was skating earlier this morning and I got a hold of that firecracker rail or the ribcage rail. And uh, okay. that felt really great. I've never skated anything like it. Yep, the Them Skates Firecracker Rail. So when you lock on, just as soon as you get into the grind, it's like tack, 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 tack. And then you're off and it's wild. I saw you celebrating. Yes. I heard, yes. 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 <laughs> Actually, oh, we, yeah? could, we could show the clip. Oh Do we? we? Can we? We, we? we can. We can. I got okay. the clip on my okay. phone. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's show it in front of the camera. Let's see. Uh, let me let me look. Did I get the right one? Okay, so he deleted it. No, it's here. So, if Ricardo switches the camera. Okay, something is okay. We have another donation, but something happening here. Let's see if we still have internet. Matt, tell me, how did that feel, grinding that firecracker oh, rail? Okay. <laughs> it felt like six rails coming at you at once. It was unreal. As soon as you get locked on, tack, 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 tack. Because Biz and myself speculated how it would feel on our knees. Oh, yeah. It was interesting. It was like going over those yellow dots at the end of the sidewalk that they put for people to not slip when they're walking and you're grinding on it. It was cool. That's an awesome obstacle. I got a feeling that obstacles are going to get absolutely destroyed today. I saw some people doing some really incredible technical things, even switch ups on there. Yeah, and I also like that double barrel shotgun, them skates across and down box. Reminds me of an old bower box from the NIST course. And it's in the color. I remember the NIST course is where it was like in this dark black yep. color. Yeah, with coping everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, check this out from Brazil. Street Nasceu, Danilo, Kaleo, oh, Ana yeah. Julia, Leo Araújo, Leo Monsanto. There's two Leos. Dudinha, Laura Santos. Let's go, Patins Brazil. Skates Brazil, yeah, Danilo. Hey, Danilo, Danilo Sena, man. The killer. Let me teach you something, Matt. Teach me. Let me teach some Portuguese. Força Brasil. Força Brazil. Let's, it's like strong. Stay okay. strong, Brazil. Let's go. Força Brazil. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like Italian. It's like the Brazilian time. invasion. Marcus yeah. Batista. They're here. Invade our YouTube live stream. And <laughs> Thank get a you. thousand Brazilians to tune in. That's awesome. Look, there's a lot of people out there with really big social media accounts. Oh, yeah. So, Did you see there's a guy saying, watching from Ghana. Ghana? Of course. Of course. From let's, Africa? Let's. Wow. Let's, yes. let's ask the people on the stream right now, where are they watching from? Yeah. We got Be Free. Let us know. The course is dopey. All the Texas and Jumbo guys are out here. Put all your countries. Ooh. And if you... If the Brazilian you're able invasion to, continues. We Share actually it. did something with... Oh, let's check this out. Look, check this. Malaysia. We got people from... Oh, we got people from India too. Brunei, look at this. Brunei, England, Milwaukee, 
grow Hell up. Yeah. There's back home. So many. I'm, we're trying to bring the people. Dude, it's so early in California right now. Ain't nobody up watching this stream, but soon they'll jump on there. Check Brunei. But what up, Milwaukee? Awesome. Wow, there's so many. I'm sorry, like we. It's it's a bit overwhelming to for Janice here to to manage the chat. We really appreciate. Hey, a oh, shout out to Lloyd, Mike, like one of the best true top souls in the world. And I'm I telling you, you mean, that. I think you mean Dominic Sigona. But no, no, no. I, I actually mean Lloyd. I, I really do mean Lloyd. Lloyd. Lloyd Christmas. No, no, no. And Harry Dunn. Here. Ah, Lloyd Goss. From Cape Town. Cape Town. And look, I, We're going to need to see the footage, Ricardo. OK, I can show you that. <laughs> Head on skate is in the house. Oh, head on skate is fully in the house. Oh, we can see them there. Look at that, right in front of us. Big supporters. Right of the youth in front of us. Teaching kids yeah. year-round and skating. And let's say, Ari, can you show our camera? Can you show the camera right next to it so people know? By the way, let's give a shout out to these guys. It's called Obsbot. It's a company that sent us two cameras for this live stream. Oh, very cool. And they're pretty awesome. Look, check this out. Now I'm gonna Thank you, change. Let me change to. Obsbot camera right here. Now, once again, let me show the properties. Check this out. I'm going to go, I press the remote, and I'm going to go somewhere else. It's, oh, yes. We call it the robot here. Check yeah, this out. The robot cam. Uh, the robot There's cam. There's the Grindhouse launch box and the Rossi's bank with the coping on top. Yeah. Wow. And I can, look, I can actually bring it a little bit to the side like this. Maybe I was a little bit too rude, too fast for this. Maybe let me check this out. Okay. That's good for you guys, huh? Yeah. You can okay. see the whole back half of the skate park there. Okay, so now that this becomes our new number one preset. So now when we go on number one, this is what we see. When I press two, we're going to go back to the public. Yes, and the then, Dem Skates Firecracker Rail and Shotgun Box. And the number three bang, bang. is the local Loco box. Red Rooster Barn with coping galore. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like a shovel handle up okay, there. Okay, we got People someone in Portugal. Night. Portugal. Yes, como é? Tudo bem? Another Cape Town. Oh, Michael wow. Gibbs! Wait. <laughs> so we got a South African managing the chat, but I do know Michael really well. I teach Michael how to do a couple tricks, and Michael was one of the kids that I used to call the USD kids when I lived in South Africa. We did a couple videos for USD. An amazing skater that is now 14 years old and still skating. Keep it up, Michael. So we just got some new paperwork up here. Again, we're going to start with the Junior Men's Final. Then we're going to go to the junior women's final. So the, your junior women's or your junior ladies competitors. One final heat from Poland. Katarzyna Kamenioros uh, from Italy. Amelie Maria Bogasenanu. And from the Netherlands, we've got Eva Klump. And then from Germany, we have Marie Rotkamp. Marie Rotkamp. Yes. Do you guys know, is it the woman the M oh, it's not. Oh, oh I kind of messed up here. Sorry, guys. It's going to be Junior Men's first. It's Junior Men first? Yes. That's exactly what I wanted to put. I'm so sorry, guys. That's okay. <laughs> That's why we got the Wheel Addict team here today. Okay. Looking out for each other. And then after Junior Men's final and Junior Women's final, we are going to be moving on to the Amateur Men finals with one, two, three, four heats. And then and we've then got Amateur Women finals with two heats. So like Ricardo was saying earlier, Junior women's, junior men's, amateur women, Amen. amateur men, pro women, pro men. So six categories because there's so many competitors. And you know what? I'm really, really, really happy about my good German friends, all from my area where I live. They all made it to the finals. Oh, wow. Super cool. Yes. Is Some it hometown really heroes? Happy for those guys. You think it's the water? Is it the water? No. <laughs> is it the is it the no. is it the Vasen? <laughs> no. But you you have to. Does this is it the schnitzel? <laughs> the, is it the schnitzel? <laughs> the the or the das Wasser? You, das Wasser. Yes. Is it the Lovenbrau? <laughs> so we got Miguel Martinez in his Sunday magenta, and then we have Blake Bird in his. Charco beanie with the jack, the black flight jacket. Oh, Those and he got better than that. Two we... on course hosts. Oh, and then there's one of our wheel addict on the course cameraman, let's Pedro. Le let's test the camera. Let's see Portugal. if it's working. Let's see yeah. if it's working. It is! Oh, oh! What's up, Miguel? <laughs> oh, we can see us there, but I don't need that. Show Miguel. No, no, Show no. Miguel. Yes. Miguel. Miguel. 
Miguel. Oh. Miguel. He gave us the one sausage salute. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that camera is a bit too dark. For some reason, it's a bit Miguel too dark. Miguel is aging like fine wine, and he's wearing a jacket, so if he spills the wine, you won't know it. <laughs> and you know the comedian from America, Artie Lang? He's looking a little bit like Artie Lang. We used to play in movies with Norm MacDonald. I love Miguel. So Miguel is reading out the names that we already did. Yeah. Junior Mint's final. Okay, we got 700 people watching. Oh, long. Oh, much longer do we need to get to a thousand? Oh, it's going to be within 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, easily. 10 minutes. Okay, it's right now five minutes past one in the Netherlands. Yep. So you're saying that at 15 minutes past one, yeah. we're going to have 1,000. Okay, easy, it's. Easy. Come on, guys. You Share can get something link. to eat. You can plug your phone in. Grab something to drink. It's going to be a long, full day of the best action. You guys have been waiting for this all year. You at home on YouTube, you know you tried to get tickets or you found out it was sold out in November and you're like, God dang it. Best thing I could do is tune in on YouTube and we're going to give you that world-class live experience here at Winter Clash 2024. Don't you go anywhere. We've got you covered. And if you guys are watching from home with your crew, or by yourself, oh, if yes. you post something on your Instagram, use the hashtag WinterClash live stream ah. so we can see yes. how your experience is yes. with us yes. back home. And also important, like, they can tag us in if they want or not. It's not like like mandatory, but it would be amazing if they could, especially on Instagram, if they could plug in the link so that people can press yes. on the link and see what they're talking about with their stories. Yep. We really appreciate it and we have very interesting content to be played throughout the day. Let me tell you that. Yeah. We filmed some stuff like in the previous years. Oh, we're going to give you an exclusive look into the Winter Clash experience. Exactly. In addition to the live skating. So we've got unbelievable access to what it's like being here. Boots and feet and skates on the ground in Eindhoven at Area 51. Awesome. Trade show coverage, interviews with riders from all over the world. And what they cannot see, but we're going to try to give them a view right now, is right there. Let me try. I, I may mess it up a little bit because why not? But let me see this, if I can do it. Maybe I can, maybe not. Let's see. Probably on the... Yes. Okay, here. And right there, right above. Is our DJ. Our DJ. Yes. Mr. Andre. Lepsi. Andre Lepsi? Andre Lepsi is the DJ. Andre Lepsi is the DJ. Yeah. yeah. Famous. Keep in the crowd, in the building hyped. I think, from what I understand, there was 1,500 tickets. Wait, wait, check that out. Check that out. Check those I DJs actually out. Don't even right there. Know how yeah. Many are I feel like the capacity <laughs> is 1,500 plus riders and employees. So I think there's over 1,500 people in the skate hall. And this place is going to erupt like an indoor soccer match when tricks started <laughs> starting getting landed. Start to get landed, rather. Yeah. And you yeah. will understand the feeling. Yeah. That's why having four cameras is so important, because showing the trick, awesome. Showing the audience and the vibe that occurs when a trick gets landed, the energy is unbelievable. Like Miguel said last year, there's no other event with the energy in a room like Miguel Clash. This is very it's, true, Basti. It's... It's, I remember back in 2006 when the great Zigway Anderson was here and he tried to make room for the people to skate. That's when the, the famous Winter Clash stop skating thing appeared. And that was, that was crazy. So, we're here we go. To yeah. Start. Heat number one, Junior Mint final. Uh, so Miguel is on the course there in a magenta jacket, aging like the fine wine that he is, and he's introducing himself and letting them know. I think they get oh, about a five-minute jam session. We got the, the rider's view. Oh, this is beautiful. That's Leo down on the course. So we're giving you guys exclusive access. This is heat number one. Again, from Japan, we have Jun Shoha. Torben Schön from Germany. Nolan van Ophoven from the Netherlands and from Poland. We got Adam. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Adam Zesjak. Yes. Zesjak. 
So we got four four skaters in the final in this uh, heat number one final. Just in just in case, please, please, if we mess up your last names, don't be mad at us. Oh yeah, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. Also, very important, keep us up to date to how the stream is working for you guys. Absolutely, sound quality. Yes. If there's something that we can improve. We will. Like, we realize that the image here is a little bit too dark. We're going to improve that on the, the next hit. But I think it's important that people also give us feedback. It's for them. So they should be the one. Yeah. Keep us posted in the chat. And if we do pronounce you or your friend's name wrong, you can punish us in the comments <laughs> with a donation. <laughs> Every wrong name, send 99 euro cents. <laughs> By the way, we got four minutes for the thousand. We're a bit slow. It's OK. It's Rollerbladers slow. always are late. <laughs> it's called roll up later time, Ricardo. <laughs> Move your clock back. <laughs> <laughs> this thing still. Yes. Yes, there's Nolan. Then I'm hoping from the Netherlands, hometown hero in now the let's, orange. Let's hear how we got to pronounce his name. There's Adam Trzeciak from Poland. Trzeciak. This is so cool. We're introducing them one by one so you get to know who you're watching. Again, this is heat number one, junior men's final. What happened? There it is. <laughs> what happened? Nothing What's happened. Oh. <laughs> All is good. All is good. We are. Yes. Oh, we're ready, Miguel. We are. The famous three to one, let's go. Oh, nice 540, 540 up yeah. on the deck there from Nolan. Top asset to Mizu. Oh, the front flip. I'm sure. Oh, my goodness. Sold the top, sold from Nolan from the Netherlands. Ryder of Amakio to fish made on the Devil Skate shotgun box. Oh, work on the firecracker. I think right. that was Adam from Poland. Yes. Whoa! True, true soul. soul. True soul. June Showa from Japan in the Orange Weekend Dems. That was amazing. So technical, so clean. Spinning Everybody blind. Everybody landing their trick. Yeah. It's always Mizu so hard. Back, Back side Royale. Royale on the Dem Skates Firecracker Rail. Whoa, front side cab driver? Was it a cab driver? I think so. You know, like it's always hard for us to show everything that is happening. Yes. So that was June Showa working on the uh, the Rossi's bank ledge. Top wow, sold 540. Top sold 540. Yeah. Nolan Van Ophoven from the Netherlands. Riders are taking a breather, coming in Stockwell. Whoa, oh, 360 oh. Chumizu June Showa from Japan. That was clean. Every trick June Front did side full clean. torque. Front side full torque. Coming in Stockwell, top miss trial. It was a half cap top miss trial. Yes. yes. That's why. It, that's, that's why it was coming in Stockwell. Coming in Faking, <laughs> 270 backside Royale there. It comes Nolan. Whoa, wanted that kind grind. It's a top sold 360 out. Kind grind 360 out from June Showa on the them skates. Firecracker out, rocking them skates. Oh, true going for that true miss trial. Was it true negative top mistral or true mistral? There's that kind grind. Yeah. Nolan Van Op of the Netherlands, ramp local. Oh, oh he wants well, that alien top, top, top soul. Almost. There's a 270 backside He's Royale. Get it on the next one. Yeah. Chun Shoha in the orange skates. And here comes you know what I find Nolan in the orange shirt. It's the grindhouse box. It's the obstacle they can skate in the beginning of their run. But then, when the power nice goes, hold the fakie. A, as the run goes, there's no more power. Yeah, to launch up on that grindhouse box, it's huh? It's huge. Yes, it is. Oh, Soul 270 backside. Oh, we got the camera right there. Oh! oh. He was going for, that was 
Arjun Shoha going for alley oop top so on the firecracker rail. Oh, Ooh. Nolan with the Nolan disaster, disaster backside. 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 Oh, he's coming again. Alley oop top so. June. Oh. oh. So close. It's not the easiest trick there. It's not easy at all. That rail is no joke, Ricardo. And you did it. <laughs> well, I just did a Royale. I wanted, that, <laughs> I wanted to get that feeling and I got it. But alley oop top so is a whole nother level. Wow, topside acid there. Nolan Van Ophoven, Netherlands local. Hands up. He wants the crowd in. Sunny day, top pass into Fakey. Very nice. That in the orange shirt, that's Nolan Look, from the Netherlands. He is killing it. He is like trick after trick. Going. Oh, oh right. the top so oh, the top on the very top of that Rossi's box. That was June Shoha. All right, guys, wow. that's it. Oh, we got Jeremy Kessler in the chat. That's it for heat number one for the junior men's final. No, it's not. We have the last oh, trick. Oh, they get a last trick. The last trick. Yeah, oh, it, oh, that was only the beginning. In the finals. In the finals, in the finals, in the finals that's, 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 right. that's the magic of winter. Because this in first the part. In finals, you get one last trick. And yes, and that's the winter clash. Yes. Because this part is like very confusing. So for people at home watching, don't think that this is going to be the stream. Like, right now, that's where the thing goes, you know? So at the end of the heat, in the finals, every rider gets one last try at a trick uninterrupted. No one else on the course. Wow! Oh, Ali oh Topsel! Wow! Ali Yup Topsel on the top. On the top of the Brosi's bank box. Jun Shoha from Japan. Jun Shoha showing her what, what we're all about. That Jun box showing is, off. That box is higher than he is. That box is tall and it's banked, so if you miss, you slide out. It's very scary, but he made it look smooth. Easy. Yeah. Totally easy. Okay, let's see. We got the camera on the course. Let's try to get that view. What is it going Germany. for? Sorry, is it I coming? Oh, Thorben. Thorben showing from Germany. So there we go. Let's make some noise for him. You can hear the crowd cheering. Here he comes. On the USB so rail. So backside unity. Nice, Thorben. He gets another one. I wonder if he wants to go for a triple switch up. I think so. I think so. Let's go, Thorben. There you go. So, oh, oh, oh. oh! It looked more like a so close quadruple switch up. So, third try, third third time's a charm, huh? So back. Oh. <laughs> a quadruple <laughs> switch up. Can you even remember Four what he did with this? From showing. Oh, that was some tap dancing moves, did yes. there, huh? Yes. Wow. Well worth the one last try. Okay, who do we got next? The it looks Nolan. like we got Nolan Van Ophoven in the orange shirt from the Netherlands. So we call him a ramp local. I bet that you he is. skates Area 51 often, but. <laughs> With the Winter Clash, they always make new obstacles, so even the ramp locals don't really have that much of an advantage. Yes. That is the thing about this. It's like, you never know what you're going to find, and people can only find about the course Thursday evening. Yeah. yeah. Anything you see here with that's painted wood, white, yellow, blue, black, or red, with a logo on it, these are new obstacles created just for the Winter Clash. Soul oh, Grand, Soul Trooper. Oh, okay, Soul. so that was going for. Soldier tops along the USD rail. Yes, USD, one of the long time Winter Clash sponsors, I'm sure, sponsoring every year. Yes, yes. since the beginning, just like yes. I think, like Grindhouse, Grindhouse. there's a couple of Grindhouse and USD. Here comes Nolan one more time. Soul, true top soul. Yes, oh, absolutely perfect. That was really, very really nice. nice. Nolan Van Ophoven from the Netherlands. Wow, and we are 60 viewers away from the 1,000! I told you, Ricardo. Wait, wait, ah, oh, you're three minutes late. Oh, we're just on time. <laughs> three minutes late means I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm just leaving my house right now. Just I'm kidding, I haven't even got out of bed. <laughs> There's some people watching from bed, I bet you, and I like those people. Jay chilling. 
Okay, so we got Adam Treziak from Poland. Okay, let's see what Adam has Looks for like us. he's going for the down rail. Oh, 270 back blindside, for, uh, backside Royale. Do you call that an alley-oop Royale? No, 270 backside or 270 blindside Royale. Wait, 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 wait. Like Brian Smith back <laughs> in Before the day. Before he comes, there's a question, man. Alley-oop Royale, man. Alley-oop no, Royale no. is a fart for Nugent. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but what do you think? I was going to ask you what you call to the other one, to the cross legs one. Oh, I think about other things when I hear the name Farford Nugent. Oh, uh, 270 back Royale. He just needs to get his hips on top, huh? I think the biggest problem is that I didn't change to the other angle. They wanted to see Pedro's view, so now I'm going to change. Now yeah. he knows the camera's going to be on him. He's going to oh, land yeah. it. That this was the only problem. It was me. What, this it was is my what's fault. beautiful about the Wheel Addict team <laughs> and the live stream. Is I blame it on me that he didn't land it yet. Ricardo, you're, land do, it. you're doing great, Ricardo. He's gonna do we it now. Check that. We have, we have the best view. Check, Check this out. This. Oh. I told you. What okay. did I told you? <laughs> there is. 980. Nine hundred and eighty. Adam Trisiak from Poland, and that closes out heat number one. Now we're moving on to heat number two. And just like that. So. Tell us, Basti. What are you thinking? Come more in the. Come more in the. Yes. 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 I'm, I'm amazed by how well these young guys skate. <laughs> you know what I'm noticing really? is a lot of family are down there watching. Yes. So when these junior men are competing in the finals, so they had to advance to get here, they've got their family and friends here cheering for them, which has got to be a huge morale boost. Oh, look yeah. who we have down there in the little red helmet. This is Haruhi Shimizu. Okay, we got everything already. All the way from Japan. Oh. So this is heat number two. And Miguel is down there again with his uh, magenta-colored jacket, and he's introducing heat number two, letting them know they get a five-minute jam session. Look oh. out for each other. So Take we got turns. feedback. I don't know. That's that's probably so. That's it, Philip. Philip, it's the kid that just landed a 720 Mizu the other day. Oh what? A 720 Mizu on a down ledge, and it's oh like my god, 540 Alup Soul, 540 Alup Maku, 540 Alup Mizu, like nothing. Okay. That's the key with all the stickers right there with the Inferno shirt, which is the Philip, newest company from... The tall kid, Philip, with the long hair? Yes. Okay. So Rock he's a spinner, huh? Rocking Bobby's Pass of new company, Inferno shirt. So do you think that as eats go by, as eats go so by... That's Leonardo in the turquoise shirt. So the second eat is like... The guys that advanced in first place, do you think that's it? There's Haruhi in the red helmet. Wow. I like Haruhi. He's my favorite. He's yeah. a friend of mine now. <laughs> he, he, asked me to, he asked me to follow we him on Instagram. We got to 1,000! Oh, we got to 1,000, yes. <laughs> Thank and you. And there's Philip. Nice. Philip the spinner. Fifek. I think that's Fifek. That's how you say... Oh, we got you two. The Yuto new, the the new Roaches kid. Oh, he's riding for Rosies? Yes. Oh, the other oh. Yuto. So purple. Yes! And Michael is in the white helmet. Yes, Michael is one of my favorites, I would need to say that. Michael in the white helmet with the shaggy yes. hair is also riding a magic boot sweater I from love, News, huh? I love the shaggy hair. Yes. yes. Dude, I wish I had shaggy hair. I just got these <laughs> Farrah Fawcett strawberry ball and locks. Check this shit. I wish I had anything. Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo, the beanie man. I always wonder what was but under wait, that Wait, wait, check, check my beanie. Check what it says. What does it say? Fun. FUBU? For us? By us? No, read it. Fun. Are we having fun yet? Maybe. I think we're absolutely having fun. It's about oh, to start. So where is it starting? Heat number two Here is starting go, wherever the riders Harushi. are. There's Here goes. on Harushi. Haruhi on the spine section. Check him coming over the spine. Oh here. my god. Is he's so coming back to us. He's coming back to us. Look at Fifek. 540, Alip Soul! 540, Soyal! Oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh. That was a fakey 900 from Harui Shimizu on the spine section. Guys, let me tell you this, I would not want to be a judge today. 270 backslide there, that was from Michael. Disaster, topside mistrial. Oh! Oh, right into a bio. oh yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Collision time! Okay, everything is okay. Everyone Mist is okay. On the, the firecracker rail from Michael. Arushi with a top acid. acid. 
from Haruhi. And a backslide on the fire. Oh, right. wow. Love it. Fakey topside miss shot from Leonardo Arojo. Uh oh, Fakey. 360 oh, Aliyub Mizu. I think the 540 Aliyub Mizu is coming. 540 Aliyub Mizu is coming. I'm telling oh. you that. Back, back, back slide, slide to Mizu. Mizu. That's Michael Pietrzak. And. And oh. spin. Oh. Two <laughs> 270 back. Don't just sold the fakey. These kids are hella tech, Basti. Ricardo, who's teaching these kids these moves, man? I can tell you that, like, the Polish it wasn't kids. Chris Edwards. Oh, oh, I told you. You were calling it. Wow. I call it 40 Aliyub Mizu. These kids in Poland are all learning with Tomek. Tomek Prisdelik? Yeah, Tomo to Tomek Prisdelik is. Oh, oh, doing an amazing work in Poland. Wow, nice transfer there from Michael. Royale on the firecracker rail. He can have that trick. I warmed it up for him. We love you, by the way, Chris Edwards. We'll let you know when to make twists. Look happens. at Yuto. Yuto's coming. Yeah, it's Yuto in the purple sleeves and the purple hood. Whoa! Backslide. 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 True topsail. Leo with a true topsail. That's, yeah. Leo. That's oh. Leonardo in the turquoise shirt. Leonardo almost fell on the big FR rail. Okay, Fifek is coming. Let's see the 540 alley -oop. Mizu. Oh, I see it. He wants it, Ricardo. You're right on, man. Oh, there's Yuto and the Rosies in the purple. He looks so good. They all look so good on it's stage. Small. It's there's two Yutos on Rosies, and they're both damn good. So. Here comes Haruhi. Getting some speed. He's turning back around off that logo, up. Red Barn. He's flying up the oh, right house box. Up. Okay. Big 180. 180 up. Oh, fakey bio. Fakey bio 540. Or a fakey McTwist, if you will. That was a fakey bio. Fakey bio 540. We'll call it that, Basti. Yeah. Haruhi, all the way from Japan, skating with G-Skate and the Yasutoko brothers. It's no secret you could where see, he gets right, his from style his from. First, yes. first trick. Oh, true back Savannah. Here comes Philip. 360, I'll miss you. True back Savannah there from Leonardo from Brazil. One minute left in this heat number two, Junior Men's Finals. Haruhi. Oh, wow. Half Haruhi, half yeah, coming fakey. in Stockwell, spinning the soul grind, coming out fakey. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 360 Aliyub Soul from Philip on the on rib, the rib cage rail. Oh, Haruhi. Haruhi, fakey 270 backside Royale. Hey, these kids are so tech, Basti. Dude, dude I, I just can't get over it. And it looks so good, everything. Here comes Yuto in the purple. Oh, fish, fish brand, brand to Fakey. Wow. With the baggy stylish. denim cargo swag. So stylish. Oh, wow. And they had unity. unity. on the firecracker That was swag. nice. And there was it. Uh, that was it. Full oh, cool cool. Cavalip Soul, huh? Oh, <laughs> front flip. What's up, man? Michael, how you doing? Oh, Harui. 450 backside Royale. He's getting the crowd pumped. And the backside. With the grab like a gentleman to forward. The little guy in the red helmet, that's Harui. All the way from Japan. Wow, the dark side top so yeah. Another bio 540. These kids are flipping everywhere. That was Michael from Poland. He's riding USDs. Wow, this heat is popping. This, this no wonder these guys advanced dude, to the finals. Dude, this final was really <laughs> look a couple years ago Japan these kids would be dominated. competing on the on the pro finals yeah. and they would be they would yeah. play. I think these kids can <laughs> hang yeah. with the big boys. <laughs> And that's, and that's, that's important to know. Okay. Ricardo, these are juniors. I know. So they got many years ahead of them, and they're skating so advanced already. You know what's very interesting is that some of the pros that we have competing today, they did the whole route. They they won like Le Levy, like Martin Denning, like Dominic Bruce. They placed in the amateur, the, in the junior. They placed in amateur, and they are now competing in pro. Wow. Okay, here we go. Leo, Leo from Brazil. That's the path to success. Final tricks, Leo from Brazil coming in fakey. Wow! Oh, oh, fakey, fakey, fakey backflip back up. up! Up the Grindhouse launch box. This is defying gravity. This is not first this try. Are you Does kidding that me? make sense? Is he an are astronaut? Are you kidding me? That was first try. He's on a rocket ship. It doesn't make sense. How can you do this? Fakey backflip up okay. the launch box. Okay. So we got your favorite right now. Oh, Haruhi. Haruhi. He's Let's coming. See you. He's coming back there on the side by the Grindhouse launch box. Watch for the red helmet. The little man, this is Haruhi Shimizu all the way from Japan for his final trick. I can't even see him. He's you a short guy. You can guy look through the team. screen. You can look through the here screen. Here he comes. Ah, right. Red helmet. 
Yes, going up the Loco Skates Red Barn. Oh, oh he wanted that Hurricane Top Soul. Yes. He's going to get it. That's the one. Second try. Let's go, Haruhi. And we almost have 1,200 people. 1,200. Close, wow. dude. We're close. Thank you for tuning That's in, guys. That's nothing. Text your friends. Tell me when we get to 1,500. Let's go, you guys at home. Pump it up, man. We're commentating our buns off over here. Here comes Haruhi. Haruhi. Shimizu all the way from Japan. Oh! Yes! Wow! Oh, okay, this kid that looks kid is how 10 old? Years yeah, I old. think he's like 10 years old now. <laughs> Hurricane Tasso <laughs> on the I'm, I'm, Loco <laughs> Skates Red Barn. <laughs> like nothing. Yeah. Just like nothing. So easy. Like he expects to land that, it every time. That, huh? that Guys, reminds me. That's how it's done. That reminds so, me back. Next up, we have Philip Hudziak from Poland. What do you call him, Ricardo? Philip Flick Flack? Uh, Fifek. Fifek. I, I think they call him Fifek. Fifek. He's got that long, shaggy hair, the baggy pants. The helmet with stickers like graffiti all over it. Like the bathroom at CBGB. Wow! <laughs> I called it! I, I called it! <laughs> First try! First try! 540 Alu Mizu from that's Michael like, That's Zach. like the real 540 into it because you need like uh, your foot needs to really go over the whole thing. Correction, that was Philip Hudziak from Poland. That was Philip or Fifek with the Fifek. 540 Alu Mizu. So next up, we have another kid from Japan. Yeah, Yuto, uh, Yuto. Akiyama. He's going to have the purple sleeves and the purple hood. He's got the Rossi skates. Apparently, he's a new Rossi's rider. Oh, and we've got a donation like he's from gonna Poland. Skate the damn box right in front of us. Yeah. Right in front of us. Look at all the or, camera guys yeah, swarming in like vultures to you. catch that clip. We are right here. Oh, oh OK. So that's Yuto slide. there. With that swaggy baggy style, looks like he's riding some uh, Rossi's Bobby Spazov candy skates. Yeah, with the black soles, they look so good. Yeah. They look even better for yeah, me. Yeah, the Bobby Bobby Bangers. So this is Yuto Akiyama from Japan representing Rossi's, his final trick. He's coming in go. now. Oh, he wants that 360 uh. top sole. Is it? It looks like a 270 back backslide to something. Okay. Yeah. It looks to me You're like gonna a 270 You're going to give it one more try. He's going to give it one three. more try. Yeah. Okay, what, tr what trick do you think you, you want to do, Basti? What trick? I think he's going for the 270 back backslide. Like, uh, really... It's the Yuto, the, Yuto, the Yuto school, you know? Yeah. And he's, like, really sitting down on the trick. Yeah, he's getting really low. He's got that nice style. Yeah. But I'll tell you about this later, man. Okay. Oh, oh, oh so you were right. 360 top soul. You it's were okay. Right. We just learned, Ricardo and me just learned, yeah. like three weeks ago, that there's no sitting down on tricks. And can you, can you elaborate on who could say that? What do you mean? The, the guy that says no sitting down Hold on tricks. a second. We've got Michael Pietrzak clearing the audience away from the USD box over there. You see that triangle yeah. of, of cheese? Oh, and I know what he's going to do. He's going to sweat stance to front flip out or okay. to missed flip out. Okay. Heads and up. I can bet you that. Sweat stance. Heads sweat stance up. to front flip or, or to... I think if, Ricardo, the people if Ricardo standing Nostradamus there. is right with predicting this trick... Check this out. I don't think someone. You guys need to hit the chat with some donations. So this is Michael Petriat. Mizu. Oh my goodness. I was, was wrong. I was wrong. Yes. I was wrong because I said it was going to be a oh. sweat sense and it was not a sweat sense. So park ranger. It's a Mizu to front flip 180 out. Michael Pietrzak from Poland. This is uncanny. This is kid, that is here? Where is this that? Let's see. Is that nuts. is that there? Oh, his family's here for sure. Mizu. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah! He that was so off. nuts! He he like a boss. Like, <laughs> you, you that was so you nuts. Okay. <laughs> that was just a junior man final. Yeah. That was just insane. And what an awesome final trick for the junior men's finals.
Um, that was that was awesome. Unbelievable. That so was, next up, what we're gonna have eight. is the junior women's final. Let's go right here and let's have this uh, uh, junior women finals yes. coming right next. Yes. So we all you guys at home, hang with us. They're gonna do a warm up. We have four junior women's and they've got one heat. And we are getting closer to to the 59. Oh yeah. We'll hit that no problem, man. We're just warming up. Easy. <laughs> just Easy. warming up. Usually the finals, that's when people really start. Oh, yeah. And when everybody in Cali wakes up yes. and jumps on, West Coasters, a.k.a. the best coasters. <laughs> <laughs> West Coasters, the best coasters. You know it, man. Well, I live in the west of Europe. So okay. I live in the south of Germany, so. Mm. And there's no coast. I <laughs> like them. There's no it's, coast. It, it's we, have like, to, we have to like constant. Hey, there's coast. nothing like a California sunset, man. You um, learned that from the movie Brink and Airborne. You gotta get you know to what? The first, California. The first, the first time I ever drove to California from Vegas, I was listening to um, what was the band called? Kings of Leon. I was to, listening four hours straight to California Waiting, and then I went to Randy's Donuts. First thing, Randy's Donuts in in, uh, in, in LA. LA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hello, Mr. Lee. We're getting we're getting air snacks and juice delivered by the park rangers here. Yeah. It's he's the park ranger. Oh, he's the premier. The park ranger. The ultra. Yeah, the official? ultra, the official park ranger. Patrick. Okay. Sure. How many do you want? I don't know. Three, four. We got pizza. Okay. I'm cool with snacks. I'm a snacks man. <laughs> water, 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 water. Yeah. So Matt, your yes. second winner clash. Yes. How do you like the overall experience? Completely till now? reinvigorated. It feels completely new. And I know it's not easy to do a world class competition on this level, but the organization has never been higher. The participation and the attendance have never been higher. I can't wait to see what the future brings. This is this is by far the best run and most fun contest that I've ever been to. And to be a part of the live stream, super honored, super humble, super grateful. And just a quick reminder, today we are the Wheel Addict team, including Janice, Ricardo, myself, the Mick, Basti, Pedro down on the course, and Harry there. And it wouldn't be possible this live stream without our gracious sponsors, Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Entente Frame. Yes. So let me tell you guys, let, let's, let me just go in into to ads. We have like these ad packs that we did. Oh, yeah. Let's Play get into ad, one Ricardo. of these ad packs. Okay, let's let's do this. In three, two, one.
So the Winter Clash 2024 live stream. So we wait until Saturday to do the live stream because all weekend long, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there's an insane, insane amount of competitors participating. Basti, did you know that yesterday on Friday, for the men's amateur, there was one, over 100 competitors in 20 heats, just for one category, it's just in, for men's amateur. It's insane. Can we can we just take a moment and thank the judges? Oh God. The judges have yeah. like the... I think the judges have the hardest job. The hardest job. So like much watching talent. Watching all this and yes. getting, like recognizing and seeing everything and but it's as, unreal. As I hard would, of a job as the judges had, based on what we saw in the men's junior finals, they, they did the a right great people. job. They advanced the correct skaters because yes. both of those heats were absolutely electric. Yeah, and My it was God. really Japan dominated. Actually, well, a little bit of Japan, and then a Poland. The exclamation point was Poland. Poland. You remember the Mizu to front flip one eighty out at the very end, the very final trick. That was Michael Pietrzak from Poland. And he also got feedback with the five forty out of Mizu. <laughs> this is not easy, Ricardo. It's and the full cab out of Solon the firecracker. Yeah, tack 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 tack. Well, I, I it's the firecracker rail until someone slips and gets their ribs, and then it's a rib cage rail, and then if it starts sticking <laughs> on the rib cage rail, you need to put a little barbecue sauce on those ribs. Ooh. And don't forget about Brazil, Leo, with the zero spin backflip up the rhinos, dude. With the turquoise shirt, this guy was Can insane. You imagine? He went in fakie, zero spin, came in Stockwell, backflip up. That deck is like four feet high, Ricardo. I know. <laughs> I would, I would, I, I would go up forward. If I just jump it straight, I'm retiring. If you jump in straight, you're gonna hit your chins. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use my height to my advantage, but my guy did. Leonardo from Brazil in the turquoise shirt did do zero spin backflip up onto the deck if, of the Grindhouse launch box. If Who you would, that? If you would do it, Mick, if you would do go zero backflip up while spinning, you would just hit your head right into the Grindhouse yeah. logo. I had no chance. I'm in the fan club. This I'm, is in when the, I'm in the Leonardo fan club. Yes. Yeah. It's unreal. Dude, is that guy standing on his feet over there? Or is he standing on a, oh, on I'm a sure chair? There's a bench. No, there's a bench behind. Yeah. <laughs> Unless that's Victor Webinyama. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit confused at first. So, with you being from the US, yes. you have been to all the big competitions back in the day, whether it be the Barn Burner, the Super Hick, the uh, Hoedown. Hoedown, yes. You've never been to Super Hick? Never been to Super Hick, never been to Barn Burner. I've been really? to the Hoedown, IMYK, IMYTA Street Contest. Of course. Uh, ASA Contest. Absolutely. And Blading Cup, of oh, course. Blading Cups over the years. Yeah. I even went to uh, Nitro Circus World Games. And now, your second time at Winter Clash. Oh. You're coming yes. here just for No way! Days. Check who we have watching! Mr. Eric, Eric Garcia. Garcia! ESG, JSF, brap, brap. Second time at Winter Clash. I'm listening, second, Basti. Yeah, I know. Second time at Winter Clash. Coming out for only five days. Yeah. Just to do this with us. Yes. Thank you for this. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you to Yo-Yo and the Winter Clash team. They made it happen. They wanted to make sure that the live stream was a world-class audio-visual experience. And I'm honored to be one of the commentators alongside you and Ricardo here. And I feel like rollerblading deserves the best coverage. You never know who's watching. Yes. You know, there's Olympics coming up in Paris in this summer. And there's Olympics coming up in Los Angeles in 2028. And I feel like rollerblading has unlimited potential to reach new audiences. And a well-organized event like this is a proper way to put rollerblading on the worldwide stage. So we're putting our best skates forward. Look at the other sport with the wheels. Look how they started. Look where the whole street league became the, the format for skateboarding in the yes. Olympics. Yes, and uh, the Dew Tour and some of those street league series became qualifiers yeah. to make it into the Olympics. Yeah. So the path is shown. It's if we can create that path for rollerblading. It's something to, to strive for and something to reach for. It's entirely possible. 100% not. So the skate park fills up 
more and more. Oh yeah. I think people are waking up now. I heard like uh, there was there was uh, stuff going on uh, outside Blue Collar Hotel after yep. the Shima at the movies. How was the Shima at the movies? You've Shima, been there. Brian Shima night at the movies was epic. So it was hosted by Freddie White, Frederick Blanc, and Brian Shima was, even though he is known to be very quiet, he was very forthcoming and open. I feel like he felt comfortable there, and he was telling us some stories that none of us had ever heard, even skaters like myself who've been rollerblading and following Shima since the 90s, and it was an awesome time. He the played black envelope. The black envelope. The limousine, the hotel um, interview. So it was a great look into what was going on in Brian's life while he was filming for Coupe d'Etat, while he was filming for Brain Fair Guard, while he was filming for Unclone, while he was filming for Leading the Blind, right up until the very end. Look, his career ended. Let's give a, a couple of shout outs to the people in the chat. And we got a shout out to Elu Jama, watching with my son. It's the first role of any competition, and he was already amazed oh, by the juniors. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Next step is to get a pair of skates and get them rolling. So okay. yeah, that's important to note too, Basti, the Brian Shima night at the movies. And there's a Jump Street Live podcast yesterday that was filmed with Julian Cudeau. There was a video festival uh, Thursday night that had a Mesmer video of Bobby Spazov and Ilya Savos and Rossi's video. And uh, Julian Cudeau video uh, with uh, Diego Guyu. So there's side events. There's this trade show on two levels. I feel like Winter Clash is feeling more and more like a, a festival of rollerblading it culture. Is. It is. In addition to the main event, which is, of course, the pro contest. So there's so much going on just for the average attendee that to come in for the weekend, you really feel like you, you've lived, like you've got an experience. Yeah. And I feel really honored to have seen this growing from the, like, really from the start. Like from year one. Yeah, from year. It was maybe it was year zero. <laughs> it was it was day zero. I remember Yo-Yo telling me about his idea of this event, asking what I was thinking about the name, and then of course we remember. Oh, the, um, the name Backlash. No. What are you about, Ricardo? We are about to start hit number two. Ooh. What name was he asking you about? Oh, about the Winter Clash. Oh, Winter called, Clash. He called, of course. he called me and was like, hey, what do you think about this name? Here we are 20 years later. Yeah. Well, I hope you told him that's a damn good name. Let's go. <laughs> It is. Okay, so Junior Women's Final Heat. One Heat. We've got Karazina from Poland. From Italy, we have... Amelie Maria Pogaseanu. Amelie Maria. And we got Eva Klomp from the Netherlands. And Maria Rothkam from Germany. Four competitors. This is junior women, aka junior bladies. And don't underestimate the bladies. If there's one thing I've learned, is that they can hold their own and definitely exceed your expectations. So we've got Pedro with our camera on the course. And they're already interacting with it. Love it. Yeah, take some shine, ladies. Ham it up a little bit. This is your moment. Enjoy it. Miguel is going over there with one of the competitors, maybe to check on a portion of the course. You know what is so She's cool? She's making a, a unique path. What's so <laughs> cool? The, the bladies, they always, they support each other so hard. Oh, the bladies camaraderie? Yeah. It's like yeah. help up, hugs, props. Yeah. They're, they're very, a very yeah. tight-knit group. Yeah. Yes. So cool. Very cool. So cool to see. Shout out to one of the first generation Hungarian skaters living in London. Big up. For you boys. Son, you know it's a flex if your emoticon is you with your car. Not bad, kid. <laughs> flex. Shout out to Hungary. I lived in Hungary for a year and I love that country. I live in Hungary every day. I, I'm <laughs> hungry right now. Where's that pizza? Here's a banana. That's Eva in the white helmet. Yes. That's Emily in the white shirt and the turkey helmet. And the camel pants. No. It was Marie. Marie's. Emily Marie is in camo? Yeah. If 
I'm not mistaken. But I think okay. she, she wears a blade or prom shirt, and it's a, a, okay. a private skate park in Germany. So. so here we go, Winter Clash live stream at home. Junior women's final. Starting with a slow run of the Roaches box. Back, back unity. unity. Backside back unity. 180 over the box. Whoa, sweat Let's dance. dance. Wow. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Backside torque. Was that Karazina? Yeah. Okay. I think so. This is going to the firecracker, firecracker rail. Oh, Mizu. Mizu. Wow. Tuck, 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 tuck. It's not easy. We got Maria from the. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Oh She's okay. Everything is okay. That was a super hard bail. Looked like she yeah. got stuck on that soul grind, Ricardo. Speaking of soul grinds, that was Ava Klump right there with the soul grind on the Loco Red Barn box. Ava Klump in the white helmet. She's from the Netherlands. She's a ramp local. on the firecracker. Alley Mizu oh. up there on the oh. FR box. Soul, Soul grind. grind. The whole UC yes, rail. Katarzyna, nice. Seems like Maria is taking a breather. I hope she's okay. You can see her back there. Yeah, she took a hard fall, Ricardo. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. Sold to back full torque for 50 out. She was trying that almost so close. Katarzyna there. Here comes Marie. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, 360. A near collision. There's only four competitors, but somehow they found a way to almost collide. Here comes Katarzyna. Wow. Oh, so oh, ran to the back. Good nice. style. Good wow. Backside back unity. unity way up there. I think that was Marie Rothkamp. No, Marie, Maria was Marie the was the one that. On the oh, she yeah. got hurt. Okay. Yes. So that was Amelia. Unity, the top fall on the nice. UC rail. That was Ava Klump. And a back far right yes. in front of us at the Dam Skate spot. Katarzyna there. And the 360 over the box. Back there. Nice. Back unity. It's a big drop. At yeah, on that drop. USD box, it goes out to about six feet high. And it's such a, it's, it's a skinny oh. box. Oh, no, we got Marie. M Marie. She's back. Yeah. Well, sunny day to top soul. That was Ava Klopp. Oh, she's going for the soul back full torque. She wants it. Where's my girl from Germany? Not, oh, yeah, yeah, she's right there on the Rosie's box. Oh, another fall. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, so close there from Katarzyna. Soul grind of the firecracker, Ava Klump. Here comes Amelia. Oh, one of that Stockwell 270 soul. soul. It's actually a 90. It's a, a 90, 90 soul. 90 soul, huh? Yeah, yeah. coming off the quarter pipe like yeah. that, yes. There's Marie. Okay, she's going back. Oh, soul grind. Yes. yes! She got it. She got it. That That's the nice. trick she got broke off on, and now she owns it. Okay, so that's it for the heat. They're going to get their final trick. Each girl gets one last trick. It's a winter class tradition. We already see Pedro on the course. Pedro's gonna find him. He's down there by the USD box oh. with that remote cam. So it looks like Katarzyna is gonna go first. Oh, she, is she waxing the rail? I'm not sure. No, she's holding onto the rail. That's, that's a tall boy right there, huh? Yeah, that's no joke, Ricardo. There we go. 
Pedro's camera is too. Okay, so this is Karazina. Oh, oh no! Oh my. It's not steep enough. She's okay. Needs more of a launch, huh? huh? Needs more of a launch? Yes. Yes. Wow. Scary. She wants to throw a flip. It's not steep enough. She needs more She's trying. Oh, that, that, I feel like that knocked the wind out. Wow. Oh, they're watching at home. They're watching, people sending pictures watching at home on the big Very screen. Very cool. Oh my God. Katarzyna. Okay, it seems like we're messing the names of the girls up. We got people on chat. Sorry about the mix up on the names. Oh, the judges know. Danger. Yeah, if we're messing up any of the names, we apologize. The most important thing is that you can see the skating and the judges know. The judges who know who? the skaters' names. Oh! Nice. That was really nice. So if they're going in order, this should be Amelia. Amelia Maria Bogacino yes. from Italy. Wow. Yes. yes. She there you go. Back that was nice. Amelia. 540 out. She wants to do it better. I think she wants to go for the soul to back full torque 540 out. Ah, okay. Because that's what she really wanted to do that's before. That's what she was trying before, yes. Oh, she wanted it cleaner, maybe, huh? Good job. She did land one of them. Oh, the pizza came, huh? Salami. So this is Eva Klopp from the Netherlands. Oh! oh front side to drop. Front side the rail on the Grindhouse launch box to drop in the See, paint. I told you it was a tall boy. She was, she was looking at it yes. before. Eva Klopp, the ramp local from the Netherlands. She's going to get two more tries. So we've got the camera there. She's on the grindhouse box. We have other cameras. And it looks like she's trying to grind the rail and drop in to the bank. So this is Ava Klopp for her last trick. Yes. Oh. So close. She gets one more try. Let's keep racking up viewers, you guys at home. Share the link. Up next, we're going to have the, the amateur, amateur women's, women's finals. finals. And then we're also going to have the amateur men's finals. So amateur men's and women's finals are coming up next. Share that link. Here comes, here comes Eva Klopp. She can do this. She's, she's she from should, the Netherlands, yeah. Basti. She will. Yes. Third time's a charm, yes. like I said before. Front side, yeah. Yes. Yes. She got it. She did it. 
good. Unbelievable. You hear <laughs> that, that was crowd? Amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. And that's women's junior. So these are the young ladies with so many years of skating ahead of them, already going so hard. We've got one more contestant. Marie Rothkamp from Germany. Germany. Yes. Now she's Marie in took the, a nasty fall. She took a nasty fall earlier. She split that USD rail, but she got back up and landed that trick, Basti. Yeah. She's in the camouflage pants. Yes. So this is Marie Rothkamp from Germany for her last trick. I think she's wearing one of those. Oh, she's back there next to the Brandhouse box. Okay, she's, yeah, she, it looks like she's back there by the grindhouse yes. box, getting some speed. Dropping okay, she's dropping in, in cutting across the course. Yes. Getting some speed. Oh, she oh, wants the firecracker, firecracker rail. Yes. Oh! Okay. So she gets two more tries. Yes. It's not the easiest obstacle, huh? No, it's not easy at all. Shout out to Daniel Koopman. Sending 5.99 euro. Grateful Daniel for Cookman. watching this live. Hey, we're grateful for you, Daniel. Share the link with your friends, man. Let's break the record today. Legendary German skater. Back to Marie. Oh, so close. Let me tell you, Daniel is a, a longtime friend and a really good skater from back in the day. One Shout more try Daniel. for Marie Rothkam. All you got to do is lock on, Marie. You can do it, Let's Marie. see it. Come on. Oh, oh so close. But coming back after that nasty fall. Oh, Jack, we have, we have Rob G. <laughs> it's the Robert Guerrero. Smoke wheels every day. Hi, Robert Guerrero. <laughs> awesome. So the next division we're going to have is the amateur women's finals. Right okay. now, we're putting a round of applause up for the junior women's that just win. So up next is the amateur women's finals. We've got two heats. We got... <laughs> we got from Italy, Matilde Fiorin, Maria Eduarda da Silva from Brazil, Kate Brodata from the Ukraine, Veronica Bonita from Italy, in the second heat from France, we've got Pauline Dubriel, uh, Laura Santos from Brazil, Julia Comenda from Poland, and Anna Julia da Silva, Brazil. So this is amateur women's finals, one step above junior. So there's three levels in the Winter Clash for women and men now to advance up to the pros. You start with juniors, then you move on to amateur, and then you potentially move on to pro. Do you know how they choose the pros? Well, I know one way to get chosen is to place in the top division of the amateurs, right? Yes. Top it's five either or top that. three. Top three. It's top three. You amateur go pro. Have to have like previously a top three in any of the previous or in amateur, or if you ride for a boot brand, you if you officially ride for a boot brand, you can also compete in pro. So you will see people skating today on the pro division that you might not be able used to see them skating parks and this may not be their environment but they're going to be here representing their brands so that's an interesting fact ricardo and i couldn't help but wonder if you ride for a boot company and that allows you to ride in the pro contest for the Winter Clash, what if your boot company is Tony Lamas, cowboy boots, and you you resemble Dwight Yoakam? Is this going to help you? Is this going to help you get into the pro division at Winter Clash? I'm not so sure. There's all kinds of two steps, and we saw some two steps with wheels on them, and I'm talking about switch ups on grinds out here. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time at home all across the globe. Don't forget in the chat, keep us posted. If we're having any technical difficulties, audio or video glitches, please let us know. We'll be as responsive as we can. Again, we're delivering a world-class live stream here. 
equivalent to a national television broadcast because that's what you guys deserve and that's what rollerblading deserves. But again, it wouldn't be possible without Team Wheel Addict. We've got Janice on the chat. We've got Ricardo Lino spearheading it all. We've got myself, uh, Matt Mickey from Intuition Skate Shop sitting next to my co-host, Basti from Germany. And we got Pedro down on the course. We got Pedro on the roving course cam and then we've got Harry Nopro here on the steady cam. We have two more people. Not in the Netherlands. Yep, one guy back in Portugal. This is Alex. Alex. And, and then we got Biz on backup. Yes. In NorCal. Exactly. Biz. We are eight. Yep. And we've got some gracious sponsors that made all this possible. Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Entente Frames. So let's go for ad break. Why not? Sure thing. Let's do it. Just so you guys know at home, it's never too early to start thinking about Winter Clash 2025. As uh, Basti and I were explaining earlier, this is my second Winter Clash. And uh, the first one I came to was in 2020. And I've been wanting to come back ever since. So this is a phenomenal annual destination event. I feel like that's the best way to put it. This is a destination event. It's not just about the skating contest. Thursday night, there's events. Friday, all day events. Saturday, all day events. Saturday night, the legendary after class party. Some people that came here are gonna go to Barcelona and skate for a week after and then go back home. The Jumbo guys are touring and filming. So this is, uh, I feel like an awesome opportunity to experience rollerblading culture at its finest. And if you've never been, start making plans now because as we all know, the tickets sell out fast and you don't want to miss out on Winter Clash 2025. What do you think, Basti, for someone who's never been? <laughs> Next year probably be the biggest Winter Clash ever because it's the 20th anniversary. So I'm damn sure Yo-Yo and the team are working already on some big stuff for the anniversary next year. Yeah, 20 years is a big anniversary. It's a really big anniversary, and it grew from like a, an idea in Yo-Yo's head to the biggest happening in rollerblading. 
I mean, yeah. like they're like like old older older guys that remember the the Lausanne days. Oh wow, yeah! I never yeah. made it to a Lausanne contest Me in Switzerland. Neither. Me neither. Those were huge in the nineties. I did. Well, well, tell us which about which one was bigger, Lausanne or the, the Winter Clash? They're different. It was completely different. different. Times. The thing is, Winter Clash is one hundred percent aggressive skating. While wow. what you had before with the roll, the Lausanne was called the roller contest. So it started as a quad skating event that. Ended up getting like the transition from quad skating to inline skating. Okay. So at that time, aggressive skating wasn't the only type of skating, you know? And everyone would be together. So you would see a slalom contest, a downhill contest, uh, that would be the, the vert contest, all of it. It was like, it, it was more of a festival than a contest, you know? Which Winter Clash is also a festival, yes. I would say. I but it's like more that. around aggressive skating, while the Lausanne contest was about skating in general, if that okay. makes sense. Different types the of The guys skating. are back. The, the crew that dresses up as a different pro skater every year well, who is are they in the building. Year? Who are they? Let's see That's it, Eric. Wait, wait, wait. That's what? easy. Let's see. Let's see if people at home know. Let's see if people at home know. People. Write in the chat what do you think. Which pro skater is represented here? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's easy. Okay, easy. French. The French baguettes? No. <laughs> it's not an Australian flag. No. I feel like it looks like Julian Coudot. Look, look, at, look, at the, look at the cast on the hands. Yeah, the every yeah, year they, they dress the like someone guard. doing it. They got the wrist guard, the little, <laughs> the little mustache and goatee. The helmet with the sticker, the so sunglasses, cool. the French flag, so cool. and the baguette bread. The Jul Julian Kudos have arrived. <laughs> By the way, Kudos I haven't seen here. Julian skating. No, he's. Re he, I'm sure he's waiting for later. He was skating yesterday. Okay. And then he had his Jump Street podcast live broadcast. Okay. That was super cool. I sat in on a little bit of that. Another side event. So Austin Paz and Billy O'Neill were interviewing Julian Kudo live, recording an episode of the Jump Street podcast. So he was skating yesterday. He'll be skating later today. A former two-time? Three-time. Oh, correction. Three-time. Julian Kudo is a defending three-time yeah. Winter Clash champion. So you had better believe he'll be skating later today. Just taking it easy right now. The Pro Finals will be later on this evening and tonight. You're going to be with the Amateur Women's Finals in a bit. And then... Yes. Then shit starts to get real with the amateur, amateur men. Finals. Yeah, because what happens with the amateur men is the top three go to skate with the pros, huh? And let me tell you, there are some badass skaters. <laughs> yeah, Leo Fumeri, I know this one. There's like three, Michael Mueller. Michael Mueller. There's yes. three German. Liam. Gino. Gino Dangerous. I showed you the clip last night. Ah, yeah, Gino night. Dangerous. And of course, the guy called Lucas, Lucas. Lanzala. Lucas is like the guy that puts on the skates like two or three times a year, comes to a contest and just delivers. Yeah, these people make me mad, Basti. Most, most of the time he I wins I have to try stuff. to keep my soul grinds and my royales and my backslides. Yeah. So if you can do it without any effort a couple times a year. Mm. Yeah, and Lucas, blocked, has, Lucas has three kids. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. And still finds time. Yeah. Okay, all Gino, right. Gino, everybody has Three kids, time. you can skate not so often. But it's also, awesome we, to hear we, he's can't, still got the talent. we can't forget about Noru, Noburu Katayama oh, also yes. in the finals. Noburu is awesome. Yes. Japan is representing hard. And you know the guy Jills from Belgium? No. So Jills is part of the, of the Winter Clash Volunteers team. So he helps also making all that happen. And then he skates and advances to the finals. Interesting. Jill is... Jill. Um, Jills also skates. Um, Jills the brings Dem, the Jills from Belgium. The Dem weekend collab skates. Yeah. And he's a style master. Okay, so he's wearing orange skates. Yes. So we'll be able to catch him for sure. Easy to catch him. You can also easy catch him by his style. Yeah. There's nobody in the building that makes a better looking sweat stance than Jills. But before Period. we get to amateur men's, we've got amateur women's Basti. Two heats. We've got girls from Italy, Brazil, Ukraine, France, and Poland. And that and will start in about 20 of, minutes. Yeah, and some of these girls have got sponsors. So these girls are already getting recognized and moving up the ranks. And I bet you these girls want to advance to skate with the pro women's final. 
Uh, do you know how many of them are dance? Maybe two or three? I don't know. Okay, I so several, several of the I'm amateur probably, women's, three. several of the amateur women's will advance to skate with the pro women's final later on today. So we've got about a, a 10 or 15 minute break where they're just warming up. So you guys hang tight right there. A good time for yourselves to get another snack or charge your phone or text your friends or take your dog for a short walk and come back. Uh, we've got many more hours to come, concluding with the pro finals, the main event here at Winter Clash 2024. You guys don't go anywhere, stick around, and don't forget to share that link and help us break the record. We're Thank you so much. Close to the 1,500. Oh, yeah, we're almost at 1,500. Yeah. yeah. So that's almost halfway to the previous record. And I feel like by the time the pro contest starts up, the views are going to be so high. Yes. And I also think that everybody watching at home, many of them are not watching alone. So if there's a viewer on there, he might have three or four friends with him. Put it on your phone and on your TV yeah. and on your laptop. Yeah. All Help your IP addresses. There. Help yeah. us get there. Yeah. It all adds up. Because at the end of the day, when we're building for Winter Clash 2025, and the sponsors want to see uh, the reach, how far did we get? How many people saw? How can we track uh, the interaction? All the comments, all the views, all the social media posts, all the tags, it all adds up. And that helps the sport grow. So even if you're at home watching, you guys are an important part of Winter Clash 2024. And we, we appreciate each and every one of you. Even the haters in the chat, we love you. There's no haters in the chat. Oh, no, the haters no. are here in person. <laughs> Please believe, no they bought haters. a ticket and they're showing up in Eindhoven to heckle in person. <laughs> Lava, no grab, doesn't count. Rolled it. <laughs> you know the type, huh? I know. Oh, you are the type? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm a fan. Uh, fair enough. First and foremost, I'm a Look fan. Look at this park ranger out there waxing. You know. You know you're at a rollerblade contest when the staff is waxing the coping because we came here to slide, not stick and fly. Look at the chat. Harry Ken says I'm a hater. Oh, thank you, Harry. Thank Welcome. you, Harry. Welcome home, Harry. Hater stay, Harry. Stay in Argentina. Harry the hater. No, come from Argentina, Harry. I bring a big poster <laughs> that says one letter H and one letter eight and then 24-7. <laughs> so, guys. Yes, Ricardo. Who's your favorite? Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh. Well, Where? if you ask those guys over there dressed like Julian Cudo. No, 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 I'm talking about what's about to happen right now, which oh. is the amateur woman. Oh, well, to be honest, they're all new names to me. Okay, I got all hey, my money. No, 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 no. Anna, Anna Julia, 100% for me. Anna Julia from Brazil? Was she killing my it money. yesterday? She was doing 900 up. Okay, okay. And flat spin 540 okay. up the Rhino's yes. box. So what's with the strength from Brazil? It's, oh, no, I can tell you, I can tell you, I met someone yesterday who runs a, a community. I, th I don't think you call it a community, but it's a Bellas in line. And it's this guy that has a school and he teaches plenty of kids. And he's like, he, I'm sure you saw someone giving the hand to the kids doing flips and all that. Yes. He has several kids doing that right now. And then the Julia that we don't know what's gonna happen, of course, but Anna Julia is probably the favorite, I would okay. say. Okay. I think she was almost like at a different level compared to the others. Maybe I'm wrong. I maybe I'm biased. No, I feel like most of the time your instinct is correct, Ricardo, because yeah. you, you know so many international skaters, yeah. and that's what I appreciate working with you is you know the skaters from all the countries and, and a little then bit of background. We about also them. have the European uh, female junior champion here which is the Mesmer girl, yes. Julie. Yeah, Julia Comenda. Uh, here, Julie Comenda. Yes, she's, she's riding right, Mesmer. She's yes. right there with the white Mesmers. Yeah, with the warm-up pants. Yeah, she, yeah. she is then second from what I know, and Anna Julia first. Wow. And then we got Laura Santos from Brazil. Like, it's going to be... I'm very excited for this final, honestly, awesome. because it's like you are starting to see the amateur girls ripping. Yes. Like the level. Ripping like strong. I yes. remember 2010 when you had someone doing a 900, like uh, Fallon Everman doing a 900, and everyone was like, oh wow. And now you have the amateurs yeah. doing a 900 on yes. a step up like nothing. You yes. know, it's. The progression is evident. It's intense.
We got the kudos on the course or the left? Oh, they abandoned. No, they're still there. Oh, yes. So the camera right now is on Robert Lee, which is, he's the security. He's been the security for so long. Like when the final cup, he's the, he's the wax man. Yeah, is he the main, is he the main park ranger? Yes. 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 And he's also the wax man. He's the one that before the finals goes and, and he, he has a, he has a skate park in his garage and he skates almost every day. Yeah. He's awesome. Good for him, man. Yay! <laughs> we had the park ranger sending us all love to all of you at home. We are 15 away from the 1500. Come this, on, guys. This is a good thing. Hey, no hang we losers ball in 2024, but maybe in 2025 it's coming back. Yes, maybe. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope the hang losers. I would gonna... hope so. We got Eric Kahn. He's a German right now watching us from Argentina saying that Lee is the main. Lee is the main park ranger. <laughs> power, power, power ranger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We got only Oliver. Oh, Oliver, are you in Australia right now? Oh, I just messed it up. I'm sorry. I'm playing with the chat. <laughs> I won't do it anymore. Hands off the chat, Ricardo. <laughs> Oh, and Shredpool sending us all love, the superhero, your favorite superhero. Your favorite um, inline skating superhero that was here last year. Shredpool was here? Yes. In full personality. And by the way, does anyone know who Shredpool is? Yes. Do you know? It's Seth Green from Airborne. No, I don't know who it is, but somebody knows who it is. Ah. I'll tell you who it's not. No. It's not Ty Chris. <laughs> because he would never hide his hair. Well, he, he would not. I wonder, how does he fly? He needs to get on an airplane. His friends need to know who he is, of course. Yeah. You can't pass through TSA security dressed as Shredpool. But do you think that they signed the NDA? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so they can't something. reveal his identity? Yeah, it doesn't. Well. <laughs> something is happening with that banner. That trade show banner is right on the way of our camera and it wasn't yesterday. I think it's the people with their feet. We need to go tell people to take their feet away. You see? Those feet can't stay there. Good eye, Ricardo. We're constantly trying to stay aware and make adjustments so that no th nothing interferes or obstructs the views of our four camera angles. Awesome, and let me tell you that we eat 1,500. We have oh, 1,507. Yeah, 1,507. Yeah, good job, you guys. Good job, but that's nothing. That's nothing. That's like one van full of people. <laughs> we could do better. We need a whole train full of people. We're just gaining momentum. We're technically just getting warmed up. So we already did the men's junior final and the women's junior final. Up next, we've got that amateur women's final and then after that we're gonna have the amateur men's final and then of course we're gonna have the pro women final and the pro men's final the main event what it's all about and then i feel like we've got some other side oh, prizes we, we're like, first gonna have the, the the pro qualifier oh yes the pros all of them just skate today oh they gotta qualify first yes. and then the finals okay yes. so we've got technically two main events then so we need to like the pros will not touch the course until everyone else is yeah, done. Yeah. When the pros come, yeah. That's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother and level. The, the amp goes to 11. I mean, you know what? I don't really know if it's a whole nother level because I'm, I've been watching these guys skate right now. Yeah. And I don't see that much. I, like, they're going to kill it, the pros. But this, everyone until now has been killing it. Yeah. You go. Oh. Backside torque with the grab. Yes, look at that. Yeah, you've got she's it right. Like, she's, she's lower than my armpit. Come yeah, on. So <laughs> these are these are not 
these are not amateur tricks that these amateurs and uh, juniors are performing. Not at these all. These are adult tricks with a lot of experience and a lot of style. Wow. It's not like they're making the trick with luck. Come on. They like, know what they're doing and they have a good flow and good style. The sa the skate control in some of the juniors and some of look at that. Look at Anna Julia. Look oh at that. Look God. at that. 900 up like nothing. She did didn't she did a 900. Yes. Full cap on a quarter pipe. So she dropped in like nothing. This is Anna Julia here? Yes. Yes. She she rips. <laughs> That's about it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the music uh, from DJ Andre Leptic in the background, but this is the Vinnie Minton song from Amateur. Look at that. Look at the pop out of it, huh? Topside acid. So that Muta girl's representing Icon, so that must be Laura Santos from Brazil. Okay. I bet you. Oh, and look at Julia with the front side on the firecracker. Are there a lot of girls? Yeah, there was a lot of girls eight. in the firecracker rail, right? So we have eight. Total women in amateur women's finals. Two heats of four. Do you know what we call last year to the firecracker rail? Basti, come here. What did we call to the firecracker rail last year? What did we call to the firecracker rail last year? Uh, the doo -doo -doo. The da 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 rail. I call it the tack 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 tack. <laughs> and then the beat drops. <laughs> the da 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 rail. Yes. Okay, shout out to Stefan Spingler. Thank you for the Shreddy Spaghetti. Uh, oh, look, we got Shima. Shima in the audience. Oh, yeah. He's a big fan of rollerblading. One of the things that Shima said last night was people ask him all the time, Brian, do you, do you still rollerblade? And he said, I don't have to rollerblade. I don't need to rollerblade anymore. Every one of you out there skating, I'm living through you. So I thought that was a very profound statement. And we all know how Brian's skating career ended. And to have him still involved with the industry is uh, just phenomenal. It shows to his character. Look, I, I really enjoyed it last night. But on what you were saying, how important he has been for a lot of us. Like the other day, I've been giving this example over the past couple of days. The other day, I did something like people asking, what's your favorite five these, five that? Like there was no five questions and asking you, what's your favorite trick or what your favorite, whatever. When they asked me, what's your favorite skater from all time? Yes. That was like, it was like, I, it took me one second, Brian Chima. Yes. But everything else, I was like, oh, anti rocker, uh, flat, uh, uh, both. But to my favorite pro skater of all time, it took me one second. It's it, 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 and it still is Brian Shima, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's uh, the same answer for a lot of people. Yeah, favorite of all time. He is an icon unlike any other. And besides all you guys watching at home, I heard that there's also animals watching, dogs watching the live stream. Okay. We are entertaining. <laughs> gotta show that. We're entertaining for pets. Yes. There's, there's dogs watching you the You know what's stream. interesting is, uh, as you can see, the Winter Clash 2024 live stream is pet friendly. <laughs> so bring your cats, Ninja, and bring your dog, Thor, in there and have them watch some world-class rollerblading. I mean, why not? Because it's fun. Oh, <laughs> because you're goddamn it's right, it's fun. Oh. Hey, you know who has just passed by? Who now? Roger. Roger. The famous Roger, Roger from, Switzerland. from Switzerland. Yes. Roger Sutter. Rogelio. Rogero. Roger. Thank you so much, Megan. Megan? Oh, Megan yeah. is watching this from Seattle. Peterson. Hey, there's over 50 bladers here, Megan. So the ladies' movement is growing bigger than ever. Thanks in large part to you. Yeah, she's doing an amazing job. Product collaborations, edits, social media. Yes. Awesome. The ladies' movement is strong and it's not stopping anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Miguel, okay, Miguel is coming. Miguel is coming back on the course. Miguel is coming. With his magenta jumper. Dude, we are really on time. We need to do something with Dude, that. Dude, that, what is that? That's killing us. Did they, they open, open the doors, doors here? Uh, we need to take that away. Or 
tie it. Hey. Okay, so we are about to start the Women Amateur Finals. Oh, we got Sara Bomba Ache is watching. Thank you, Sara. Enjoy the live stream. Sara, you got you got Aries fan saying hi. <laughs> Here we go. Pedro's gonna get out of the course. We got our camera down there. Got our list of competitors here. Okay, we got Kate. Okay, okay. So, so who do we have? We have Matilde Fiorin from Italy. Maria Eduarda da Silva from Brazil. Kate Redata from Ukraine. The new Rochus girl, huh? And Veronica Bonatti from Italy. That's eat number one for you with the amateur woman finals. They're really cooling us down right now. Somebody open it. This is the fan favorite here, huh? Okay, Veronica Bonatti. I th Veronica also did really well this year at the European Championship. She made it to the finals, so here we go. Okay, we got Matt did this job there. Let's see, let's see what Matt did. Let's see, we got it. Yeah. We got it all sorted. Works just fine again. So, Kate, Redata, Team Rosis. Okay. Going full speed to the Grindhouse box, gapping up, backflip. And then we got Maria Eduarda from Brazil. K 
Tate on the big grindhouse box. Front side to gap. Perfect. For everyone who just joined now, this is Top Soul. The jam session jam. format that will later become a last week type of event. Let's get oh got Marie Eduardo falling on the Rogers box. Kate with the soul. On the big grandhouse box stall. And then gap. Back wow. into it. That 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 spot is so intimidating. Top asset. Oh, oh my god. That was a almost crash. Oh the girls are just fine. Oh. Kate dropping in, That's going Kate. fakey to the damn box. Oh, half cap top wow. asset. That was a Perfect. nice pack. Perfect. 540 in the quarter pipe. You can see people started getting tired, huh? Yeah. These runs are no joke. You yeah. can't skate five minutes in a row. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I always say the same. I would wait a bit. Back <laughs> unity. You're going full speed. On the local box. Sunny day. Wow. And on the firecracker rail with the soul run. Top sorry, soul. I cannot call that a sunny day. That's a porn star. I'm sorry. Sunny day is a top side. It's the name of the trick. <laughs> I get it. We have keys at home. Soul grind by Kate on the okay. soul grind. Maria. It's always so hard to show everyone Back at home unity. what's happening here. That was a nice, that was a beautiful top so for Veronica. In the line. In the line. Aww. Ah. We got Mathilde. Okay. Kate with a top pass it on the rail. On the FR rail. Really celebrating that one, huh? She and is skating amazingly good. Kind grind. Oh, wow. That was nice. That was a nice kind of... She is going nuts. Well, maybe that's why she's she was the crowd favorite. Yeah. <laughs> she's killing it. There we go. Matt is back. Thank you so much, Matt, for the, for the, for the help. Yeah, we're responding to the environment around us and we had to adjust the banner so we got heat number one it's working good let's see it like look at that oh beautiful thank you so much man we gotta have the the best view for our online live stream audience for the people that couldn't make it but we want to make them feel oh yeah they're getting the world class winter clash experience we got four camera angles look kate is killing it oh, oh. she did a kind run on the firecracker rail like Perfect. Wow. So he won amateur women's finals winding down. It's Aww. about to go. Oh, we got someone else with their feet there. It's okay. So we're going to get their last tricks. Here comes Matilde. Where's Matilda coming from? I think she's got the white, the white T-shirt up there. No, uh, she is. Oh, oh, she's right here with a, with a, on this side of the grindhouse box, right here. Okay. Here, she's about to get into the big section. She's got the tank top on. She's going to the roaches. Oh, she's box. getting the crowd hyped up. So this is Matilde from Italy. She's about to get into the roaches box. She's on the top. right there. She's no. on the top of the roll-in. Matilde going for her final trick or her last trick. It's her last. It's the first attempt. First attempt on her last trick. Oh, she's cutting across the course. Going to the local red rooster box. Going oh my God! She's speed. going to the Grand House launch. Whoa, gapping up. 
Turning back around. Wrong side. Front side to drop yeah. in. Oh. That's not an easy spot to no, skate, not, huh? the least. not at all. She kind of took the long way to get there, but the good scary, for her. The scary thing is that the rail is that small. Yeah, the rail is low and the drop is high. So yeah. she'll get two you more don't want to miss. You wants. don't want to miss the lock. If you miss the lock, it's a long way down, Ricardo. That's not how I want to meet the ramps. <laughs> Sideways, falling. Okay, so Mathilde Fiorin from Italy. She decided to start from the top. Okay. Save your breath. We got Peter right there, waiting for us. Oh, look at that angle. Yes. That's what's awesome about the Winter Class live stream. We've got Pedro. We are close to 2,000 people oh, watching. It's wow. Growing it's only starting. Yes. The pros haven't even put the skates on. Dude, could you imagine how many viewers look at that? Look at that, look at that, look at that. So look at the angle. Oh, Perfect. she landed it. She made awesome. it. She's pumped. You know what? Wow. I was skating the firecracker rail with her earlier in the warm ups. She's hardcore. She, hey, these women are tough, Ricardo. Dude, Bossy. I've, that's, seen, that's, I've seen these women take some slams they, they and then get back skate up. Better than I do. <laughs> well. Well, I, I guess, I think they skate better than all of us. That's why they are there and we are here. Exactly. I'm a fan. If, if you're skating right now and the crowd is cheering for you, or if you're holding a microphone... You made it to the finals of Winter Crash. You're doing something right. Yeah. So... Maria! We got Veronica! No, it's Maria. Is that Maria? Oh, it's Maria, Maria from Eduardo Brazil! Silva from Brazil! Hello. That's it! Brazil in the chat. Here she comes with the Brazilian helmet. Come on, man. Top soul, true top soul. Wow. wow. First with try. Those, with first those damn basement. First try. She did her last trick. First try. <laughs> Maria da She's Silva from doing Brazil. Another one. She's like, you know what? I'm going to hit the bonus round. There's Miguel down there in his magenta jacket, pumping the crowd up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Harry on the camera angle there, up here in the. Media booth with that steady cam. See it. Thank you, Eric, so much. Dude, he's like our broadcast cameraman. Dude, he's been doing it with us since 20, like since 2018. 2019. It 2019 or 2019 yeah. was the first year we did this. Okay, so Maria is going for another trick. She landed her first one. No. Oh, she's done. Okay. She landed her trick first try, the soul top soul, and she didn't she's want to. Coming, she's coming, she's oh, coming, she's coming. She is? <laughs> Gosh. Oh. oh, maybe she wants to spin out? Yeah, I think wow. so. Wow. Maybe 360 in or something? Like into the end, like, kind of like a. Okay. Okay. But if wow. you have like three tries anyway, yeah, and you land the well first one. Them. Yeah. Just you know what? Go, I, I, try. I don't know if I would go for a second because that shows that you didn't land what you wanted. So maybe, yeah, maybe. For the judges, they may affect. She did really good with that first trick. Oh. See? Should have left it alone, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I would. I leave, would it, <laughs> leave it on a land. Yes. Leave it on a landed trick. Yeah, well, like, anyways. That was Maria that would be like a like, from Brazil. Yeah, that would be like a mic drop, you know? Yeah. I'm done. Boom, I laced it. I'm out. <laughs> okay, and we're about to go for Kate. Kate Bedrata from Ukraine. The new Roaches girl, huh? Oh, yes. And she's in the black shirt up there, huh? Yes. She's a little ripper. On the bobby skates. Oh, she's she on goes. the bobbies. Oh, 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 my God. Is she going for a sweat, sweat stance? stance? Yes. Is she sweating the stance? <laughs> I would be sweating the stance. <laughs> wow. See, we got the angle right there. Check oh, this yeah. angle. Check so this angle. She's a new, she's a new rider for Rosies, and she's rocking the Bobby candies. Yes. Check okay. this out. Kate Batrata. That rail oh, wow. looks huge. That rail looks That's like a El big Toro. rail. Oh. And she oh. did it so good. That was nice. And the Julian Cudos were waving their flaggy baguettes at her in uh, appreciation. <laughs> flaggy baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> she wants I, more. I, I'm hungry for baguettes now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm always from Hungary. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think she wants to switch up out of it, no? Oh, it's a perfect. Wow. She owned it. 
fact. It was like an Eric Schrein sweat stance. Yeah. Open book style. Yeah. Open the legs. Yes. And go to fakey, which and means you, know you own it. You own it. She went. She didn't went to the Gator side. No, she didn't. She didn't go lava. Yeah. She stayed top side. No Perfect. lava. And to fakey. Like a champion. <laughs> this means authority. You have authority over the trick if you spin out. Do you think she's gonna be the champion until I'm not now? Sure. Until now? I'm not sure. Oh, she's going back. No. She's just giving hugs. Okay, that's, and now we got Veronica from Italy. She did really well at the European Championships. Okay. Uh, the, the year was in Barcelona? The one in Portugal. Oh, it, was, Portugal. it was in September. She oh. has a mean, but also super okay, beautiful so topsail. This, this is Let's the see. one in the white shirt, huh? Yes. 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 Topsail. Mute oh, She can do it. She has a beautiful topsail. Veronica. Bonatti, also from Italy, also riding Rossi's, of course. Bonatti. Bonatti. <laughs> Veronica Bonatti. Yeah, that top soul was sick. And she <laughs> mute, mute Let's see. Out. Where's Pedro? Where's Pedro? Right there, guys. Yes. Right next to the yeah, landing. Right on that cheese wedge, that USD cheese wedge. Look at that guy standing next to it. It's at least six feet tall. That's hey, watch it. your teeth, buddy. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> You want to stretch your teeth? Last year, Julian Cadeau did a Kang Grand on the wall ride, and the guy sitting on the bench next to it just fell oh, yeah. way back. <laughs> That's one way to get out of the way, huh? Yeah. Okay, Veronica Bonatti for her last, last trick. The phone. Top nice. side soul 180 drop for Veronica Bonatti all the way from Italy. Yes. That drop is bigger than her. That try absolutely like a foot over her head. Yeah. So the crowd approves. I approve. I hope the judges take note. And Tashima standing right next to it. I would I would be very Look, you can see the height of the thing by looking at Shima. Look at yeah. Shima and look at the height of the ledge. Yeah. yeah. That, and he's got a hat on. I say it at least six feet, or as they say in Europa. Two meters. The hand, the ledge that Veronica just did. You is, can see Shima right there, and you can yeah. see how high the ledge is. At Look, least, at that. At least, Look at that! At least two meters high, or wow. one, one and a half Shima's high. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half Brian Shima's high. So <laughs> heat number two is about to start. Yep. We got Pedro right there. Let's see. Let's gonna see what they see. Pauline Drubiel from France. Laura Love Santos us. from Brazil. Julia Comenda from Poland and Ana Julia da Silva from Brazil. Look, I said before. Is, yeah. So Anna in the white shirt, white helmet in the purple shirt, right there with the lavender shirt. Anna, she's a she's a killer on the USD. She is. She's a but, ramp killer, USD Aeons. But you know what? These are probably the the girls that advance in the four top places to the final. So. They're all gonna kill it. They're all good. They're all amazingly good. So, someone is saying this year's stream is diamonds. Wow, <laughs> it's precious. You know, diamonds are only made under pressure, Ricardo. That's the <laughs> only way. Otherwise, we'd just be charcoal. They haven't even seen what they have. What we have prepared for them. Yulia Comenda from Poland, Yulia. she's representing Mesmer Skate Brand. Yes. Uh, Ana da Silva. Ana Julia from Brazil. Yeah, more Brazilian power. Sending a shout out to Brazil. She's representing Grupo RZK, Primavera Marquinas, and Monster B. This year is Brazil. Last year there were like a hell of a lot of Colombians That's Primavera Marquinas. Marquinas. Marquinas machines. Who was there a lot of last year, Basti? From Colombia. Oh, Colombia, yes. so many Colombian people in this And they cheer loud house. with the flag and... Yeah. Yes. But I saw the, the last year's girls competition winner, Daniela from Colombia. Yes, Salt Daniela Stadium. Gabriel Salgado. Look at the... Look at the, the but she's in the women's yeah. finals, pro. Where the crowd is. More and more packed as yes. the time goes by. Oh, the crowd is filling in, that's for sure. Everybody's waking up now. And you can hear it. Yeah. That the building is. They're, they're already here and they're getting louder. Yeah. So drop in. Anna Julia. Okay. On the rail. Check, that, check, Anna check that, check that, check that. Wow. We start with the 900 up. I told you guys. Wow. Full cab. Now she drops in and let's see what she got for us. 
and she goes like for a 900. Front side on the firecracker rail. True, True Mizu. Mizu. Look at the line. And she's still in the line. Unity. Unity. Front Unity. Wow. wow, fish brain down fish this brain there. huge ledge. Fish brain and now check on the Julia. She's still in the line. She's still in the line. Oh Did my god, that oh was god. the same Anna, line. Anna, she was the Jamea whole thing Silva. in a line. She never stopped skating. No, no, she did the whole thing in one line. Beautiful. Technically, she goes, she's back. still as in the line. Soul, Anna Da Silva. There but comes Paulina Jubriel. Top side acid. Okay, nice. nice. With her frizzy hair and those Rosie's pomegranates. Now I know why you have your money on Anna Julia, Ricardo. Told you. Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to lose money. Laura Santos representing Icon Skates. Back oh, torque. Back oh, I saw her do one of those. In so Larina, Laura, Laura Santos. If I'm not mistaken, she's the the junior. Wow. <laughs> 360 soul first. Anna Cry. Silva, 360 Hell soul Brazil. God. The crowd goes wild. How old is she? I'm not sure, but she's wearing the white helmet and the purple okay. shirt. Okay, for someone in the chat, let us know how, how Anna old is. Anna Silva going oh. to the firecracker rail. Top, Top soul. soul to fakey wow. stylish. Watch the girl in the purple shirt. That's Anna Silva. Anna who? And Julia. Anna Julia. Anna Julia. Anna Julia from Brazil. Marinha. Top soul was Laura Santos over there, also from Brazil, in she, the black helmet. She is 14. Wow. 14. And what about Anna Julia? Can someone tell us how old is Anna Julia, please? Oh, top acid. This means that the they could. Rail. This means that they could be competing in juniors, and they chose to Mind be grind. in. Yeah, so they're young enough yeah. to be juniors, but they're competing in amateur. Yes. Now. The talent in the future is looking bright, Ricardo. Well, next year she's pro. Uh, yes. <laughs> if I would be a pro girl maybe, skater, yeah, bro. I would be scared. I would be really scared. What is she going to come down with? There's a Machio, a Machio right there from Pauline Jubriel. She is so smooth. Look at that. Dude. She's going up again. Oh, she's going for the flat five. Dude, with that. <laughs> takes everything she's got to get up on the top of that. Loco skates Red Barn. Easily top three in the pros division with that type of skating. Nice, Laura Santos from Brazil in the black helmet there. Okay. Oh, oh. Royal to Fakie, that was Pauline Jubriel from France. So at the top so. of the Loco Red Barn. And we got Anna Julia Anna again Julia from Brazil. With a flat spin 540, is that it? Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude. Up the grindhouse box and the crowd loves it. Guys, that is it. This, that is like neck high for her. And wow. true porn. True porn. Launch, she did a launch to true porn coming in fakey, coming in Stockwell. And true acid. True acid. acid. acid do you realize box. that this was till now the best performance of all skaters? Yes. Till now. Yes. Anna Julia is clearly wow. on one right wow. now. Wow. From she's what I fire. saw now, from what I saw until now, she could win pro. Yeah. <laughs> she's she on would fire. win pro with this. Performance. Abstract 540. That girl landed every trick. Anna Julia is. And wow. she made Anna Julia Six is tricks. in fuego. <laughs> Laura Santos 540. Wow. Yes. She's hyped. Oh, I'm not gonna end like that, of course. First and, uh, and now that's where the madness starts because yeah. now it's a she can last trick. Her last trick. Yes. yes. And put a hammer down and drive a nail in. So for he well, number two. I don't think there's a lot of discussion until now. Amateur women's. No. <laughs> Amateur women's, they each get one last trick. <laughs> starting with Pauline Drubriel from France. She's got that frizzy hair. Yeah, we're and fighting for seconds. Rosie's pomegranate. What skates. a performance, man. I'm just speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. Well, I feel like you're going to have is asking, to talk about Someone is asking, can, can she win with her run? Can she win amateur and pro? Like, I mean, she could, but she, I don't think she, like the rules allow that. Yeah, Anna Julia does not miss. 13 years old. Okay, she's going up. That means that she's going to do her last trick. Yeah. You and, know where. And she's 13 years old. It was just written in the chat. Okay. So I think we're starting with Paulina Drubriel. 
Yep, that's her with the with the brown hair coming out from underneath okay. her, her white helmet. And we got Peter the right there. white shirt. She's yes. going to go for the... The USD box? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh wow. wow. That yes. was a nice P-Star, huh? P-Star or Sunny Day to Fakey? <laughs> Super I, I, solid. I call it the other one, but let's stay with the P. Okay, P-Star. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. 180 out, super strong for Pauline Drubiel. First try, you know. Yes. I would and be we smoked. got Laura Santos, Laurinha from Brazil. She's on yes. the big local box. No. Patrick Ritter in the house. Let's see what she got. She's coming over here. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Straight, Straight gapping? Jump. Oh off my! The upper, off the upper deck of the Wow, box. she's jumping so down. So Laura Santos is also from <laughs> Miguel. Brazil. Miguel is shocked. She's uh, <laughs> she's representing Icon Skates. Her skates did not explode on impact, so she's gonna try again. She got the carbon and skates. Look at can you everyone! Hear the oh my! This is she's so dropping great. into a straight roof gap. That's it's like a three-meter gap. Yeah, at least three meters. That's a different okay. way to scale that. Nine Look feet. at that. The crowd is going wild. Is she going to land it? Oh, oh, my God. So close. No more. Okay, she's done. I hope she's okay. <laughs> she's Lee, got again? Her, Lee got her hyped up. To oh. again. <laughs> Lee said, do you want me to wax anything? Yeah. <laughs> well, Lee, Lee had, put away the wax. Lee hyped her <laughs> up. It's just a gap. Wow. I Look, this is when I... I guess like, I hope she lands it. Yeah. She wants one more. Oh my God. All right. All right, world on live stream. She's trying one more time. This is Laura Santos. Last trick, last try from Brazil. Check this out, the everyone crowd there. is going wild, wild. Pedro is right there next to the landing. <laughs> He's right in the landing. Oh, oh. dude. Oh, it's it's tall, man. It's tall. It's you need really a lot of tall. you need a lot of muscle to handle that. Yeah, it's not easy. It's a big That's impact. a risky trick, though. Props to her for trying, and she's waving to the crowd. They're giving her her flowers. I hope she's okay. Yeah, yeah. she seems to be okay. Yeah, she's all padded up, dude. She's good. So good. Julia from Poland. And we got to next. 2000. 2000. Oh yes, what? I remember the year 2000. <laughs> that was a great year. <laughs> that was shortly before we met, Matt. Yeah. That's when the Intuition Skate Shop started in 2000. That's when Coupe d'Etat and Brain Free Gone came out. But we're moving on. We're past 2000. We're headed to 5000 today. Well, you're still here. Your Intuition down Skate Shop is still here. the 2000 again. People so shared a link. Somebody shared a link or somebody got blocked. <laughs> so we've got Julia Komendo from Poland. She's representing Mesmer Skates. Let's see where she is. Okay. Is she going to do something on the rail, on the down rail? Miguel was checking. He's our investigator. He's not undercover, though, in that magenta jacket. <laughs> okay, we are on the Dam Skates box for Julia's yes. last trip. Julia Komenda from Poland. She's representing Mesmer and Hadon Skate. So she comes from back there. Yeah, she's looking to get some speed, Basti. I know. And then she will go to the damn box. Transfer oh! fish brain. Oh, dark side fish brain. That was nice. And that was first try, see? Yes. Oh, she wants an another one. Yeah, maybe a little too much of a roll. Maybe she wants more of the grind. She's rocking those white. Mesmer teams with some black soles on there. Uh, a Shima approved setup, you know? White <laughs> boots, black soles. Yeah. Very Shima esque. Shima esque. <laughs> He's standing right there. He's a fan of rollerblading, man. Look at him. Look at him looking at her. He's, he's he, filming. He, he's filming. He is filming. He pulled the phone out. He's a fan. Look, when you have. Of Julia. When you, when you have. Wow. Oh wow. my God. Crap. When you have. When ground. you have Brian Shima taking the phone out to film you, you need to land yeah, it. You need, you need to step it up, and she did. That was awesome. Can so you see Brian nice Shima happy. a little bit Julia, above? A little above? Julia Comenda. Yes. Julia Comenda. 
dark side fish brain with the grab, representing Mesmer Skates. A hey, very stylish, too. Very stylish. So, there's still Anna Julia. Okay, she's waiting up there. She's waiting up there. What could Anna Julia possibly have in store for us that he, she already hasn't shown us? I don't know. Keep an eye on this 14 year old Brazilian. Here she comes, going for the grindhouse launch box. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cork seven. Corkscrew 720. Corkscrew 720. She's treating like the grindhouse nothing. launch box like a mega ramp. Wow. Anna Julia, can you bring two more tricks, please? You got two wow. more. Wow. Oh, insane. That girl Anna Julia is insane. in fuego. Honestly, that was the best girl performance I have ever seen at Winter Clash. Yeah. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. And Ricardo's uh, been to a lot more Winter Clashes than I have. Wow. It's unreal. Anna Julia is, uh, is the corazón of Brazil, and uh, she is in fuego. Unreal. Unreal. I'm shocked. So next up, we're going to amateur men finals. Would you want yes. to skate now? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> Imagine! Wow. I mean, it's motivating, but at the same time, wow. Well, we're gonna have a lot of really good skaters now. Oh. So, in the next couple minutes, just so you guys on the live stream know what's coming up next, the next division is gonna be the amateur men's finals. So, there's gonna be a period of warm up. Uh, the ladies. The amateur women's will clear the course. The amateur men's will start to warm up. So it's going to be maybe, you know, 10, 15 minutes of uh, people getting the blood flowing, finding their lines, finding their tricks. This is a good time to share the link if you're at home. Everyone in the western part of the globe, the United States, East Coast, Midwest, and West Coast, slowly starting to start their day if you guys want to share the link. So when everybody opens their phone, the first thing they see is a reminder to watch the Winter Clash live stream. That would be awesome. And we can also take this moment to let you guys know that this Winter Clash 2024 live stream is proudly brought to you by Flying Eagle Skates. Echo Skates. City Legends. And Anton Frames. And you can find links to those companies in the description of this YouTube live stream channel. And also, we are today working together as Team Wheel Addict. Under the guidance of Ricardo Lino and his vision, we also have Janice, myself, The Mick from Intuition Skate Shop, Basti from Germany, and the Harry No Pro on the Steady Care. What if we bring oh. the people at home? What if we give them something? And we have on the floor Pedro from Portugal with yes. the camera on the course. Okay, and so let's give the people at home something. Let's give them give them something. something. Yeah, I'm going to give them something. What about giving them Jumbo? Okay, and see what those guys are up to? Let's see it. Okay. I just got here and everyone's gonna think I'm a dick. Okay, here we go. You know what's never considered? What if nobody says a goddamn word to me? That's silly. Oh, geez. Y'all think rollerbladers can do the curve wall? The curve wall? Yeah, is it you? No. Are you gonna get it? No. Okay. I wanna cause some chaos, some madness. That's not good, he seems to be. Huh? Yeah, he's good. Well, he's running away. All right, no worries. Everyone just walked away from him. Yeah, I know, it's because they know this is a trap. I'm mic'd up. They know. <laughs> I wish I had Caleb with me. I want Caleb with me. What is this for? The line. Uh, just to keep the uh, spectators out. This is where we. Get, this is where we get to kick it. I can kick it right here. No. Just here. Yeah. No crossing. Only chilling. <laughs> Partying behind the line only, man. <laughs> That's funny. How's it going? Let's go. How'd you get a can? 
Everyone has to drink it out of the fucking cup, so you got a because, can. Because they bought on the top next to the skateboard. Oh, shit, you're a bad boy. <laughs> Sneaking them in, baby. I love your Dumb by Pizza. I really huh? love your uh, Dumb by Pizza. Thank you, man. We're trying to do it. We're trying to make one, but, uh... Here? Yeah, yeah, I brought, I brought everything with me, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's also fucking loud. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Just having too much fun screwing around. Partying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know about it. You got you got the beers. Yeah, but I stayed at the morning a little bit. Huh? I stayed at the morning a little bit, but... Yeah. I skated for one minute, hit my fucking face, and took them right off. And forget this, I'm out. Yeah, so. Never skating in the Netherlands again. That's silly. Holy smokes. How long are you Until Sunday. And then we're going to Spain, where there's no ramps, just street. I'm never skating ramps again. Fuck yeah. Big one footers. I'm excited for all the hungry ass amateur people. <laughs> Ready to die. Huh? I'm here for a I'm here to just push it. Push it. Push it, man. I don't care. I have a concussion. I have blood loss. We're still partying. And we're not gonna stop. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm pushing. <laughs> Nobody knows I'm me, unless I'm next to Heath. You know what I mean? What's up, homies? Yo. My dog. Chillin'. Great seats you got. Yeah. You, you can wanna... see all the action. Yeah, I can tell. Well, we're, we're just, like giving the back a little rest. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, I don't think we have sat down since we got here. Standing Word. Hours. Well, I don't want to sit down. I get woozy when you I good? sit down, so I'm, I'm just going to party with y'all for a minute. Hell yeah. Missing the whole fucking thing. Should be filming this and I'm not. What's going on? Why not? Okay. Because I'm I'm hanging out with my dogs. Not being inconspicuous at all. Not wearing a wire. Not doing anything of the sort. I'm done. <laughs> I am wearing a wire, by the way. You gotta tell us. See? Good, that's that's the goal. What's up? Are you back flipping? Huh? Where, where are you crushing backies? Yeah, a couple. Shouldn't you be out and about doing yeah. the things? Yeah. You're competitive. I was. So oh, I also, nice, nice to see you for the first time in 10 years. Yeah, like, right? <laughs> just start talking shit. Yeah, I just realized that I didn't fucking pay to register. Oh, shit. I thought I had, like, signed up to register or to compete. And I got the email saying if you get this email, you're on the You have to actually give money. And I didn't know that you had to get it two hours before oh, the um, pay. Yeah, yeah. To, like you're here. Huh. Yeah. Well, I just went and checked the list on the wall. I was like. It's straight to drinking. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm getting a fucking beer. I didn't come over here to skate. I came to fucking party. Yeah, right? Where are y'all staying at? Um, the Holiday Inn. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's disgusting. Really? Yeah six people in one room we've taken the beds apart i slept on a box screen and oh, everyone smells yeah. bad yeah speaking yeah. of everyone smelling bad here they are <laughs> why what's wrong oh oh shit <laughs> wait I, I, I might be wearing a wire is it is it too gnarly Fuck yeah I'll front everyone else out. I ain't fronting this guy out. <laughs> Cause I really gotta take a shit. <laughs> no. Oh, you're doing a live stream. Um, oh my God, is this live on the internet? No. Oh, thank God. Uh -oh. oh, thank God. I was gonna say we really need to talk. I'm gonna fall the fuck I'm backwards, bro. I'm having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. actually. Okay, right now. No, no, no. no okay. No, Oh, it's go I, is it about is it about standard? No. Okay. We're having a party. We're gonna have this party. Look, if you wanna take hey. the microphone to the toilet, you can. Hey, I'm just letting y'all know we're gonna have a big old party soon in Texas. Y'all come through. Oh shit! Right. Is it is it the jumbo death trap? Oh. You just have to wait and see. We have an idea. I know what he's talking about. Go for it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna tell you. Ah. <laughs> Let's just see what he's talking about. Fuck it. Let's spoil it. I need to charge my phone. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we 
we were sorry, put my phone in. I, mean, I don't even I haven't even seen my skates in six hours. Let's just talk about it. What is it? If it's if it's terrible, Lino won't post it. Oh, it's alright, well I can't I can't get it out of him. He won't tell It must be real saucy. Man, y'all have your own freaking private uh, bartender back there. Yeah, Must be nice to be here. the boss, dude. They got us waiting in long lines. Lino's back there living like a king. You want to go to the he has his own assistant. I'll go behind you. This is the most professional competition I've ever seen. Hey, will you guys uh, will you guys go to the thing with me? Because I need venture help. Yes. This is fun. Can I get another beer? <laughs> it's called Banter Hill. What? It's beer. I'll go get some more beer. I'm going. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go grab a beer. Oh, in the back? There's beer right there. We're going to the back. What? No, there's beer over there. There's literally a beer. Shh. It's private. Nobody knows. It's Lino's own personal bartender. <laughs> we don't have to. Yeah, let's go fucking party forever. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turns out I do. You gotta hit it with the Scooby Doo, and you're all like this. You're all. <laughs> Yeah, I was over here and somebody. Dude, my athletes are bleeding. I was my like toes. super mad. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, there's no like, why do I keep having to go all the way over there for beer?" And they were like, "There's a beer station." Oh, there's right one outside there. downstairs. Yeah, too. and there's a whole other food truck. You know what? I told you I, I have that fucking clip I do tomorrow. And he goes, "Bro, you look fucking fake for this shit." I go, "I'm gonna launch up this <laughs> and then zero back out." <laughs> it's the only thing we're gonna get tomorrow. That's like, good. I'm bringing my skates to the end. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm still my. Look at Leo, he's, 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 he's sniping. Oh, I have a cup. Hold on, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Cuppy time, boy. Hey, you know what goes good with brain damage? Fucking drinking a beer. She's not gonna remember anything either way. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have a beer. You know what? You first. He does more. You do more work. No, 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 no. We're not doing shit right now. <laughs> but thank you. You do good work. This is a good opportunity to look up some dirty words in Dutch and tell Michaela make it seem like it's pleasing. Thank you. And just have a fucking oh. beer. So. Are you listening, Ricardo? Yes, he is. <laughs> Does anyone, yeah, what's a dirty word? Uh, I mean, uh, what's. Yeah, what's a bad word in Dutch when you make Caleb say, make anything he's being po polite? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go purposely say it to somebody, you know? Say what? Say thank you, but the word for thank you in Dutch is like, you know, like the word for pussy what or whatever. <laughs>
And we are back. We are back. We are back here. The Hello Winter again. Clash 2024. Amateur men's final warm-ups are underway in about a minute. We're going to start with the first heat. And that first heat is going to have from Spain. Victor Medrano. From Italy. Francesco Fama. Fama. From, Brazil, uh, from Belgium. Ah, uh, that I live for him. Jill Brulens. And? Fabio Matti from the Great Britain. Yeah, so we've got, looks like, four heats for the amateur men's final. And the skating so far today, especially with the <laughs> the amateur ladies or the amateur women's, was unbelievable. Wow. The girl from uh, Brazil. Anna Julia. Anna Julia was completely on fire. So <laughs> She annihilated everyone. Yeah, the amateur men's have like a lot to prove right now, to be honest. Yeah, but I, I can see already there like from Brazil, Leo is already killing it. Yes. There like, is it's a just lot really of talent in this final. Yes. I, I'm curious to see. Special shout out to my German skaters in the final, Lucas, Gino, and Michael. Yeah, Michael Muller. Yes, yeah. all all three from South Germany. Um, all gonna kill it today. Yeah, we've got Believe competitors me. from Spain, Italy, Belgium, Great Britain, Germany, France, Switzerland, Latvia, Japan, Poland. Wow, this is a very international Brazil. division here. Yes, Brazil is representing strong. Yes, yes. So we've got Miguel. Big the country. voice on the course, back with his magenta jacket. We had someone that got hurt at the beginning of the training. I don't know who that was. Yeah, that's someone, okay. someone had a fall, but it's it's not going to be part of this. So it's they were they were able to walk off under their own power. They just had some attention from the medic. So it's all good. It happens. Falls are part of the contest. With with such risky skating, like that front flip up the grindhouse launch box. Oh, wow. Back nuking up, backside UFO down the firecracker rail. That was Noboru Katayama from Japan. Rocking those bubblegum pink base them skates. All right. So Leonardo Noburu. from Brazil. Oh, wow. Noboru wow. just uh, up, and down, the up, and down. up and down on the firecracker. Yeah, pull, pull, it's like pull jam the firecracker. Like up and down. Up the back and over and down. Yeah. <laughs> So fun. Some of these obstacles that these guys make look like a walk in the park are not that. Oh, oh. switching it up. Take that up. Oh, yes. That was nice. I like it. This oh, we haven't yeah. shown that much that angle. We got it here. This one here in the purple helmet, that's uh, Fabian, Fabian. Uh, Maite. Yes. Yes. He, he won, won juniors last year. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's why he advanced to the amateurs. So now. the kid right there in the purple helmet on the local box, he won juniors last year, so he's moved up to the amateur. That's the so. ladder of progression to get to pros here in what, the Winter Clash. What's your guess? Do we see him in the pros next year? Well, today he's going to have play a big part in that. And back there we see another competitor for the amateur finals Gino Dangers originally from France but living in Germany for a long time now Gino is also the organizer of the Ulm City Blake Jam that's happening later this year <laughs> we have Chavo <laughs> we have Chavo in LA asking how much is beer it's uh, two euros or two tokens it's two so tokens. everything here the winter clash has its own economy so you have these little uh, blue tokens that you pay for with money and then you pay for everything here, your food, your drinks, you pay for everything with these tokens. And it takes uh, 1.75 euros for one token and the beers are two tokens. Yeah, and we, we have a cup, there was like, oh, yesterday, right, yesterday, Clash cup too. yesterday wait, there was two bars that we had a bar behind us here and another bar on the other side. Yeah, and, and a bar outside downstairs. Yes, three and bars. today, very interesting, today for the first time, the after party is going to happen in the same building. Apparently, there's the basement. Yeah, downstairs. Yes. Where so the, the after yeah. clash, a.k.a. the backlash, is going to happen <laughs> after 11.30 when all the pro contests and all the prize money has been given away in the basement here at Area 51. That's never been done before. They've got a new venue here. We got people in Brazil shouting out for Band 10, yes. which is Leonardo participating in the final in amateurs. He he has high chances, in my opinion, yep. but he's going to be playing against 
some of the best too. So. Yeah. So we got four heats. Each heat has four or five competitors. So we got 16 skaters to get through. Wait, uh, should people be sharing with their friends the link or what? Because we're going low on views. Yeah, we're, it's going to pop back up. <laughs> Some people might have had to ch charge their phone or they went into a tunnel or they had to call and talk to their girlfriend. Say, babe, I need to watch my friends blading. <laughs> Don't you blade all the time? Yeah, but this is the winter clash. She doesn't understand. And then you tell her it's the Super Bowl of blading. And then she's like, oh, okay, I get it. Is Usher going to be there? So okay, check this out. We got Matt Mickey for present 2024. That's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I'll gladly roll into the Oval Office and put some coping everywhere. <laughs> and wax what, it what too. You, what you going to do to the guys that make the skate soppers? Oh, dude, they're fired. Cleaning toilets they're or what? They're deported. <laughs> they're going away. Well, wasn't there a, a presidential campaign for you already back in the day? Yeah, but that <laughs> was, I was just clowning around then. So, who are you rooting for? Oh, man. To, to be honest with you, I like the kid uh, Fabian Maite in the first heat. He's got the shaggy hair and the purple helmet. He's right there. Lino, who are you rooting for? Here? In this heat. We heat just go heat one. by heat. Man, let me see in this heat. Let me see, let me see. And it's going to be either Fabian or Francesco. But it's like, who am I to say this? Like, all of them are going to kill it. I've seen Gilles skating so yeah, good. I, I so go with Gilles. I, I, I know Francesco of, I know about Francesco being an amazing street skater. They killed the spot in my hometown. So, yeah, oh. maybe that's why I'm a bit biased. But Fabian killed like last year. He was a winner of the junior competition. So there's other people here. Who are you rooting for, Harry? Banana. Harry is rooting for banana. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? Bananas. Harry Who's is your like favorite King now? Kong. Uh, Zeals over there. Yeah, Jills. Yeah, you're on my team. I'm team Jills too. <laughs> Where are you from? Are you from from? Okay. Reese, what's your name? Eleni. Nice to meet you, Eleni. Eleni, <laughs> say hello to the world. They're watching There's, from you're, you're all in over the way. The place. You're in the way. <laughs> there she is, cheering for a friend. Yes, Gilles. We have Peter right there next to the guys, yeah, of course. I like Fabian in the purple helmet. I like the kid in the purple helmet. The He's guy in the cool. white helmet. I like them all. You like yeah. them all? <laughs> we, we, we Did you like say them you like them all or you like them bald? Because, <laughs> Ricardo, we like I'm, you bald also. I, yeah, yeah, I, yes. I'm bald. I don't need yes. more, we don't need more bald yes. men in the house. One is enough. All right. Okay, here comes oh, Fabian. Fabian. He's coming up. He's coming up to just get the... Uh, oh, just to start, huh? To start. And guess who else is up there with him? That's Victor. Ooh. In the white shirt and the long yeah, hair. I see it. I see it. Representing Rollerblade Blank. Victor Medrano from yes. Spain. Yes. Victor Medrano de España. España. Heat number one, amateur men's finals. These guys know what they're doing. They know their way around the course. So look Heads at up. the rail because Jill's go 270 back, back, back slide. Backside. That was Jill's Buelens in yes. the orange skates. Yes. True spin front side. That was Francesco Fama. With the plaid shirt, Francesco, Ali of Top Nice, Ali of Top Soul. I told you he's a street skater, huh? And Fabian's still up Victor. there. Oh, we don't know, we don't make twist. Chris Evans. Switch to a back to Oh, wow. Right into wow. true back Savannah on the ribcage firecracker rail. So, we're still waiting for Fabian. There's Fabian Jills. is. There's Jill. Look, okay. Fabian, Fabian is doing what I would do. Watch, it's like he's, he's waiting, he's going he's for playing, it. He's playing coy. Oh! Oh, my wow. fakey bio. We God. call that a pancake, a fakey bio. Shifty air in. Fabian is so casual with his style. It's like he's not even trying. He might even be yawning out there. Oh, He reminds me of Bobby somehow. I know he loves Bobby skating, but he reminds me of Bobby. Oh, my. On the rail, that was Victor. And now look at the oh, rail. Oh, fakey wow. 360, two minutes 360 out. Francesco Fama in the plaid shirt. Jills. Nice, Francesco. Chills with a huge mute with transfer, the transfer over the channel. Jills chills. He's <laughs> J chilling. Or he's G chilling. G chilling. G chilling. G chilling. I want to see we more got from Fabian. Fabian, Fabian. Top, top soul. soul. 
Nice and easy with the Francesco Steezy. Francesco going up the FR box. Aliou top. Sunny. We got Victor. And on the rail. Aliou oh, top soul. Aliou top soul. Francesco Fama. Winning so over Gilles. Oh, Gills with a wall right there, huh? Backslide. 900 here on the spine, right next to us. Wrapped. Backslide. Who was. Yeah, grabs backslide. That was uh, Gills. Across and down. Come Gilles on. again. You cannot call it a grab backslide next to this guy. Right by, right by this guy. You cannot call it a grab backslide. Yes, <laughs> it has to be. I know. That's like for, at least for you. Like I don't <laughs> care, dude. There goes Fabian Topsol up the shotgun and the up pistol the rail. The house box. One eighty. Was he coming? Eighty three sixty. And Drop back it down. back in. You got gills. Yeah, here comes Victor. Alley up top pass. Shields up Whoa, the Gilles rail. All the way up. Backside full torque. Shields Blaylands oh, all the way up the rail. Oh, back, backslide on the firecracker. Hey, Francesca, so close. Francesco. Ah, <laughs> yes. Francesco, <laughs> so close. Oh. Merci. Shields is coming. Did it just get chilly in here? Because it's a little cold. It is. Yes. Someone open the, the door. Oh, look at that. Shifty shuffle. Oh, oh wow. full cap KG. Oh, oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. Oh. Victor Medrano. Oh. He's okay. To He's okay. He's passing. okay. Straight to the elbow. He's he okay. Elbow. I think he landed with his elbow in his ribs. Everyone's wow. cheering for him to give him that energy. He's back up on his feet. We got Francesco with. Oh, wow. with the unity to front torque. Whatever that was, it ended in front torque. It was a, yeah, it was a, uh, yeah, that thing, no, whatever that was. <laughs> Here comes Jills. Backside, Backside UFO. Carving with some speed. I like Jills. Um, Here comes Fabian. I like Jills' trick selection a lot. The Fabian way he's coming in stock well, Fabian. Fakie 360, huh? Wow. Oh. Going for the rail. Victor wanted the 900 is over he, the spine. Is he, okay? is he okay? It's hard to do after yeah. a rib fall. Fabian on the firecracker. Oh. Oh. Ouch. And, oh my god. Wow. Jill crashing into Marco. Marco. Yes. Heads up on the cameras, man. Come on. You wow. got to watch out, bro. But now you... you it gets more hectic on the court. People are gaining more speed. And Fabian doesn't seem to be that doing no. that good. Yeah, he grabbed his he's grabbing his butt. He got he got a Charlie horse on that firecracker rail. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I think the, the cameraman horse, man. spooked him. Man, a poor kid. He was skating so, so good. Could he you got a, I think he got a dead leg. Could you please fill me in what was wrong with the grab backslide? Let's see what's happening. Who's coming? His last tricks now? Yeah, so yes. everyone is gonna in this heat gets a last trick in the finals. It's a winter clash tradition. At the end of your heat, if you made it to the finals, you get one last trick and you can take three tries. If you land your last trick first try, you are immediately a legend. And everyone throws drink and food tokens at you. <laughs> so we're starting with Victor from Spain. Victor Medrano, this guy took a hard fall on that true spin acid all yeah. the way down to his elbow but and ribs. I, I, I think he's I'm going for it again. I'm assuming he's trying it again. Yeah, the true acid is no joke. Basti, it's like the hardest true spin because it's yeah. blind and your feet are crossed. Yeah. Way harder than a true Mark Hill. Way harder than a true spin porn star. Okay, he's coming. Victor is coming to it again. Easy. Yes. Wow. Wow. He true did it. Easy. Out. And that was Easy. perfect. Victor and see? From Spain representing First Rollerblade. try. He earned it. I would, what a way to end his heat. That was yeah, after awesome. that fall. Oh yeah, he Come came on. back. That was a strong comeback. Is he up for another one, or are we with Francesco now? I see. It should be Francesco now, huh? It what? should be Francesco. Oh, Francesco's going oh. up the grindhouse box. Okay, so Francesco Ooh. and he's put, putting his helmet back on. Okay. All the he's camera going guys, for the gap. Gapping somewhere. Camera guys are scrambling like uh, birds if someone's leaving breadcrumbs. I told you, he's to the street snack. skater. He's the street skater. Let's see what he gets. He's going to find something to grind or gap, huh? So this is Francesco. Or Fama gap to flat. From Italy, representing Rossi's. Yep. His, his last trick. 
Told you, he went to my hometown. Oi, oi. Oh, oh my oh god. My god. Kind of going to gap into the transition. Wow. <laughs> that's not a street skating trick, but that's no. good too. Starting off with the grind and then landing in a ramp. Wow. You have to jump out to get to that quarter pipe. This is pretty dangerous. It's insane. Yeah. There's no one in line behind him to try this trick. There you go. Okay, so he's he's got two more tries. But he, he was really close there. Let's Maybe see. a little bit more speed. We got Peter right there. Let's see. Oh, there that's a good angle. That's a great angle. So he's going to go along the deck up the quarter pipe and turn around and maybe get that kind grind. Cap in. Oh, oh my God. So close. Third time's a charm. Yeah, if he wants it. He was so close. Wow. Francesco. Miguel. We got Miguel. Miguel's like, Miguel's go. Like, you got this, man. <laughs> wow, that's insane. That's completely insane. Yes. You know, if you're wearing a bright magenta jacket, you will never get kidnapped because you're too bright. <laughs> we cannot hide this man. Miguel is safe. <laughs> Miguel has been marked safe at the winter class. So, next try. Francesco Fama. It has to be this try, Basti. Yep. Yes. I'm with him. Ricardo. It's yes. on. Oh, no. Ooh. He missed the lock on. No fourth. Got try. so close. So we are next. Oh, they want they want him to do one more. Oh, they one want more him try. to do one more. One more try. One more try. One more try. One more try podcast shout out. I thought they said give me more fries. But in in the Netherlands fries are pommes frites. Pommes frites. Yes. Okay, we got Francesco going for the last try. And they put mayonnaise on their fries over here. <laughs> Francesco, this is the bonus. This is the plus one. Harry, don't shake your head at me. Here we go. Let's see it. Grind, grind. Oh, my oh. God. He's going for 60 in Now there. this guy's like, this is too much. Wow. That's insane. That's completely insane. It's for people at home, they might not understand the size of that. I don't know if they can get it or not, but like... Yeah, it's pretty big. So we are up next with Gilles. our friend Jill. Jill's Boylens from Belgium. He's wearing the orange weekend and the white shirt. He's how do you say this? Is it Boylens or Boylo? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, Bo it Matt, Matt is really right on this. Jill's 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 Boylens. Yeah. Oh, there's Julian Cudeau with the Kudos. Oh, no. He has been, <laughs> there's, there's he's been absorbed into his own squad. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> oh, we got the, look at it, look at what we got there. Julian Cudeau with the Kudos. Oh, oh he's getting the medal. He's getting the medal. <laughs> he won everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, look at us, look at us, look at us. It goes Jills. They're waiting. <laughs> I mean. Julian Goat. Okay, go. look, at, look at Julian there. Julian again. had the moment. He's even got the cigarette, huh? <laughs> yes, man. Julian. I wonder if they're all wearing old Solomons. <laughs> Probably not. He will take the Solomons but off their feet and say, you, I need these you, for my career. Do there's not realize? enough Solomons out there for all those guys. No, <laughs> but they got their... We go with Jills on the rail. They got their flaggy baguettes. I call front torque. Jills yes. on the rail? This yes. guy is going hard, huh? He's I call front torque. We got the best angle here. Let's see it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> 270 back, back, back slide, slide to sweat, sweat dance, dance. AKA the Do You Know Yuto. Do You Know Yuto. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I would say the Lomax. It's the Lomax. The Lomax. Okay. Lomax. Do you know? Remember, Lick, Lick I am YTA Amsterdam. Yes, to acid, to soul, and to sweat dance. Okay. There. You gotta put respect where it's due, respect right? Respect on his name. Jill. We call it the Lomax. Jill, Jill, Jill. Or Jill. the Uto. Both made Jill. it look good. Now Jill's is gonna make Jill's it his. Jill's making, making it look better. Ooh. Oh my God. It's close. This it's close. So gotta do it. Third so try. That's third it. Two times the time. 270 backside backslide, continue spinning to sweat stance. Not he is doing even spinning. He's like sliding. Floating, yes. He's floating. Floating is a bad Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, like, the way he's doing it is like, it's like 
the, the backslide is too easy. <laughs> yeah. That was his opener trick, 270 back backslide yeah, the whole rail. he did 270 back backslide the whole rail, so he knows he's got that. He already laced that. Yeah. And that was phenomenal. And I told you, he has the best sweat sense in the building. <laughs> well, if he clicks them both together... Let's see it. That's going to be one heck of an ender. That's it. We got, we got the camera right there. Yes! 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 That was beautiful. This is the magic of the Winter Clash. Last try, third try, and the crowd goes insane. Wow. Well done. It feels wow. like... And it. also, I told you before, Jill is part of the Volunteers team. He helps all week to make this happen here. And now he comes advanced to the finals and skates like this. Wow. Respect. Up. A volunteer up. killing it on the finals. Pick up Jills. So we still have Fabian Matisse. So we're moving on to heat number two. No, we still have Fa oh, Fabian is not Fabian, skating anymore. He hurt his, oh, okay. his hind quarters. Yeah. Oh. He got a dead leg. It was bad. Too bad. Yeah, that's if you tap that hip just right. Okay, so. so I see Leo Fumari. Okay, so Fabian is not going to make no. it. Uh, not Leo. Uh, Fabian is not doing it. He's not doing his last trick. So we're uh, moving Lucas. on to heat number two. Lucas. Okay. Lucas is in the gray sweater. In the gray sweater. This yes. One. And Leo Fumari is in the. Lucas is the guy. Oh, that do we have someone? The, the transfer over the Grandos box red to the bowl yesterday. We got Pedro there on the course camera. Yep, Miguel's down there explaining to the riders from Amateur Finals Heat number two how the contest format works. It's essentially a five-minute jam session, which means all four competitors share the course at the same time. They're not going for 60-second runs individually. And the concept of the jam session is you feed off of each other's energy. If you see a fellow competitor lace a sick trick, you're going to want to step your amplitude up as well. And it's great for the crowd. It's a little bit tough for the judges, but when there's only four, there's Leo Fumari. He's skating with uh, Roman Abrat. Look, I've seen him doing a surreal fake. He missed the out. So, are we going to see it today? I don't know. So, Nico on the, Nico blue, the helmet. blue helmet. But keep your eyes on Lucas. He's also Team Old Solomon, so you know every great. You're being a bit biased with the Germans, Basti. Yeah, just saying. Like Basti's <laughs> my favorites. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to cheer for everyone from California. I, There's no one from California in this yeah, division. So let me cheer for my boys. Cheer for your boys. For some reason, we lost the robot camera. Yeah, it's out. I can see it from here. It's no problem. We're going to fix it after. Yes. We have time. It's not plugged in? No. It, uh, it should be. It should be, but we, uh, I'm, I'm going to go over and check real okay. quick. We'll get that robot camera back after the amateur finals. We still got hers here. Yes. <laughs> and we still got, technically, we still got three cameras. Yes. We good. We good. We got you covered worldwide. Tuner inners of the Winter Clash live stream, fret not. <laughs> oh, there's a drone on the course. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the drone. And it's not Julian Cudo oh. flying. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on. Here goes Leo, Leo Fumari. Leo Fumari. 900. 900 up. Fakey Bio 540. 360. Oh. Told you. Yeah. A and little mini. Roman Abrat. Oh, wow. 720. 720. So that was uh, Xavier. Xavier. 548. Wow, these yeah. guys are hucking it. We still have Lucas and Nico. Nico, wow. Topside mistrial. Uh, Nico dropped the topside mistrial on the pistol rail. That was a first time trick. Yeah. And now we have Lucas. It's literally like a shovel handle up there, and he just top mistrial that steep wow. ass rail. Wow, Nico is transferring over the rail. Lucas. 
jumps up okay. to the right. Transfers to the other rail. Backside in. And then we had a sick trick right there. And Lil from Fumri on the spine ramps. Can't really see it. That's good. 270 back royal. Okay, oh. he grinded up. Yeah, uh -oh. grinded up the rail in the spine section. Wow. Flat spin 540, Leo Fumari. There he is. Nico, oh, wow. Nico Topsol. Top Lucas is coming full speed. Back Savannah. That was a and nice a back, back slide. Lucas in the gray sweater pack. and the black helmet. Super oh, that front jog. I wow. You. you saw the front door from Leo Fumri on the Roaches box? That yeah. was amazing. On the very top? Yes. So beautiful. Leo Fumri with that front door. And Nico coming. 270 back, backslide to back unity. Oh, oh, too bad. So Leo Fumri in the white shirt. Oh, we got a, the angle from the, the rail. We got the, the FR. Helmet. Lucas coming, back rail up. Back fast slide. Ali and a back a Savannah. On the rail, that's Leo Fumari. He's training in France with Romana Brat. So he's learning. He's the understudy of Romana Brat. Oh, look at someone looking at the rail. Nico. From Nico. Oh. 360 unity from. Flat spin 540 from Nico, all the way from Great Britain. Oh, oh gap oh. over the rail. Oh, wow. my. Wow, danger. Danger. Zero back, back royale from Lucas. No, fakey seven from the top. No. Leo. Yes. Fakey seven front torque. Fakey seven from the top. It On did the fake rail? From the grindhouse box to the quarter pipe. Oh, wow. Lucas, Lucas wants one more of something. Yeah. He's going up top. He's going to probably try. There's Leo Fumari on the rail. Here comes Nico, all black, blue helmet. That's Nico. Soy out to forward. Up. And oh, I think it was about to hit the firecracker. Okay, look at Lucas. Lucas is coming. Dropping in with some speed. Gray sweater. This is Lucas. Look at him. Up. Whoa. Oh. Oh. On the top of the grindhouse. There's nothing behind that grindhouse wall but a 20 foot drop and a whole lot of stretched teeth. Aliou Bex, that's Nico in the blue helmet. And a shout out to Tor Torin Martinez. Thank you for your donation. Top soul, Leo Fumari. Xavier, up the rail, backside 540 out. So Lucas is up again on the big local box. Yeah, look at him, he's going towards the grindhouse. Blue launch box, keep an eye on the gray sweater there. Top, Top soul, stall. Yapping in. It was Nico on the... It was the first time the trick too, huh? Firecracker rail. Yeah, I don't think anyone's done a stall on that grindhouse wall. No. And I haven't seen someone before grinding that. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it looks like a broom handle. It's... it's what is it? It looks like a broom handle, the rail on the top of the loco red bone. Oh, Levy was using it yesterday. Levy Van Rien was really? using it, yes. Grinding it up at 360 hours and Nico stuff. Nico did too. Did you see? Yeah, the top, top mission. Top and top, top pole too. So we got last try. And Lucas everybody gets first. one trick. Yep, going in the order. Lucas Landfeller. I think he's going to do the transfer again. On the rail, on the grindhouse box. Something's going on in the bowl, so make sure Pedro gets it. Something's going on in the bowl. That's for Lucas' last trick. Ah, uh, Lucas is going to the bowl. Yeah. Where's Pedro? Yeah, check on Where? the Pedro cam. Oh yeah, he's there. He's right there. Ricardo, check on the Pedro cam. There's a trick going over into the bowl. Okay. There's going to be a transfer from the course into the bowl. Uh, Miguel had everyone clear out of stop skating in the okay, bowl. Yeah, we got the camera right there. We're waiting on Lucas? Yes. Yeah. It's Lucas Landtaler from Germany, his last trick.
So we're going to see what it's happens. It's a soul to bowl, as Eric Ken is saying. No, it's soul to bowl. Oh, he's going to top soul. Oh, he's, look, it's on. Here we go. Oh, it's a front savannah. Front, wow. front savannah. <laughs> or alley of unity. Oh. All the way across <laughs> the grindhouse rail into the bowl, huh? Can you, can you imagine? Look at Lee's there. Do you need wax? Do you need wax? Lee's like, hey, man, I got yeah. wax. If you need wax, you let me know. I, I got a guy. This is sick. This is insane. This is someone sick. is Someone is flying a drone in low proximity to the ceiling. I feel like that drone's going to get clipped in the pro comp, especially over the spine section with dudes like Julian Cudeau and Pedro. Joe Atkinson. Pedro's got that angle. Pedro got the angle, and the, the guy that is doing the Winner Flash After movie has the perfect angle. Yeah. Lucas, Lucas. Here goes Lucas Landaller. Second try, last trick. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Did you uh, see this? He did it so nice. So, dude. Here's what's interesting. That rail has got to be about 30 feet long, 10 meters long. Unreal. You have Look to that. launch. Un He's going to do it again. To it. And oh. then he gapped into the bowl. Unreal. I can't believe that. Wow. That was Look at that. totally unexpected. The creative. Do they want to do it? Do they want them to do it again? Did it not land it perfect or something? I'm not sure. We don't know. We are. We needed Pedro to Pedro get. Pedro stay, or he's doing a, another trick, huh? Oh no! Uh, no, it's good. Lucas We're going. Done. Lucas is Leo done. Fumari. Leo Fumari. So he's got the black helmet, the white shirt, and the white USD aons. Leo is skating with, studying under training with. Romana Brat. So here comes Leo Fumari. Look, I can see a grind flip out, or I can see a fakey misty down. I'm okay. just saying. It. Okay, he's entirely capable. His flip game is on fleek. I told you. Oh, <laughs> fakey bio 540. Thank you so much. I told you. Fakey bio 540 from Leo Fumari. First, First try. And you know wow. he barely cleared that coping. Wow. He made that just with a dime to spare. Oh, wow. 10, 10 cent euro to spare. He was so close to clipping the coping, but he made it. He, that was so great. Is he going to do it again? No, I don't think so. Thank you, Pio 540. Okay. Flawless. Okay, so who do we have now? Last one? Xavier, Xavier Sanchez. And Nico. Javier. 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 Javier Michael Ganzuna Sanchez from Spain. He's waxing, waxing. something. <laughs> What's with these rollerbladers and all their waxing, man? Did they come here to grind the whole pole? Oh, do I see a transfer or what? Oh, he was the guy is he going from, from the, the grindhouse rail to the down FR rail. Well, if he's not, someone will. I can assure yeah, you that it's entirely possible. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I was expecting someone drop coming out of the pole to the rail that Lucas just did. I didn't see him go the other way. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't expect the Savannah as a, a full no. of Ali, you kidding, whatever. Yeah. Whatever so you want to go. To like, go that far, that I wouldn't the expect grind. the cross legs yeah. grind to the ball. Maybe a Royale or something, huh? <laughs> or front side. He did the soul grind in the prelims and then. Okay, what's happening? Let's see. Look at that. Step up the game. Yeah, we got Pedro over there. There you have your red. Okay, it's, it's happening. Yeah. Wow. So this now is. Now it's clear. Uh, Javier, how do you say it? Eh, Javier. 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 Javier Sanchez. Sanchez. That's an easy one. Yeah, Come on. It looks like Xavier, <laughs> but it's Javier. Javier Sanchez. The X is silent. Ha, ha, ha. Javier Sanchez representing Spain. All the way from España. He's got that. That eye for the transfer. Oh. oh, it's right there. So he's transferring to back Royale. So he has to go out, but not so far out. I think he wants to stay in or on top of the rail yeah, a little it's bit scary, more. Huh? Yes. Because like the way that he's landing is if he if he stays to stay in, it's a taller rail. You yes. Know? Yes. He can do it. Yeah, he's locked on both sides. He, 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 he did the hardest part. I mean. Yeah, the hardest part is that first jump. Yeah. That first jump to test that. He didn't hesitate. He didn't. Oh no! Miguel 
is hyping up the crowd. Here goes Javier. Top, Top soul. soul. Backside, yes. Oh, come on, that counts. That he counts to away. me. He rolled that, away. That counts to me. It may have not been a Royale, but it was a grind to grind. So okay, we still okay. have Nico. Okay, no, 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 no. Miguel's giving him another chance. Come on, look at that. What does the side say over there? 10, 10, One 10. more! <laughs> They're giving him a perfect 10. You know, Winter Clash. Yeah, in the spirit of rollerblading and in the spirit of Winter Class, the one more try card. Crowd's choice. Yes, yes. Dealer's choice, so to speak. <laughs> but I think they won't count it in the judges. Oh, if you it see, on the he's got it. Try. That's it. Yeah. Because the further out you go, the farther down you drop and the shorter the rail gets. So, props. Yes, Javier. Okay. Is that so Nico, Solomon. Nico Solomon. From Great Britain. He's got that blue helmet. Okay, what's happening? He's oh. right here by the Rossi's box. He wants that Rossi's box. And we've got Harry No Pro on the angle. And we also got Pedro right there. Yeah, you see how it's got two copings on it? Yes. And it's angled. And on the other side of the slope is a transition. So if you miss your grind, you're sliding. Yeah. But if you lock it on, there's a lot of glory to be had. It's 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 a rail, but when you miss it doesn't it's not a rail. If that right. makes sense. Right. Oh wow. wow, that was beautiful. A squatted low was... stylish backslide with the grab on the top coping. That was that really box, beautiful. All the way to drop, all the way to flat. That's a long way down, Ricardo. Let's see. So we got Harry and we've got Pedro. We got two angles. And he's got Nico Solomon has two more tries. That's it. So he's coming in. Oh! Nah, uh, that was a little bit far side. Yep. He might have let go of the grab a little early, but as we saw from his first try, we know he can get this. Of one hundred percent, you yes. can see it right yes. away. Yes, absolutely. Oh, we're okay. ready, Miguel. That's the one. The Let's see. Behind it. him, Nico Solomon dropping in. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we're moving on to the third heat. Okay, we got one more with Nico. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh, so close. Yeah, he was already in motion. He wanted it so bad, Ricardo. I think he's maybe tired. Yeah. It's a lot of skating and a lot of hard tricks. Hey, Harry. Nice socks. You got half asking, what's the best looking skate that came out this weekend? <laughs> I would say those, those standard Omnis are probably the cleanest looking, classic looking aggressive skates released this weekend. That's what I would go with. Which one? Sorry. The standard Omni. Yeah. It's just so clean. Is it the white, the black? What is it for you? I like the white with the black stripe. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Just so clean. And detail, attentive, and classic. Right they, look, the they do look really nice. And they feel great. I tested them yesterday. Lenny Jordan, blue helmet. Leon. Ah, yes, blue shirt, steel blue shirt.
Okay. So we got heat number three underway. Gino Dangers, Liam Gratwal, Walters Grasmanis, and Lenny Jorda. So we got four competitors. We're looking at Germany, Switzerland, Latvia, and France. And we got 2,164 people, 64 people watching us. Yeah, that's a start. We can do better than that. We Come can. on, world. When America wakes up. Oh, look at our in. judges right there. We can yes. see our judges. Yes. Winter Clash is ready, Miguel. Lenny Jorda. Oh, wow. 720. 360 in. Oh, Lenny Jorda. Flatsman 540. Royale on the firecracker. Oh, there's some Parallel speed in there. 540 was Gino Dangers. Oh, my oh gosh. Misty 900 up the grind 900 box. 900 and Bile 540 down. Wow. That's Falters. Grasmanis from Latvia in the white helmet throwing those flips. With the Misty down, huh? And they did the Misty. Wow. Look at that. It's coming. It's coming. Ooh. Check that. It's coming back. Dark side, true top point. Check, right check the grindhouse box. Lenny. Oh. That was Bio so 540 close. Into the transition. That's Walters Grasmanis there in the white helmet. Here we go. Lenny. Yes. No, no. That's Liam. Oh, that's Liam. Representing You're right. House. You are right. Fakey Soul 180. That was Lenny Jorda. Yes. We got Gino Dangers on top of the... He's going he's gonna to go to the Soul Rhinos grind. box. Here comes Gino Dangers in the orange skates and the yellow shirt. 540 up. Coming in Stockwell. Zero spin. Check the landing and a fakey 360 on the flat ground. Super smooth landings there. Gino is stylish. Gino Dangerous, man. Imagine if that guy was like a, a private investigator or a superhero <laughs> in a movie. Gino. Dangerous. Gino Dangerous. It's my last name. Oh, 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 my God. Good God. So close. That's the thing, man. It's like that's the, the part that scares me about this. Yeah. There's only four people out there, but sometimes there's a near collision. They're all angry. Here comes Liam representing Rolling Rock Skate Shop. Negative Machio on the Rossi's box. That was Liam from coming Switzerland. Back. He's coming back. Oh, he's got that flow going, Ricardo. Oh, back, back fast. fast that was beautiful. Yeah, he's rocking some icon skates, it looks like. Lenny Jorda working the spine section right below us here. Oh, and Gino with the full cap. Oh, that was really close to the corner. Gino, full cap true top port? Yes, full Gino cap TDP. is living dangerously. Gino dangers. Oh, he's coming back. Look at Gino. Yeah, he wants more, man. He's not done. Here comes Liam. Just going across for some speed. Oh, up the rail, back Royale. Coming Turning down. around. Coming to the USD box. Soul, 180 out, all the way to flat. That was and we clean. got Gino. Gino Dangers. Oh, so close. He's locking on solid, just yeah. rolling He's away. Just, he just needs to stay more on the outside, which is not the easiest. No way. 270 back, backslide oh, right there. Oh, that was close. Walters Grasmanis also had the, almost had the rail checking on his Grasmanis. <laughs> Unity to Fishbrain, Lenny Jorda, Royale to Fakey. Lenny's all over the place. 360 Soul from Walters on that FR box. Let's see. Oh, well, here we go. Gino Dangers. Gino Dangers. Oh, close. So he would have been topside for sure on that one. 360 True Top Soul from Liam. Dark side, sunny day. Oh, and zero. Gino with a zero royale. Yeah, and then zero backflip from Lenny Jorda. Wow. Lenny. What a cool name, man. They call me Lenny. All right. So per Winter Glass tradition, if you're in the finals, at the end of the finals, uh, get Ricardo. Here, check it. 
Ja. Yeah, we need to bring the... the... Where's the thing? He's in the charging. Let's bring the charger. We need another charger. Let's charge it. So we're going to have last tricks for heat number three. It's going to be starting with Gino Dangers. If you remember, he's got the bright orange weekend M skates and the mustard yellow shirt. So you get last try. You can land it first try, but you get up to three attempts. This is the Winter Clash tradition. Here we go. We got the camera right there. At the end of your finals heat. Yeah, Pedro's right on it. Oh, so close. Yeah, good thing they had the glass there to save the people watching. I feel like it would be easier to grind, like to fall without the glass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it opens possibilities. But I mean, it, it protects, I think, the people, huh? Yeah, it protects sure. the people and it opens possibilities the too. Wall right to but, grind. Yeah. Yes. But he wants that 360 true top horn. This is very difficult. But he's so close, and if he lands it, it will be so stylish. Gino Dangers. It's a great, a great name for him. There we go. A character in a movie. Oh! Well, that was yes. perfect. 360. That was 100 True spin top horn star. Nice. Gino Dangers. The crowd is giving him his flowers. Up next, we're going to have Liam Gradwall from Switzerland. Wow. Liam is already on top of the the local the local obstacle. Yeah, he's up on top of that local red barn box. He's stretching him out a little bit. He's up to something. Now does Liam got a spin or a flip? Yeah. He's getting something on the grindhouse box for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he was checking over his shoulder. I think he's gonna hook a an off-axis spin. That would be my that would be my estimation. Nice mission is coming yeah, back. Oh, he wants something. Slip. He wants something else. He said he wants to do one more. He wants something else. Who's that? There's some very non-smarting people here. It. Oh, laid out. It looked like a, it almost is like a Missy flip, but laid out like a Barani. Yes, he, he does like the, you know, like the Takeshi stance yes. when you open like the yes. California roll or something. Yes. Way laid out, but that, again, that's launching up onto the deck. That was nice. Walter's last trick. Walter's Grasmanis from Latvia. Okay. He's coming to the... Okay. And then after him, it's going to be Lenny Jordan. But right now, it's Walter's. So he's got the white helmet and the green shirt. He wants the crowd behind him. So he's up there on the grindhouse box. Okay. That's it. Pedro is on the course too. Yes. Shout out to Rafael Almeida. Thank you. He's coming. He's coming fast. Uh, Not enough speed, huh? Not enough juice. Is he trying to soul backflip out or what? I don't watch? know, man. I thought the exact same thing when I saw it. I thought maybe this the guy's going to grow up and, and then pull back. Wow. You would need an incredible amount of speed. So this is Walters Grasmanis. Walters Grasmanis, second try, last trick. 
Oh, he's going for the speed. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it's happening. It's One happening. More try. He, he really? needs a little bit more speed. Is he going to lock on and pop off? Soul up. Yes. Back flip out. Okay. You're calling it, huh? But where, where does he want to land? Like, if you back on the bank? Out, yeah, but if you back flip out of it, you will be like all the way down in the bank. Well, does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Get to your feet. Yeah, he's got the crowd cheering for him. Here we go. Speed, speed, speed. Come on. Oh my god! Oh, Told you! It. It's happening! He did it. It's happening! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> it I is happening! I didn't see that coming at all. I oh, thought you were joking. Give him another try. He almost had it. I thought you were joking. He's got it. He's okay? Yes. Dude, this guy is. Dude, Walters is an or a warrior. Look at that. Look at him pumping the crown. It's Walters amazing. That's Manis from Latvia representing USD Skates. He is going to give it one more try. Dude. He is insane. He is yeah, amazing. This, this, is, this is a crazy vision because this rail is very short, but to get there, you have to go so fast. And then pull back into a back. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Got him. Unbelievable. You know, it's your moment of glory. Yes. That's the world, what, hey, the world is watching, Ricardo. Let's and see here it. he comes. Let's see it. Oh. He totally can do it. So close. You know, it's like the, it feels like it's the lack of power. Yeah. It's well, you spend all your energy getting up to the highest point on the course, and then you have to compress and pull back into a backflip. Wow, what a great Dude. effort. Do you think that they had stuff like this in mind when they did build this? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. Lenny Jorda. Lenny Jorda is over here on the spine. Oh yeah, right in front of him. He's probably going to the rail. The short. So we're gonna need Pedro on this one. Yeah. Where is he gonna go? Pedro is. Let's see. Pedro is there. Right there. Oh! oh. Okay. Soul grind backflip out. Okay. Yes. We got Pedro there. Yes. Pedro is right there. So he's gonna try again, huh? Let's see. Wow. Is he? And we got Harry on the camera too. He got off the tripod. Okay, okay, okay. We got him. So he's so grinding up that rail. So grinding up the rail on the launch box to backflip out or spin like bio out. What was he? What was he spinning out I, of that? I, I, I think it's like I a backflip. So this is Lenny Shorter from France. He's representing FR Skates. Oh, and he's got a tutoring now. Check yes. that out. <laughs> from Julian Kudo. Oh well. He's like you need a baguette and a flag, and then you will fly. <laughs> And then you'll get the, the you'll have a flaggy, you'll get the medals, and one day you get someone dressing yes, like you. You'll have a flaggy baguette. <laughs> so here we go. He got the he got the advice he needed. Lenny Shorter, the crowd is going crazy. So he's gonna See. go to the glass wall. Check that. He's going to the wall ride, coming back with all this speed up the rail. Oh, he lost his concentration. But he saved it. He can do it. He has one yeah, more. One he has more one more. Try. Third time. Last so time. trick. One more try. Lenny Jorda representing France. Dropping in. Hitting the see-through glass wall ride. Pumping with speed. So oh, oh, so <laughs> close! Was that so grind or P star? Was it was so so grind or P star? So grind okay. to backflip. It's unreal. It's unreal what's going on in this room here. He was already on his feet again. Yeah. He was landing, but then 
Yeah, he, he got to his feet, but it, it, it kind of got swept under. Yeah. Like, he was still rotating. Yeah. But I think he can do it. He can roll away from this. Yeah. Lenny Jordan, purple helmet, black long sleeve, blue jeans, rocking the FR skates. He's going again. Representing for France. Yeah. Miguel's telling him it's it, it, it's after the third try, it doesn't count. But if you want to do it, it's, it's for, for your crowd. own glory. It's for the glory. It's for the love. It's for the boys. It's for you guys home watching. This is the winner clash. The personal this, effort. This is the winner clash. All right. I think it, he hurt his tailbone. He's been like... Yeah. He's trying it, but he was like, one more. I'll give it one more shot. It's yeah, like, I see him. He's not feeling... Grabbing his lower back. Well, you certainly don't have to try, Lenny, but if you make this, we're going to cheer for you. Oh, yes! Yes! That was amazing. Yes, Lenny. Unreal. Lenny Jordan. Unreal. He made it. Congratulations well, yes. to this trick. This is Boy. Winter Clash. Boy, this is unreal. Hey, they got the horns out. That's the first time I've heard the horns. <laughs> All weekend, so the I look crowd at him. Approves. He can barely move, guys. Yeah, Unreal. he can take a rest now. Do you think it was whatever Julian Cudo whispered in his ear? <laughs> well, <laughs> did he say flaggy baguette? <laughs> You've got this. Whatever he said, it worked. Never we're forget gonna, the flaggy baguette. We're gonna find out what he said. Oh, we'll never find out. We will. No, it'll we be will. delivered in a black envelope. No, no, we got <laughs> you. <laughs> we got it. Hey. What did you tell him, Julian? Okay, Julian just told him to go slower. Calm down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Julian it. Julian Kudo said, take it easy, calm down, you got this. And he did. And he landed, See? and now he's a legend. <laughs> the whole entire stadium erupted, and the horns went off. Okay, so moving oh, yeah, on, heat there. number four. This is the final heat, Ricardo, for mm -hmm. amateurs, men's final. This is the last heat. Yes, it is. Buru from oh, Japan. Michael Muller. From Germany. Michael Muller. Christoph, well. Stars Eski from Poland. Christoph, I don't want to say anything wrong, but I think he finished fifth in pro last year and he's competing in amateur. Yeah, and, and he's a star in his own name. Yeah, well, and he is. Leonardo Cardoso. Leonardo, Leonardo. Band 10. Yes. He's, he's been a, a legend. Like, you 100% yeah. saw Leo Band 10 when he was younger. Because he used to be the tiny kid from Brazil. He used to be the tiny kid from Brazil with big skates, throwing big stuff. And now he's here as no a big guru. kid. Yes. Still I'll with big up. skates, throwing big amateur. stuff. Hoping soon to go pro. Oh. Wow. That's Michael oh. Mueller in the vest and the red shirt. Before him in the pink, them base thems was no Buru. No. That camera's too dark. We need Leonardo to do something with Cardozo. it. Christoph. So this is Christoph in the red long sleeve. Christoph Starzewski from Poland. I'm biased on this heat again. I'm sorry. And raising his hands right there is Leonardo Cardoso with the black long sleeve and the white t-shirt and the black helmet. He's all the way from Brazil. Ben 10, Leonardo Cardoso. I'm up there for Michael. Yeah. He no drove ballroom. me here. Thank you, Michael, for <laughs> driving me here. Thanks for bringing Basti. Yeah. And Michael's a dedicated skater. He's from Jochen Smuda's hometown. Ah, uh, the small town of from Wangen. From Wangen, yeah. Wangen. Shout out Jochen Smuda. So heat number four, I feel like he's about to go off. And we got 2,300 people watching. Oh, wow, yes. yes. And we got Already. lots of Brazilians. Vai, Leo. Oh, go, dude. Leo. Vamos, Leo. Brazil. Leo is already on top. Gino. Leo is on top already, on top of the... Yeah, Leonardo's up there. Gino's Here clearing the space he's for Michael for coming to the USD box. Royale up, oh, you grab out. Okay, Beautiful. and Leo with the 900. Thank you. Side, Royale. Noburu no with the line. Michael wow. top sole on the firecracker. Yes. Leo did 900. In the line. Leo, Leo did 900, did 900 up, faky misty, yes. and then 540 down. Oh, wow. So that was nice not line. a bad line. True spin miss you. Leonardo Cardoso. Michael backslide on the. Fakey. On the big FR rail. No no Buru. Buru. Wow. 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 But on the, the other skates. side. It's the far side, yes. Aliyub Makio. Far side, Aliyub Makio. 360 in. Oh. Leonardo, 360, 360 acid. acid. Heat number four is going off. True, True back, back Savannah. Savannah. Wow. 
I think it comes in a kit in Brazil, the back savanna. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's included with your first pair of skates. Yes, it's the same in Poland, you know. True, True acid, acid 360, yeah. Michael Muller. This is Christoph working the spine section. Oh, wow. Noboru. Noboru. 270 yeah. Royale, Aliyah Fishbrain going back to the ledge. Aliyah is rich. Switch, Aliyah Fishbrain. Yeah, oh. those kids from Japan are so good. Did you see Michael? Yes, also working sure the Kobe ledge. Huh? Everybody's landing their tricks really good. I love it. The focus. Top sold 540 out. That was and solid. That Michael was Mueller really solid. USD, that was clean. And undercover. Oh, and undercover. And undercover. 360 sold. Wow. Cardoso, Brazil in the house. Christoph and now we go. Christoph. Christoph. Big front, front flip. flip. Noburo on the front. Uh, back slide to, to fish brain. And Michael going full speed. Coming up 720. 7.20. And then. Just gap in, huh? Yeah. Wall right there from Leonardo. <laughs> Little Remy Meister parkour trick. Back Royale. Oh, that TTS went to be wrong. Unity there from Christoph. Backside Back Royale. Royale. Truesman front side. Wow. So sick. That's completely That's blind. That's a crazy spot yeah. to try that. Yeah. Completely blind and to the drop. That was no guru in the base steps. Backside unity to 180. And that was no guru on the firecracker rail again. He loves that thing. True top soy out from Leonardo Cardoso. Brazil in the house. Ban 10. Ban 10. There's no Boru in the pink skates, man. He's so smooth. Here comes Michael Muller. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So close. He's going to go for the other three, uh, three again. Three topsail, three topsail. Oh, no Boru. Front far for Nugent. Looked like he was going for front torque. Here yes. comes Leonardo. Dark side topsail, or dark side soul, rather. You can see how the time takes its toll on the energy of the skaters. Look, that's why I wouldn't start the way they did. I would. Oh, uh, look at my top horn. Top horn. Michael Miller going right back at it. Back now it's style, starting to slide. show yeah. those who are like one, like really fit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and Michael is Watch one of this. them. Watch this. Yo. Oh. Nice. Front talk, Noburu. On the Rossi's box. Oh, oh wow. Leonardo Cardoso, dark side soul, dark side porn star. Noburo on the firecracker. Whoa. Whoa. Here comes Christoph. Michael Miller back rail up. Christoph going for a sweat stance on the oh, Rosie's wow. box. Oh, Michael there goes go. for it. From top soul. Top soul. And Noburu hit the firecracker rail again. Wow. Unbelievable. Such technical skating. That let's was, let's wait for the last trick. That tricks. was five minutes of wall to wall skating. Yes. That was clip, clip, clip. It was that was completely a different from the girls because like the girls, they were skating really, really good, but somehow one of them really could differ from the rest. Yes. While here Everyone. was way more level. Everyone was at the same level. Yeah. Skating high. But I'll tell you this. From what I saw now, I could still see Anna Julia placing in this. Yeah. <laughs> Anna Julia skating with the women. Yeah. And then also skating with the men. And placing. Yes. Holding her own. But once again, I don't want to be a judge here. Yeah, I'm I not a judge. Want to be a judge. I, I would not. So Noburu gets this last one trick. more shot. We got the camera in the course. Check this out. Yes. Oh. oh. Slide. Okay, so we got so the pole jam to fast slide. Back, uh, pole jam, back nugget pole jam, which takes away your speed. Yes. To push through fast slide, which you need the speed. Yes. How? How it, technical? This is. How do you have to have your feet under is, control? I'll tell you what. We'll see when he lands it. Yeah. Oh. Well, so this the trick was, <laughs> trick was tech, 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 technical, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
tech, 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 wow. technical. I want to join that guy's fan club. That was amazing. That was so difficult. Well, it didn't take oh, it didn't took long until like from the moment he said, "Oh, let's see it," and yeah. then it was right there. But the pole jam part, that's the that's the hardest part for me. It's going up the back of that rail. So now we're moving on to Michael Muller, Basti's ride from Germany. <laughs> Michael, after the contest, Where please don't he? leave early. Not biased at all. No. <laughs> He's Michael like, I'm cheering Michael for is, Michael, Mike, so I get a ride home. No, Michael <laughs> is leaving to Spain afterwards. Oh, so we're going with Michael to Spain. I'm going in the trunk, Basti. I'm going <laughs> to stow away. No, he, luck, drove my, he drove my car here. He wants to get He's to the floor. Gap. Okay. He's, He's going to get to the Michael floor. Michael Muller. Look at my boy. Oh, now he's your boy, huh? Pedro is in he the front. Is always you you my trust boy. him to drive your car. You better be <laughs> boy. He is. So we got Pedro on the course, the camera on the course, Michael Mueller. Oh, oh my God. He's going to he do wants it. He's 540 yeah. all the way to flat. Easy. Wow. Easy. Winter Clash in the building. We know you want to see it. Winter Clash tuning in from all over the world on the live stream. Do you guys want to see it? Jump in the chat. One more try. Michael Mueller. He's going to do it right now. Man, that would be so sweet. <laughs> someone just Go said, Michael. someone just said my knees left the chat. <laughs> my knees have left the chat. Michael Mueller is still in. I feel like it's possible. He came close. Knees, toes, here we go. Oh, that was so close. How's our how's his heels? Seems good. He has one more. He has one more. Michael is like living a really healthy lifestyle. Wow. That that's intense. Guy doesn't drink, so doesn't he smoke. He got closer. Yeah. That was definitely closer. <laughs> Look at Lee. <laughs> Lee's up there saying yes. <laughs> the Germans are not biased at all, huh? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> dude, giving so many fist bumps. Oh, come on, you would be that same. Thank you so much to Street Nescau in Portuguese. It's pronounced Bandash. Okay. Bandash. Well, here comes Michael Muller. I know. Muller. The bull. The brute. The pure strength of a young street skater on the rise. Seizing his moment. Oh! Oh, that was goodness. so close. Come on, he give him another try. It. Give him he another try. It. Give him another try. He popped up and out. A Dude. lot of heart there from Michael Muller. So that's gonna bring a close. No, we've got Christoph and Leonardo. We've got two more competitors. Two more last tries. Bandesh. Now you know it's not Band 10, it's Band Dash. Band Dash for Leonardo Cardoso, Band Dash. But first, we've got Christoph Starweski, and he's got the red long sleeve and the white helmet. All the way from Poland, representing Head on Skate. Here comes Christoph in the red long sleeve. Yes, we're ready. We are so ready. Okay, let's see what he's got here. He's going for the Rosie's box. Sweat stance. Yes. He's hyped. He likes it. Was that rough sweat stance? I didn't think. Did it do a rough sweat stance to far side, Mark? You on the rock on the. I think it did that. It's like it did the sweat stand, then it dropped down the second part to something. Maybe Mies or something like okay. that. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Martin. Thank and you. And we will not throw our skates in the donations. ocean. We will keep our skates and skate them until they crumble. Even if they're old Solomons. So, one more. Leonardo okay. Cardoso. Bandesh. Bandesh. He's got that Neil Young shirt on. Wow. Top soul. Oh, 900 my out. God. Okay. Top soul 900. Okay, he's going for it. 
Well, he's pumped. You can see the mad spin coming out like nothing. So. Yeah, the huckster has arrived. Okay, and we have a good angle there, but it's a bit dark. We're going to fix it in the next four... For the woman amateur finals, no, for the men. Oh, man, next is pro. Pros are coming. It's pro, pro qualifiers. Oh, he got there. So close. He got there. Just popped out of the landing. Thank you so much to Grievo. I think that's how you say it. And to the black dog blading. Leonardo so. Cardoso from Brazil. Last man in the heat. Last trick. Razors in Brazil in line. Here he goes. Mm. Top soul. Oh. Too bad. Too Did bad. He, he didn't pop. He's man. asking for one more. We want to see it. <laughs> so, this is his last one trick. And yes, then. Miguel on the course in his magenta jacket is asking everyone here to make some noise for all the riders. Absolutely. Okay, so Ben is not going anymore. He's going, he's going for it. Leonardo. I see he's coming. Come on, you got this. Oh. So close. That's a lot of spin to come off that. Top yeah, so it feels like there's no speed enough, you know? But he, or maybe not enough height. Huh? Yes, maybe. maybe. not enough of a drop to complete the spin, but he's getting around. He's, he's skating spinning so well really, in his heat. Yeah, he's yes. spinning real fast. Oh, Michael Muller's going for one no, more no. try. Is it Michael one more yes. try? Okay. Whose idea was this? I don't know, but did he's he up ask, there. Did he ask his heels? Did he okay. say heels? Are you okay with this? He's right there. Did he ask his axles and his wheels? He said, are you good with me crushing you? Maybe. You're along for the ride? You're about it? You like the pain? Okay. Well, someone in the chat was saying he needs more speed. It's, Let's see. It's gonna get it's gonna get real serious real quick. It could be it's a gonna do it. Glory. Yeah! yeah! Yes! Yes! He landed it! Your boy! Your boy, Michael Mueller landed And he rocked it! He didn't rock it, he, he double kicked, kicked it, it yes! He kicked it out and then he brought it back in. I wow. told you. I told you. Wow. Sick boy. He seems to be good. Next up is going to be the pro qualifiers. Or the, the, the women. Women. It's a pro qualifiers. Woman pro women. qualifiers okay, or men? So let's see here. But it starts at 5. PM and Eindhoven time. Pro women so qualifiers. European so we got Central. 20 minutes. So here we're going to do. We're going to go and show everyone at home what happened at the trade show here. Okay. So we're going to give them some trade show insight. Yep. Just That's heads up, a, you guys. Next up in about 20 minutes is going to be the women pro qualifiers. So don't go anywhere. Okay. And we we're are going to give you an exclusive look into uh, into what Ricardo Lino discovered at the two-story trade show here at Winter Clash 2024. Inside that's look. No one else is giving it to you. Check it out. That's it. Let's get on it. Okay, so we are at the DC Soul Skate Shop. Is it? Is it? Is that it? Yeah. Is it a booth or a skate shop? Uh, well, yeah. Normally we're at the trade show and all the other brands have booths, but we make an effort to show what we really are, and that's a skate shop. We are a skate shop, and we're trying to be the best skate shop that we can be, uh, and that's what we want to show here. So it's actually really the same as in Amsterdam because each of the chains has its own size. So if you come here and you want to try the skate, you just kind of go to your size. Got like this is 44, this is 44, and then it's, here's 45. And you just take them all out of the, the wall and you have to, uh, you can just put them on. You, so you don't have to ask a salesperson uh, to, to grab the box and to open the box and take something out. So that takes a, takes a whole lot, a long time. And here you can just try everything. So it's everything on stock is on each chain, is that it? Yes, exactly. Everything that we have, you can see and you can try. Yeah. 
you must have really nice people putting the prices on this, huh? Yeah, it was a lot of work, uh, and thank you for the help with that, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for this, and yeah. good luck with yeah. the trade show. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, so Mr. Dick, for those of you out there that could, that maybe they didn't understood, we got a tailor right here. Yeah. Like him and his girlfriend, yeah. they're like, they tailor like a lot of the stuff that you guys are making, it's yeah. tailored in Berlin. But you also have another service, which I think it's very important for the people watching this, which is if someone is willing to start like a high-end brand, you guys also have something for those people, yeah, right? Exactly. So first of all, it's me and Elisa. So um, we are both tailor, we are both designer, and Elisa is the more important part. <laughs> I would say she's like the brain. They she's, always are. She's the fucking brain of it. And um, she's behind most of the pattern designs and pattern making and techniques, like sewing techniques. So she's like really super important. And if other brands or skater um, want to um, start their own brand, they can work on our blanks. So we have a B2B service, we call it B2B, business to business. Um, if you want to have your own shirts for your brand, um, you can contact us and we can um, yeah, figure it out. Awesome. So I met for the first time in person, Dirk, in Portugal at the Lisbon Fashion Week. And you went and ever since he's been going to Portugal very often yeah, looking time. for like the best manufacturers. So. Yeah, it's not just Portugal, but we, I, I spend a lot of time in Portugal and I love the country. Um, like, it's at the people are just so, so nice, like so friendly, so humble. And um, but we also produce in Turkey, we produce in Poland, we produce in um, Germany. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dirk. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Okay, so, you good? You have sound? A couple of years ago, I would interview you as a pro skater. You're still a pro skater, but what else are we doing here? I am now a shop owner, Ricardo. As a shop. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Once upon a time, pro skater, maybe. But now, it's, yeah, the focus is less now. This is the... Okay. This is all. 100% shop owner, no more pro skater. Yeah, exactly. But you say 1%? 100%! <laughs> oh, I think you say 1% shop owner. Okay. Uh, yeah. 100. Yeah, yeah. All the, all the love goes in here now. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And how is it going for you? You just started now or you haven't started yet? But what do you expect from Winter Clash for you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be busy. Today is going to be busy, for sure. Uh, last year we had a lot of positive feedback. So this year we kind of tried to open up the shop a little bit more and get some more space. And yeah, so it's going to be nice. Hopefully, uh, yeah. So so far, it's been a very warm welcome, as always. Um, yeah, we can expect a lot. It's going to be very busy today and a lot of traffic. So yeah, it's going to be positive overall. Thank you so much. I I have to say that I really love what you're doing and the look of everything and looks nice. Thank you so much. And likewise. Thank you. I appreciate that you too. Look great. Thank you. And you're getting younger. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck is happening? Like I'm going. I'm I'm like ten years younger. I'm going way more great. I you. paint. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe we can share products after as well. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are at the Mesmer booth with Mr. John Bolino. You guys are probably the only brand that has the pro skater working at the booth. Tell me what you guys are expecting of Winter Clash. Well, there's a pro skater at the booth because this is owned by pro skaters. We actually rollerblade. Um, and we are here at Winter Clash. Do you want me to hold this? Can I hold this? Uh, we are here at Winter Clash to support our industry, our culture, feed the vibes, and make y'all inspired. Because... Uh, you know, yeah. So, what was the question again? <laughs> you just answered it. Okay, cool. That you just answered it. I heard that you guys. I didn't saw it yesterday, but I heard that you guys are releasing like a new edit from the New York thing. Yes. So, New York Volume Two. Um, it should be out now. I think after yesterday at premiering, I think it might be out on YouTube. So, go check it out. Mesmer Volume Two on YouTube. Um, we also are about to be going to Portugal right now. And if you watch, if you like our videos and watch our videos, then definitely be on the lookout for Portugal. Uh, we got Julie here. We got a lot of our trusty professionals like Dominic Bruce. Hello. Hello. 
Say hello to the world. What's that slit on the mic? What's that slit? It's probably it's like saliva. It's, it's, <laughs> um, it's, no, it's, it's a little bit like mischievous, that slit. This it? guy, this guy, say, say something to the world. Hello, everyone. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> And if you think I look sweaty on the surface, imagine under these fabrics. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> you got anything coming out that people could know about? We have all of this coming out already for sale. Uh, all this lovely merchandise. And we always have new stuff coming out. So be sure to go to mesmerskates.com. Be sure to go to all of the outlets, Instagram, YouTube, any plug you can find. And support real stuff. Real skaters doing real things. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs>
Awesome. Thank you so much and good luck for the trade show. A lot of the people out there may know the young brother and the middle brother is here. Yes. Who do we have here? I'm Jordan Glowicki. You might might recognize the last name and the nose. I got the Glowicki nose. It is true. I never <laughs> thought of that. Like, look at that. What you doing here at Winter Clash? Hey, we're here uh, setting up Cymatics, uh, wheel company. Got some product here. Got some new stuff. Let's see it. Yeah. So we got a little special, little pre-drop here. We got the two pro wheels here for Julian Cadeau, Nils Janssens. We invested in our own tooling to create our own 60 millimeter profile here. And we created two wheels out of this profile. We have, for each pro, they have the same wheel and two variants. You got a 60 millimeter and a 58 millimeter. Um, same great Cymatics premium urethane, fresh new mold. We're stoked about it. A company straight out of Texas? Everything in Texas, designed and produced in Texas. You know what? Uh, yeah, came out of the head, went to the plant down in Texas, made them up, and we couldn't be more happy. We have pounded the heck out of the prototype wheels. They've worked really, really well. The, the, the uh, profile is awesome. What else do I see there in pink? Well, you guys might know that Montre has some hobbies he likes to do, right? He's not just blading. See him doing parkour, big into the uh, into the what I don't know what do you want to call it street quad park quad. So um, this is his signature quad wheel. It's a 52 millimeter quad park street wheel, uh, 98A. Again, it's that urethane. It makes all the difference. Uh, the wheels have had tremendous feedback, and again, we're just stoked on the whole thing. So so we got. We got these scenes here, and then we haven't forgot about the other side of blading. This is where I'm existing nowadays, right? I'm, I'm too old to fall on concrete anymore, right? I started in aggressive, but the elbow, the knee, 110s and 80s, we can still have fun, right? And, and this is the concept with cymatics. It's, it's yes, these, this is our roots. Aggressive is our roots but expanding the base of what we consider skating, uh, street quad skating, 110s, urban 80 skating. We can do this all, we can grow our base. Stronger base, more resilient, um, you know, sport. We wanna hang around. We want the sport to hang around. And that's what we're doing here. So that's, that's the sales pitch. Amazing, you did really good. Look, the smile is the same as Josh, too. Uh, we can't help <laughs> Josh is learning some things with you, yeah. so oh, I can tell no, you that. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, and I wish you guys good luck with the project and with the, with the booth. Awesome. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. What do you have here? We have a lot of wheels, a lot of bearings, and a lot of stickers. So, but you also make protections, do you? No protection with us. We were limited by Ryanair, so you know we had that baggage allowance to deal with. Uh, but yeah, so we've got just hardware today, just hardware. Can we see the wheel? Go for it. We've got it's the same wheel, 60 millimeter. One's neochrome, one's black powder coat, but 88A. 6 mm profile, it's our own PU uh, mold, PU paw, CNC'd out, preloaded with bearings, and 35 euros. 35 euros for like a wheel with bearings? Wheel, a four set with bearings. Metal core. Wow. We make a lot of metal wheels. Yeah. Like, and I, I know that you guys have a strong connection with scootering, so with scootering, having to make like the strongest wheels because they're on two wheels only. How has the feedback been about these ones? Uh, amazing. We've sold a lot of them. And uh, we've, we make hundreds of thousands of scooter wheels. So when it comes to like metal core wheels, we know what we're doing. We sell a lot of them, we make a lot of them. So transferring that scooter technology we have into an inline wheel, 
made perfect sense for us. You know, I've been skating since I was 10, so it's all made sense to go into it. And uh, yeah, we've done it, done okay with it. So we're trying to get the price lower and lower to make it competitive to a, a normal PU core. And uh, we're close, yeah. So. Awesome. And are you, are you planning to make any other diameter wheels, other size wheels, or any other profiles? We're going to look at trying to add a few more PU molds into the mix, try and get some bigger sizes going up. Um, yeah, we've had quite a few requests, so we're going to see what we can do. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about the door yesterday. No, it's not, man. It's all good. I'm, whatever. I just. Okay, we finally Hello. meet. <laughs> it's been six years of talking on the internet and watching each other's videos to finally meet in person. But I'm Am here. I taller in person than you thought I would be? No, you're, you're the about exact, the same time. You're the exact <laughs> same person I thought you would be. You but go. we are here yes. for something. What is it? Winter Clash. Yeah. Did anyone tell you? <laughs> yeah, people yeah. told me about that. Yeah, yeah. It's your first Winter Clash. It is. So I've been to a lot of skating events. I've never made it out to Europe. And the last time I was in Europe was 2001 ISPO. Wow. I think that was when they released the Cyrus, maybe. And I haven't been out here for, I mean, 24 years. I don't even know. But I've always wanted to make it out to Winter Clash. And we never had a reason to get out here. You know, 5050 is a great brand, but it's hard to justify flying stuff all the way out here. But now we have a Now what? We have a skate company. So Do you? People are able to try on the skates. And with no shops out there, it's impossible to find the right fit for your feet. We're trying to make sure that people find the skates that are going to fit best in your feet. So, Let me see those skates in my hand for the first time. I have not seen them. I not. These are the standard army. These are the whites. They are a size small, I think. They are... Available in four shell sizes, so we go from a 38 or 37, what is it, 38, 39, and then 40, 41, no, I'm backwards, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and then 45, 46. The reason I got confused is because, <laughs> let's see. We're testing our extra small. So this is the new one that starts at 38. So that is the 40. That's the current small. Now we have an extra small. Because we heard from a lot of people that they have smaller feet. Maybe they're a kid growing up and we want to have a shell so that it fits better in them. The extra small hopefully will be available in summer. We wanted to make sure we came out to Winter Clash so we could try them on as many people as possible. Give us feedback. This is a 3D printed sample. As soon as we get back home, we're going to place an order for the molds, and then we're going to start production. So we'll have them in summer. In summer, awesome. Now Those skates are available now, though. So we just started receiving shipments in the U.S. They're available in Asia right now. They should be reaching Europe in the beginning of March. I think that's the last I heard. Very excited for that. I placed my order, but can I ask you to try it right here, right now, the 42? Okay, okay. You are a size 44? No, 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 I'm a 275. 275. But if I can go on 42, that's what I go in a lot of brands, so... That should be the right one. 42 should get great. 275 should get great. The black one, that's the one. That's the 272. I can hide it. I can see. No, it's too small. Ah. I think it's a medium. Is that it? Okay, let's see it, let's see it. Amazing. Right, so Let me. This is a medium. Not only is this the medium, this has been used by Stefan Brando. Okay. So it has a little bit of, uh, you're going to have to watch out because the gravity doesn't work the way that it does with other skates. You might want to jump off a roof if you put this skate on you. I want to make sure that you're ready for that. So if you put it on, just be ready for it. Okay. So, so, so here you go. I will grab this. See so your size left. 
So those are fairly broken in. They have a few shock absorbers because Stefan loves to jump off of things. He likes a lot of padding in the back. He also likes a really aggressive forward lean, so you might feel it a little bit more. But those are the 27.2 with the Intuition liners or with higher shocks. You can get a 27.5 in there pretty easily. The way that I feel it is like I love, let me start with this, looking at them from the top, yes. I love the top view. Yes. I I love the flex, yeah, but yeah. I do feel that I probably need to go with an intuition liner. I'm usually 27.5. Yeah. So um, I have a few friends who are trying them with intuition liners that are confirmed to be 27.5. That is the way to work a 27.5 into the skate. It is a straight size nine. A 27.5, I would say, is a nine and a half, but you can make it work with a thinner liner. What I also do with a lot of skates that like, I try to downsize, like the RL1 liner from Roaches, or the RL2, it makes me feel like I'm, I have a little bit more space, so that could be the case, but I'm, I can't wait to have mine. Thank you. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to see them. I, I, I mean, you know as well as I do, Living as a skater, growing up as a skater, being able to actually produce something and then hold it is like, there's no feeling like this. So it's uh, very emotional to have this happen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And I'm really, really happy to see you here yeah, yeah, yeah. and to finally meet. Absolutely. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, you know, I always say the same thing. It's a very small world. Yes. And. It may have taken us a long time to actually meet, but it may take way too long for us to see again, but it's not the last for sure. We'll always be together. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem, Neil. Congratulations once Thank again. You. We are here. Yeah, back on the mic, reporting live from 2024 Winter Clash. It's Matt Mickey here with Ricardo Lino. Just a small portion of the Wheel Attic team putting this production together to give you a world-class broadcast quality live stream. So we've seen some amazing action so far from the junior men and women, from the amateur men and women. Yes. And now we're going to go on to the women's pro qualifiers. Yes. And then after that, we're going to have the men's pro qualifiers followed by the finals in each division. So the it best is. of the best, believe it or not, is still yet to come. So it now is the time when the level of skating is gonna go through the roof and the crowd in here is gonna explode when tricks get landed. It's gonna be an energy like I haven't felt since I was at Winter Clash four years ago. It's, it's insane because from what I've been watching for the past four hours, it kind of feels like it's crazy. I don't know how they're going to top what the, the the guys have been doing until now. Yeah. I know you said earlier that you saw a vast amount of improvement in the junior ladies or the junior women's. And, and the amateur all, woman too. Yes. So the level of skating is increasing at a, at a rapid rate. And so if you look around this course and with the four camera setup that we got, you can see everything around here. You'll notice that the additions that they build on this course are not exactly easy obstacles. So when we say that the skating is improved, these skaters are raising the stakes on obstacles that are designed to be creative and difficult and that they can't skate the whole rest of the year. So this is a true testament to their talent and they're, they're striving to better themselves. It's, it's like they're coming to a, almost a brand new skate park and they're finding stuff to skate and drive this audience wild cheering for him. It's, it's his electric. It's exactly what rollerblading is all about. Awesome. I just w from the train that is happening right now, <laughs> where do you see the most potential? Oh, I see Danilo Senna out there rocking the Brazil soccer jersey. I see Mary Munoz out there rocking her signature yellow Kill Bill USDs. So there's top men and women out here from Brazil, Spain, 
Woman first, right? Yeah. The lady, the eight, hey, the the women's pro qualifiers will go first, Ricardo. We will hold the door for them. Okay. Let's see if what's happening with our robot camera there. It's charging, but it's not. It'll all work out. I see Montre on the course in a red hockey jersey. He is entirely capable of turning it on. And going home with the Winter Clash Championship 2024. Danilo Senna, 450 into everything. Brazil. Hey, there's Julian Cudo, a three-time previous champion of the Winter Clash. So he is no stranger. He is on fire. Julian Cudo has been having quite a year, year and a half run. I don't know if you guys have checked out his Foot Moon documentary, but you can check out Foot Moon. It's amazing. On Google, and it's a story of Julian and his travels and him pushing his skates to unbelievable heights. And he speaks about his ups and downs in his career, too, which is quite interesting. Yeah, he's had to show his vulnerable part, you know, like not everyone is lacing tricks and landing all the time. But also not just that, not everyone is willing to put to speak about their life the way he did on the documentary. I think it's it's right. Quite cool. Yes. Yeah. So a, a deep dive into the life of Julian Kudo is available online in video format. Just look up Foot Moon. And he, he recorded a live episode of uh, Jump Street podcast this weekend as well, one of the side events at Winter Clash. So when you guys are thinking about what to do with your February in 2025, I highly suggest considering a trip to the Winter Clash. It is a destination weekend of all sorts. And there's something to do for everyone. We've got family members here that don't skate that are cheering on the amateur and junior boys and girls, men and women skaters. Uh, we've got friends that are here that have skated more than half their life and are in their 40s. We've got young skaters aspiring to be professionals and this is the stepping stone or the progression to get there. We've got legendary pro skaters like Brian Shima hosting a night at the movies, giving a Look back at his career, it just epic side events, not even to mention the trade show. Two floors, that trade show that Ricardo just gave you a tour of. He was checking in with all the booths and all the brand managers and showing you the new products. That trade show was in two different halls on two different levels. So even the industry aspect of the brands coming here to represent and meet their clients and show you their new products and sell some wares, even the trade show is growing. This is like a great indicator that the overall culture of rollerblading continues to prosper. And so there's pros on the course right now. Pro men and pro women are warming up. We're gonna have the pro women qualifiers first. And I feel like that division is stacked from what I understand. And we were talking about this earlier. So if you just joined the live stream, welcome. This is the 2024 Winter Clash, and this is the next events coming up are the highest level of skating pro events. And there are 50, at least 50 women bladers here. 50 female competitors, 5-0. I feel like that's more than we've ever had by far. In addition to 100 amateur men skaters yesterday in the amateur men's qualifier. So overall, there's over 200 participants that are just here to compete on top of I think 1500 spectators if I'm not mistaken that's the capacity and those tickets sold out back in November so this is a very well attended event and highly sought after and so the concept with the live stream is because this is such a well organized unique and highly sought after event we wanted to give you that experience on YouTube so for those that couldn't make it you're getting as much of the winter clash as we can give you. And hopefully we're succeeding in that. And the goal today is to break our record for 3,000 simultaneous viewers, which we had last year. And I know we can crush it. So now's the time while everyone is warming up for you guys to grab the link, share it with your friends, post it on your socials, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Craigslist, missed connections, who knows? Maybe you'll get a text back. But the point is spread the word and let everybody know Oh, Tinder. 
Hello. Don't get blocked. Swipe right. <laughs> and then, yeah, have a Tinder date. Call someone over to watch. <laughs> Tell them it's going to be the notebook and then put on the Winter Clash live. You grab your banana. I always <laughs> grab my banana and I always grab my backslides like a gentleman. Danilo Senna in a yellow Brazil jersey, corkscrew 900 up the grindhouse box. These guys are just warming up and they're about to pop off. It's going to be Chad, incredible. Check this out. Chad Campbell, this is my first time seeing Winter Clash footage live. So excited. Hell yeah. Thanks, Chad. Right on, man. Keep tuning in and share the link with your buddies. Spread the love, man. And if you don't have skates, 2024 is your year to get on the Urethane Rodeo, man. We got Stefan sending us a super chat for six bucks saying, go girls. Yes, the ladies, the pro women are coming up, Stefan. You hang tight, man. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, check who's here. Check who's in the, check who's here. Uh, uh, uh. Who do we have in California? Oh, that's Biz. Yep, that's it. K Biz from this weekend blading. Big homie Biz. <laughs> Kivon. Kivon oh. Thompson. Yeah, that that look that Ricardo gave you at the trade show is is super sick. Because it's hard to do everything, to, to attend all the events in the Winter Clash weekend. There's so many side events and panels and night at the movies and a live uh, podcast with Jump Street and the contests and the qualifiers and hanging out at Blue Collar and the cafes and the pizzas and the drinks and hanging out outside to catch up with your friends. It's hard to do everything. So Ricardo literally went around the entire trade show and showed you everything. I was at the bottom floor of the trade show yesterday and I was hanging out by the standard booth. They got, they got the new Omni skates, which are out at all shops pretty much worldwide right now, including Intuition Skate Shop. And then I was hanging with Connor from Celtic and Vince from Famous and Alk 13. And man, the time went by and I, did, I barely got a chance to walk upstairs to the upstairs trade show. And I think upstairs was Razors. Power Slide, Mesmer, Rossi's, uh, Bobby Spazov's booth. Yeah, it's also, also at Dam. You had Mesmer. Yeah, Mesmer. Mesmer was upstairs. Yeah. Yes. You had Entente. You had This Is Soul Skate Shop. Okay. Yep. So many brands are here. It's it's awesome to see the new products in other shops and other clothing brands. Just putting out all the stops, bringing out new gear. This is a it's kind of like a big release milestone. So if you're thinking about releasing a new product, releasing it at the Winter Clash definitely gives it that spark and that momentum right out of the gate. And there's a real good chance you'll sell a good amount of your product Do you think? at the trade show. I sometimes feel like it's like this year was, oh, look, the Red Pants guy. Yeah, that's Dominic Bruce. Yeah, I know, of course. He's um, working the Red Barn box. Oh, wow. We got to check this out. We got like a, a 24 bucks donation from Andreas Busch. Keep up from the Eifert, Germany. Keep up the good work, guys. Hey, we'll do Sending that. Love from Germany. Thank Absolutely. You. I was about to say it's yes. like it's been. This is the year that I've seen the most things being released at the Winter Clash. Yes. It's. Yeah. Yes, and actually, people saying they're, they're selling a lot of product. Like most yes. of the people that like, uh, we had Sayer. Danford coming yeah, in with the bag. The, uh, the new bags. A new bags yes. sold out. Yeah, I knew it. I knew he would. I knew he would. Hey, knew you knew. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I knew you knew <laughs> the new bags would sell out. Well, because they're so they're so unique. It's a shoulder bag. It's not a backpack, but it's big enough to carry your skates and everything else. Oh my gosh! Grab my backslides. I always grab my backslides. I must have misspoken earlier when I said banana. Check our our robot camera is back, and do we have? <laughs> check this out. We go from angle one. Oh, I like that spine. We we'll show you that in yes. a second. We yes. got the angle one with a couple of feet right next to the. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we were talking about foot moon, so those yes. are the stunt doubles from foot moon. It's okay <laughs> because we can see the rail in the grindhouse box, and then it's when you pan good. over, I'm you see the Rosie's bank box, and behind it the spine. 
So wow. how how tall is the spine here, Ricardo? Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. It's tall, man. I feel like that spine is eight feet. It's maybe look, it's taller meters. on one side. I think you can see it here. It's a bit taller. It's like it's a spine box. They call that a spox. A spine <laughs> box. Yes. So with this camera, we're gonna see the action. And I know in the pro event, Julian Kudo and Joe Atkinson will use this. Should we zoom out a bit like that? Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. And look at all the crowd in the bleachers right there. They got a front row seat to the highest air they're gonna see. Awesome. That's good. They literally built, if you guys are watching on the live stream, all those fans that are in the stands right there, they literally built bleachers to hold like a thousand people in the back of the skate park. So we're building the, we're right now building the angles for them. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like that one. That's good, that could be one. Yeah, it shows the grindhouse box the Rosie's bank box and it, down ledge it's it's hard because we, we need to get it like very wide and try to show as much as we can from yes. the course yes. because especially in these in in the the first part like of the of the competition there's just all skating like the jam session is like it's intense it's really intense yes so let's try to show a bit more of the yeah the loco red barn so this is going to be the three angles we're going With to use for our handle from rail right up there and up there in the yellow shirt that's Danilo Senna from Brazil. Exactly. I feel like it's kind of smart if you are in a contest to wear apparel, apparel or clothing that's easily recognizable. Yes. Because and you know, like the Brazilians are really patriotic. It's a Brazilian flag. Yeah, it's a soccer jersey really, from his country. They're really patriotic. Very and proud. If, you, if if you're seeing like this chat. Like when they are on, it's like all you see is Brazilian flags. They're here. Yes. They're supporting. Yeah. They're sharing. It's yes. it's intense. Yeah. Ah, so here we go. See, Brazilian flags. Yeah. And Brazil like, is here in the building, and Brazil is in the chat. Let's do this. Like for the Brazilians in the Look chat. Look here. Oh, Joe. El Joe. Joe Atkinson. We got the Joe. Okay. Joe Atkinson and Bobby Spassoff are out here warming up. <laughs> okay, let's see Joe, the yeah, Joe. Uh, Joe Atkinson, also a previous Winter Clash champion. Uh, uh, oh, we lost the Joe. The Joe was too fast for us, but now we're going to go to the spine because it seems he's like he's going to be skinny. Yes. He's going to be spinning his spines, right? Yeah. So here Let's we go. Let's see if we can see him work in the spine there. We are good. So ju just so you guys at home are watching, note, Joe Atkinson is in a black helmet and a white long sleeve shirt and black knickers or black pants. So keep an eye on that guy with that shaggy hair. He's going into the spine now. Just testing speed. That's Joe Atkinson on the screen. Yeah. Just and so you know what he's wearing for later on in the contest. Making a little note. And shout out to everyone who's watching these and to yes. those who are doing super chats. Like, yes. big thank you to yes. all of you guys. All up, boys. Okay, let's let's check, check if this angle is right here too. Okay, this camera. Let's go. Basti a bit more to the. Yeah, we are good. Hello. We are adjusting everything. Oh wow! Check this, Michael French. We got Michael French in the house. Oh, Michael French in the chat. Yeah, and a real of Mike and Derek French brothers. A lot of respect to those guys from Dude, Minnesota. Yes. Thank for the donation, Michael French. Yes. Anybody that's jumping in on the super chat and throwing a little cash your way, that definitely supports the world class broadcast quality production that we're able to put on here at the Winter Clash year after year. I'm not sure if you guys heard Ricardo earlier, but we're definitely a team. Wheel Addict this weekend is a team. 100%. And we're, we're trying to build a team to continue into the future, improving wow. the quality of this broadcast. So every year we're going to get better. Yes, that's what we're talking today. And it's we're like, going to get bigger. It's like we, we add, it's like we were talking about this today. It's, there has been, we are very thankful for everyone that contacted us, that Absolutely. wanted to help and be part of this and all that. We really, really appreciate all the support from all of you guys, but we've been trying to to start these and keep it going and keep the team going, you know? It's important for us to keep the team. Like, Ari and Basti have been doing this with me since the first year. You were with us on In the second year. Yep. Yes. And last year we had Bees too yep. with us, yep. which 
which it's still working with us, Beezy's in California. Yes. As a backup he's commentator. On call. Yes. Yes. We also have Alex that was working with us last year. And he's in Portugal, also on backup. Also and on backup. And they both better have cute shirts on in case they have to go on camera. <laughs> you know? Yes. And now we got we got some additions to, to the, to the yeah, chat. Janice. <laughs> Everybody give a high five for Janice. Woo! Yes. Janice is holding down the chat. That's a lot. When Ricardo said, see you in the comments, Janice was like, holy crap, slow down with the comments. God dang. It's like spaghetti coming out of the factory. She can't keep up. I, and as Ricardo was saying, Wheels Attic is a team this weekend, and we are very thankful for the support of our sponsors for this live stream. Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends and Anton Crane. Should, should we get into to a quick head break? Sure. We need to say thanks to these guys. Let's get on it. Gonna gonna roll some ads for y'all. Okay, let's Be roll back some after ads. this commercial break. Okay, and we are back, and we should actually let the people at home know who's on the final eats, on the on the qualifying eats from so pro women, women. so yes. the highest level of women skating, the yeah. pro women qualifications. In heat number one, we've got Patricia Nadia from Poland, Carla Pasquinelli from France, Anik Anik Kerkhoff from the Netherlands, and Hemi Parejo from Spain. Yes, in heat number two, we have. Nuria Lopez from Spain. China Wiersaw from USA from Detroit. Daniela Salgado from Colombia. The previous winner. The winner she was from a last year. Yes. yes. We also have Mizaki Katayama from Japan. And Armel Tesler from France. And in the third heat. Oh, we got Leo's sister, Lilu Fumery. Oh. Eneris. Oh, Ricardo, that's your name. Come on. Oh, Eneritz, Eneritz King Cosses <laughs> from Spain. Carla Martin, Martin Olive from, from Spain. Spain. We've got Chihiro Azuma from Japan and Mary Munoz from Spain, who just released a brand new yellow USD Aeon skate. You'll see her on the course Dude, in the yellow, yellow skate. The skate looks so good. Yes. Okay, and we already have Miguel on the course and we have our camera on the course too. Yeah, so we're getting heat number one going. Oh, look, Kevin got him on a plastic pusher shirt. <laughs> Look at Miguel's shirt. Oh, yes. From Kevin, huh? I love it. Look Miguel, at the shirt. Miguel down on the course is rocking a black and yellow plastic pusher shirt. He's saying in his magenta saying jacket. Saying no homophobia, no sexism, no racism. Saying something else. Do you know what it says on his shirt? What else? No fun allowed. No fun. <laughs> <laughs> no freestyle tricks. We're adults. Please grab your one-footed tricks. Miguel. Oh wow, I need, sorry, I need to stop this right now and say a big shout out to Corvo in Brazil. Wow. Not because of this, but because of being a really good friend of mine and being wa and watching this right now. Shout out, um grande abraço Corvo para o Brasil. Sexy, ah, got Roman Abrati right yeah, there. Yeah, Roman Abrati is here. Oh, and look, France. Gosh, Gosh is right there, gosh our friend. Right there. I forgot that I got a new shirt this day too. Oh wow. Yes. Rocking the black on black. Rob Dark just says, let's get it, Mary. 
Yeah. So who, do you, who do you think has the biggest fan base here? Is it Mary Munoz? I don't know. That Daniela Salgado girl from... Uh, Daniela had... Yeah, from Colombia. She's got a lot of people training for her, well, too. Well, here in the I chat, we got Janice with a poster for Patricia. Oh, okay, Patricia. <laughs> yes. Let's see it there. Yes. Let's see it. Let's bring it yes. in. Bring it in. Hold it for a second. Yes. That's... <laughs> Patricia lives in Portugal, so this is from, we're, we're, quite, we're quite biased. This is from Janice and Ricardo. That's the hometown girl, huh? Look, she's from Poland, but yeah. she lives in Portugal, yeah. so... Yeah, she's in your home country now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, but don't I, forget I about the local girl. Who's that now? Anik. 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 Yes, Anik Kirchhoff's from the Netherlands, <laughs> yep. And then you know who else has a really big fan base is uh, Chihiro Azuma. <laughs> She's won the Blading Cup women's before, and I don't know if she's ever won a Winter Clash. She won women's. a Winter Clash before. Yes. She's so, so yep. smooth. She won twice or even three. I think she is the, the first person. Chihiro? She actually yeah. won three times before, from what I know, before, before Julian. Julian. Yeah. yeah. So Chihiro Azuma, definitely a secret weapon. She's very quiet, but her but style is so dude, clean. That, that, that Royale to Topsail that she does, yeah. where is she going to do it? I don't know. Did she does it. Like the front Royale right to Topsail, she does it. Beautiful. Yeah, and alley -oop top soles as well. Yeah. Yes. She, did yeah it, she did an alley -oop top sole on the down rail last year. Yeah. Did you guys talk about China Wire stall already? Yeah, it's her she's first here. time out here. She's here from Detroit. Everybody she's was representing waiting for her faction to come skates here. and chroma wheels. So I think, yeah, a lot of people are going to cheer for China too. Yeah. Yeah, she's Ooh, got a big check fan base. We got the camera on the course. Oh, yeah. There's Miguel giving bumps. I see Emmy Parejo. There's Blake Bird with the beanie and the long hair. There's Anik, huh? And and Carla Pasquinelli. Carla Pasquinelli, too. We are ready. <laughs> yep. Patricia in the red helmet. <laughs> Emmy in the purple shirt. In the There's striped the fan base. She is There's the fan base. She is probably the biggest fan base, huh? And Carla in the RB gray skates. Wow, I see it. But that's again the thing at the at the with the ladies. They bring their friends oh, and yeah. they cheer. Oh yeah, they're very supportive. Like Double what, times, like what well. you were talking about yeah. earlier. How the the women bladers. The ladies, if you will, yeah. are very supportive of each other. Yeah. And they come, and their friends come to yeah. cheer them on. Yeah. Yeah. So the crowd is going to go loud. Yeah. This is pro women qualification heat number one. We got this view now. We got the different view, a little bit more like wide. The yeah. highest. Miguel just let us know. We've got the highest amount of female competitors ever in the history of Winter Clash. Wow, that is amazing. So the women division is growing. This is strong. Heat number one is underway. Anik. Coming in with the striped fast. long sleeve is Anik. And China with the back, back unity. unity. And uh, top four. Oh. oh. Emi Parejo with the fish print. Emi Parejo with the dreadlocks Patricia. and the pink shirt. On the ledge, so grind. Nice. Patricia in the red helmet. Patricia who finished third in huh. 2020, I think. She Negative did a, she did a toe Ani roll on that big torque. This is Carla. So grind into on the, the rail. rail. Not even fish on the brain. Wow. Carla. Whoa. Is she okay? Emmy. Emmy Emmy bailed out right there. She's back up. And Patricia right here. Yeah, that's Patricia in the red helmet. Looked like she went for a mistrial there on that smaller Rosie's box. Oh, launching up to Soul Grind. That was Carla. Top Soul. One of those was Switch. Big Top one. side acid China. from Anik. Anik with the backside full torque. There's Emmy Sunny Day all the way down the FR ledge. Very strong. Emmy Parejo travels the world. She's at all the contests. I see her at Blading Cup all the time. I think she even made it out to the Bitter Cold Showdown a year ago in Detroit. There's Anik coming again. Unity. Run Unity. And top side, Sunny Day on the Dem Skates box. She's rocking those faction skates.
Emmy dropping in, going for the ledge. Oh, one of that Machio. Here comes Anik. Backside full torque on the Dem Skates black box. Whoa! Oh, sold the 180 drop. Carla. Carla. And a Royale by Royale Patricia. Royale by Patricia. Royale to Fakie. On the USD rail, in the USD Aeons. The equity pink. Whoa! The first woman to hit the firecracker. Anik, sunny day on the firecracker. The first pro woman because they were killing it, huh? Oh, Kate to the kind run. I'm sorry. And that was topside sunny day from Emmy Parejo. <laughs> wow. wow, Patricia, soul grind up, toe roll. To top top zero top soul. Oh, my oh. goodness. Collar. Oh, Is she okay? Oh, boy. Is she okay? Oh, boy. Let's hope she's okay. Okay, so that was Carla. She got hung up. And she got and look, tossed Armel, off that US, Armel that USD is box. Right, coming over to be supportive. That was a tough fall. She got absolutely tossed off that box. That's not a, a very friendly obstacle when you fall, huh? No, that's oh. six feet down, Ricardo. Emmy with the front side on the USD rail. Go. Patricia on the local. Oh, she wants to go for the heel roll transfer. Yeah, trying to get a little tech with it. Here yes, comes Emmy. Soul grind. Oh! oh. oh it looks like That's slippery for her. Backside, Backside torque from Patricia in the red helmet. Carla is back on the course. Yeah, Carla's, Carla's hanging in there. Dude, these are some tough, tough women. Hey, warriors. Yes, warriors is the right word, Ricardo. She was switching up, too. She switched up on there. Oh, again. Backside unity from Anik. There's a topside acid from Carla. She's back. Oh, overcoming that brutal fall. Wow. Oh, so we're yes. moving right on to heat number two. Yes, there's no last trick. It's not finals. Last trick uh, is only in the finals. Last trick is only in the finals, not in the qualification. That's right. Remember, the winner class tradition is if it is if it is a final round, you get one last try, but this is only qualification. So the, the object of qualifications is you want to do a, a, enough tricks, land enough tricks, and impress the judges enough to advance oh. to the finals. We have people saying that Anna Julia should have been in this heat. Maybe if it's her first time ever competing internationally yes. and she doesn't skate for a boot brand. Right. She'd never got in the first three positions in amateur at Winter Clash. So she needs to qualify first. Yes. yes. And this year this year could be the year that she steps up for next year. <laughs> That's it's not clearly, it could be. It's really? not a question. Yes, it's a, yeah. I think for the junior yes. women's there is a definitely Anna what? Julia was yeah. a, sta by the way, a standout. For we sure. are almost on the twenty four hundred Oh, beautiful! Keep it coming, guys. Wow! Last Share year we had, link. last year we had three thousand. Yeah, Let's see. we're gonna pass three thousand this year. Okay, we're gonna go way past three thousand, and everybody on the live stream, you guys know it. You know what to do. Tag in your friends, share the we link, could, and let them know. We could the pro finals are coming up. We could easily go to the Ooh. four thousand oh, mark. Oh, for sure, easy. Right away, if everybody in here switches on their phones on YouTube. So we've got Chihiro Zuma. No, we no, we don't. Second. We got we've got Daniela Nuria, Salgado. We got Nuria Lopez, China Weirsal, Daniela Salgado, Misaki Kariyama, and Armel Tisler. We're going to introduce you to them here on the live stream. Then I have a wrong list. I have other list. Daniela Salgado, your reigning women's champion in the gold helmet. She's the previous winner.
to everyone who was getting mad to me for calling oh, wow. China to an I'm China. sorry, China is here. Yeah, China is in this heat. She's in the blue helmet. And China is considered... Uh, Misaki is in the black Misaki helmet. Misaki Katayama. In the black helmet in the striped shirt. She was very close to win if she didn't win the World Skate Games in, in Argentina. I am not 100% sure she probably even win. I don't really remember, but if she didn't win, she came really close. So we can expect to see some amazing tricks from Misaki. And if she's from Japan, you know her style is going to be damn near flawless. Borderline, borderline <laughs> beyond human. They're so clean when they come from Japan. So controlled and so stylish. Daniela. Superhuman is the is the better term. Our reigning champion is getting up to the biggest yes. box already. So in the blue helmet. In. Blue helmet, Nuria Lopez with the back torque. Wow, look at that. So Showing Goose the boss. <laughs> Daniela Salgado on the local box. Wow, kind run. with the kind run. Here comes Daniela in the gold helmet. A China. lot of speed. 360. Big 360. Oh. Ooh. China backside and then fish brain slamming in. Daniela, Daniela with the Mizu. Oh. The course is completely different from last year. Let's see how some of them will perform because some of these are real Alley street skaters. Alley of top porn star from Misaki. Ooh, hip check. Nice little acid soul there from Nuria Lopez. Oh, she's got a jersey with her name on it. Her soccer jersey says Nuria Lopez on there. That's super smart. Uh, Daniela not locking the top sole. Where's China? Oh. Okay. She was right there at the Roaches box. There we go. Daniela yes. with the sweat yes. says. Yes. Nice, Daniela. Here comes China. Oh, okay. 360 Mizu. Mizu. Front side all the way on the USD rail is Misaki Katayama from Japan. There's Nuria in her own soccer jersey. Sunny day to top, sunny day. Super sick combo. I like that. I really like that. Good job, Nuria. China Weirsaw from Detroit dropping in, representing faction. Daniela. Ah, shucks. Two missed tricks. Someone just take it. There you go. There you go. Oh, that was nice. top side sunny day. That was clean. China's going for the tree, Mizu. Oh, oh that was it. really Whoa, close. Oh, wow. wow. That was X grind front foot top side. That was so stylish. And Robert Leovanos would approve. Yes. The proper way to do that is front foot top side. That's harder. Good job, Misaki. Over there on the USD box. A Christ backside torque from Nuria. She loves those torques. Top side acid, Daniela Salgado. comes Daniela. Oh, she looks like she wanted the oh. top acid there. There we go. China. We got China. Backside UFO. Fish brain to fakie. Yeah. There you go, China. Oh, so I didn't get it. They love them some China. Crowd goes wild. All the way from Detroit, USA. Maybe one of the only USA Women competitors here. Oh, back wow. torque two. Another back torque. She's going for the Nuria grab back Lopez. torque, huh? She loves it. Yeah, she loves those torques. Good for her. That's awesome. Our reigning champ on the local box. Oh, what did that miss you? There's a three yes. Wow. That was a nice three Mizu, huh? Just got to roll away, China. Maybe the ground is a little bit Yeah, slippy. it might be, huh? There's Nuria on the FR box. Look like a backside full torque. Here comes Daniela dropping into the grindhouse box. Coming with some speed. Oh. Oh, and China did the tree Mizu. 360 yeah. Mizu. Yeah. There it is. China, she got it. That's one of her signature tricks. So stylish. She's rocking faction skates. Oh, my goodness. So Misaki did topside acid to backside unity. That was a very unique switch up. China's coming back. Oh. Daniela. 
Wow. Oh. She almost tapped it with the head yes. on the way up. That's so scary. Yes. Huh? Put your hands together for heat number two. Remember, it's a qualifications, so there's no last try. You get your last try in the finals. Okay, and now we got Lilu Fumery, right? Oh, this is the new one. This is the new list. This is the new we list. Got a new Updated. List. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we so got. We actually have four heats of qualifiers. Okay, so we have Ichi from Japan. Yes. Carla Martin from Spain. Yes. Armel Tiesler from France. France. And, and Javier Garrido from Chile. Yes. We already have our second camera they, there. The, the first list we got had three heats on it, but the second list we got had four heats on it. Yeah. More proof to the point that there are more women competitors at this Winter Clash than there have ever been before. So four heats in the pro women qualification. Miguel's down there on the course rocking his new Plastic Pusher shirt. You guys want to check out Plastic Pushers on YouTube. They make some great videos from right here in the Netherlands by Kevin Brinkman. So he's there telling the contestants for heat number three the format of the contest, which is essentially a five minute jam session. A shared heat where you can feed off of each other's energy. And you don't have to take the whole park to yourself for a, a 60 second run. You get five minutes and you can go back and forth and pick tricks out and rest, take a breather. Uh, five minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but if you try to skate for five minutes straight, it'll gas your, your buns. Okay, let's see from the people at home, who's their favorite from this the bill on it. Carla is in the red helmet. Arnell is in the gray Look helmet. at the nails. <laughs> How does she skate with those claws? <laughs> oh, really? Javiera is in the pink helmet. Look, everyone is itchy at home. Like, everyone on chat is like, itchy. Yeah, so Chie Ichi Inoue from Japan has got a fan club, so we call her Ichi. So Ichi is skating. Yeah, she's right yeah. there in the in the military style helmet. Yes. Yeah, with a big blue adapts. Yeah, blue feet. adapts. And here we go, heat number three. Armel back toward, uh, back far, sorry. Itchy, top acid. Top acid. Itchy. Comes Javiera, backside. Keep the line going. Top sole, perfect. Here uh, comes Carla Mon. in the red helmet. Top, top sole. sole with those white skates. Look like USD Aeons. Itchy backside full torque. Back backside full, full torque, torque there from um. Armel. How, how do you skate in those nails? How do you text in those nails? How do you grab your backslides with that? Uh, mm. it, click clack. Well, she grabs Whoa. her torque. Fish brain. That was. Javier Garrido with that fish brain on the Rossi's box. Kai nice grind. Guy. That was yeah. nice. Javier is killing it with style. We got Ichi right here. Yep. Oh, fish brain with the grab. Super solid for Ichi from Japan. We got Armel, Armel coming. Here comes Armel with some speed. Wow, oh, nice dude. Mizu there. Top sold a fakie. And that was Carla in the red helmet. Top, Top side acid. acid. Javiera, backside. She eats more. Okay, she okay the for real. Nice, Javiera on the. Firecracker rail. Yeah. 
Did she okay? Wow. She looked like she was in pain, but... Back full torque, 540 out. Oh. Into a 540 from Armel Tisler with the pink ladies on. The pink lady skates, I should say. Whoa, yeah. Misu there on the firecracker rail from Ichi. She's from Japan. They got Javi. Javiera. Javiera. Oh, oh I'm a long way so up scared and of. a long way down. I think she can land it, though. Here comes Armel. Mizu. Mizu. Yes. Hey, okay. hey, she nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, that was for you, my dear. <laughs> Could you imagine Armel running the chat with those nails? She's awesome. I love her style. Do your thing, girl. Work it. Mizu right there. Javier Garrido. How did you even see that with the nail? Fish oh, brain. Fish brain. With the graph. Javier. With the graph. The only way to do it, Basti. When you got a fish on the hook and you want to take it off the hook, you got to grab it. <laughs> Every fish brain should be grabbed. Whoa! Soul to soul top, to top soul. soul. And now she's still coming. Armel, goodness gracious. Maybe I need nails. I would skate better. <laughs> this is like it's a fish on the hook. We're gonna see you. <laughs> we're gonna see you with nails next year. Ah, red helmet. That's Carla. What has she got? Okay, here comes Armel. Armel. Look how fast she goes. She's not afraid of chipping a nail. Yes! Oh, topside sunny day there. That was Carla in the red helmet. Yes. Armel skated strong, Carla as well, and Javiera in the pink helmet for sure. We got Mr. Air Dolphin on the chat saying it was the thousands, like the, no, no, the thousand person to like the stream. Well, we have 2,500. We should have 2,500 likes on the stream so that YouTube likes it. Yes. And suggest it to more people. Yeah. yeah. Hit the like button, you guys. Thank you. It'll, it'll juice our algorithm. Ichi doesn't Ichi seem like he's feeling that good. I hope she's okay. Just struggling a bit. Yeah, her energy wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Something was yeah. up, huh? Yeah, I, her, I didn't saw her fall, but she didn't seem like she, she didn't was, seem right. Yeah. I hope she's okay. Sometimes traveling, the jet lag catches up with you. We wish her the best. Heat number four, Mary Munoz from Spain. And Enrique Quinochoches. King Coches. King Coches. Lilu Fumari, Leo Fumari's sister, and Chihiro and Azuma. The, and the one person with the most amount of wins at the Winter Clash. Chihiro Azuma has won Women's Winter Clash three think, times. Yes. Yes. That's what people have been she saying. She's a force so to be reckoned with. If someone can confirm that, please do. Maybe someone in the chat can confirm it. But I think Harry Nopro over here gave us the thumbs up when he said, when we asked him if she had won three. So we'll introduce you guys so you know at home across the world watching who each of these women are in this fourth and final women qualifier, women pro qualifiers heat. Miguel down there again, kind of giving them a quick little rundown. You can see it here. Look out for each other. Make sure you check before you drop in. It's a big contest course, but even with four people out there, the chance to run into each other or collide, it, it's, it's... It's fist pump a plunk. It is, it happens. Yeah, don't leave yet. We got to say your name out loud and let the crowd identify you. These women are so eager to skate. Yes. Mary Munoz, she's got the yellow shirt and her bright yellow pro skates. That's Mary Munoz right there wearing the yellow. Anna Reeves is in the pink helmet. She's from Spain. Well, Leo Kel Lilo killed it already. is in the red helmet. Her brother killed it. Let's see how she does. It's Shihiro. Shihiro Azuma is okay. in the white shirt. Okay, she so. Has the biggest crowd for her. Yes. The white long sleeve shirt is Shihiro Azuma. She's won the women's pro contest three times here 
at the Winter Clash, and she's rocking. Chihiro is rocking no, a white no, no, shirt. No, 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 no. This may be the first time that she wins the Women's Pro Contest. Oh. Because up until now, there was never a Pro Contest. It was just the Women's Contest. So she's won the Women's Contest three times at Winter Clash, but this would be the first Women's Pro. So that's Chihiro in the white long sleeve shirt and the pink skates. Okay, now we got Mary. Mary Munoz dropping in, walking her yellow Pro USD skates, the USD Aeon Munoz. Looks like they're just getting to where they want to start the heat. She wants to drop in with a lot of speed, it looks like. Mary Munoz in the yellow is a, a diehard street skater from uh, Barcelona, Spain. Don't forget, you guys at home in the chat, share the link with your friends, jump on Twitter, Instagram, post the link and say, hey, you guys, tune in. And then throw it in your group chat as well. And we'll see you guys in the comments, or hopefully we'll see you here in Eindhoven at Winter Clash next year, 2025. <laughs> okay. There goes Mary She's dropping on. in with her yellow USD Aeons. Launching up, big 360. 360. Luke Kang. Luke Kang kicking it out. Drop back. Wow, in. Chihiro with the sweat stance on the firecracker rail. The crowd loves it. Mary oh, Soul. Soul Soul. On the broom handle rail. Wall right on the Rossi's bank box. Lilu going up. Wow. Okay. Flip. Misty flip up the launch box in that red helmet. That was Lilu. And then Chihiro on the, on the Rossi's box. Shout out to Megan, she's still here. Sending big love for the ladies. Okay. Fish spray in there. Top mistral on the firecracker. Oh, that was Chihiro. There's Lilu. Sweat stance. Mary top Topside acid. acid, yes. And backside UFO on, on the, the firecracker, firecracker rail. Yes. Here comes Enerites. Ooh, oh. going for that top sole. That's Enerites in the pink helmet. She's all the way from Spain as well. We got Miguel Ramos watching. Ladies are killing it. Yes. Drag to heal. Yes, Miguel. Ooh. That was Chihiro going for the con grind on that firecracker rail. Top side, sunny day across and down. Lilu Fumari. Ooh. Yo, how sick would it Mary be if Mary Munoz gets a trick on the yellow USD box with her yellow USD skates? That would be sick. That will be. Yeah, she's got it. Oh! oh Shahiro. Shahiro on the firecracker. Tuck, 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 tuck. Wow. Whoa, top sunny day, budget top soul. And Ritz in the pink helmet there. Backslide to Kind right. Oh. Five nice 540 from Lilu Fumari. And Mary sweat stance. Sweat stance. Yes. Those unmistakable top bright stall. yellow Aeons. Kind grind, of course. One of her signature tricks. Oh, oh, good save. Told you. Throw Royale to top, so it's coming. Chihiro. Good save. And a reads. Top soul off the bank. Nice. Wow. wow. Pinky Bio. Pinky Bio, a.k.a. A pancake. Lilu Fumari in the red helmet. That was awesome. Did it just call it a pancake? Yes. Wow. Frontside Unity, Lilu Fumari. Chihiro's up there looking at the rail or the ledge? The rail. The it's FR coming. rail. Here she goes. Oh! Wrong side. That was beautiful. 
This sick. was so sick. Really looking Street good. Street skater style. That's and how that's it's done. Mary. Oh, Mary. There it Top is. Top 180. Star. Yellow skates, yellow USD box, yellow USD skates on the yellow USD box. Do you think USD also put the yellow obstacles because of Mary's skates? I think that if they did, that was very smart marketing. Well, that's the same as Rossi Warchers did with the Yuto skate. Yeah, and the denim blue box. Yes. That's very smart. Color affiliation. Top soul. Oh, so by Mary. Color theory, if you will. Or color association. Wow, right at the very end. Enrique from Spain hit that big FR rail. Nice. We got eye roller boots. Ben Sanders is around. We should call Ben Sanders to sure. come here. Yeah. A guest on here if you'd like. So what's coming up next? That just wraps up the four, the fourth and final heat for the pro women qualification. Up next, we're gonna have the pro men qualification. So there's gonna be a period of warm up, maybe five or ten minutes, where the pro men are gonna take to the course, and uh, their qualifiers are gonna come up next. So they got a 15-minute warm-up window. So in 15 minutes, we're going to start the pro men's qualifier. So you're going to see dudes like returning champions Julian Coudot, Joe Atkinson, other people like Montre Livingston, Danilo Senna, the young kid from Brazil, and plenty of other pro men skaters from all across the globe. And one thing, I just got a message from legendary German skater Sasha Huber. Don't know if you guys remember, but he's watching the live stream. He's not rollerblading anymore. He went back to other sports. He's just going, dude. The level of the girls is insane. Absolutely have true. To, have to add no that one there. more time. We're gonna go to a commercial it's break. You insane. guys are watching the Winter Clash 2024 live stream produced by the Wheel Attic team, and we'll be back right after this commercial break. Check who we have here. Check there, look there. Are we live? Are we live? Hello, YouTube! <laughs> oh. Sit there for a second if you want. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe sit there or something? Yeah, I'll just take you, a knee. I'll just okay. Take a knee. Will that work? Okay. So who do we have with us in the booth now? The most annoying rollerblading YouTuber of all time. <laughs> Does that exist? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's me. That's me. <laughs> Is so, there is there annoying or is there wide reaching? Well, you know, it's a little bit of both, right? Okay. <laughs> so yeah. let let everybody know in the live stream who you are and what you're about. Yeah, hey, if if, if you don't know me, I'm Ben Sanders. I'm from I Have Roller Booth, the YouTube channel. I know you. You're the guy that saturates your photos. I do saturate yes. the hell Boom, out of my so thumbnails. So that color pops. My thumbnails? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I you know I I spam that. Yeah, for sure. So is this your first Winter Clash? Uh, yeah, it totally is. By the way, which camera am I looking at? That one. That one. Okay. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Yeah, first Winter Clash, uh, I competed yesterday, or I did the AM thing, and I was so nervous between Winter Clash and the traveling and everything, but it was, it's was it been incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's been so much fun. What was your best trick? I my best trick? Good. My only real trick was a sweaty to death, and then I got back up and landed it after that. So on you guys what? Will, on, the, on, the, on the USD box? On the, on the one that other people have been dying on? Yeah. Oh my you God. sweat stance that? Sweaty to fake. You yeah. were sweating the stance. Oh, I was sweating hard, <laughs> time, yeah. dude. 
Yeah, so are you filming for a new episode for your YouTube channel? Not here, honestly. Okay. I'm just going to take it all in. We're going to Barcelona tomorrow. Uh, you're going gonna with, be, you're are gonna you going be, with the Jumbo guys? Uh, we're going to be there with them, yeah. Wow, so okay. We're going to be pumping out content there. Collab of the YouTubers yeah, in for Barcelona. Sure. Yeah, we're yes. both. It's Ben Sanders and Cody Sanders, so we joke that we're brothers. Well, I, I hope, actually thought well, you were brothers. You know what? So there's Ben Sanders and there's Cody Sanders, and there's Mick Cazals, yeah. and there's Mick. From intuition. There you so go. So we're called the McDouble. The McDouble. What do you guys, what do you guys call the Colonel Sanders? Colonel. He used Ooh. to run KFC, Kentucky Fried Ooh. Chicken. You know. Yeah, yeah. Colonel Sanders, and the two of you show up. Yeah, we might have to yeah. pick up. We might have to yeah. pick that one up. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, you leave the McDouble alone. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that yeah. one alone. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is incredible. It's insane. I've, the first one, I, I cannot believe the energy and the just everything. It's insane. It's the it's the red carpet of rollerblading. You got that right. Yeah. We, we call this the Super Bowl. Yeah, of blading, like the world that. Super Bowl, yeah. and we're trying to produce a broadcast quality uh, live stream, and I think we're we're damn near close. I'm, we're building a solid team, and we've got to show chat. you something. You haven't seen it because you're not at home, but check. We got camera one, which is airy there. We can play with that stuff. And then we got camera two, which is not now working because he's around. Uh, that's like the, the camera that is on the course. Yeah, that's a camera on the course. That's Pedro. He's and then a we got cam, camera three. Which is a robo cam. And then, uh, it's then got we, three pre... We got this. We got sorry. Pre-entered settings. We got these. Whoa! Yes. And you we can got this. Yes. Whoa. And we yes. can look, look. You want to see where we are? Let me show you something. We're gonna zoom in on us. Yes, we can. Let's try zooming in on us. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> Hello from the live stream booth at Winter Clash 2024. <laughs> yeah. Winter Clash. Winter Clash. <laughs> <laughs> and, then after, and then after the after clash, you're going to experience backlash. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> after tonight, the backlash will hit. It's like reverse jet lag. Yeah. No. Thank you so much for uh, for what for this live stream. I know, like, when I watched it last year, it was so important to so many people. And so thank you so much for, for putting this on. You're very welcome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for coming around, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll That's cool. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers. So we just got. Okay. We okay. just got the heat list for the men's pro qualification, and it looks like we've got six heats. Okay. With about five contestants in each heat. So we got about 30 competitors, maybe a little bit more, maybe 32. I'm seeing names on here like Anthony Potier, Michael Weitzman, David Sizemore, Yaro Freen. Diego Guyu, Martin Danning, Montre Livingston, Romana Brat, Joe Atkinson. Wow. Eugene, Jorgen Ennen, Gabriel Hayden, Yuto Goto, Sven Bokers, Nils yes. Jansen. Those are just some of the you names. You know what? See. You know what? I'm very, very, very excited to see Sven skating here. Yes. He's been on a mission since forever, but over the past year or two, he said he would never compete again. Dude, he competed last year. No, no, he said he would never compete again. Yeah, yes, but he competed last I year. I know it did, but have you been seeing what he's been doing over the past couple of months? What has he been doing over the like, past like couple of months? If you if you've been following skating his, strong again? Yes. Okay. If you've been look if you've been I, I have seen some park clips from him. Those yes. Backslides, those back backslides, no one else does them like that. Yes, across the whole ledge, going fast. Yes. No, in Barcelona he did one on a ledge, just like going slow to the ledge and holding on like Amazing. Yeah, and he's still representing Rollerblade. And is he still doing events as well? Yes. So and he's Nils, teaching. He's also teaching. Yeah, he's in, he's doing skate instruction. So Sven Bokers is like a very great ambassador for Rollerblading. I wonder if anyone has been on a team brand for as long as he has. Well, I would, I would put someone else, obviously a lot younger, but I would put someone else like on his path. I would say that it's somehow... As good as good as an ambassador for the sport, that would be Niels Jansen. Yes. I wouldn't see Niels leaving Rams, to be fully honest, if he wasn't needed. Yes. If that makes sense. Yes. Because Niels has been is super loyal, an yes. amazing uh, image to the sport. Yeah, he's a great clean cut kid, and now uh, uh, becoming a family man, and yes. his his uh, persona of promoting self care and uh, physical fitness and uh, nutrition in collaboration with being an active skater I think is uh, opening a lot of people's eyes to you take care of your body, your body takes care of you. 100%. And you can still have fun. And he's a real authentically 
kind person. So yeah, Nils Jansen's man, and, and, like a young Sven, huh? and still pushing skating like very very he's few others. He's not slowing down. Yes, he's not slowing. He's down. He's adjusting. He's getting smarter, I would say. Yes, he's very thoughtful in his spot and trick selection. Now I don't know if it's the ice baths or <laughs> or stretching while making a a raw grass juice. I'm not sure what the secret is, but. Whatever, whatever Nils is doing, I, I kind of want right. in. I want to be a student. <laughs> this is Michael Weitzman cutting across the course. Double grab, parallel 360 up on the grindhouse box. Roman Abrati. Roman Abrat in Flying the red helmet. Around. There's Jürgen Ennen also wearing yellow. USD yellow. I think that was the word. Anybody who's rocking USD needs to be rocking yellow. Oh. He's got those shadow DL retro or, skates or they need to match the color of the skates because i see michael witzman with the shirt the color of his skates. ah uh, like the, the sandstone color yes but you know what it's interesting to see michael witzman skate this course because he is the skater that a lot of people think he can only skate small Street. things yes but or, he is, yes he is a, a, an amazing skater we yeah, got, he's a got some stuff. What? we got a message from, from Rene Holgreen? From Rene Holgreen. Oh, shout out to Rene Holgreen, the original out. Viking. Cool, man. Respect wow. from Come Matt out. Mickey and the Wheels Attic crew here at the Winter Clash 2024 live stream. Rene Holgreen, come out here next year. Well, we're all big fans. Everyone is. Yeah. Everyone is. For all time, man. Some epic sections of Rene Holgreen and tricks in uh, old VGs. Yeah. Hoax 3. Yeah, Hoax, oh, Hoax, Hoax 3, 3 broken English. Yes. Yeah. With the white Majestics. Oh, yeah. did I just saw 540 over the rail? Wow. Oh, yeah, we've got. Okay. Dominic Bruce out there. I think I see. That was Joe Egan, right? Yeah, yes. possibly. With the 540. 540. Yeah, yes, yep. Yes, that was Joe Egan. Ooh, I want to see Eric Michael skating. He's so powerful, so much amplitude on his tricks. This could be a really good course for Eric Michael, too. We'll be right back after this commercial break here at the 2024 Winter Clash live stream. Okay. So we're back. We are back. And the pro qualifier warm-ups are underway. So if you're if you're looking closely at the screen and you see Eugene Ennin with the yellow long sleeves and those shadow DL retro skates, or you see Yuto Gotu in his brand new denim colored Rossi's Majestic 12s with his acid wash denim baggies, your eyes are not deceiving you. I see Miko Aro right there rocking his signature Razors Pro Skate. I see Roman Abrat. I see Bobby Spasov in his black candy Rossi skates. So there's a lot of internationally known skaters that are on the course right now warming up. The Look pro at, qualifiers are oh about to get underway. God. Dominic is. Dominic Bruce in the red pants. 
And his, his name is not even on the list, doing 900 stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why or if we're going to see Dominic Bruce skate in the pro qualifiers. I was checking the heat list. I didn't see his name on there, but he's out on the course in those red pants, ripping it up. There's Montre in the red hockey jersey. With the new skates. Dreadlocks in it, some custom icons. Yes. No, no, it's their new pro model skate. Oh, it's a pro model? It was announced. They, they announced two different colorways for his pro model skate. So he has two pro models. Yes. And that's one of them. Yes. Awesome. I was talking to Montre earlier, and I was like, yo, dude, every time I see you out here, you got a different color skate. He's like, yeah, I do. And I didn't realize he's so humble, he didn't tell me that those were his pro skates. Well, that makes sense. Hills Jansen's dark side alley-oop sold 360 out. Nils is in a green shirt, rocking his black and purple. Nils purple haze, Rosies. I'm sure you guys saw that edit. We were just talking about how great of an ambassador for the sport Nils is and Let how me, oh sick wow. he still is at skating. And he just proved it again. It's going to keep happening. 270 back right out there oh from Yuto Goto. Romana Brat there. So, I'm uh, Matt McKee from Intuition Skate Shop, and I'm co-host here at the Winter Clash live stream, but we definitely can't do it alone. Honored to be a part of Team Wheel Addict for this weekend, bringing you this broadcast quality live stream. And Team Wheel Addict, spearheaded by Ricardo Lino, also includes Janice, <laughs> Harry No Pro on the steady cam. We've got Pedro from Portugal on Pedro the camera Pinto. on the course. Pedro, Pedro Pinto. Pinto. Yeah. And we've got Basti, my co-host from Germany. And uh, we also are able to do this because of our gracious sponsors. Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Anton Frames. And you can find out more about those companies following the links in the description of this live stream. Check them out. Actually, I know that I will get harassed by... Update second page. Second page. Ah. So we just got a new updated list, second page of the heat list, heats number six and seven. So Dominic Bruce is skating. And Stefan Alfano is also in heat number seven as well. So we've got some new additions. This is good news because Dominic Bruce in the red pants, as we were saying, is out there ripping it in warm-ups. So I'm glad to see that they did make sure that he was on the list. So the updated list, we've got seven heats, and it looks like we've got about 35, maybe 38 competitors, pro, 38 of the top rollerbladers from all across the globe, including David Sizemore, who you've seen cutting across the course, Martin Danning, Dominic Bruce, Stefan Alfano, Nils Jansen, Sven Bokers, Montre Livingston, Joe Atkinson, Jorgen Henning, Sam Crofts, I feel like, is out there as well. The point is, the best action is yet to come. So share the link, guys. We can share see we can link. see bees in the back. Yeah, we're at 2,500 
on the audience right now, and we need to click that up above 3,000. Danilo Senna, 540 True Top Soul, popping back and pointing. Hey, they're playing Chris Happy's song from Leading the Blind right yes. now. Yeah. Boom. This is going to get anybody hyped. All you guys at home, just so you know, I skated earlier this morning, so I won't be abandoning the boot to compete. They asked me, you know, like, yo, do you want to? I was like, kind of got this gig going on. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy commentating and announcing about skating as much as I do participating in skating. Almost. Nothing like landing a trick that you thought you couldn't do, but you couldn't see it in your mind, and then you land it. But commentating about skating is awesome because it gives me the opportunity to inform and energize people who might not be physically at the event, but are tuning in and want to learn. It could be general public. It could be people who've loved roller their whole life, and everybody in between. Incredibly grateful for this opportunity. And hopefully you guys are enjoying at home as well. Wow, Jimmy Sizz with a triple switch up there, rocking his factions. There's Martin Danning, looking more long-legged than ever. I don't know if that kid's getting taller, or if it's just me, but the young Martin Danning is growing up before our very eyes. There goes Joe Atkinson. Oh wow. my god! <laughs> it did it! Again. In the warm-ups, backslide up the broom handle rail. Two fish stall. stall. Yeah, he got the peak at the end there, huh? Joe. With Solomons. Yes, with meet, Solomons. Meet Solomons. I feel like sometimes Joe Atkinson goes to a country, goes to a couple yard sales, scores some Solomons, and then shows up at the contest. No, I was talking about how difficult it is to do that with the Solomons because the the space of the soul yeah, area. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. After yeah. the backslide. There's not a lot of real estate. Not so that's at all. A, it's almost like you have to get precise, like a, a ballpoint pin. Yeah. So is it is it true the rumors that Joe Atkinson sources some of his Solomons from Harry No Pro? Ah, I see. Martin Danning with back, a back fast slide to fakey. Here's Eugen Annen. What's he up to? Wow, 360 topside torque. So the torque got there first, and I ain't mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Swim Bokers is on the. Hey, course. if you guys want to jump in the chat and shout us out with where you're watching from, and who you who you're cheering for, that would be awesome. Jump in the chat and don't forget to share the link. Remember, the goal is to break 3,000 simultaneous viewers. I know we're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. We're gonna blow past it, but it can't happen without you guys. Share the link. It doesn't cost anything but a second. And you're going to help us break the record and make Winter Clash 2024 reach more people than ever before. Anthony Portier. Oh, wow. Top soul on the grindhouse. Joe Atkinson is just loving that loco box. Anthony Portier has more speed than anybody else. Yeah. And does War he know what he's going to do with soul. it? That's when those flat frames come in handy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is he riding 64 flat with metal? So he's getting that like power transfer. <laughs> Joey Egan there in the white helmet well, and the white FRs. Martin Danning, check the kid, man. Yes. Shima is here. Where is Shima? Uh, that's not Shima. That's London calling. <laughs> but this is his song. From <laughs> now you know exactly. <laughs> that's the whole, the whole leading the blind. Yes. Um, the soundtrack. soundtrack. Yes. We had some time with Shima last night at Night at the Movies with Brian Shima. That was an epic night. What is your favorite Brian Shima section? Uh, my favorite Brian Shima section is going to be... Brain Freak on. Leading the Blind. Or Coop the, the, the second Coop the Tar section. Oh, that Smashing one. Pumpkins. That's the one that played yesterday. Yep. Here comes Potier. Oh, I see. Oh. I didn't oh. saw that. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's, this, a, that's a bad place. That's is, a bad this point. Portier in the white shirt, huh? No. Yes. Yes, it is. It's Anthony Portier. In the white shirt? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought, but Bobby. I almost thought I was mistaken. No, no. it is not. No, it's not. It's Nicholas Serby, huh? No, it's not. Who's in the white long sleeve? It's the, the guy from Paris. What's his name? Uh, Serby? Nicholas Serby? Nicholas Serby's on, uh, on, on Razor. Fred Bukowski. Yes. Frederick. Fred Bukowski in the white shirt. So Anthony Potier, I think, has white skates on, huh? I haven't I, seen Potier. Did I? He was skating yesterday. The champ is also on the course. 
Yeah, Anthony Pontier is in heat number one, Ricardo. Yeah. Okay. He was walking around here. Uh, he was skating yesterday, and I saw him walking around here earlier. No, I saw him walking around, but yes. I haven't seen him on skates now. Okay. And so that's Fred Bukowski with the black FRs and the white shirt. Okay, I'm learning. There's Levy Van Reen. All those lanky Mesmer skaters. Levy, Martin Danning. Oh, we got that in ball. And Dominic Bruce all look like they got long, long legs. Stefan Alfano, 720 corkscrew up there. Up. Yeah, he's still got it, huh? He's rocking some of brand course. new. Did he ever lost it? No. <laughs> well, no, I don't think he did. He just didn't show it to a lot of people for a couple of years there, but he absolutely still has it. How easy can Danilo go up that ramp? People, are, some people are struggling, and Danilo yeah. is just like, just like he's just walking up, up there. So yesterday, Danilo was throwing 542 fish burns. Yes, I saw it four here. Four or five in a row. I saw it here, and I also saw him do 542 top sole on the down ledge in practice just right now. Okay. So Danilo Senna, keep your eye on that. He's a good boy. He's no Senna, but he is Danilo Senna. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the 2024 Winter Clash official live stream produced by the Wheel Attic team. We're giving you guys a broadcast quality live stream from essentially the global Super Bowl of rollerblading here in Eindhoven at Area 51. We've got new obstacles built just for this contest, and we are about to get the pro qualifiers underway. Our viewership is going to swell. The chat and comments are going to go nuts. You guys participate as much as you want. The best thing you can do is share the link with your friends, and then you guys have got something to talk about for the whole rest of the year. And we are close to 3,000 oh, views. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are around 350. Oh, there's Julian Couteau out there. David Sizemore. If you see anyone on the course in a lime green vest with a snowflake on it, that doesn't mean they're snowplow drivers. That means they're out there. They're the media team. Got they're Bobby's filming. Pass of they're filming okay. and taking photos to provide you all the world-class content. But there's nothing like watching it live, and that's what we're about here on the official live stream. The Winter Clash experience continues to grow. A two-story trade show, Night at the Movies with Brian Shima, side events, a Jump Street podcast live recording, and it all culminates with the grand finale the pro contest here at Winter Clash 2024. <laughs> Danilo going corkscrew 900. But of the, course. But the, thing is like, the amplitude of their tricks. Yes. These like, ramps are not small, Ricardo. I know, but it's, yeah. But comparing to other people, like. Oh, you mean Danilo's going higher than other people? Yes. Okay. I, yeah. Now that comes from inside. That's your spirit. That's your heart. <laughs> and he's got a lot of it, man. I don't know what it is. But it's youth too. He's only 18. Okay. So heat number one. Let's go to camera two. Um grande abraço para o Welder Wagner do Brasil. Success with all the riders. Okay, Let's we got check. Pedro down there. Let's see. We got Pedro down there. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So Niels, Rinas. They're gonna from Germany. Yeah, they're going to introduce heat number one. So we're going to let you guys know what they're wearing so you can recognize who's landing these tricks. Some of these faces you're going to recognize from their pro product or edits you've seen. And some of these faces you might not recognize. Again, this is a worldwide contest. There are competitors from over 20 different countries. Miguel's down there letting him know. Oh, we have more. So now it's going up to eight heats. And they, oh, we just got an updated list. So instead of seven heats, we have eight heats, which means more action for you guys watching at home. That's okay. That's beautiful. We got some last minute add ons. You know, rollerbladers, so we're always late. Oh, we got Jeff Howard. Got Jeff, Jeff Howard, Howard showed up. Howie's son. So it's I, like there's people that have been here since Thursday, and then all of a sudden it comes time to be like, yo, did you sign up to Skate Pro? And some of them just shrug because we're rollerbladers and we kind of lag a little bit. So <laughs> someone's running around with a magical clipboard and saying, do you want in? So these guys are like, oh, yeah, there's a skate contest going on. Sure, put me in. Yes, Winter Clash, are you ready? So Miguel Martinez, the legendary voice on the floor, he's going to introduce us to heat number one. It's the 
good old Winter Clash. Are you ready? Are you ready, uh, Mick? I'm absolutely ready, Ricardo. Okay, let's do this. So Niels is in the turquoise shirt and the German helmet. Oh, Xavier Guino. So I don't see Potier. He didn't see Potier. Yes. Sandstone. Maybe. Michael Weitzman in the sandstone Maybe. shirt. Maybe he's Xavier still Xavier Guino is in the yellow pants. And Michael Weitzman wears a helmet with a Far For The New York podcast sticker on Dan it. Dan Robinson has got the loud Armani-style shirt on. <laughs> well... But Anthony Potier was on each one. And Anthony Potier was listed in this heat, but he's not competing, so it's possible that he got hurt. I'm not sure what's going on. So Anthony Potier, who is a excellent skater from Belgium, who is here this weekend, he is listed in this heat, but he's not active. Also a two-time winner clash. Champion. Oh, he is a previous champion. Yes. So you two can times. best believe if he kids if he was able to skate, he and would. We had a lot of people saying that this could be a course for him, so... And here we yeah. go. Niels Rinas from Germany goes into the spine. Oh. Oh. oh, Dan Robinson there. Here comes Michael Weitzman going to the grindhouse box. Big double grab, up. parallel 360. Front side, Very drop in. Drop. Keeping his oh, speed. Shabby. X grind, front foot, the, the, top the, side. The, Perfect. True top okay. acid there from Nils Rinas. Michael on the firecracker top sole to fakey. Top sole to fakey, yeah, super smooth. So that's Michael Weitzman in the sandstone shirt in his tan pro USD sways. Zavi, Soul yellow right. USD. Whoa. Oh, to true top okay. sole. He's rocking. Zavi's rocking those yellow jumper pants. Dan, Dan Robinson, Robinson, 360 up the rail. Okay. And full cap. Yeah. Back staff. Dude, almost had that. Niels Rina sold, sold, to sold down. down. He's in that white helmet and the Michael, turquoise shirt. Michael Weitzman back unity to back torque. Wow, Niels disaster Rinas. backside from Niels Rinas in that white German stripe helmet. In that tan sandstone shirt, that's Michael Weitzman. He's cutting through. Heads up, you guys. Give him some room. Cutting through, cutting through. Oh, yes. Wow. So close, Avi. Oh, Dan Robinson rocking fish brain. Oh, Machio to fish brain. Machio up, up, up to fish brain across the drop on the USD cheese wedge. Sick, dude. Dan Robinson from UK. Backflip. Nils Rinas there with the backflip. Actually, it says Dan Robinson is from Australia. Oh, he's Australian. Well, I knew it was one of those accents. He's from the UK, but I think he lives, lives in, in Australia. Okay, there we go. Michael Backslide Weitzman. to Fakey, freestyle. Oh, Xavi is with using wow. the spot differently, huh? Unity to Sweat Stance from Nils Rinas. Alley of Unity. Oh. Yeah, Xavi's over there getting creative, man. You better get creative if you got yellow look at pants. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, Dan Robinson going for that big abstract 540 to flat. So you guys at home see that what you can expect for the next hour or so. Rollerblading at its finest. Oh, at the that's an understatement, Basti. <laughs> Rollerblading at, at its most ultimate competitive. Yo, wow, that's a nice flow, Michael Weitzman, I call him the flow daddy because he's so effortless. He just boned out. That rocket front torque like blase. Ladi Dadi. Oh! <laughs> Sorry for you at home. I know I shouldn't yell, but true top four. Look at that. Oh, true top four. Oh. Zombie. Zombie. What was going on with Zombie? Oh, oh my goodness. Shabby, yeah. all right. Zombie, are you okay? Zombie. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Shabby is not okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's gonna be a no. Oh. So before that chaos, I think Xavi in the yellow striped pants, he took a fall. Uh, some other guys are, are checking on him. Bobby is over there. Uh, but Michael Weitzman did a true top horn on the firecracker rail, and it was that was absolutely magnifique. Let's see what's up with Xavi. Here comes Dan Robinson. 
Just cutting across the course. I think Miguel called timeout. Yeah, Miguel called so timeout. So he stopped Miguel the session. over at Xavi, too, to check on him. Yes, of course. Miguel, our host, with the most, the mic on the floor. He's a very compassionate person. So he's stopping the contest. He's, he's up. He's up. He's right there. So Xavi is walking on his own. He's got his hands in the air. Everyone is cheering for him. It looks like on the live stream, we're at 2,750. We're on our way to 3,000. Put your hands together for Zavi, guys. Let's share the link. This is the official Winter Clash 2024 live stream. Share that link, spread the word. Let's get everybody on board and surpass that record with ease. We're gonna beat 3,000 simultaneous viewers and you guys are gonna be a part of history. It's gonna be epic. We got another list coming. Give him a minute. We'll call it a minute. So the heat is back on minus Zavi. Oh, big transfer there Nils from Rinas. Nils Rinas. Over the rail, off the grindhouse launch. Oh, kind look of at that. Diagonal. Look at that on top. Oh, look at oh, that was nice. Dan Robinson. Yes. Did he do a toe roll to drop in? That was oh, that was a nice top mission from oh, top miss from uh, Michael Weitzman. Switch. Top miss shot to Fakey. That was switch. Regular on the big rail. Ah, switch. Okay. On the second one. So Michael Weitzman showing his Emma dexterity, going switch and natural. We call the trick switch if you do it with your other foot. It's kind of like signing a check or signing an autograph with your other hand. It's very difficult to do. It's a good way to put it. <laughs> oh, Dan Robinson. From wall right to Trumizu. Okay, and we got the first Dutch. We're about to hear the public yep. even more. Yep. So if there was ever, ever a ramp local, somebody who could skate this park, as often as he wanted until they install the new ramps for each winter class. That's what I was going to say. The park Yato is not the same. The Yato park Yato is Freen. completely different. Oh, look here. And Yaro also took third right place here. last year. Yes. Yaro took Yaro the Freen was podium. placing third last year in the pros. In the pros. Okay. With smaller ramps. Okay. And he's good. Ramps. And he's good at bigger ramps. Oh, boy. There is about to happen something. So. Miguel Martinez down there on the course, letting these guys know if they didn't hear earlier. Hey, jam session format. The audience now, as you can see, if you look around, as we pan around the, the hall here at Area 51, the building has become packed with fans of rollerblading. Just ravenous, almost as impassioned as soccer fans at a match. Look at them all having a good time. Yes, dude. <laughs> so there's more people here watching now than there have been all weekend and it's not by accident the pro qualifications are going on now next is the women's pro finals and then the absolute final grand finale of the pro finals where your winter class champion will be crowned so this is the most exciting portion of our live broadcast and you guys are tuning in at just the right time don't go anywhere if anybody's on the west coast or the midwest and just kind of joining us welcome All right, there we go. Adam Bazidlo with his hand up and the black helmet. That's Christian in the white. Christian placed top five last year. Okay, he was a top five finisher at Winter Clash 2023. David Sizemore, David Sizemore from Atlanta. Yes, <laughs> what an entrance. Oh, yes. With the black baseball style helmet. Was it a winner, amateur winner, or second place last year? It's very possible. Randall Fujiwara. Yaro Freen. Yoko. Freen is from the Netherlands. He's like a ramp local, so they're going to cheer very loud for the kid with the white t shirt and the black helmet. That's Yaro Freen, and he placed third in pros last year. Now, I'm excited. Welcome to RBO. Heat <laughs> number two, pro qualifications, the official. Winter Clash 2024 live stream. We are glad you guys are with us. Share the link. 
copy and paste, text the homies. This will give you something to talk about the whole rest of the year. Winter Clash, are you ready? You can hear the crowd. Yes, heat number two underway. So, Christian. Wow, top launched to top soul in the grind box. Top soul stall, revert in. Front side to drop. Eamon's business. Ren Fujiwara with the top mistrial. Here goes Yaro. 720 AD. up. Top, top soul drop Zuka. back in. This is Yaro Freen in the white shirt and the and black he's still helmet. On the line. He's still on the line. Alley of Unity. David Sizemore. Back Lightning Royale. fast back Royale. <laughs> Dude, Red Fujiwara. What trick was that on the down rail? Just Christian coming. True Savannah. And a back fast nice. side on the firecrack. Oh, wow. Oh! Yara was the first one that I saw doing it. Wall right top soul. Oh, very cool. So he utilized all elements of that loco red barn. He was the first one to top do that. Top soul, wall right, drop back to the other rail, top yes. soul. And Epic. He's, and he's doing lines. He's still skating. He was still skating. And then he did a zero soul on the FR box. Oh, wow. Beautiful. David Sizemore, Royale, Alley of Unity. Wow, that's David Sizemore in the green shirt and the black helmet. Rocking his them skates. He lives in Copenhagen, Denmark now. Originally from Atlanta, right? Originally from the ATL, yes. Originally from Georgia. But he married a girl in Copenhagen. Oh! oh. Transfer Yaro. up from Yato. Trying to go up the rail. Wow! Oh, red oh. true Machio to true backslide. Looked like he was trying to go all the way to intimate to top, top acid. acid. Yes. yes. Yaro soul, Yaro right soul up. up. Gap soul. out. Off the broomstick rail. Top soul on the roses. On all the right. very top coping on that Rosie's bank ramp. David. David Sizemore. Yes. He's coming with some speed heading to that Rosie's box. Oh, up it for the other side. Oh, and going that way. Yeah. Here we got wow. Christian. Back door, back, back, back slide, true top porn. Techie it's tech. Still in the line. Oh, oh too bad. 360 porn stars. So close. Too bad. Here comes David Sizemore. Oh, oh, Hurricane Thompson. <laughs> so sick. David. Yaro. 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 porn star from David Sizemore. Here goes Yaro Freen. Back, back Royale. Royale. Oh, yeah. To switch it up. He's skating with so much power and so much speed. Yato Freen in the, in the white t-shirt and the white skates is a ramp. Wow. Oh. 270 it was Savannah. Flying 270 out of Savannah. Alip top porn. Alip top porn. Oh, Yato, Yato top, top acid, acid, true back Savannah. And don't forget, we're still in qualification. Yeah, this is only qualification. Go, David. This is even the pro finals. Nice 450 over the hip from David Sizemore. Dude, Bazidlo. True, true top, top point there from Christian. Adam Bazidlo lays a sick trick back there. Oh, 360 point star, so he got his line. What he got his line, Basti. Okay, let's see. Yara on the spines. Yara's on the spines. Oh, 900. 900. From Yaro Freen, right here in front of us on the huge spine. I feel like that's eight feet tall at least. Christian. Back, back far, four. 540 yeah. out. Backside up full to forward. rail. Yes, Yaro, up that rail. Top acid to true, true acid. acid. So sick, so close. Oh, David so he has someone else. Back Royale right to wall ride. Right. Nobuo up the up the Check rail. Nobuo, right. Nobuo is for the rail transfer. Yes, Nobuo is going for the Red. rail transfer. Oh. Wow, Great. David Sizemore there. Back rail up, wall right, and then porn star down the rail. And Red Fujiwara was attempting the transfer, rail to rail, but Zidlo tried that 540 to flat, like you were saying. So close. So we're moving on to heat number three. Okay, so, so we have number three. We have Diego Guyu 
Fritz Beitzner from the USA, Bobby Spasov from Israel, Jimmy Sizz also from America, and Martin Danning from Norway. Pretty stacked heat, pretty diverse heat. It's gonna get a little creative. So pro qualifications. So we've got eight heats now, and we're on. We're about to start heat number three. And out of these pro qualifications, I feel like they're gonna make ten or twelve finalists, something like this. Usually it's two heats, yeah, either ten or twelve. I don't okay. know if it's two five or two six heats. So the object of the qualification round is to put up enough tricks to impress the judges and wow the audience, so that they advance you to skate in the finals. And you can only get to the podium, place top three, get to the money if you skate in the final. So the object is put your name up, put your tricks up, and advance. Jam session format, super exciting. It's tough, it's tough to cover, but with Ricardo and Team Wheels Addict, we got four cameras, including one down on the floor with Pedro Pinto and one up here, the Steady Cam, Harry No Pro. So we feel like we're doing a pretty damn good job of giving you guys as much of the action as it happens, as we possibly can. Keeping in mind that this is a huge world-class skate park with new large obstacles and there may be skaters skating at opposite ends of the park at exactly the same time. And it seems like from the, the chat, there's a lot of people showing love to Diego and to Bobby oh, Spasov. So Bobby Spasov, Bobby Bangers, and Diego Guyu are getting a lot of love in the chat. But they should tell us. They share should tell the, us who they're supporting. Yeah, hey, in the chat, go on there and tell us who you're rooting for. Yeah. Yeah, and share the link. Look, at, we're at 2,800. We're almost oh, at 3,000. We are an event that people can wax. We can actually oh, wax. <laughs> waxing is allowed and encouraged. This is a rollerblading event. <laughs> wax and slide, don't stick and die. Martin Danning in the black shirt there, representing Mesmer Skates. Yep. So that's your guys' heat number three. We got Diego Guyu, the prize fighter. Fritz Peitzner from Somatics and Carrier Skate Shop. Bobby Spazov of Rosie's. Jimmy Sizz from Faction and Martin Danning from Mesmer. You know these guys. <laughs> you got Tom Malquist. Tom Alquist is in the chat. Oh, uh, very welcome to Tom Alquist. I was watching him, I think, on uh, the War Lost Cities video. Oh, yes. awesome. We watched Tom, Tom Alquist. Alquist. Tom, we got Rene on the chat. Are you watching it with Rene? And here we go. Jimmy Sis going for Gouillet. negative. Diego. Flat Big spin, flat spin 540. 540. Coming here. in with some power. The one thing that I enjoy is like they're they're more respectful to each other. Skating like the amateurs are like hungry and raw. Yeah, the amateurs are cutting each other off, and the pros are being polite. Martin Danny. Oh, look at that was Fritz, huh? The tussle. Bobby, Bobby, yes. Take your bio up by Bobby. And five. Oh, five in, dude. Oh, True dark side fish. fish. Yes, from Martin Danny. Diego, Diego. Aliyub Top Soul. Diego okay. is such a, a powerful yes. dude. Full size man right there. 270 Bobby. backside, 540 out. That's Bobby Spaz off it in the red Rossi's helmet and the tan sandstone long sleeve. Here Martin Danny. Martin Danning, brown pants, black shirt. All the way at the top of the barn there, that red loco barn. <laughs> we got Fritz coming. Here comes Fritz Peitzner. From Texas. Whoa. And for the Alipto porn. Coming hot. Martin. Coming with some speed. Heads up, you guys. Martin Danning with a flat Big five. Flat 540. Super sick style. And now Fakey. Fakey 360 in. That was nice. Yes. Really nice. 360 kind grind. Martin Danning. Okay, we got Bobby again. Bobby Spazov. Big 360. There's a top sole from Jimmy Sizz. Oh, he does the transfer. Wall right to Fakie on the glass. 
And the audience behind the glass fish tank love it. Don't tap the glass. You'll disturb the fish. Bobby <laughs> tap the glass. That's the type of skater Bobby is. He will disturb the fish. Oh, Diego going for a true royale. Bobby is the one using the course differently. Bobby is a thinker. That's for sure. We call him Bobby Bangers. That wall ride to fake you on the glass was a banger. Martin Danning, soul grind. Still on the line. Back, Back fast, fast slide, slide to Fakey, so sick. Here's Bobby Spazov right in front of us. Coming in Stockwell. Oh, and Fritz got the alley top board. Oh, nice. Fritz bites their alley top, top board and then fish brain on the Dem Skates shotgun box. Diego, alley, alley top, top sole on the Loco Skates red barn rail. Oh, big top sole from Diego Guyu. He's making some nice lines, Basti. Yes. Take, everyone's taking a breather, huh, Ricardo? Oh. Dude. Look at Jimmy C's. It I'm, was, it was Bobby in the spine. Bobby in the spine. He's probably coming back here. Yeah, he's going to hit the glass and come back. So we got Bobby in the spine over there on the glass wall ride. Coming back. Bobby Fakey. Coming in Fakey. Fakey 720 Seven. over the big spine. 900. Fakey. Right up. Fakey 900. Bobby Spazov working the big ramp section like the Bobby Bangers we know. He's got part two, kids. He's oh, not just and a the two spin royale. Ah, oh, Diego was really close. Yeah, he wanted that two spin royale, huh? Coming in Stockwell, Martin Danning, big fakey 720, flat. all the way to flat. That's Martin Danning, man. He's always skating with that open hand style. His hands are oh, always got open. Oh, he got Fritz. Oh, he wants oh. that misfit, the Miss oh. Fritz. Oh, a tea kettle. A tea kettle from <laughs> Jimmy Sizz. I like my tea iced with the lemon. Thank you, <laughs> Jimmy Sizz. And I'll take a picture of tea, not just a tea kettle. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow! Martin Tanning, 360. Full cap, full cap porn. Yeah, full cap or 360 dark top porn. Bobby Bangers. Unsta more. Oh! That was nice. Big 720, fish oh, brain on the top of the Rossi's box from Fritz. Wow, Diego, Fritz, Martin, Bobby, and Jimmy Sizz. Everyone's getting Dude, so good. that was a banger of a heat. And Miguel down there just reminding the cameraman to stay on the side. Yeah, so we're going on heat number four. <laughs> This heat is stacked with superstars that you know. I'm not sure if any of you guys on the chat know who Montre is, of course. Eric Michael, representing Faction. He's the flip god. Joe Atkinson, former, former champion. Winter Class champion. Hayden Ball from San Diego. And Romana Brat from France. Which one? We're still talking. Yes, of course, yeah. Uh, ah, okay, I thought you were whistling at me. So, heat number four, Miguel is going to introduce the riders. You're going to see their face and what they're wearing so you can follow the action on the live stream here. A couple of these people you're going to recognize instantly. A couple other people, I'll let you know who they are and what they're wearing. What uh, hair, what we're hair looking for have? Joe Atkinson. Here goes Joe. He got his helmet. That's one of the rules. If you're skating in the comp, you've got to wear a helmet. Actually, you have to wear a helmet all time skating here. Oh boy. Not only at the Quam. Okay. Good to know. So it looks like heat number four. And again, we've got eight heats now. The list grew a little bit. We had three different list versions brought to us because people were adding on like the lagging la last minute bladers that we are. Uh, speaking of lagging, don't lag now. Take a minute and Send the chat out to your friends and let them know, like, yo, jump in the chat. As I was going to say, we're still like 2,850. Yeah, we're, we're close, like 200. Man. We're close, yeah. but not there yet. We're going to break 3,000 and then we're going to celebrate, man. That's <laughs> our record to break. And you guys can be a part of history. Share the link with your friends and let them know the best pro skating in the entire world is going down live right now from Eindhoven, Netherlands. Where we are, it's about 6.45 in the evening. And the best skating is still yet to come. So Miguel is talking like, hey, you guys, good luck. Play fair and go nuts. Yeah, 
Yeah. There's Montre in the red hockey jersey. And the crowd loves And Montre is wearing his own new pro icon skates. Keep that in mind. Those skates that Montre is wearing are his new pro skates. He's got two colors. Yeah, two colorways. Eric Michael, long hair, black helmet. Also skating with a very interesting skate, Eric Michael. Yeah, he's rocking the factions. Yeah, but it's not the normal ones. It's oh. a hardwood faction. Interesting. Joe Atkinson. So you know Joe Ooh. Atkinson. On Solomon. Long sleeve. He's Good. wearing Solomons and solar frames. Former champ. Whoa, the new pro. This is a new pro wheel. Hayden Ball. Yeah, Hayden Ball, yes. He's got a new pro wheel from Red Eye. And Roman Abrati. And Roman Abrat is going to have the white shirt and the red helmet. We haven't seen Roman Abrat here competing last In year. In a couple years. It wasn't yeah, last year. A couple years, yeah. So who are you rooting for, Matt? In this heat, I like Eric Michael and Montre Livingston. So you're biased from the... I mean, you don't like Hayden Ball. He's okay. I like <laughs> Hayden Ball too, but I'm cheering the most for Eric Michael and Montre Livingston. I'm Team Joe. Oh, and yeah. I'm, and I'm really okay. excited what Roman Joe is Atkinson bringing to the Joe Atkinson and Roman Abroad. I'm a big Roman Abroad fan. Roman Abroad, look. <laughs> oh my god. That's how it starts. A huge bio 540 oh over the rail right out of the gate. What a transfer. Roman Abrat and, and a, a true royale. royale. Eric oh, Michael oh, got wow. that wall ride. He got the wall ride first on top of the local red barn way up there. And bio 720. Oh wow. Did you see that? Yes, it was Elio Michael. Elio Macchio on the Rosie's box, but on the... on the. We got Montre coming. Yeah, Montre in that red hockey jersey. Big flat spin. Roman Almost Durati. a backflip. Alley oop unity up on the top. Oh, did Montre Rossi's box. He let it close to flat, oh, but not, yes. not quite. Eric Michael transferring from the Grindhouse box to the FR right? Yeah, Eric Michael is going to go for it. He's nuts. He spent a lot of time at uh, Schmidt's ramping camp. So he's definitely considered a ramp rat. Royale. All Royale to me 180. Romana brought Alley oop unity. Oh, he wanted that 360 out. Hayden Ball, back Royale. Whoa, oh, Joe Atkinson oh, in the spine. We're losing it. Wow. wow. Oh, 540 <laughs> stall. Wow. Joe Atkinson over the that spine. That dude is so sick. Dude, he was going the highest right in front of us here. Joe Atkinson was going nuts. He was stalling last year. 540 up stall there. back there. No, up up on the on the right wall next, yeah on the right next to the guy with the blue beanie oh wow romana brought flat spin 360 and 540, 540 in joe atkinson was going so high over the spine wow Uh, Hayden Ball, Aliou Macchio. One of those was switch, huh? Here's Joe Atkinson dropping in the red barn, cutting across the course. Oh, big 360 there. Joe has something. Yeah, Joe Atkinson's up on, on the top of that grindhouse box. Montre, 540 Soyal, 360 540 out. 540 Soyal, 360 out? Yes. On the down ledge? On the down ledge. Beautiful, totally Montre, trademark, I love it. How sick are his new pro icons? Eric Michael. Oh. Eric Michael in the Oh, spot. Eric Michael is going for the front flip to topsail down that rail, on yes. the Roaches rail. Yes. <laughs> Montre, back rail, 540 out on the Roaches rail. Oh, Romana brought true spin kind grind on the firecracker rail. And Hayden with the backside. It goes Eric Michael in the spine. Still Taking waiting a breath. for Joe. Joe Atkinson's up on the grindhouse box thinking of something. I think he's going to the Red Loco barn. Yeah. Keep your eyes on, on Eric Michael, too. We have to keep our eyes on everyone. Four or five contestants in this heat. It's unbelievable. Look at Joe. Yeah, Joe's up there still waiting. And if Joe's waiting... Here he comes. Here comes Joe Atkinson. No, there must be some... Wow! <laughs> Backside, <laughs> Backside up the broomstick, wall plant to fakey in. 
Do you know the amount of speed and power that takes, Ricardo? I know. I, know. I, I would need an escalator. <laughs> like most there. people cannot go up. Eric Michael in the spine. This is unreal. This Joe Atkinson. I bet you they get electric skates. I'm telling you. I, it must be. <laughs> oh, oh Montre. By 40? Joe is coming. Romana brought. Whoa. Oh. That's a... Wow. What a heat. Huh? Yes. This is unreal. Wow. Okay. Romana Look at this. brought started off with a bio over the rail. Yes. We are, oh, we are 35 years away. Oh from my God, you guys, we're going to break the but record. But look at this, it's Joe. It was Joe. Because everyone was like, Joe, 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 Joe. Joe Atkinson just went off and is about to help us break the record. <laughs> so we're going to go on to heat number five. Yeah. Yes, we can do it, you guys. Let's break the record. Let's pass 3,000. Okay, so who do we have in the next heat? Nicolas Oru from France, Joe Egan from Ireland, Eugene Jorgen Hennen from Germany, Gabriel Hayden from Australia, and Sam Crofts from England. Gabriela. Should we go for like a quick ad break before? We have a minute. Sure. Let's do we'll it. We'll be right back after these important messages here at the live stream Winter Clash 2024. Hang tight. Okay, so we're back. Yep, we're back. Uh, live stream, Winter Clash 2024. If you guys are just joining us, welcome. This is the official broadcast quality world class live stream coverage of the Winter Clash. Pro qualifiers are going under, are going down now. We just had a heat with Joe Atkinson, Montre Livingston, Romana Brat, Eric Michael. So we're a little bit at a loss for words, but we've got four more heats coming up, and heat number five is getting announced right now. Plenty of action left in this pro qualifier round. That's Nicholas Aru in the black helmet, you guys. Yeah, keep an eye on the white helmet. That guy's going to get creative. Joe Egan, he, yeah. he, he goes fast in his course, man. Yeah. You guys know Eugen Hennen in yellow sleeves. Eugene Hennen, aka Eugen Hennen, the ninja of rollerblading. Ah, uh, that's him, Gabriel. I really Hayden. love Gabriel. The control video. Yes, he's got a lot of fans. Smooth style. That's Sam Crofts in the all black helmet and the black shirt. Okay, and before we start, let me just send a shout out to someone. You know, we have a sponsor there. One of the sponsors of the trade show is Head yeah. on Skate. Head on Skate, yes. And the wife. Or the yeah, the wife of the owner. Yes, Mirek's wife. Mirek's wife is at home, and their kid is turning one today. Oh. Last year they were watching. Oh, so it was yesterday. Happy birthday, Sam Crofts. Oh. Tops. Nico Aru, Trusman mistrial. Joey Egan. Wow. Big 360 up. Backside full torque from Gabriel Hyden there. 
in the blue long sleeve. There's Nico Aro coming in Stockwell, 270 Royale. Joey Joe Egan with some speed. Soul. True soul gap oh. in. Here comes Joachim oh, Hennen. Oh. oh! Front oh. Hugen, wall ride to top soul. Yes. Oh, the crowd loves Joachim Hennen, huh, Basti? Of course. He's Everyone does. Hey, he's always smiling, Ricardo. The He's so he's having so much fun. Whoa! Ninja blading in full effect, multi-level X, step back Machio. Eugen, he's moving from ninja to wizard. Whoa! Nico Aro. Backslide, 270 backside full torque from Eugen and here comes Sam Croft with some speed. I saw. I saw Gabriel hiding with the 270 backside royale as well. Oh, I see. Look at Sam. Ali top Ali porn. Top Gabriel Hyden, so stylish, huh? Wow. Joey. Here comes Joey Egan. Back, Back door. Oh. Wow, he's cooking up there. Dark. Nico Arroyo, dark, dark side, top porn. Yes, Gabriela. Gabriel Hyden. Wow, back Savannah to top soul. Back to oh, back the Savannah other way. To top talk soul. Something is switched. Both ways. Eugene Hennig is feeling Let's it. just put both he ways. He's going switch and natural, yeah. man. On the down rail and the flat rail. Ali up wall ride on the glass. Nico Aro. Aro, whoa, 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 Nico. Aro. 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 Aro is on fire. <laughs> These guys got their hands on their knees. They're taking a breath. Oigen. Oh. oh, he's going oh, wow. wow. Okay. You go front side, set slide, pole jam up into the firecracker. Yeah. We go, Joe Egan. Give him a second try. Oh, wow. Gabriel Hiding cutting across the course. Here comes Sam Croft, wanting some speed. To up to roll. Oh, to Royale. Wow. Oh. Oh, Jorgen Ennin, front side shuffle over the back pole jam, down on the firecracker rail. Whoa! Gabriel Nico Aro, true top basket on the firecracker rail. Gabriella coming in Stockwell, zero back Royale. Hey, he's still got that smooth style. Oh, wow, Sam Croft's wall right to top soul. Oh, okay, I can see that happening. That's his style. While all this is happening, let me just send a big shout out to Ollie Bennett, which is in the chat. I hope it's feeling better. Okay. I think we're going to break that record this heat. Hey, Oli. Some guys are catching their breath right now. Here comes Nico. Here comes Joey Egan in the white helmet. Wall right at top soul attempt from Sam Crofts again. He's punching that glass, man. Harry, if we can get maybe just get some mid more like from Backslide Pull it back a little bit. From Nico Aru. Gabriel Hayden coming in Stockwell. Oh, wall, fakey wall tap fish brain. Oh, he wanted that back fast slide. He is so good at those. Yes, huh? here comes Joey Egan. Big 720. Jorgen Hennen. Ah, oh, close. It was Gabriel was in his yes. way. Put your hands together, you guys. Dude. It's for heat so hard to be able to see everything. Like, you want to see everything, but you can't. It's just insane. You got that right, Ricardo. There's people on three different obstacles at one time. I repeat, I would not want to be a judge here today. Number six is a legendary Danish skater from the Netherlands, Sven Bokhurst. He's still skating in the pro comps. So we've got Yuto Goto, Niels Jansen, Dominic Bruce, Sven Bokhurst, and Jostas Karkasquas. They're starting a Sven chant. Oh, wow. Yes. He's come home to the Netherlands, and they have not forgotten about their homegrown boy.
We're going to introduce you to each of the riders in heat oh number six here in God. just a moment. This is an amazing hit, huh? Okay. Yes, that is like... Wow. <laughs> I can't have a favorite here. That's the thing. I'm, I'm, I feel a bit with you, Stas. He advanced to the pros because he took third place yeah. last year. He's a really, really, really good skater. So Justas or, or Justas? He's Justas. also, he's also a doctor, huh? Yeah. Justas how, how from Lithuania qualified yeah, to skate with the pros. That is, that is like the most... Packed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Uh, There's Yuto with the long hair, the black helmet, in his new denim-colored Rosies. You know Yuto. Nils in the green shirt. Nils kills. The Magic Boots Skate Company and Rossi's. Yes. Showing his love. Yes, giving everyone his love. Representing Mesmer, Dominic Bruce. From the Netherlands, he will never stop rolling. Sven Bokhurst. Yes. And the peace colored shirt in the White House. He's a hero. From Den Bosch, Holland. Dude. You know Sven Bokhurst. Everyone does. Everyone does. You can hear the locals. Eustace qualified last year. What did he do? Place top three? Top three, yeah. He placed top three in the pro qualifications in last the, year. In amateur. Oh, in amateur. in amateur. He placed top three in amateur, so he's skating yeah. with the pro qualifiers yes. this year. That's Eustace in the orange sweater. Eustace is a really, really good and stylish skater. Guys, we're almost at that 3,000 limit. Share that link. Give everybody you know a heads up to tune in to the Winter Clash. We got Sven Bokhurst and Nils Jansen on right now. Let's break 3,000 simultaneous viewers and make history. And we got Dominic Bruce. Coming in. Let's go. Here comes Dominic Bruce. Heads up, you guys. Soul. Oh, true top soul. Switching top up. Soul. Thank you. <laughs> Switching up on the broomstick. There's not a lot of room there. 540 mono roll, so grind. If they give him space, he's gonna skate forever. I'm I telling you it. that. Oh, okay. Niels Jansen. Big flat spin, flat spin 540. That was so beautiful. That was perfect. Backside safety grab in. You know Niels is so efficient. Niels huh? is still on the line. Dark side at true top horn. Still ben. on the line again. Sven oh, going fish friend. Fish Dark brain. side alley soul 360 out. Niels hit four tricks in a row. Wow. Was the Utah, fish 270 backside full torque. What fish brain did you see, Ricardo? Dude, Sven's. Was Sven it Sven switch? Is still oh my god. Sven is. I should keep an eye on Sven, huh? Wow. So much Eustace, to watch in this heat. Eustace, he rolled. He rolled to gap in. Yes. Eustace. Nils. Oh! Okay. Top so that's how it's done. That's how it's done, you know? Yes. <laughs> right. Yes, Niels with the transfer from the gra oh, oh, and that's how it's oh. done, too. Backslide with the grab to Fakey off the top of the Rossi's box. Wow, Sven. Oh. Look at Dominic Bruce. Look at the speed. Top Sunday wow. day, 360 in. Skating with those fire red pants. Dude, where does he get the speed from? I don't know, man. Legs. Coming from somewhere. The legs. It's called legs. Soul grind drop in. Two back, back Savannah. Oh. Yuto just standing there and waiting. Yeah, Yuto's got something. He's going to the firecracker. Back torque to backside. Oh, wow, Nils. Nils. 360 true dark porn star. Alley you fish brains, man. This is like classic. Like Coca Cola, baby. That's forever. <laughs> They're all tired. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's intense, huh? Yes. There we go. Eustace. Oh, oh, Eustace going for that top sole. Front side full torque, Yuto Goku. So much style. Dominic Bruce and Nils Jansen are up on the grindhouse box. They're thinking about something. Backside Royale. Sven Mokhurst. 
and Niels. Disaster, Disaster Top, top soul. soul. Wow, 360 Mizu off the quarter pipe from Yuto. And Dominic he on the other blind side doing a sweat stance? Okay. It looks like. It goes Dominic Bruce. He's coming. Whoa! Wall right to The other way around. The Ricardo. other way around. Is he matching Joe Atkinson for his length and his speed? Oh, Sven wants that 360 soul. Wow, Dominic Bruce is like a ping pong ball out there with an electric charge. I don't know where it comes from. And you too. Oh, you just saw that misfit? Oh, it was beautiful. Out of top misfit. Wow, that was yes. beautiful. With his style. Denim pants, denim skates. There he goes. I'm a fan. Here goes Nils. Oh, close. Has anyone do that? Has, there, has anyone done Done that? the disaster? I don't think so. So, Yusta's got something there. In the, in the orange sweater. Wow! Man, DGP! Man, true top horn on the firecracker rail. Yuto over the pole jam, down the firecracker rail. Yusta is coming for the hill roll. Yeah. He missed. This is like the... Okay, next hit. Oh my god, we're gonna do it! We're two followers away! You guys, when we break 3,000, it's gonna go insane. We're gonna make history, you guys. Share the link. We need to break 3,000 simultaneous One, viewers to okay, have the most coming. we've ever had. And in this heat, in this heat, we've got Danilo Senna. Levi okay, Edwin, so the, the people Nicholas in Brazil. Julian we made Kido. it! We made it! <laughs> 3K! Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Everyone's shooting me! Yes. <laughs> yes. It's too good! Awesome! Yes. It's too good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you guys for being a part of history. We are now the officially most watched Winter Clash live stream ever. Now we did it last year. Now we need to go a bit higher. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. This, Let's is, only the, this, is, only this is only the qualification. It's only the prelims. Imagine the finals. Look who's coming up. Danilo Senna. Okay. Levi Van Rien. Julian Coudot is in this heat. Frederick Bukowski. Nicholas Servi. Damn, man. It feels good. So we're reaching more people in the world than ever before with uh, the YouTube live stream here at the Winter Clash. That's, that's the goal. Awesome. The goal The goal here is to get people at home to watch this yes. and to want to come here. Absolutely. We don't do this to take people away from the event. It's impossible. No way. Yes. It's way too good for people to go anywhere yes. else. Yes. But we want more people to be to want to come. That's yes, what it is. absolutely. Or to have a small piece of the Winter Clash experience. Yes. For those that can't make it, yes. we'll give them the best we yes. can. Yes. Wow, Senna. Levy Van Rien. There he is in the black helmet with the long hair. Levy Van Rien representing Mesmer. Local hero. E yeah, I, I love his skating. Danilo Senna, you guys know him. The yellow soccer jersey that says Senna number one. He's a ripper. Yes. That's going to be a very, very black interesting shirt. one. These black shirt, these, short hair, these Nicholas Servi. And there's still Julian Kudo. Julian Kudo. And there's still Frederick Bukowski. Yes, oh, Julian Kudo's got the long black shirt. No, Frederick is not His tradition. Okay. Julian's wearing his traditional white wrist guard and black collared shirt. And he has a lot of doubles. So if something goes wrong, yes, he just He can tag in something. his stunt doubles, yes. <laughs> and he saw already what Joe did. So I guess he could play off that. Yeah. I got a feeling that Julian might end up in the spine. You Just know what? You know what? You know what I want to see as a trick? Because Joe did the grind up to wall right. Dominic did the wall right to grind. Someone's gonna do it up, wall right, and down. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Grind up, wall I feel right. Like it's entirely possible. Yes. It, it, it looks so easy for no, no. Joe Atkinson to get up there, and then Dominic Bruce got up there as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. 30, 36 in climbing. Okay. Yes. Let's go, Danilo Senna, dropping in first. Big. Oh, 1260. 1260. <laughs> Did it just 1260. start with a 60? 
And a 540 in. That's how you start. Danilo Senna banging off the bat. Did he really start with 50 backside? Yes, it was a 1260. Launch to Fishbrain. Wow, wow. Levy Van Ryn frontside off the bank. And now we got Julian with the Misty up. Yep. And coming in Fakie. Fakie 360 in. Julian Kudo dressing his formal all black for contest day. Oh, wow. Hurricane top soul from Nicholas. Okay. Nicholas survey to drop true soul. Yes. Julian back Savannah is going to the rail. Wow. 360 back unity on the down rail from Julian Coudot. True back Savannah, Danilo Senna. 542 oh, top soul. Danilo Senna is on fire. Yellow shirt, keep an eye on that kid. Long hair is Levy Van Rien. Front side to the bank. Wow, here comes Julian Kudo up the grindhouse launch. To to oh, oh, top acid. To top acid. Back Royale, 270 oh, yeah. in. Yep. Yes. Alley oop porn star. Okay. Julian Kudo. Danilo, Danilo 543 Miso on the down, the down ledge with the wall ride. Oh, wow, nice. That was first try. Nice, Danilo. And now we got Nico Servi on top of the grindhouse box. Backside unity on the firecracker rail. He can flip. He can backflip. No, without transition. Check this. Oh, oh my God. He tried to bio 540 all the way to flat. Nicholas oh. Servi. He doesn't seem like he's doing good. There goes Levy Van Rien. Soul, 270 in. Nico Servi is not doing good. And Danilo is going for the 540 through top acid. Oh, Julian. Whoa, 540 Soyal, Danilo Senna. Danilo has every trick on lock. Timeout. Timeout on the course. The Misty Flip wasn't that good for Nicholas. And Nicholas Survey, when he threw the Misty Flip, something happened when he landed. Put your hands together for Nicholas Survey. He's going to go to the medical tent. He's, he's going to the, the medical tent. Throwing his hands up. He's okay, but something is bothering him. They're going to check out his legs, I think. The medics are taking him straight to the tent. And they're really Kudo close to 3,100. With something. There Here we comes go. Levy Van Rien. Oh! Fast slide stall, cap over gap. the rail. Yes. And a backslide. Backslide. Water line. Wow. Levy Van Rien's Water going crazy. Here Levy. comes Danilo Senna. The yellow shirt. Bio oh. 540. Right next to Kudo. Straight into what's he got? True, True top, top horn, horn. 360 out. Oh. That was Danilo so Senna. So sick. On that USD box, and he's rocking USD skates. Fakey 720, Julian Kudo into the launch ramp. Wow. A lot of people were complaining about how hard it is, but if you come too fast. Oh. Levy Van Rien was up to something there. Here comes Julian. Soul, soul dark to side, top soul. Back Savannah. Back Unity to back Savannah. Danilo Senna. Levy. Levy right in front Levy's of us. Levy's right here on the spine. With his Paulo Eisenberg Memorial Mesmer looking like skates. Yeah, with, huh? the, with orange, the yellow the orange laces. Yeah. yeah. A white boot with the gray soles. You can see on the spine now? Yes. Oh, oh, he's, oh going he's, he's going, going for it. It's kind of like the, the, net, the rail. not to spin or whatever you call yeah, that. Yeah, we call that a corkscrew. Okay. Corkscrew on the corner there. Oh, Danilo, true top four and 360 out. On the USD wedge. All those USD riders wearing yellow. Something's up, man. Nice. That was such a great heat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Danilo Senna for sure killed it. Okay. So Frederick Bukowski is in this heat? Okay, apparently. Is that what he said? Did he say Frederick Bukowski is in this yes, heat? Yes, yes. So they moved him here. Yeah, it makes sense. Because okay, because they only had three. 
All right, you guys, if you're watching at home, if you're just joining us, I want you guys all to know that you're a part of history. We currently have over 31, over 3,100 unique, simultaneous live viewers. So we now have the most watched live stream ever in the history of the Winter Clash. So thank you guys so much for making that happen. And you know what the sweetest part of it all is? The best skating is yet to come. We got to have the women's finals, the women's pro finals, and then we got to have the men's pro finals. But before any of that, we got the eighth and final qualifying heat from the men's pro division. Can you just imagine what is going to happen in the finals? I, I have just no idea. Just after seeing I, this. Well, I have some idea, but those ideas are wild. And maybe I shouldn't share them. Because some of the skating that I've seen so far would just... I don't know it what was they could unbelievable. Do to, I don't know what they could do to pass it. Unbelievable. So epic Miguel Martinez, stuff. the legendary voice on the course, the Rolls Royce of rollerblading voices down there. Miguel Martinez is giving everyone some props and showing love. He's a very passionate man. So heat number eight. We have Taznadi Bela from Hungary. Okay, Fred Bukowski in the white long sleeve. Tashi. Bella's in the black shirt. Shout out to Hungary. Alfano is in the gold Alfano. helmet. The former champion. Yes, twice too, I think. A winter glass champion. In, in, and Jeff seven. Howard from Minnesota, USA. Awesome. Jeff Howard's in the blue helmet. Really nice to see Jeff Howard here. Yeah, yeah, he's had a recovery from a serious back injury two years ago. So good to see him skating and traveling and competing. Naughty. So we got Frederick Bukowski. Listen to the song. Yeah, it says Aaron Feinberg, Brain for Gone. Yes. Pinball Wizard. They should have played this for Dominic Bruce. He's the pinball wizard in my heart. He's already in or is he coming up? Oh, he's coming up. No. Everybody wants to start. Everybody wants to start at the top of the Red Rooster box. The Loco Skates Red Rooster Box. So here we go with Fred. Fred Bukowski right out of the gate. Wow. Fish brain stole. Oh, wow. Fish brain stole. That is, not, that is not safe. On the back side of that blue, blue grind block. Top sole to gap. On the back side of that grindhouse blue wall is a 20 foot drop and some stretch teeth. Wow. Oh, Disaster right. override to top, top acid. acid. Kind grind. There's Mr. Alfano. Alfano. 900 corkscrew. Up the grindhouse launch box. Royale to Royale. Right transfer. Royale to Royale transfer, of course. Alfano's feeling it, man. He's still loving it. Got that smile. Tashi. Oh. Fred Bukowski, wow. alley -oop top acid, lightning speed. Rocking those flat frames in FR oh. skates. Oh, whoa, whoa. True acid. Yeah, on the Tic Tac firecracker rail. So wild. Oh, oh wow. Hurricane top soul. That's not he wanted that. OK, there we go. Alfano going up. Alfano. Oh, oh. he's going to go for a true soul. soul. He can do it. Ali up top, porn star, yep. Yeah. Got it. And met a new friend in the audience. Oh, oh. zero fish? Just yeah, zero fish on the killing your ribs. firecracker. Yeah, now it's the ribcage rail. Fred Bukowski. Whoa! He, I would say he got there. That was on the toe, but true spin acid on that rail. Props, man. <laughs> Backflip by Backflip from Tasnadi. That's Nadi Bella there from Hungary. Oh, Zero fish play, Jeff Howard. 360 beautiful. soul from Tashi. 360 snow, soul from Tasnadi? Yes. Yes, all the way from Hungary. Here comes Frederick Bukowski. Top soul, oh, wall right, right. dark, top soul. Wow. wow. That dude is just too fast. Yeah, he's coming in too hot, Basti. 
saw Jeff Howard on the Grand House box. Yeah, he's up to something. Grind the drop. Royale. To oh, to Seslide. Royale to Seslide attempt. Stefan Alfano. Just getting speed. And then. 360 soul, huh? Oh, you gotta that want is, it. That was so he's locking on. He needs more speed. Yeah, a, a little more, more boost, a little more juice. Or a flat setup. Alley oop top soul. Yeah, right? He's riding freestyle. He's in freestyle. Alley oop top soul from Frederick Bukowski. From alley oop unity. Tasnali Fella is going off, man. That he wants nice. to advance. Oh, oh. oh boy. He's going for the true fish. Don't yeah. leave your ribs on that rail. Do not leave your ribs on that rail. All right. Now he is getting the speed. Okay, this is the proper way. Alfano, Jeff Howard, if you do that, oh my god, true fish on the firecracker rail. Well, if there's someone that could true fish that, that would be Jeff Howard. It's Howie, son. Stefan Alfano. Oh. Okay, Fred Just Bukowski. Fredista. Nice. That five rocket was nice. Yeah, he kicked it out. Top so soul, safety out. grab into the launch. <laughs> It's a jungle out there, huh? The yes, thing it is. Alfano is just flying blind to that race. Yes. Oh. So that, that rounds out heat number eight. So all eight heats of the men's pro qualifications have concluded. What's going to happen next, worldwide audience? On the Winter Clash live stream, what's going to happen next is the warm-ups for the women's pro finals. Yeah, so we're going to go. They're going to give it like I think it's like an half hour. an hour. Or okay, like an yeah. hour. An hour. An hour from now on is the women's pro finals. So we've got a little bit of a break here. We're going to give them maybe some mic'd up someone that they already know. Yeah, maybe we're going to have a special treat, some exclusive content for you guys, a little deep dive into what the experience of the Winter Clash is like featuring a pro skater that many of you know and love. And we're at 3,060 viewers. We, we passed the record. We cannot thank you guys enough. At the same time, the show isn't over. The best skating is yet to come. Pro Women's Finals next, and after that, Pro Men's Finals. Here okay. at the Winter Clash live stream 2024. You guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's go, let's go. One and a half. Yes. Let me slide. That's fine. That's fine. Well, the South is in the building. Hell yeah! Let's go, guys. Where are the judges? That's over an hour and a half the heat. Let alone the in between time, let alone the in between all the court. That's a four hour ordeal, man. I like it. We're here all day. I am into it. I'm into it. Wow. Well, just think about it, though, because these are young kids. Oh, you're up now. You're yeah, up. Yeah. Ah! Oh, you son of a bitch. They had no idea. You baited him. He, you baited him. He, he wanted, he wanted, and I saw this. He's wearing a fucking wire. I gotta go. My cover's blown. What up? Yeah, buddy. Ooh, smooth. I like those. Whoa. What up? Danny. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Just clean off the top and sit there. I think they got a trouble last year. No, they didn't. Could you sign my wheel, please? Yeah, I can try. We signing wheels now? Yeah. Saba, how long have you known me? You need a signature? What are you going to use this for? Are you going to sell this later? You better get a lot of money for it. I'll help you sell it later. If I do, I'll give you 50%. You know what? I don't even need anything. You're a little hustler. When he's old, he's going to sell it. But first, he's going to use it. No, I could never use this. Bow, bow. Right on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Only way I'm going to give you this back 
is if you rap for me. I need you to rap about the wheel real quick. Come on, bro. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it in the foam pit. I'll go get it. You won't find it. I will. Come on, give me like three bars. I don't know, I can't think of anything. Rhyme about winter class. Yeah, I meant winter class. I'm, I don't know, I got nothing. Oh, man. Okay, here. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sava. You awesome. Thank you. Oh, shit, wait. Who can I mess with? Who can I mess with? What up, Jet? Always. What are you up to? Uh, eight. Eight runs. What are you doing right now? You getting the boat? No, I'm just uh, just find this spot. It's kind of good, and then I stay there watching. You know. <laughs> I go, I go, I go. You, you have this, where you go, everybody can let you get in. So yeah, you can find a good spot. Uh, Kick them <laughs> out of the way, no? Hey, bro, it's, I'm not here. Oh, the Bulls jersey, bro. What are you trying to flat spin out of the park or something? No, just a, just a Oh shit. Here? Yeah. You're gonna give show me. Right here. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That worked the fuck out. Awesome. Part of my language, folks, I just get hyped. What's your name? 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 Let it cook, right here. Okay, okay. Okay. He kicking up a feast for three. I got lost. All right, that, that, that was late. Hey, thank you very much, that was it. I'm gonna keep running around. Hey, bro, you stuck to your words. And then you added more. And then I added more, because I felt like it. <laughs> Good one. What a nice sitting area. Can I sit here with you guys? Hold on. This is very, very comfortable. Can't really see anything, but this is nice, you know? It's comfortable than mine. Ah, of course. I mean, you guys enjoying the class? Word, word. You got any words of wisdom for me? For you? Yeah. I'm a big fan. That's not words of wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Come on. Wisdom. No words of wisdom. You know, something to like Don't motivate worry. someone. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Bob Marley? I'm gonna skate for you. You're gonna skate for me? For me? I saw you out there shredding earlier. You were flying so high on the ground house box. Yeah, what are you gonna, 1260 yet? You have the air time. Double flip. We're gonna have to watch and see. I'll hold you to it. All right, y'all enjoy, y'all enjoy. This is crazy. Hi, Ali. Some icon stickers? I don't have any icon stickers, but you're lit up. Oh my god. Hold on now. I'm missing my favorite stickers. The wind, man. But now are so cool. Maybe maybe you, you prefer to share with other people. No, I prefer to share with you. Which one? Of course. Are you collecting stickers? Oh yeah. yeah. You want some more stickers? Yeah, of course. All right. Man, I, I can't get this sticker off. 
Hey, yo, I know y'all can hear me, but they can't really right now. But this is Allie. Allie also works with Blading Camp. She's absolutely one of the best. So check her out. And all these cool stickers are on her cool shirt. Where are we going? What inspired this genius idea? What did I say? Booga Wacka Doo. Oh, yeah. That candy. Ah. Thank you. Bomb! Maybe like here? Yeah, bro. Uh, What's your name again? Uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> now we officially met. Okay. <laughs> That's an awesome shirt, by the way. <laughs> How are you liking class so far? Uh, can you repeat? How are you liking class so far? It's amazing. Like. <laughs> yeah. I can believe like, all bladers in the same place. Like, uh, really when sometimes, sometimes you to go uh, to write something. Yeah. Someone. It's also okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you meet Frankie yet? Did you get to meet Frankie yet? Uh, yeah, I met Frankie. Yeah, that's it. He's being a bat over there. He climbed up to the top. Yeah, I also have his signature here. Oh! <laughs> All right, let me finish. Let me finish. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Bow. Little dreadlocks on the smiley face. Wow. Bang. <laughs> Cheers, Thank brother. You so much. Enjoy, wow. it, bro. Thanks. Bro. Oh, you're oh. Amazing. Really. No, you're amazing. Yeah. A photo? Shit. You know what? I'll bring that with me. <laughs> photo boy. Hey, everybody. Oh. Bang. Boom. Boom. Bang. Oh, shit. Lego. It's nice. <laughs> How are you? Good? Right. And you? I'm great, man. Nice new skin. Thank you very, very much. Nice. Thank you very much, man. Looks very good. Thank you, thank you. Which one you like the best? Uh, the, the light, not the dark one. Oh, nice, nice, man. Let's see. Good choice. I couldn't, cho I couldn't choose. That's why which, there's two. Which, which, which one uh, do you like? Yeah. I couldn't choose. That's why there's two. <laughs> nice. I wanted you all to choose. Forty-nine to fifty-one percent. Which one you like more? Fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. One hundred percent. So. I would say that the light one is um, more, more unique, inspiring, more inspiring. Right on, thank you. And Thanks, the Dick. black one, because black skates are all over the place. Of course. And this one is more inspiring. Right on. So nice the thing skate. I wanted to do with it was, you know the industry, everyone's, certain people like change, certain people like color, but then you have people that are like, oh, those are sick, but I would never ride them. So making the double of them, giving them the choice, made would, it work, you know? I, I would also buy it and never ride it because it looks nice. Oh, <laughs> come on!
Check. Just a quick reminder to everybody out there in our worldwide audience tuning into the live stream here at Winter Clash 2024. So it's a warm up in between session right now. We do have the final heats for the women's pro final competition. It's it's two heats, and they're going to announce that shortly. A couple more minutes of warm up, and then Miguel's going to come back out on the course and bless us with his uh, Rolls Royce voice of rollerblading. And then we're gonna get the pro women's finals underway. A quick shout out to Team Wheel Addict, spearheaded by Ricardo Lino, you guys know him. And his wife Janice is running the chat. Uh, my name is Matt Mickey from Intuition Skate Shop in Bakersfield. I'm a commentator alongside Basti, my co-commentator. We also got Pedro Pinto, the camera on the course, going around, catching all the action as it happens as one of our cameras, and we have another main camera up here, the steady cam, manned by Harry NoPro. So this is definitely a team effort. And again, we did break our viewership record, over 3,000 simultaneous viewers, and we couldn't have done it without you guys. So you guys helped us break a record and reach more rollerbladers than we've ever reached at the Winter Clash, ever, and our sponsors for the live stream. Our Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Anton Frames. You can learn more about them by clicking their links in the description of this live stream. Thank you guys so much, and we'll be back shortly with the Women's Pro Finals here at the 2024 Winter Clash.
Okay, All right, you guys, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> that Thanks was for hanging up. tight on that commercial break. So we're about to get the women's pro finals underway, but we do have a bit of exclusive news. We did get the list of the men's pro finalists. It's not broken down into heats yet, but Ricardo, would you help me pronounce some of these names? So these, okay. in no particular order, these are the pro men's riders that have made it to the finals. Okay, let's go. Let me try to go there with my old man eyes. So the first one is Christian I don't know his last name, I don't know how to say it. Let's see it. It's Chris... Okay. It's Christian Zarseni from Poland. Yes, and then after that, we've got David Sizemore. We got... Uh, Jaro, Jaro Freen, the Jaro. Netherlands local. Bobby Spasso. Bobby Bangers. Yes. Martin Denning made Martin, it. Martin, hands out. We got Joe Atkinson. To the moon, man. He found the highest point on the barn, grinded up, wall rid, and turned back in, and he was finessing the spine. What else has he got for us? Roman Abrat. Roman Abrat, the French chef. He launched Bio 540 over the rail. First trick out of the gate. We got a ninja over here. Eugen Enin. Eugen Enin. The ninja blader. And we also have Niels Janssen. The healthy killer. Yes. And of course, all-time favorite, Dominic Dominic Bruce. Bruce. Red pants, fast speed, man. I don't know if he's all-time favorite. I mean, you got Danilo Senna. Danilo Senna, the kid, the killer from Brazil, man. Yeah, we got Julian Kudo, three-time previous winter class champion, and then Levy Van Rijn. Yes, and Possibly. these are our finalists. I, we, we hope that this was given to us by the organization. We hope that everything is okay. Nothing is. This is not official, huh? Right. This is non-official. This is speculative, but yes. educated guessing. These are who you're going to see in the finals. Again, exclusive information, not broken down in the heats yet. But what we do have as exclusive information, and we can definitively give you, is the heats for your pro women's finals. So these are out of the four women's heats. There's two final rounds. The first round is going to have Nuria Lopez, Carla Martin Olive, Armel Zisler, Anik Kirkhoff. And it's the second heat. Yeah, it's, this one is a full on European one. Two Spain. Two Spanish, French, and then one French, and one Dutch. Yeah, and who's coming in the second heat for the women's pro finals? We got Lilu Fumeri from France, Mizaki Katayama from Japan. Yes. Ravi Garrido from Chile. Chihiro Azuma from Japan. And 
Mary Munez from Spain. Spain. Yeah, okay. okay. So it looks like we got nine, ten. Ten women in the finals, broken down to the heat. And three different continents here. Yes. Two Europeans, two Japanese, and one South American. Yes. And so this is the first year they've had a pro women's division. Before it's just been women's all together. But this year they had junior women, amateur women, and pro women. Yes. It is true. Because first time that the women are divided by categories. Yes. Instead of just lumped all together because there's so many participating. Which means that women's rollerblading is growing. Which and, is awesome. I'm and, all about it. And I keep on saying that the amateur Brazilian girl yes. could have been in this final yes. and completely annihilated oh, everyone. And she could have kept up. Yes. Yes. Ana they, Julia. They should actually yeah, have Julia added her. Brazil. Yeah, Why as, a, as a wild her? card. I'm not sure. As a wild card, yeah, I'm not sure. At that girl well, no one, probably no one ever saw her. It's like it's her first time to Europe. She came out of nowhere. Yeah, so she came out of nowhere. She doesn't no, have she no, doesn't I mean have any boots, sponsor. I mean now, just at her. <laughs> yeah, she would need to want to skate too. You know, like it could also not be no, fair. It's, it's cool to that she has to climb the ladder. You know. Yes, she has to go from yeah. junior women. Hey, you do. Now next year she's going to be competing in amateur women. Yeah. And then that year she can compete to go into pros. I feel like there, you're right. There is like a a ladder of ascension. Yeah. You follow these steps and you get to Winter Clash Pro. I mean, like, you probably don't remember, maybe you saw the edits back then, but there was a time, like, Julian Kudo came out of nowhere in 2006 or seven and battled Brian Aragon. Yes. When he was, when, when when he was like, just was a really ran. small kid. Yes. The guy the disaster is, there. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and nobody knew who he was. He just came out of nowhere. And now look at him. The same thing with Niels Jensen. Came yeah. out of nowhere. And very young. Also very, very young. 12, 12 yeah. 13 years old. Yeah. Came out of nowhere in 2007. 100%. It is Good true. times. Winter Clash made a lot if you, of If you legends. make it in Winter Clash, if you, if you come to Winter Clash and you show out, you're going to go to the next level in the Winter Clash and you're going to get that fan base. So yeah. that girl... Ah, oh, Ana Julia. Ana Julia, she's got a fan base. Now. Oh man, yeah. she's everybody in Brazil is talking about how well she skated, and the next year she's no, going to rise up. She was flying higher than almost every pro male skater yeah. out yeah. of that grindhouse box. Yeah, she was throwing 900s where look, it's just insane. Yeah, it's just insane. She's not that big. She's not that old. I don't know where the momentum and the power comes from, but I feel like it's inside of her heart and inside of her spirit. She's got that tiger in her. She wants and it's it. wild. She's hungry. She's hungry, she wants it. And I can't imagine what it feels like to be that young and going off like she was and have the crowd here just erupt and cheering for you. Like, imagine it's like the best feeling in the world. That was awesome. I am tangled up in cables. Like, <laughs> everything is like all knotted. So, we are about to advance to the final round. So please, guys and girls, go out and share our live stream. Oh yeah, dude, we share the link and jump back on. Yeah. I feel like once people understand that the finals are going on, the viewership will go back up. But we broke the record, we made our goal, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the best skating we're gonna see all weekend. So Miguel is back on the course, the Rolls Royce voice of rollerblading. Miguel Martinez from Spain, and he's going to let us know heat number one and heat number two for the women's pro finals. And after that, it's the main event, the men's pro finals. I like the Rolls Royce voice of Royal Betty. Yes. <laughs> She's smooth and classy. I would still call it inline skating, though. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. The Rolls thing. Royce voice of inline skating. <laughs> I mean, it comes from the roller contest times. The Lausanne roller contest. It was a comment, like the first time I went to Lausanne was 98. And Miguel was the, was the announcer already. A very young Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now the guy turned 50. He just oh. told me today. Oh, wow. He's here. He's killing it. Yeah.
I feel like there's some people talking in the chat about who they think is going to win and maybe placing a bet on it. So if anybody's got money on, say, Joe Atkinson or Julian Kudo or Danilo Senna. What do you got your money on? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I can't tell you. <laughs> but I will say that I'm a big fan of Julian Kudo and I'm a big fan of Joe Atkinson. And since I met the kid here this weekend, I'm also a very big fan of Danilo Senna, yes. the kid from Brazil. But out of nowhere, or just chilling, Dominic Bruce was killing it too. Dominic Bruce, dude, red pants, and he had something in his shoes that he had to get out. And it, I, dude, still got immense power and creativity. And Levy. On the high, Levy Van Rien, Niels. I mean, come Nils on, let's, let, let's, let's repeat. Let's repeat. The, Nils Jansen can sneak in there. Let's repeat the list of skaters, the, the, risk, the list of male skaters that we also have in the finals. Let's repeat this list that we have right okay. here. So we got Christian. I, don't, I never know how to say his last name. I'm, I'm really, really bad with this. That's it. I think he's on the second page right there. Right. Here. We got Christian Zaszczesny. Zaszczesny from Poland, huh? I'm sorry if I'm saying something wrong. You know the wrong. second name. Oh, someone says Dustin Latimer's going to win. Okay. And then we have, we got David Sizemore. Yep. Yaro Frin. Yaro oh, Frin. He placed third last year. Yes. And he's a ramp local. Yes. He's from the Netherlands. Yaro, there's your sleeper right there. Bobby Spasso. Yep. Bobby Bangers. He can turn it on. Martin Danning. The kid. Joe Atkinson. Heavy hitter, man. Roman Abrati. Roman Abrati, yes. Also capable from France, dude. He launched that Bio 540 over the rail, out of the gate. No one even touched that transfer before or since. Eugen Annen. Yeah. Niels Janssens. Dominic Bruce. Dude. Danilo, Such a fan of Dominic Bruce. Danilo Senna Danilo from Brazil. Senna, yep, the yellow soccer jersey on. Julian Kudo. Julian Kudo, fully capable, you know it. But and now. Larry Van Rien, but now you know what time it is. Yes, it's time for the Women Pro Finals. Yes, let's do it. Oh, they're oh, looking for is. Carla. Here there she comes. She all right. So we got all four competitors for heat number one. Everybody in the chat, if you want to send a message to the crew or post that the finals are on, that would be wise. This is like the denouement, if you will. The grand finale for the women. These girls are about to go off. The ladies are rising. Over 50, 5-0, over 50 women competitors this year at the Blading Cup, the largest field of women they've ever had. There's Pedro Pinto down on the course with our camera on the spot. We're gonna introduce heat number yet. we're gonna introduce heat number one to you. We don't have a camera on the course yet. Armel Tisler with her nails. There they are. And Nick in the striped long sleeve shirt.
Let's go, Netherlands. Winter Are we class. ready for this? Oh, we're absolutely ready. Women's finals, heat number one, underway. Anik. Anik leading back the pack. To back. Whoa. All out. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, oh, Nuria with the nasty tabernacle. And a top sunny day. It comes Carla in the red. Top, top soul. soul, nice. Coming in with some speed. Backside torque from Anik. Rocking those faction skates. Coming in stock. Well, Carla, AK540. With a lot of speed. Wow. Wet stands across and down. Anik. Oh. Unity to backside unity. Nuria Lopez there with the blue helmet. And Armel Tisler coming to full speed. Here comes Armel. Oh, Mizo to Mizo top to top so. With the nails. Nails Jansons, we'll call her. <laughs> Anik. Top, top acid. acid. She's got Sweet. style. Yes. Top soul there from oh. Carla. And Naira with the backside. Christ 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 oh, Christ Torque. Christ Torque, she's pumping her fists. That's Nuria. She is stoked. She Christ Torque, the, the big and white Armella with a backside torque. Yeah, Armella backside torque of her own on the Dem Skates box. Anik, unity to soul. Carla is right in front of us at the spine. Carla's man. going over the spine here. Armel, backside back. Nugent to soul from Armel. Rocking those pink skates and long nails. Oh, oh wow! Backside Nuria, backside full torque to acid. acid. Yes. Nuria Lopez in the blue helmet on that USD. And Yellow Anik ledge. with a back full torque to hold. Wow. Big All the way down ledge. that FR ledge? Yes. Yeah, Anik is killing it too. Anik, Nuria, Armel. And Anik going, yes, wow. on the firecracker. Sunny day the whole dang dang. Bang, bang. Backside Nugent to miss there from Nuria on the Dems box. Carla coming. Carla coming in hot. Top, Top soul. soul. And the 360, 360 in the bank. Armel back. Oh, good save. Good save, Armel. Unity, Unity to top, top soul by Anik. Anik, yes. And a back far. Nice line. Oh, oh back, back to, to, to top, top acid. acid. Nuria. Nuria, she's killing it. Tech yes. Here. All the way from Spain with her name on her own soccer jersey. Top soul from Carla. Oh, wow. back half to soul to top soul. Armel with the and triple. A back on the firecracker from Arnie. Oh, oh boy. Carla getting tossed on that FR rail. That's a big rail. It's like a it's like a full-size handrail. Nice 540 from Armel. Top side sunny day from Anik. Armel went off. So that's heat number one for the women's pro finals.
Nuria was going off. Christ back torque on the down FR ledge. Armel Tisler, tingling with her long nails, was clawing her way through that heat. She's still sitting down out of breath. She put a lot of work into that one. Carla in the red helmet was going off a little bit too. And Anik. Nuria. Yeah, Nuria was going hard in the blue helmet. And then Anik in the striped long sleeve with her, uh, with her uh, faction skates was killing it too. Are they waiting on a, a trick to go down? Somebody wants one more trick? No, it's the finals. Okay. You got the last trick. Oh, yeah, everybody gets one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's Nuria. Nuria's final trick. This is the Winter Class tradition. One more try or last try if it's the finals. One at a time. I just remembered. <laughs> this is totally fine. You get overwhelmed by the action going on. Duly noted. Nuria, she wants that down ledge. She wants that white FR ledge. into the torque. Let's go, Nuria. It looks like she's trying to spin into a backside torque on that down ledge where she did the Christ back torque earlier. Oh, wow. Oh, so close. Winter Clash. Go, go, go. Nuria. Killing on Nuria. Her last final try on her last trick. Wow. Oh, so close. We got camera two back. Beautiful. So we got the camera on the course. That's Pedro Pinto down there. So it's Next up, we're going to have the far, final trick from Carla Martin Olive from Spain. She's got the red shirt and the red helmet. She was skating really strong in the finals heat, and now she gets her last try. She's going to skate at the Little Rochers Rail. Okay. And the spine. I think Pedro is right on there for you. Pedro is right there. Oh, Pedro wow. Is, okay. Yeah. So she's in the spine. You got a front row seat, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, how about that for access? Don't forget to share the stream. Let everybody know it's pro finals time. Oh, she did, she did a front flip to Fakey. Oh, what? She goes up forward and she front flips and lands Fakey. Oh, on my gosh. The oh, my gosh. She did it first try. She did it so quick that we didn't have the time to show oh it to you Oh, my goodness. What the heck? So it's up. I did not expect it's that. It's part now. Okay, Ahmed is gonna be at the US Depots. Armel. Okay. Armel. Yeah, heads up on that USD box over there. Okay. That yellow slice of cheese is about to please. So Armel. Is she going to grab the trick or oh, no? She's going to grab it with those nails of hers, man. She's like a wild animal out there. Here she comes. Armel Tisler for her last trick. Dropping in. Back oh, far. Oh, back 40 far. 540 out. out. She can do that. She can do that. Yeah. Representing Grindhouse Skate Shop and oh. USD Skates. Yeah, USD and Grindhouse. And that nail salon right up the street from her house. <laughs> her nail lady's watching this, biting her own nails. Nervous. Maybe that, that scores her uh, a sponsorship It deal. gives her superpowers. That would be a nice sponsor, huh? Yeah. It help, it nail helps. sponsor? Yeah, nail sponsor. Here she comes. 
Nails Jansen's <laughs> Armel. Get it, girl. Far. Oh, oh, my gosh. So close. So she's she's okay. a ripper, man. If you want it, you get one more. But you don't have to push it like that. I hope she's okay. That's a tall boy, man. That ledge is not... Uh... Yeah, it's not short by any means, Ricardo. And still, imagine if you falling down from it, it's also like your own height yes. added to it. Everybody's cheering for Armel. She's back on her feet. I think that might be. Is that it? Let's see here. No, she's drinking water. She's going again. This is the Winter Clash, man. Yeah. Refresh and reload. Check this out. One more try. Even Captain is right there. Captain is right yes. there. Lee? Oh, the captain of the boat. The captain. The harbor cruise captain. Waiting to be kicked in the face. Look at that. Oh right at that place. I hope it doesn't, but... <laughs> Miguel is working. Look at Lee. Lee's watching guard. Oh, we oh, got the way. front row. The See, check this out. Nature. We got a oh, nice that's a bump. great angle. That's a great angle, Ricardo. Oh, so close. Yeah, Armel, good job, girl. She was killing well it anyways. Done. Yes. Well done. <laughs> yes, she tried so hard. Even the, ca the captain is doing selfies with her. <laughs> okay. He didn't realize that carnival is over already, huh? Next one, Anika Coast. He's waiting for his boat to come in. Maybe he lives on a houseboat, which is pretty common in the yeah, Netherlands. It's possible. I was gonna say there's a lot of water around here. Yeah. A lot of docks, a lot of boats, a okay. lot of water. Where is the next point? So the next competitor to get their last okay. trick Everybody is Anik Kerkhoffs from the from Netherlands. The Netherlands. She's a ramp local. I think it's going to be at the local box. We are ready for the local yes. box. Okay. Up on that loco box, red barn contraption there. Oh, no, I think she's going to... You know what she's going to do? She's going to unity set slide on that curb and then go to the hoping. Okay. She did that in practice. I saw it. Okay. Yeah. She's going to do unity set or not. Or maybe not. Maybe she's going to the local box. Well, one thing's for sure, she's coming in with some speed, Basti. Yeah, she's Here we going go. to the local bar. Top acid back unity. Oh, oh it's wow. a front unit to the back unity, isn't wow. it? Wow. That was a top acid. I think it, it looked like a top acid to me. I could be wrong. I saw unity to back unity. Is it possible that she can unity switch in natural? She, she does. Okay. She does. Okay. So this is the spot. This is the skater. That's yes. It. I yes. would twist my ankle doing that. Here comes Anik. Second try. Full Last speed. trick. Oh, she's cooking, baby. Yeah. yeah. That was the front unity to back unity. unity. That was unity perfect. Back unity on the coping box. Up the loco red barn. That was Not bad. awesome. That was Not really bad. nice. That was really nice. Good for her. Super technical. So right now, right now is Miguel is announcing heat number two, which is the last heat for the pro women's finals. Remember, this is the last time these girls are going to be skating tonight. So if you see something you like, give them, show them some love in the chat. We've got Lilu, Misaki, Javier. Oh, no, check. Arnell is coming. Oh, Arnell snuck in one more. Armel, she's got such a big heart, man. She's gonna go places in skating. To keep trying like that, that takes a lot. Yes. A lot of courage in front of so many people. And after that fall. Yeah, yeah. She gave it one more try. Wow. And then heat number two for the Pro Women's Finals. This is coming up next. The 
Gals down there on the course. We've also got Pedro, our camera on the course, our camera on the spot, our moving tripod. He's better than a drone because he gets you at eye level. It's more personal than a drone, you know? But if that's not enough, we got this one too. Absolutely. We can see him there working on. Yes. <laughs> we have footage of the cameraman being the cameraman. <laughs> so there's Miguel, the Rolls Royce voice of inline skating. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's done like so it? many European contests for so many years. We love Miguel. That's Lilu in the red helmet. She's from France. She completely annihilated this yeah. skate park. Misaki in the black helmet. Javiera in the pink helmet. Dude, they're coming from Chile. She lives in Barcelona. Oh, okay. Shahiro is in the white long sleeve shirt. Yes. She's, She's the crowd's epic. favorite, huh? Yes. And then Mary in the yellow. So is Mary the first woman ever to receive a second pro skate? That I don't know, but she clearly wanted to make the world aware because she colored her second pro skate yellow, like Kill Bill. And she's taking a katana and slicing this course up. I hope she does more killing on that USD box right there. Well, she's going up. Oh boy, she's coming with some speed for something. Yeah, we're ready. Winter Clash is ready. Are you guys ready on the live stream? Don't forget to share the link. Up next is the Men's Pro Finals. Drop it in, Chihiro on that rail right out of the gate. Nice bio 540 there from Lilu in the red helmet. And a Kind grind. To gap. Kind grind from Misaki and on the firecracker rail. And now Mary is going. Mary going Full so speed. fast. Big 360. new 360. Soul, Soul grind gap to gap all the way around. Wow. Soul, Soul grind. grind. Oh, she ran out of gas. Mizaki. Alu top sunny. Oh, she's so, so good. Come on, Misaki. I want to see what Chihiro's up to. Chihiro over there in the white long sleeve shirt. Of course, you can't miss Mary Munoz, black and yellow. Wow, topside sunny day. That was Javiera, all the way from Chile. Look at that kind grind. Wow, that wow. was perfect. Javiera making those, so good. And Mary, making those rollerblade blades Ali look good. So revert. Dude, Mary Munoz, Ali sold the forward so hard to come out forward like but that. But it's the way that it looks Yeah, perfect. it shows control, absolutely. Looks better than 360 out of sure. it, Soul grind there. From Lilu. Oh, oh nice, what front a torque. nice front torque. Mary's going to come to USB Mary. box. Oh, sweat dance. Sweat dance. Wow. Captain approved sweat Sa dance. Sweat dance to drop. Well, the captain approves of a lot of things. <laughs> okay, and we got. Uh, at the rail, on the rail? Yes. Oh, oh sweat top. dance. Beautiful. From Chihiro sweat Azuma. Dance. Sweat dance. Topside sunny day. Oh, trying to switch it up. That was Lilu. And a zero kind grind on the firecracker. Oh, wow. Chihiro. The crowd loves Chihiro. Ricardo, I don't know what it is. A oh, flip. she shows that here before she, who she is. What she's here. Our yes. sheer hero. X Top grinder X. from Mary Munoz. Here comes Lilu. Backslide, oh, backslide to, to kind, kind grind. grind. Getting a little tech. Here comes and Misaki, Mizu. Mizu. Look at that style. Rocking those razor Japanese shift loca ladies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Japanese style. Basti is always so refined. Yeah. So clean. It was back in Hulk 3. It's when it started? Yeah. Yeah. It was the first time I realized that. Yeah. I feel like it's only gotten better. Oh, oh wow. Yes. That was perfect. Javier Garrido, Sick. shaky 180 top, so on the big FR ledge, and the crowd loves it. Banging on that clear glass wall. Wow. Lilu, fakey Fakie by 540. Oh. Fakey by 540 from Lilu Fumari. There's still Mary and... Mary and 
Shinuru are both on the probably I, going I would to the say rail. Mary's got wet stance to true Mizu. Mary's Mary's, Mary's going to go for the alley so. You think so? Oh, try and grind. Try and grind. First try. Sweat and sweat stance in the line. Oh, so close. <laughs> Two break dance. Yes, but she did the kind grind on the big rail. Mary Munoz with the yellow skates. That was epic. There's Lilo coming. The back slide. Oh, misfit. that was Shihiro amazing. Was oh. Zero misfit on the firecracker rail. Shihiro with those pink face stems. X grind. So stylish. Misaki. So stylish. Front so foot top side the proper way. And she's so way. tiny. Shoot. She's that was big time for Misaki. X and can you see how the crowd goes with the, with oh, the music? Oh, She's battling Chihiro trick for trick. It's like a battle of the of the female Japanese skaters. We got Mary. Mary. Oh, oh. top soul. Launch to top soul. Oh, oh. she got it. Wow, that was sick. That's a long way up and a long way out. Oh, Mizu to top Mizu soul. To top soul. Javier Garrido in the pink helmet. Wow. And we got Chihiro yes, on the rail. Chihiro on the rail. Chihiro in the white long sleeve up at the top of the rail. What does she got, Ricardo? I still call that front way out to top soul. She hasn't done it. And yeah. she does it really beautiful. This is her trademark. But maybe she's going to clean up the sweat stance. Maybe I go think something we're already on to the true mistrial. Trick. Okay, Lilu is going to have your first, last trick on the red local box. And we are okay. again over 3,000. Oh, wow, viewers. beautiful. We broke the record again. You guys are a, a record breaking audience. Amazing, thank so you. So proud of you guys. Together we did it. Change rollerblading, we're reaching more and people. And we got the Power Ranger on the course, Lee. At one time, Lilu more come in. rollerbladers are watching here than any other contest we've ever had at the Winter Clash. Back, oh, oh wow. wow, backslide to alley top, top acid. acid. To meet the cameraman. And hey, man. such nice style. She had that cameraman in her pocket. <laughs> Make space, you guys. Oh, we got a nice view. Pedro's right there. Oh, yes. Good job, Pedro. Our camera on the course, Pedro from Portugal. He's making sure you guys get a front row seat. You can be at home on the couch, kicking up your feet. Eating some popcorn, having some iced tea. Look at what you get to see. Ah, yeah. so oh. Oh. She is all right. She's been doing it. She's been locking every time. Yes. Perfect. She got Perfect. it. It's just a really short yes. runaway or landing. You have to turn really fast to come away from the fence. That has always been the thing about Winter Clash. You need so much skate control. Yes. It's but it's possible. You're right. She's locking on the backslide. She's switching up to alley -oop top acid. She did. She's dropping in the transition. Now it's just a tight turn. But it also seems like the the floor is slippery because like you, you, we've seen it all day. Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> oh wow. She gets one up. She tried to go fake it 270 yeah. into that. Yeah. The crowd loves it. Wow. Both brother and sister. Yeah. On the Leo, finals. Leo and Lilo Fumari made it to their finals. It seems like Roman Abrad is doing something with his. Roman Abrad is coaching both of those siblings, and they are on their way up. That's for sure. This is not the last time we're going to see Lilo Fumari. Sure as I am tall. And I'm pretty tall. And I'm pretty honest. And if Ricardo's half as good as I am tall at spotting talent, I'm correct. <laughs> we are good. Okay, so who's next now? Misaki? Yes. Okay. Got Misaki Katayama. On the USD spot. We got the camera there, right there. Oh, 
out. Uh, Please, not. you can connect it. You can plug it. Here comes Misaki. Oh, oh she's going 360 kind guy. Oh, full cap KG. Huh? Yes. KG. Let's go, Misaki. Misaki Katayama representing local look, look at the captain. The captain is All going the way for from it. from Japan. The captain is waiting to drop anchor. Oh, he loves it, man. The captain wants to grow up and end up on a liquor bottle, but he'll settle for <laughs> fame at a skate contest. Here we go, Misaki. Oh! oh so sick. On that spot? You Come guys on. gotta give her room. The camera guys take two steps back. I wow. Feel like she can land that. Wow. Misaki! Miguel is getting everyone in the hall to cheer for Misaki. She's coming in Stockwell. Faking 360 Kaigo. Wow. Oh! So, so clean. close. So clean. How she locked that time grind. Come Every on, time. give her one more try. We gotta give her one yeah, more give try. Give her one I more like try. One more yeah. try she could land in. She's going for it. Come on. Everyone is getting. Yes. The Everyone crowd. wants it. Crowd wants it. Look at this. This is the best. I this one more like try. One more try. I don't know if you guys at home can see or hear, but the whole entire crowd is chanting. This place is so bad. People more at home are saying one yeah, more try. One more try. And now. He's coming. Yes! That was amazing! Ricardo, this is the magic of the Winter Clash. Exactly! The crowd wanted one more. The competitor had it in them. The crowd got what they wanted. The competitor got the glory. Wow. And everyone celebrates yes. like, if everyone, like if everyone is winning this. Yes! We celebrated like if we landed the trick. Yes. That was awesome. That was Misaki, three, it was 360 Kangra. It, it was perfect. perfect. So fakey. And the landing, super controlled. We're still on the and these box. girls love this USD box. Next up, we got Javiera Garrido. She might switch it up. She's, she's a quick up. with her feet, dude. Oh, Bye. she's also dude. going for the same I don't know spawn. if you saw her earlier, Basti, but she was switching up on this. Oh, oh wow. My that's God. That's that's first first try. Try. That was first that's try. Boom. 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 She's going for more. Yeah. She's going for more. Yeah. Uh, she has her moment in the spotlight. I, I told you. Her, I would do it too. Oh, no. no. She's passing it, huh? Now it's Chihiro. Chihiro. I think she's going to go for the rail. Yeah. Okay. So, Aviera, Asset at the top, Asset first try. Chihiro on the rail. No, it's Chihiro also on the USD box. Oh, my God. It's turning into a IMYK battle. It's a battle. It's a battle. The I battle is on. Well, I haven't I seen that in a long time. Sit, like, battling the same spot? Yes. Like they're battling each other within the heat. They don't care about the results. They care about this spot. And having that trick. Oh. Good save. Oh, she's going to go for... Okay. What do you think she's about That's to do? That's the Misfit or the Kind Ride to Soul? One of these two. Oh, you thought that? Either Misfit or Kind Ride to Soul. Okay, I was thinking something completely different, but... What do you think it is, then? I thought that she was going to go for Soul to Alley Top Soul. That could also be, but the way that it looked like it... She was going to throw the Kind Grind? Like a little Soul up and then Alley Top Soul across. Ah, okay. Maybe, huh? I could see her do that. Yeah, well, she could do all these tricks we're talking about. Oh! Come on, she landed that. Yes. Okay. Get those Almost people right. to back up. It was the captain. She got on a boat. She got she got <laughs> caught. She got caught on the captain's boat. <laughs> on the anchor. Yeah, he had his anchor out, man. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Come on. Come. You guys oh, got we got the Power up, Ranger. 
The Power Ranger is throwing <laughs> the ball out. Yeah. Lee, the Power Ranger, will make room. Shihiro Azuma, she's got one more try, and she was so close on that soul make to alley -oop top soul. Make I mean, it perfect. Oh, one more try. One more try. One more. She got spanked on that one, though. Yeah. Sometimes when you hit your yeah. your hind quarters, it don't yeah. feel so good. Yeah. You clip your your hip. Woo! These girls are tough, though, Basti. I'll tell you what. They are. They are. What do you think, Ricardo? She's got one more. She was too close. They have to because if they gave four tries to so the, the one previous before, one, yes, yes, it's I only mean, fair. If she wants it. But now she's looking at the rail. She okay? Yeah, she she's, doesn't seem yeah, to be. I think she got her hit pretty good. Okay, we got Mary Munoz on the rail. One more try. Okay, so Mary is on. Mary's turn. Shihiro couldn't go for one more. Oh, oh my god. Oh, she's soul going soul to, to drop, soul. soul transfer. This is crazy. Okay. She doesn't seem like she's okay. No, she got she got a little bit broke off right there. Soul oh. to soul is like, like to a front side to Royale, I could see it way easier, but to soul? That's tough. If you miss it? That takes a lot of courage. Well, she locked it on, but she tumbled over. I think she's going to do it again. Yeah, she's going well, for it again. She's going and the for crowd it. is going wild. The crowd is erupting. Yeah, that's serious business. That's so crazy. Okay, she's checking her stance. She's checking her cup. Making sure nothing's wrong with those new USD Pro Mary Munoz Aeons. What a moment this would be. So triumphant. She's got the last trick in the last heat for the Pro Women's Finals. Oh! Wow! That was amazing. She That's a make. And she rolled away, baby. That's a make, man. That's unbelievable. Miguel's over there like, hey, man, you don't have to do this again. That was insane. Unreal. Yeah, I think Unreal. she was doing that off pure adrenaline. She's good. Yeah. Put your hands together, everybody, for your pro women's finals. What a show of courage and heart. Wow. And compassion for each other. They, they were in that together. Those last five I don't want to see that tries were seriously a huge step up for women skating everywhere. That was epic. She might have cut her shin. And look just now. There's, there's Kala helping her out of the skate. Yeah, she can't take her own That's skate off. Yes. Yes, ever. Ever, ever, yes. Wow. Can you repeat what Miguel just said? Can you just repeat? This has been the most insane women's final that Miguel has seen at the Winter Clash ever. And Miguel has been to all of them. At any competition. He said any rollerblade competition ever, this is the most insane finals he's ever seen. And Miguel announce, announces a lot of contests all over Europe. That's a very high praise. But now, ladies and gentlemen, yes, there's three heats. Yes, coming up. Share the link. You don't want to miss this. Okay, you this, don't want to miss. This. They still need to train. Yeah, there's going to be some warm up here. But there's 13 skaters. The 13, five, nine. Yeah, 13. Just so you guys at home know what Miguel 
Martinez was announcing was the pro men's finals in heat number one. We've got Danilo Senna from Brazil. We've got Martin Danning from Norway. We've got Eugen Enin from Germany and David Sizemore from the USA. Christian Sarsesny from Poland. Heat number two, Jarl Vreen from the Netherlands. He placed third last year. We've also got Levi Van Rien from the Netherlands. We've got Robbie, Robbie Spassov from Israel and Roman Abrati from France. And then heat number three, of course, we've got Joe Atkinson from the United Kingdom. Uh, Dominic Bruce from the United Kingdom. Niels Janssens from Latvia and the reigning three-time champion, Julian Cudeau from France. So they're going to give the pro men's 20 minutes to warm up. So that is going to start right now. So at home, this is your last opportunity to get a snack or get something to drink or head to the bathroom or the WC as they say over here. Maybe text your friends to see if they're getting off work if you're on the West Coast and then jump in. And the finals are about to get underway here in about 20 minutes or so. You guys are watching if you just tuned in. Welcome to the World Class, the, the World Class Winter Clash 2024 live stream. We're treating this like a, a broadcast television production under the guidance of Ricardo Lino. We are the Wheel Addicts team this weekend, working on this together. And you guys helped us make history already earlier. We broke 3,000 simultaneous viewers. And I know there's a lot more of you out there because some of you people are watching at the homie's house with maybe like three or four or 10 people around the same YouTube watching. So I feel like it's more like maybe four or 5,000 people out there, but at least we beat our goal of 3,000 simultaneous viewer accounts. And that means one thing, rollerblading is growing. The world wants more rollerblading than it's ever had before. And because of the Wheel Attic team spearheaded behind Ricardo Lino, we're able to make this production possible. And a big reason for that is our gracious sponsors for this live stream here at Winter Clash 2024. We've got Flying Eagle Skates, we've got City Legends, we've got Echo Skates, and we also have Entente Frames. And so we're gonna go to a commercial break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned, you guys. Check out these messages from our sponsors and stay locked in to this Winter Clash live stream. We'll be right back.
So these warm-ups are, are looking extremely promising. And we were understandably impressed with the pro qualifications. And so these are your top, looks like 12 or, or 13 riders. We'll call it a baker's dozen. They always make an extra one in case the baker gets hungry. Or God forbid the baker is from Hungary. And from what these guys are throwing in practice for the finals, it looks like they're going to turn it up another notch. I wasn't sure if they had another notch or if they do have another notch, if they had enough gas left in the tank. But it looks like these guys are finding lines or maybe they had these lines stashed all along because some of these guys have been here skating since Thursday. Remember, the Winter Clash is a destination skate culture experience. So some people have been here since Thursday, skating the park every day, coming in the morning, taking a break, coming back in the evening, finding these tricks, laying out what they want to do. And some of the pros who are, are seasoned vets know that you can't give your tricks away in the qualifying rounds. You can't show the other competitors what you have that's unique and strong. So they kind of have to play this strategically. But at the same time, oh. in the qualifying rounds, in the qualifying rounds, you have to put up enough tricks to get to the finals. So if you are saving tricks for the finals, you also have to have a second bag of slightly lower tier tricks that are gonna get you to the finals. This is insane. And some of these tricks are so precise. Wow, Dominic Bruce, Machio up, turn around, sunny day down, that broomstick rail on the red barn. 900 up. Wow, 900 up, the grindhouse gap. Dude, Dominic Bruce is all over the place, man. Oh, uh, yes. Gaggy is watching. Hi, Gaggy. Hi, Gaggy. Dominic Bruce with the red pants and the skates that want to dance, man. 
There's Bobby. Bobby Bangers. Dink. Disaster backslide with the grab like a gentleman with that collared shirt on. You know the pros that skate with the collared shirt in the finals? They mean business. Just saying. Speaking of meaning business, if you got anything on your calendar for February 2025 and you're a rollerblader, you should seriously consider coming out to the Winter Clash. It is literally like the Super Bowl weekend of rollerblading. This is the experience of a lifetime, and it's all culminating here right now. Up next is the Pro Men's Finals. This is the grand finale. There will be a 2024 Winter Clash championship crowned. There'll be prize money given away. The award ceremony is going to go nuts. We're going to have awards for all disciplines, junior men's and women, amateur men's and women, pro men's and women, and then we've got some other side awards like best line, best hammer, most creative. And you know what? What's that, Basti? The, the last tricks at the men's pro competition are that moment where the Winter Clash, that Winter Clash moment is about to happen when the crowd is allowed to be on the course. Oh boy. With leaving just enough room for the skater to yes. approach and land his trick. Yes. And in, in when he lands the trick, swallowed up yeah. in a boisterous crowd of approval, yeah. making a memory that will last a lifetime. And that naturally evolved while at the Winter Clash. There's Julian Cudeau working the spine. We got to have camera, the remote, the robo camera activated to check on the spine when Julian Cudeau and Joe Atkinson. There you go. That's why my man Ricardo is in charge of the Wheels Attic team, man. He's got all the toys. I feel like we're at Ricardo's toy store and he has so <laughs> many gadgets and so many buttons. He's just running with 11 fingers and three hands, <laughs> and he's making it all happen. You know, earlier I saw Ricardo eating a pizza, live streaming, texting, and typing, and editing at the same time. <laughs> and look down, he may have still had his skates on, I'm not sure. There's also all kinds of other Winter Clash moments. I want to let you guys know that running a skate shop is, uh, it's, it's my life's work, and it involves me staying active in rollerblading, and it's keeping me healthy and young, and I've met some people here that have received a package from Intuition and noticed a handwritten note in there, or came by the shop and missed me, but said they'll come back, and they're gonna come visit the shop in Santa Monica or Bakersfield, and asked to take a picture with me for their son, and it was just awesome. So those moments like that of meeting friends and colleagues and clients that all happens here at the winter clash as well and those moments can be equally as impactful and, and impressive and for that i'm eternally grateful and if any of you out there on the on the live stream have, have ever been to either location of intuition skate shop bakersfield or santa monica you're always welcome to come back and if you've never been you're absolutely invited look us up if you're ever in town get that real walk-in skate shop experience but back, okay. Back to the task at hand. That's David Sizemore way up on the on the top of that red barn rooster house up there. Oh wow. So Joe Atkinson is looking at that transfer. Checking the savings. Account to account. There's Yaro Freen right there in the white shirt, black helmet and black pants. This guy's a Netherlands local. They're gonna go nuts for him. Top soul to Royale. David Sizemore made it to the finals. Uh, Copenhagen transplant, originally from Atlanta. Martin Danning is back out there. Open hands. I see Bobby Spazov over there in the red Rossi's helmet. Or as they say in Italia, Roches. 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 Do you remember? Yeah, you you got to go with that. Arr. Arr. Roches. Do you remember when Roches made those sneakers back in the 90s? Yes, the I Roches do. with the roach on the side? You know what? They look a lot like the Lazo ones. Yes. Yes. There's, yes. Italian sneakers from an <laughs> Italian sneaker company making skates. <laughs> Ah, yes. Oh. Man, the Bobby. Bobby Bangers. 
Muse. Whoa. Backslide chance for Dark. That? Dark side porn star. Danilo Senna out there. Danilo's got his name on his helmet and his name on his jersey. So make no mistake about it. If you see this guy skating, you will remember his name. Wait, do you remember the the other famous the Senna wallet. from Brazil? What? The other famous guy named with the last name Senna from of course. Brazil. Ayrton Senna, of course. Everyone does. And Ayrton was also like, that's why Danilo is going so fast. It's because of the last name. Okay, maybe that's it. Is the Formula do One of rollerblading, you, of inline skating. <laughs> is there any other good explanation for this? I don't know. I, I can't find another one. Martin Danning there, warming it up. Looks like he did the old, I'm a kid, so I'm going to dye my hair with Kool-Aid move. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend sticking around, so it must not have done too bad of a job. Oh. Niels is did going Niels? for the transfer. So I've seen a couple pros attempting now in the practice to transfer up the rail over to the flat rail on top of the grindhouse box. Danilo Santa's finding lines. Danilo is yes. flying everywhere. Yeah. And so everywhere. I met Danilo earlier this weekend. We got to shout out the new ice cream company from Alex Granger. It's called Ice Wallow. <laughs> oh, no. Ricardo, don't do this, man. You're getting played, son. <laughs> this guy in the UK, Alex Granger, has got a new ice cream truck company called I Got No Tricks. <laughs> he's slick, but he's not slicker than the Mick. I'll tell you what. You're welcome for walking you back from that one, kid. You almost made a faux pas that the Pope couldn't save you from. Good Lord Almighty, we might have had to start throwing funky bananas across the table if he read that one. We've always got a banana on hand to keep it funky. What's up with those uh, skate fast and die hats? They're sold out, huh? Wow. So there's some exclusive merch that comes out at the Winter Clash as well. And it's one Bobby's, company was Bobby's, making these. It's Bobby Spasov, Inferno. Bobby Spasov, Inferno's, Bobby Spasov's apparel brand, Inferno, made these hats, that embroidery, that had embroidery that say, skate fast and die. And our cameraman, Harry No Pro, is wearing it. He's letting us know that they sold out, so you can't get any more. Everyone is asking about Mary. Let's. We're going to try to find out if she's okay, and we got to yes, let you guys Yes, for sure. Know. So we can we can confirm that Mary Munoz is being well taken care of and whatever injury she may have incurred on that last transfer, she is doing fine. And there's a good chance that she will be posting an update later on. But thank you for thinking of her. We've got an excellent medical response team here on site 24-7 yes. at the Winter Clash. So she's being very much attended to. And we're gonna try to find more about her. If we know anything else, we'll let you guys know. Absolutely. Totally fair question. And we're at 31, 4, 46, 3,146. We're gonna get to 3,500. Um, 3,500? Yeah, when we hit the finals. Yeah, 35. everybody wants to see Joe Atkinson, man. So the goal. Look at Levy. The goal was to surpass 3,000 uh, cumulative, uh, consecutive uh, viewers viewers at the same time yeah i'm trying to think of the word here simultaneous 3,000 simultaneous all this europe makes me short on english <laughs> 3,000 simultaneous viewers and we passed that and now we're even way past that past 30 3100 and ricardo thinks we can get to 3500 i think so oh, if you want to see danilo the... senna drop 450 backside to 180 to flat off the and usd cheese box and a warm-up warm -up. Warm -up, <laughs> you should be watching the Winter Clash 2024 live stream. You know what? I like that they painted that classic USD logo. I know, I like spot. that one. That makes me think of yeah. the pre-Cyrus days. Yeah. When Fusi was making logos for them. Fusi. 
Shout out to Fusi. Shout out to Martin Fusenegger. Yaro Freen, top acid, true back Savannah across the damn shotgun box. Easy peasy. Oh, Dominic Bruce is back. Dominic Bruce. Red pants, want to dance. So another thing that you have to consider too is if you're skating into the finals, you're warming up right now. It's chilly here. It's in Eindhoven. They call it the winter clash for a reason. It's cold and windy and wet and raining outside, sometimes snowing. You have to save enough what energy. What is Levy up to? Transfer oh. city, baby. Off the quarter pipe into the back quarter pipe on the grindhouse box. But you know what? Dominic Bruce is another guy that like really came up through Winter Clash. Yes. So he did he win uh, kids? Yeah. OK, so he won juniors. Then he went up to amateur. Amateurs. And I think he placed top three or did he win? Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're going to find that out. At least he placed top three. And then now he's skating in the pros every year. Wow, Danilo Sinna, alley oop wall ride 360 out on that clear glass above the FR. Someone's going up into the rafters. Oh, wow. That's David Sizemore, no? No. There, he's putting something there. A shirt. For oh, stall. Wow. Okay. So that when you're up there, what? you don't slip. So when you don't, you're, you know, if you put your skates on yeah. metal, you might slide. You, you if put, you try to jump, you slip. David Sy So he's putting a shirt up there. Dude, so what he can change. do is he can stall and jump in. Let's try to get it from here. We have the right angle right here. Harry, Harry has it. Check this, check this, check awesome. this, check this. Here, check this guy. Look at David what Sizemore is, up in the rafters. What is he up to? David Spider Sizemore. You know what? I'll do anything to charge my phone, but I wouldn't do that. I think he wants to plug his phone in and charge it up there. <laughs> this gets better reception up there. Much better internet up in the roof. I think we don't even know what we are about to witness here. Yo. I wouldn't want to be there. He That's said, one thing. Uh, no, no drone parking, but you can park your skates up there. We got Scotty Blade saying Joe will win. But we also have a lot of people from Brazil <laughs> in the chat. We do have a lot of people from Brazil in the chat. Yeah, there's a lot of people in Brazil in the chat because there's a lot of people in Brazil skating in these finals. So we had some people skating in the juniors, the women's, and now the men's pro finals. That's capped off by Danilo Senna at the ripe old age of 18, putting Brazil on the map. We got David Sizemore. Yeah, this guy's up here thinking outside the box so much, he's almost thinking outside the skate park. This wow. is unbelievable. David Sizemore, get down from there the best way you know how. <laughs> Dominic Bruce won juniors in 2020, 2013. Okay, so about 10 years ago. And then... We're checking on the stats for how Dominic Bruce rose up the ranks. Needless to say, we'll never know how he keeps so much energy and is able to get so much speed. Did you guys ever saw an amateur uh, in 2017? And in 2017, he won amateur. Okay, and then he's been in the pro contest ever since. There's a good chance that he will compete today for, for winning three. the pro. Yeah, or, or, or could win it. Did you yeah. guys yes. thought, how did he even got there? <laughs> he got a boost. Well, he climbed on the wall and then shimmied over. Kaleo, Kaleo okay. helped him up there. Okay, see you once again, Brazil. Galileo, Galileo. Yes. <laughs> so we got to keep a camera okay, on Okay, so where is he going? So he's in heat number one, Ricardo. David okay. Sizemore's in heat number one. So okay. he knows he's coming in the first heat to get down from there. He <laughs> wants to keep his legs warm. Can, can. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got Pedro down there. Wow, that's an angle right there, man. Wow. David Sizemore is in the rooster's house above the barn. Checking on the weather up there. I really have no he idea. Said, they asked David Sizemore, do you want to drop in before or rafter? Your other <laughs> co-heat members. Before, before think, or rafter. Do you think he will just gap onto that 
small little rail. Whatever David Sizemore's thinking of, I'm about it. Because I guarantee you, Jump. he didn't get up there by accident. He didn't get up there by accident without an intent to do what he wants to do. <laughs> David is... You, you, how, how old is you David? Got, you got bees. You got bees in the... In the <laughs> bees is like, damn it. Damn it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> These dad jokes are crazy. Right. And he's not even a dad. We're trying to keep <laughs> we're trying to keep this live stream family friendly because I I guarantee you there's a lot of kids out there watching. Hell, we had the junior contest, uh, junior men's and women's finals earlier today. So you're gonna get dad jokes. <laughs> LOL. Danilo Senna in the yellow shirt. You guys know him representing Brazil. He's a killer. He's absolutely a contender. 18 years old. There he is. Tall in stature. Well, Martin and won the talent. juniors and the amateurs yes. before. Yellow sleeves. The ninja. From Brooklyn Zoo, the ninja. The urethane ninja. Yes. From Poland. Two, second year in a row, making it to the finals. David up in the rafters. We can see him here. <laughs> yeah, he's up there. Up to something. <laughs> okay, and we are on 3300, guys. The Shout largest out. viewership we've ever had. Shout out to Georges. Yes. And to Easy123. Thank you, guys. Okay, David so Sosmer is getting ready. I think we're getting a 10 minute heat. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm scared. He's gonna do it. Yeah, but Winter I'm Clash scared. Winter Clash 2024, are you ready? Heat number one, pro finals. That was a beautiful 180. <laughs> oh, Danilo, 1260. Backflip. How can you do a 1260 off 540 there? into the launch box there on the Grindhouse Blue Box. Wow. 360 alley Martin backs. Danning. David Sizemore Royale, 180 into the quarter pipe. Christian. Christian, top disaster soul. top soul. Yep. Trusman asset from Martin. Here comes Jorgen Ennen. Jorgen Ennen on the transfer. Wall ride from. back to top yes. soul. Yes. Triple transfer threat from the Yurte Ninja. Trueback Savannah, David Sizemore on the FR box. Martin, Martin Danning. Danning. Dark side fish brain. Quite an entrance from David Sizemore, huh? Wow. Danilo okay. Senna, 540, Trueback Savannah. Was it 540? Yes. Really? All right, he probably does. David even. Sizemore, front side. What? 540, 540 gap. Easy. David Sizemore is on fire. Unreal. Ricardo, are you seeing this? Unreal. Check the spine. No, Christian's out of the spine. Never mind. Cancel that. Here comes Danilo. 542 oh, Mizu. 542 Mizu. Oigen. Oh, oh back Nugan, back toward Drop topsail. He's on a budget. He a, a, a stale Ballin grab in a, between. Yes. Stale grab back toward Balling on a March budget. It. Martin, oh, Alley Alley up top, top asset. Christian. Martin was a 720. Yeah. Up. Coming now. in Stockwell. Frankie, 360 stale. Stale grab. Danilo. Wow! Oh! Danilo Senna. 542 <laughs> Mizu on the FR down ledge. Unreal. Our boy is grown up. Unreal. Our boy is grown up. But David Sizemore is still on there. Whoa! <laughs> 542 <laughs> top soul. David Sizemore. On the down ledge. Look, Sizemore Royale, Royale to, to gap. He landed in that narrow channel. Yes. Yes. And, and he does back. true. True Dude, Savannah. Every trick landed yes. by David. Back torque, back, back slide, true fish from Christian. He's wearing a collar shirt. And Eugen, oh. And it's not to play golf in. Jorgen Ennen wore yellow sleeves just so you could see him. Otherwise, he's too fast. The Yurte Ninja, Jorgen Ennen. Wow. And Martin Danning. Martin Danning. Soul Grind. grind. Little air transfer out of the wall ride. Back and fast back. slide, stale grab. Stale grab, fast Whoa, slide. Whoa, oh. Danilo 
Senna, 450 backside Royale, 180 David drop Sizemore. on the USD box. David Sizemore, backside, backside to fake you. Dude, David Rapped. Sizemore is feeling it right now. Yes. David Sizemore is feeling it, and I'm loving With it. Chris Christian, back, back far, far far off. Yes, on that FR rail. And Eugen. Oh, where was Trubac, it? Trubac, Savannah, uh, acid uh, to step back, Macchio. It was a triple switch up on the down rail. David says oh, more. Going for that hurricane top hurricane acid. Top acid. <laughs> Unreal, and we are just in the first heat. Oh! oh. Danilo Senna, 540, true fish brain. Oh, did it land it? Yes. Yeah. Reminds of me of another Brazil skater, Fabio Ennis. Wow, wow. Dark Martin side Danning. Soul. Martin Danning. Wow. wow. 360 dark porn star. Da oh, wow. David, so close. Once that hurricane tops, so. Dude, is anyone ever going to forget David Sizemore's entrance? Dude. Wow. That was. Wow, he did it again. He wants the line. Oh. Oh, oh again, he's in it for the lines, baby. Oh, Whoa, Danilo. Hello. Oh. Danilo. Wow. wow. Yo, can switch up back unity to true top porn. Thank you, 720 Pick Martin Danny. by Martin. Wow. I feel like that what wasn't 10 minutes. I feel like that was a five what minute. What a start to the finals. Okay. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. You got that right. Well, the finals are about to start now. I didn't tell you that. Like the, the last week, that's when it goes like proper. Yeah. Because they've been killing it, but like this last trick. That's oh, go wild. per Winter Clash tradition, if it's the finals and it's the end of your heat, you get the last trick. Yes. So each competitor gets their last trick. And, and they if got they a need, couple attempts. If they need to take three tries, they can. And sometimes the tree extends a bit more. Let's put it that way. Yes, this is a Winter Clash homage, a Winter Clash tradition, if you will. So up first, Danilo. we're going to have the young Danilo Senna. He's checking with Miguel to be sure the course is clear and the cameramen know where he's going to go. So with the last trick, they have the course to themselves and they can step it up. And they won't have to worry about any other competitors coming through, so it's possible that they will, will step the trick up one more notch. So Danilo Senna is having the crowd move back behind the yellow USD ledge. So he already landed a 540 back royale to Fakey on that in this heat. And it looks like Danilo Senna has chosen this as his last trick spot. I don't know, man. That would be insane. He's gonna, he's gonna spin into something. Let's go, Danilo. He's got to be juiced right now. We got the best angle right here. Boom. Pedro on the floor. And Miguel dancing. Miguel dancing. Yeah, he's feeling it. Danilo. It's coming. Dropping in Danilo Senna. Wow! Oh my god! It's the 540 TTP. 540 true top porn. Now he locked it, but he just slipped out. He's gotta do it. He was very much in control. The box yeah. is a little too he's, short. He's in his bag. Him. Well, he's gapping so fast. Yeah. Because he's a Senna. Basti, he's, he's not a Senna, he's a good boy. But he's a Danilo Senna. 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 <laughs> not a sinner. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, he's gapping so fast that he's almost yeah, locking on just at the end of the ledge, huh? Look at that. Boom! Oh! How fucking <laughs> yes! Perfect. Danilo oh, Senna. That he was amazing. True top that was a, and he was screaming for her. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. What a way to end his heat. That was unbelievable. Wow. Unreal. <laughs> okay, Martin so Martin Danning. Danning. And we are about to hit the 3,500. Oh, yes. A new record. Really? Yes. Nah. Wow. 3,500. 
Yeah, we're close to. Sick. That was second try. Yeah. Yeah, but I guarantee that you. That was one try too much for I Daniel. guarantee you, he didn't think of that trick <laughs> just right now. He had that in his mind and in his spirit. He's a very thoughtful young man. And I bet you somewhere down there in Brazil, he was working on that trick. 100% for sure. And he was sure. just waiting for the right obstacle. And it's on his side and it has a nice launch into it, huh? Yeah. Wow, man. USD's got to be proud of his boy for lacing that on the USD box. Huh? Yes. <laughs> So we got Martin Danning coming up for his last trick. Coming in Stockwell. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Stick with it, Martin. I like Martin. He's a he's a very kind guy. We've always got along. And when he skates, you notice that he's he his hands are open. So it's like he's he's grabbing at the air. Super smooth. Representing Mesmer Skates, Dominic Brew, correction, Martin Danning. Silly me, Martin Danning. Coming in, Stockwell. Yes. Oh, oh. with the Macchio. Dark side Macchio, all the way to the other Where side. Where's he gonna go, Ali Upsol? What do you think? Maybe, yeah, Ali Upsol would be sick, the full 360. I huh? would not want yeah. to go to be where Pedro if he, is. If he would go Ali Macchio, with a grab. I don't think Pedro is in a, a very safe position well, to be. Oh, he will just jump to the side. Pa Pedro around and find out. Okay, here comes here Martin Danning. Check for that open right hand. There it is. Oh, so close. He's trying to get there. A full cab, Ali Fishman. Ali Farsad yeah, Maggio. Yeah, yep. That's it for Martin Danny, everybody. He skated all the way to the finals. Now we have the ninja. Is he going to backflip again, Basti? The Yogin. Last year's trick is a backflip. <laughs> that was his last oh, trick. Yogin Enin. He's going for the transfer. He's transferring. Hey, you guys, clear off that red barn, the loco skates red barn. There's going to be a wall ride. There's going to be a wall ride involved and maybe some rails or maybe some coping. Anybody in the chat, if you guys are a fan of Jorgen Enin, show some love, man. Put the ninja emoji in there. <laughs> this is our urethane ninja. He don't use a katana blade. He uses urethane wheels and he cuts with everything that spins. Ledges, rails, things that shouldn't be skated. The urethane ninja, Jorgen Enin. Does it look good? Does it look clear? We got the thumbs up. <laughs> We got the thumbs up from Jorgen Enin. Yes! Yes! Miguel, we're ready. We're absolutely ready. Let's go. Miguel still got the hops. Almost didn't make it up on that damn skate sledge. <laughs> there he comes. Here comes Jorgen Enin. Jorgen Enin. Check the yellow sleeve so you can keep an eye on him. Whoa! Oh! Front floor to wall right to fish rocket fish fish spray. Spray. Rocket, rocket style. And that was first try. Of course it was first try. <laughs> Ricardo, what he's a Yorte Ninja. Easy he's, game. He's in his toy box out there <laughs> while you're in your toy box right here. You it's know? true. Yes. <laughs> you have cameras and keyboards and buttons and he has boxes and rails and wall rides. Well, I do go out there I and know. play with those. I saw you this morning when I showed up, you were sweating from skating. So. <laughs> Authentic skater, Ricardo Lino, certified. So who's up next? We have David Sizemore. David oh. Sizemore. Oh. Now, what could he possibly have left to do in these hallowed I walls? I think he's gonna gap the flat. Yeah. Has anyone landed it clean? Michael Mueller did 540. Well, I'm talking clean because he kind of like he did it, he did but touch. not as he clean. He did touch. Yes. But it's Christian, Christian also. Christian is already up there. David is up on the grindhouse box. So David is first. Yes. Well, in the in the order, yes. Okay. So what does he want? They, he's. Is he telling Christian heads up? 
Miguel's sprinting across the course to find out you what know, David is up to. I've never seen Miguel run so fast except for when he saw that magenta jacket on a rack. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I must have it before anyone else has it. <laughs> That's the last time I, run, I saw him run so fast. Wall ride something? Yeah. <laughs> what is he up to? This is. <laughs> okay, can we get can we get Pedro over there? Pedro. Can we get the robot cam? On yes, the, we can. We can. We can. On the other obstacle. Perfect. Yeah, okay, I like this view. We got the angle, we got Pedro too. Pedro's here. There's David Sizemore. Oh. Oh. Okay, Ooh, he said what? to move. He asked you guys to move. Is he all right? Yeah, I think he's good. Does he want one more? He's good, he's up. Heads up, you guys. I mean, he's not a big man, but he's coming in fast. And the last thing you want is a, a set of skates coming at you frames first, straight to your face. Make room, you guys. Let's be polite. Pedro's right there. See what we got here. We got Pedro from Portugal. Boots on the ground. We're gonna switch over to a closer angle. Here we go. David here he comes. Up. Cutting Not across enough. the course. Now he lost his speed. He lost his speed. Something happened. That just means you guys gotta cheer a little bit louder for him. You guys at home on the chat. All 3,582 of you, plus doubles. You guys want to see David Sizemore land this launch to wall ride? Yes, we, we are. We are over the 3,500. Oh, it's yes. true. We Almost 3,600 is coming. We're, we're, making, we're making history. David Sizemore, full speed. Wall ride. Wall ride. Yes. He landed it. So sick. Yes. That was sick. Yes. David, does he want to go higher? Does he want to grind the windowsill? That was so clean. Very thoughtful. Wow. There's a tiny space where you can wall right and you need to pop out because that wooden piece there. It sticks out, huh? Yeah. You don't want to clip it on the way down. No, no, no. You need to pop out. Got it. And he's trying to land on transition, which is also like. Christian. Yes. Put your hands together for David Sizemore. Hey, we hit 3,600, Ricardo. 30. Yes, we did. 3,600 simultaneous viewers. A new record, man. <laughs> Yo, Harry. 3,600. 30, He's in the zone. <laughs> here, here. I'll tap your banana. <laughs> funky banana. Good, good, good thing there's the no camera banana, on you right now. The funky now. banana hit 3,600 simultaneous viewers. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going for Christian Zarzetny from Poland. Zarzetny. 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 Christian Zarzetny representing USD in the heat on skate from Poland. Now I told you, anybody who wears a collared shirt in the finals is taking it seriously. And look at your boy. He's got a collared shirt on and he's not going to play golf. He's all the way at the top of the Loco Skates Red Barn. Maybe he's flying like a golf ball. He wanted oh to go God. fast slide across that whole rail. Yeah. He but could. That would, but that Let would, me tell you, he could. That would also be a trick I could see David Sizemore do. Yeah, holding a fast slide on a flat rail. Yeah. Or Matthias Auger. Matze. <laughs> Shout out Matthias Auger. The drone is back. 
but it's still not as high as David Sizemore was in the ceiling. The David Sizemore biopic is coming at the end of 2024. Life Rafter Winter Clash. Okay, we've got Fender right there, front row seat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But does Christian want it? That is the question. He will. Does Christian want it? He will. Okay, let's go Winter Clash. He wants to land it and he will okay. right now. This is amazing. Oh, he's going to front torque it. Is that what it was? I, th I think this looks more like a front torque. No, okay. it's a fast slide. It's a, a fast slide. Back, back really? fast slide? It's a fast slide. If you, look here, if you look here, you'll see it. When if it that does. guy goes fast slide across and drops into the bowl. Oh, the drone is back up. Yes. The drone is droning. <laughs> Good thing we are not in Dubai. You're not allowed to fly drones Not there. even inside. Not even in the Cold Stone. For all the other American fast food chains they have in Dubai, <laughs> apparently. You learned a lot, man. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Christian. Good. Here comes Christian, all the way from Poland. Oh, oh wow, that's a lot to ask. Yeah, that's a lot. Well, yeah, he went for Christian. it. Yeah, he did. He went for what he wanted. Wow. Ah, and we are still going to the second heat. This was just the first heat. That was just the first heat. We have two more heats in the finals. Oh, my. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Matthias Auger says hi. Hi, Auger. Click the button. He's watching. 3602, 3600. Nah, it's the other button. It's the boom button. He knows. It's an inside joke. So we we have two more heats. Heat number two is Yaro Freen, Levi Van Rien, Bobby Spazov, and Roman Abrat. And then we have one more heat after that. So the 3600 simultaneous viewers we got, I feel like it's going to go even higher because in the final heat, in the final heat three, we have Joe Atkinson, Nils Jansen's, and Julian Kudo. Holy moly. So it looks like Miguel's down there rounding up the peoples. No, Julian, you're in the last heat. Yes. Yeah. You've got some time to rest, man. Or stay warm. Whatever it is. So we got Yaro Frin, Levi Van Rien, Bobby Spasov, and Roman Abrant. Yes. Wow. Easily recognizable characters. You know these guys by their hair, or their helmet, or their face, or their tattoos. The one you may not know is in the white t-shirt. Again, he placed third last year in the pro. That's Whoa. Jarno Freen. He's from the Netherlands. He's going to be around a while, so you should get used to seeing him. Look, they all have different styles, but they all skate so fast. All the skaters, because like, yeah. on the previous heat, you'll have like Oigen, which is more of a technical skater. But here, all of them, every single one of them. Yeah, fast. I know Yaro and probably Roman and maybe even Bobby are coming into the spine. So keep that in mind. Yes, no yes. problemo. Let's go down to the camera on the floor. And so this is, is Yaro Freen in the white shirt. He's from the Netherlands. He placed third in the pros last year at Winter Clash. Representing this is Soul Sketch of UST, Play Club, and House of Urban Sports. Levi Van Rien representing Mesmer. These two, two years in a row in the finals. Yes, both from the Netherlands. Yes. Bobby Bangers. Also, Bobby made it to the final last year, but he had a bad fall and yes. he skated with a concussion. Like, Bobby Bangers is back in the finals. Hopefully he's skating Same with Roman. It's been a while since Roman made it to a final. If Roman Abrat. Well, both he is. his students made it to the previous final. Yes. So. yes. Like teacher, like student. Exactly. Both are all are skating at a high level. Okay, we got the spine over there.
They all want to start at the top. <laughs> Check this technique. They're climbing up the rooster box. All four of them are going up at the top. That's a cool shot right there. That's a cool. Sh that's a cool photo or shot. Eric, can we see the guys on top, please? Thank you. What a great shot, man. Look at that. Levy, Yato, Roman, and Bobby. Who's going first? Don't drop two at a time on that, huh? One at a time. <laughs> yeah, let's go Mesmer. Levy, Van Rien, Rocky, those Mesmer. Yeah, or Rossi's with two, Bobby. Two, or two, two, USD two Team USD. Yep. One Mesmer and one Roaches. Yes. Four amazing skaters, and everyone skates really fast. Yes. It's good that they're kind of like telling each other where they're going because, yeah. So there's no crisscross, yeah. applesauce, stretch your teeth, miss a week. All right. Yeah. Can you hear that? Listen to that. Wow. I don't know if you guys can hear the crowd, but they're going wild right now. Romana Roman Brat dropping in first. Wow. Flipping. Big bio 540. Wow. Bobby flat spin 540. Right Yaro. off the bat. Romana Brat true spin right out. Yara Freen transfer <laughs> topside acid. Top, top soul gap it in. Wow. Bobby there's still back backslide on the Here we go. Levy's dropping in. Levy Van Rien. Ali, if you need it forward, Yaro. Yato, wow. dark true top porn star. Top side, oh. soul stall. Levy Van Rien, gap over the rail into the bank. And backslide. Back oh. Wow. His body was almost. What scared. a start. Dude, shotgun start. <laughs> These guys are off to the races. That looked like an orchestrated, oh choreographed dance. Wow, Yaro. Yaro. Backside, wall ride, top soul. And he's still in the line. Ali of top porn star, Bobby Spazov. Top soul, Royal transfer. Wow, Yaro landed the transfer. Yes, he did. From the, up the rail to the flat rail on the grindhouse box. Roman Abrati. Wow. Disaster, oh, Ali of Unity. Wow. He Maybe. went for it, man. Levy That's coming wild. full speed. Whoa. Front side. Oh! Front side gap into the bowl. I don't know if he made it. Shout out to Michal. Yaro. Here comes Yaro Freen going with some very fast speed. Oh! <laughs> Fish brain to Fakey. And there's Bobby. Yaro Freen. Here goes Bobby Bangers. So coming back in forwards. Oh! Five or 450 backslide to Fakey on the very last rib cage. There we go. On the rib rail. Romana Brody wants that disaster. Oh, oh my oh. God. Wow. How's he going to come space. out of that? He's probably. To forward? Yeah, no, he's he's kicking the fence and landing down there. Okay. Yeah, he's breaking the fence. I'll go go through Benny yeah. Hamarna style. Benny Hamarna style. Okay. Exactly. There's Yaro, Yaro topside acid. acid. Flawless. Here comes Bobby Bangers. Bobby Spazov. Oh, top soul up, fish brain down. 720, 720 up. up. Transfer That's into first. the quarter pipe. He's skating around. True Mizu, 360 out. Bobby Banger still has it. Here comes Yaro. He's in the spine. Yaro's in the spine. Yaro's in the spine. Uh, there he is. Big oh. 900. With a 900. Oh. He didn't land the 900, but he threw it. Takes a lot of guts to go in that spine section. Whoa! True KG. Yeah, Romano brought True wow. KG on the firecracker rail. Bobby Spaz off faking 270 backslide on the down them box. One minute left. Okay, Levy Drew, Van Rien, Drew, Levy Drew, Van Rien in the spine by the rail. And Yaro going up the Grandhouse box. Oh, oh wow. wow! Top so 540 in. Yaro Freen on the Grindhouse box. And he's still Bobby, going. Bobby's in the spine. We got a camera here from, we got a camera here from 
Okay, let's go it. Let's see it. From Harry. I got it here too. Okay. Wow, big 360 flat spin. 720. Bobby Spazov working the spine and half pipe section. Showing that he's got the big ramp skills. Not just a street skater. He used to be a word skater. Well, apparently he used to be a vert skater. Here comes Romana Brat. Big flat spin 540. All right, you guys. That's heat number two. So we're going to go into the last tricks. Yes, sir. Oh, my, my. This is where our man Pedro, camera on the course, comes in. With the front row seat for everybody watching at home. So, Yaro Frin is up first. Yaro, the ramp local. So it looks like, is that Levy Van Rien still playing in the spine? Yes, Levy still working in the spine there. On that rail, that little shotgun rail that they've got posted up on the back side of that box. Maybe Levy's gonna go back there for his final trick. We'll get him. Yaro's here taking a drink. Yes. Getting your refreshments. Much deserved. Remember, Yaro Freen is a Netherlands native. He's from this country, the Netherlands, and he's skating at Eindhoven at what? the Winter Clash often. And what do you think he's gonna do? I think he's gonna grind a quarter pipe from the grindhouse. Okay. Well, what if he goes by transfer. the FR boxes and transfers yes. up to the Grindhouse yes, he's going. somehow. To check it out, maybe? No, and he's not. Both. He's going to start there. What do you think, Basti? He's going to do something at the local box. No, he's getting the drinks off the Grindhouse quarter pipe. Yeah, maybe you're right. Something's going on up there where he's... Oh, he's, he's waxing, waxing it. it. He's waxing it. Okay, this so is a roller betting contest. We are waxing it. We came here to slide and not stick and fly. So he's probably going all the way. Yes. From okay, the FR across, ramp from the all FR the way. Pipe, over the grindhouse quarter pipe into the bank. Yeah. Yes. Do you think yes. this is his line? Yes, think, yes, sir. Oh, my God. No other way. Well, I'm just saying, if anyone can do it, he's been skating with so much speed and power. Okay. Casey. Oh, we got the cameraman waxing now. Oh, Our yes. Camera <laughs> Pedro the waxer. I thought for a second it was Lee, but I didn't see any dreadlocks. Skate video song section raffle. Eric Burke, VG5. <laughs> Easy. Supernatural. And there's another one. Ooh. I, it's Eric Burke for me, for this one. Yeah, he doesn't want to get stuck in there. No, don't don't get stuck up there. Slide that whole pole, baby. If you're just tuning in right now, this is the Pro Finals for the 2024 Winter Clash live stream. And you're one or one of 3,600. Yeah, watching this. Yeah. Over 3,590 simultaneous unique viewers, meaning there's like over 500 more viewers than we had last year. Plus, it doesn't count if there's five or 10 people watching at one YouTube at someone's house. So this is the largest audience the Winter Clash has ever had. You guys are breaking records. Let's keep rollerblading growing. Yaro Freen, first up for his last yes. trick. He's a Netherlands local. Here we go. Launch, Grindhouse. Oh, he can make it. He Easy. can make it. Easy. He can totally do it. He can almost wall ride that if he wanted to. He's going to do it. That would be the ne next thing. Wall riding across. Oh, wall ride. Maybe, maybe Bobby is. is Bobby. Bobby's up there. Yeah. On top of the loco red, red, <laughs> red barn. Would Bobby war ride that side, or does he do it the other way around? Yeah, he does. Bobby would war ride that way. Are you saying Bobby can only one ride one direction? Well, on something like that, yes. Okay, 
Here we go, you guys. Yaro Freen. He placed third last year in the pro contest. He wants Shout to, out, Stefan. He wants to make a return to the podium. Let's see if he's got it. Netherlands local, Yaro Freen. Oh. It's yes. right so there. It's right there. So close. He's Launch. gonna do it now. Launch to top sole on the grindhouse quarter pipe to gap into the bank. So he's using three obstacles to perform one trick. This is a very unique line. I haven't seen anyone else all weekend take this line. Risky business, to say the least. But I'm confident he can do it. It shows once again that these additions to the skate park they built at Wonder Clash this oh, yeah. year were absolutely the right choice. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely the right choice, and they enhance and elevate the level of skating. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, when we have these skaters, whatever you put there, it will be the right They're choice. They're going to kill it. They will They're going to destroy like, it. They're going to find some way to mark it off and just make you scratch your head and be like, damn, at least I got the clem. Otherwise, the homies back home wouldn't believe me. <laughs> so, Yaro, do it. Yaro, Come on not, now. Not tomorrow, Yaro today. Oh, oh no! Oh no! So Go one, one more. more! Come Go on! One more. We want one more! One more try! One more oh, try! We need that one more try! The whole entire crowd is chanting. He's going again. Yeah, he's, he can't sleep tonight unless he lands it. If not, he will come back in the morning when everybody's still sleeping. And you do mean, it for himself. You mean he's going to come back to yeah. Yaro morning? Yeah. Oh, I can't see that. I hope he can sleep in and get some rest. Let's do it today, not to Yaro. <laughs> Yaro Freen! Let's go! Do it for your country! Do it for the Netherlands! Let's see it. We do it for it. the boys! Let's go! He's coming in hot. He's got to make that turn. Here we go. Oh, no. It's too much. It's a lot to ask. He was so close on that one Everyone try. is asking, man. He locked it on. I think he gets one more. Miguel checked with the judges. Or he's still checking with the judges. The judges are deliberating. Thank you. A South African living in China, Mr. Yes. Anton Reeling. Yes. Well, I hope you have an enjoyable experience. I'm certainly not trying to p punish you. <laughs> I'm trying to keep these jokes kid-friendly and funny for everybody. So thank you for enjoying. And next up, we have Bobby Bangers. No, we have Levi Van Rien. Levy Van Rien. Okay, so I think is he going to be playing in the spine? Yeah. Okay, so we got to get we got to get Pedro over there. Yeah, he's going to. Okay, I think he's playing with the rail right there. Yes, yes, yes. Pedro's going to get there. Pedro's right there already. I can see. Oh, did we lost the camera? Did we? Oh, he's changing the battery. I think he's changing the battery. We got Harry on it as best we can. Good job, Harry. Thank Harry, you, Harry. No pro. So there's a rail on the other okay, side. Okay, we rail. got camera ready. Yes. We're good. Okay. 36.52. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, oh so close. What's up, Nero? Watching with your whole family from Atlanta? Awesome. Okay, so I found the, the perfect way to see this. It's going to be this and this. Okay, okay and Pedro is right there. Check yes. this out. So he's going up the rail. Yes. And then back down? I think it's, I don't know what he's doing okay. after. 
He's doing soul up. Gapping. Oh, soul tap gap to flat. That wow. is wow. That is tall. Dude, this got to be like 12 feet tall, man. That is like really tall. Look at that. Look, look at his flat. height. Look at his height. This is so high. Okay, he wants one more. Levi Van Rien is not done. Levi Van Rien is not done. Okay, there he is. He's checking the spot one last time. So he's standing up on the spine. There's a rail to his right side. When he comes back, it's gonna be on his left side. He's gonna grind the rail, tap the edge of the spine and drop all the way to the flat. Here he's comes gonna get it right now. Oh. oh. He's landing so at the close. end of the transition, so it makes it so much harder. Yes so difficult it's not flat it's not down it's like it's right there yeah. very short transition yeah he's he's running out of speed and it's it's tough but he's got a lot of heart and i like the vision that's totally levy style he's gonna try one more levy 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 ah sizing it up that's a long way down. That's a long way down. Here goes Levy Van Rien. Oh, he rolls away. That was insane. That? that was insane. Wow. What a final trick. So soul grind up. Wow. Backslide tap drop all the way to the floor that must be 12 feet high wow wow that was so good bobby bangers bobby's next oh he wants the joe atkinson rail it already belongs to joe joe will loan it to him huh just for one trick Oh, yes. You guys at home on the chat, you want to see Bozzy, Bobby Spazoff's Is he coming from the rail? Trick. Bobby Bangers. He's starting on the Grindhouse launch box, and he's coming up to the local Red Barn. Maybe going for the rail. Let's he's see coming it. with some speed, that's for sure. Bobby Bangers. Oh. oh my god Bobby is he going like with one foot between the rail? I think he's yeah. split rolling it yeah do you know he's it split roll. Yes. split roll when wow man he wants it again because he touched Bobby Bobby is a madman and we have Pedro right there yeah you got Pedro on the spot yes right wow. there Yes! Went to close. Oh, look where he's dropping from! Look where he's dropping from! And look at he's getting more speed from the top. How is he gonna get into that ramp? He needs to jump way before, huh? Does he think? Does he think? Does he think he's David Sizemore? Yeah, he's trying to drop in. There we go. More speed. Here we go. Coming across the course. Bobby Spazoff. Oh! So close. Is he trying to land on the rail? I don't know. Maybe to Alley of Soul. Bobby. So he, he's touching, so he's probably not happy with the trick. But I don't know if he's trying to land splitting the rail, like a split roll, or if he's trying to land and clink the rail, like, like Alley of Soul, and then go to Fakie. I don't know. This is uncharted territory. I don't know if I've ever seen an obstacle like this at a skate contest with a, with a ramp on both sides of a rail shooting up like that. What are they discussing here? Uh, he's thinking, should I try the same trick again or should I try another trick once? Because he's on his third try, man. Three strikes, he's on his third strike. I really think he wants to land on the rail. Okay. He looks at it like... 
I mean, if it would just go up there and backflip and roll down, it's not like this something unusual for yeah. Bobby. But he looks at this rail. So do you think he needs to go up higher, like go all the way to the top peak, stall out, backflip so he has a clink? Because it looks like Dude. where he's landing, he's almost at to, the bottom of the rail. To be honest, if he, if he, if he lands on the rail, I just want him to land it perfectly first try because I don't want to see him fall on that. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay, he's, the, he's doing something The gap something else. off the grindhouse step up. So he's going to go to the grindhouse launch box and then come back and jump off it. Okay. Okay. Holy moly, man. Different thing. Yeah. It may be. Change. Oh. Here he comes. Oh. Oh. Whoa, that was oh, first wow. try. Wow. That was first yeah. Stole try. On the top of the grindhouse wall oh. ride. Drop wow. back in. Mute 540. <laughs> and what a 540. He struck, do you know this show? Yes, 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 yes. Like Michael Jordan, when he won the championship <laughs> against the Utah Jazz. He made the shot with eight seconds to go and just shrug. <laughs> so Bobby has his shrug moment now. Bobby, the 540 to shrug. Like, meh. No, Bobby, that is a Bobby banger. And you are a bad man. And I like hey, it. But guess what? We still have Roman Abrati left. Yeah, and then a whole nother heat, son. A whole nother heat. And what a heat. Dude. This is like the All Stars, man. You know what I'm saying? Tar is it? Isn't it the All Stars the whole time? It's like, yeah, I get it, but I don't know. I feel like these last two heats have been unparalleled. Yes. And there's only four or five in each heat, so you get a chance to really hone in on what each one is doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what is he going for? Whoa. Okay. What is going on, man? I told you. <laughs> I told you. They're moving I, the I, fence. I, I told you. No, they're not removing, but I told you that he's going to stop at the fence. I don't know, but bring that girl out of the way. Hey, there. get that girl. Miguel. Miguel, get the girl. Get the girl. Get the girl. Oh, there's the other yeah, guy. tell her to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to go, man. But you got to go, girl. No, don't film him. Just move. She's like on the phone. But I need to tell my friends. I got a, I got a live stream when he crashes into my face. No, give him some room, honey. Give him some room, honey. Bobby, Bobby's down here just spent. Yeah. You know, he's just spent. Bobby. Look at that. Bobby. That's a man. That is an accomplished man who gave his all. And Look then shrugged it off like it was nothing. Dude, he's been doing it for the past three. The past three. Okay. Okay, okay let's see it. Bobby Bangers. Roman Abrati. First oh! try. First That's a make. You first were easy. try. He just wanted to touch the fence. Yeah. He touched the fence like an, uh, uh, like a harp. <laughs> that wow. was easy. That was not easy. That's insane. Yeah, it was insane, but it looked easy for Roman. Okay, hit number three. We got this. Kudo. Uh, the champ. With that Romana brought disaster alley impunity. Did you go to uh, Pedro's camera on that? Did, did you have Pedro shot? No, I had this one here. Okay. Do you, do oh, you, you saw it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Do you guys realize that this is the championship heat? So these are all... They, they're all champs of the Winter Clash. Well, Dominic is a champion from uh, amateur. From, yeah, Dominic won juniors and amateurs. Yes. Joe Atkinson won, won two. I, I think one. one. Joe one Atkinson won one. Nils Jansen won two. 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 And, and then Julian Kiddos won three. Won three. 
So this is the champion's bracket. Zero, one, two, three, because Dominic hasn't won in, 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 in pros. In pros. But amateur. Yeah. So amateur he's the one who hasn't juniors. made it yet. He won a winter clash. Yes. Period. Actually, he now, won the two question on the chat is Was that a gap alley of unity or a gap savannah? <laughs> oh, that was a disaster alley of unity. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. And I'll see you in the chats. Guys, <laughs> Joe Atkinson is on the big glass wall. On the spine. On top. On top. Joe Atkinson is on top of the glass wall. So he probably comes right in front of our booth. It's gonna be right up over there. Joe's gonna he's But gonna usually he comes here to come to yeah. this side, so it's yeah. always like a bit uh, a bit of a hard one. Okay, so Joe Atkinson well, is starting from we a not unique place. We're gonna do this. And then we go. And then we don't. We need Pedro. Now we're good. to Joe Atkinson on the on the high glass wall. Yeah, he's over there. Yeah, Joe's there? up on that glass wall. Then down here with Pedro, we got Dominic Bruce. Nils Jansen. You all know Nils from Latvia. Nils kills. Julian Kuto, he's your reigning Winter Class champion. He is absolutely a threat. This entire heat is stacked with former champions or oh. former amateur champions. There's Joe Atkinson. Joe Atkinson is on top of the glass wall at the back of the spine. We can see it here. This is, this is so... That's Harry Cam, Harry no pros, got him. This is an insane drop in. He's done it before. Okay. He's done it before. So he's been up there. Yes. This is an eight or ten foot glass wall. Yes. Here we go. I think we are not ready for this. Wow, here he comes, wow, huge, wow, 540 stall, back in, stale grab. Dominic Bruce, 900. Wow. Dominic Bruce, 900, up the grindhouse launch. Nils Jansen's getting tech on that them skates down ledge. Dominic. He'll he roll, roll top up. sunny day down. <laughs> the red rooster, broom handle rail. And there's Julian Cadeau. 720 Big, corkscrew, corkscrew 720 up. Top side acid stall coming in fakey. Fakey, fakey 720 okay. down. Dominic Bruce on the rail. What a start to the third and final heat. Unbelievable. Nils Jansen's transfer from the grindhouse rail to the FR down rail. Joe Atkinson on the grindhouse box. Royale transfer. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Front flip, Julian Coudot oh. over the spine. Joe Atkinson got his ribs on that rail. I think he got the wind knocked out. Timeout on the course. Joe Atkinson went for the transfer from the grindhouse flat rail to the FR down rail, missed the Royale lock on and, and ribbed the rail. It's, it's called getting the wind knocked out of you and it's almost like all the wind is taken out from your lungs and you try to breathe and you can't breathe in. It's very scary. It's a very scary moment. You almost have to lie still and you're panicking, but I think he just got the wind knocked out. I hope that's it. That's all that happened. 
This is Joe Atkinson over there. He started off with such an amazing line here in the spine section, dropping in off the 10 foot glass wall. Yes, give him some love. Give Joe his flowers. They're clearing a path to take him to the medical, the medical tent. Yeah. It's possible that he did, did get really broke off. Uh, hoping for the best. It's a high risk activity. And we never like to see someone take a fall. Especially somebody that was right at the peak of their energy in skating was about to go off. So it looks like they're trying to bring him up. Get his, get him up on his feet if he can and get him into the wheelchair. He's up, he's up. The crowd is cheering for him. It looks like they're gonna, they're gonna assist him. Checking out his ribs. Man, he got hung out on that rail like laundry. He waved off the wheelchair. He, he said, I don't want the wheelchair. Joe Atkinson. So Joe Atkinson is making his way to the medical tent and the heat goes on. We still got Dominic Bruce, Nils Jansen, and Julio Cudo. So it becomes a three-man battle royale. Dominic Bruce is taking his sweater off, Ooh, but he's still got his red pants and wants to dance. We've got Julian Cudo over there taking a slug of water, or in Germany, a schluck. And then we've also got Nils Jansen. Small package, but he packs a big bang. I don't know if they're waiting for word from Miguel that it's all clear. Yes. <laughs> if you're thirsty and you have water, go ahead and have a schluck. <laughs> On me. <laughs> Tell him the mix said yeah. You should. It's Freddie White already. <laughs> yeah, he's down there dancing. Julian. <laughs> Heat number three, our final pro final seat is about to restart. Wishing the best for Joe Atkinson. We'll keep you updated. As we learn more in the meantime, Dominic Bruce dropping back in. Red pants. Wow, whoa! Fish, Fish brain, brain saw the fakie. Dominic Bruce on the wall right behind the grindhouse quarter pipe. Not safe, so grind up, wow. so grind down. Disaster, true back Savannah. Oh, oh 540, Julie Cadeau. Oh. 540 soy out on the down rail. That's what got him real bad last year. Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh!
transfer by an angel. Wow, that was amazing. Chances. That was amazing. Julian fell again on the 540 Soyal. Okay, easy, Julian. Got more tricks to do, I bet you. Dominic. Shoot the duck, drop into the quarter pipe. Yeah. This is improv to the max, huh? Yes. Whoa! Wow! 450 right back out. royale. To land in the bank, Julian wow. Coudot. Here comes Niels Jansen. Topsoil, top transfer, topsoil, top the fake. He lead. did it! Top the rail and then back down the rail. Yes! Yes! yes. He Niels did it! Is, yes! Is on fire. Niels. The transfer king of the Netherlands. From his checking account to his savings account, he went to the bank. The bank was closed. He went to the ATM. He got the bag. That's there goes new purple fifth element. Oh, yeah, that, that purple haze. It's hitting. Here comes Julian Kudo. Zero top soul. Wow. 368. Wow. Wow. And Neil's going alley of top soul on a Rossi's box. 360 Zero. out. Oh, wow. Neil's alley of top soul. Wow. Wow. Oh. Soul, now soul, 360 going across and down nuts. the box. Oh. oh, Dominic Bruce wanted that 540 to flat. One minute left. Nils with the alley-oop top sold 360 out on the Rossi's box. Paying his sponsor dividends. Oh, and wow. Not a top transfer. sold to top sold. Trying to come back to the quarter pot. That's looked a, like he was trying to come into the transition. That's hard. That's risky business, baby. Oh. oh. He wants that 540 soy out, but I think he wants to switch it up. Yes, that's what it's right last year, yes. too. And that's yes. what got him. Oh, boy. He still won, I mean. Yes, but... Oh. Nils, Nils is there. 360 out, okay. Man, this is <laughs> this is <laughs> very more intense. than we could have ever bargained for, Ricardo. I I, I don't know what I got my money on. Wow. Was that a true Savannah? Yeah. True Savannah. Yeah. So we still have last tricks left. Okay. And we are streaming for nine hours and 47 minutes now. That's a full shift of work. <laughs> but it feels like a day at the park. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just got the funky banana look for Harry No Pro. That means I'm gonna grow up and wear pajamas too. Dude, that Knoppers doesn't take you good, man. <laughs> I'm living on Knoppers can, can and, and bubble water. Can you imagine? I wake up at four in the morning, look to my Where right. Where are we going? Look, now we got the real with the clash field. Check this out. Check what's happening. So, poor winter clash tradition. The last tricks of the last heat. They allow the crowd onto the course, leaving only enough room with some tape for the rider to reach the obstacle. And this Pedro got in. We and got then, we we got the front seat. And we then got the come front off seat. And roll away. So the contest isn't over. This is the crowd crush we that got the front seat. encapsulates the final tricks. So we've got Dominic Bruce, Niels Jansen, and Julian Kudo get their final tricks. <laughs> okay, we don't see anything. Look, you see here. Turn it to you. We got Pedro camera on the course. So it's Dominic Bruce in the red pants and he wants to dance.
So we're panning over to see Dominic Bruce dropping in. And then again, we've got a second angle in, in the tunnel of bodies. So Dominic Bruce is coming. Here we go. He's coming with some speed. Coming with maximum speed. Oh! Going 450 alley of soul up the broomstick rail on the top of the Loco Skates red barn. He's gonna switch it from that, I can tell you that. You think so? Yes, 540. How did that angle look with Pedro? Good. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Winter Clash, are you ready? He's cooking. He's looking. Oh, oh so close. Oh. He has one more. He's getting there. He's getting there. I think he didn't drop it right one single time. You know, he gets way more speed, but he's not dropping that uh, grindhouse thing right. This guy in the front needs to go out. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is going to be the last try. There he no, goes. That's he the one. It. He got it. Yo! 540 alley oop soul up the broomstick rail on the top of the Loco Skates Red Barn. Nils Jansen's Niels last Jansen streak. And then Julian Kudo. So it sounds like Nils wants to go up the rail. So if you can see the chaos on the course, they're actually forming a channel. There's this guy here on the spine that doesn't really allow us to see that much. It's Diego. Diego. <laughs> Diego! Okay, we got something here. Thank you, Diego. Thank you, Diego, for it's, sitting down. It's only the world champion. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I know we got Pedro over there somewhere. He's getting there. Nils knows this, like this part of the park with a, a steep down rail. We got another angle here, we good. Okay. Pedro is right there too. Oh yes. Okay, so he wants to go up the FR rail and launch onto the grindhouse flat rail. And maybe to the bowl. Look from what we're, from what we're thinking, he's already orchestrated it. I know he's told Miguel and the park rangers what line he needs. We've got a guy down here with a, a drone that's got a limp wing, man. Have all the times for your drone to misbehave. Hey, feed your bird, man. <laughs> Get that bird flying. He'll tell you a tale. Lamborghini. Janice. Okay, so we got Nils. He's not very tall, so we don't know where he is on the course, but we know where he's going. He's okay, there. he's over here on the corner yeah. he goes of the local skates the red barn. It's going to go, is he going to go up top or it's no. going to drop from there? He's dropped from there. Okay. So he's right here on the Loco Skates Red Barn. And he's going to drop in. Yes, Niels. Here he goes. Coming with some speed. Up the rail, top sole, back royale. Restart. Okay. Did we get close? Yeah, we do. Okay. We are close. 
You're right there. Check this out. Oh, yes. Okay. Are we going to get to the 3800 or what? Yeah, let's go, man. Let's max it out. Last tricks. So we got... We got... We got people right there, actually. We got Nils Jansen's. That are not helping us. And we got Julian Kudo after this. So it's Nils and Julian. Here's Julian right here in front of us. Yep. He's eyeing what Nils is up to. Maybe supporting his fellow Patriot. Yeah. He's beating his legs, keeping his legs warm. Yes. Here goes Nils Jansen from Latvia representing Rossi's in the Magic Boots Skate Company. Here he goes. Off the rail, top sole, back royale. Drop in. He's going to do it right now. I, I can tell you that. He's going to land it now. Okay. So after he comes onto this grindhouse flat rail, where is he going? I think he's going to go to the quarter pipe. I want, he wants to go to the quarter pipe. Okay. Is All there the room? The end. And yes. then jump into the quarter pipe. Yes. Man. Okay. And or then he probably goes or to the, the rail again down. Yes. When he jumps into the quarter pipe, he straight goes to the rail again. Okay. Or does the bull. Please can't stay this way. When I say no beer and dance I mean it. That's so fucking stupid. I'm so fucking pissed. Hey, we want the people to ride here. If you have a glass, move out. Come on. Don't bring beers in the park. We want to see the people skate. That's yep. right. The one, main dr the one main rule is no beverages in the park, so nothing gets wet and slippery. It's just too... It's, look, it's basic. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous. crazy, man. It's, it's skaters not, going... It's not down. polite. It's, it's not understandable to have a good time, but to, to interfere with the skaters trying their hardest, not cool, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, the ramp. The ramp is wet. Though. Jeez. Well, I think Nils, I think Nils waved it off like... Like it's no big deal, but Nils, let's go, go Nils, here we go. Yes! 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 He got it. He jumped that into the was it. Pipe. Top soul on the rail. Top that soul. was amazing. The flat rail on top of the grindhouse box, gap into the quarter pipe. Nils did it. He accomplished his last trick. And now that leaves the reigning champion, Julian Kudo. 3,800. We are on 3,800. Yes. And really? Danny Niels just landed it. Yes. <laughs> 3,800. Plus all the people in the park in attendance. Let me just send so a big... Over 5,000 people are watching this right now. Amazing. Easily. Let me just send a big shout out to Lieva, who is... Niels' wife, who usually comes with him and couldn't come this year because they just had a baby. Oh, yeah. He's so, a new father. Yes. Yes, he's a family man. Yes. So, what is the reigning champ up to? What hey, so think? being a family man, he's probably used to children spilling their drinks <laughs> on the playground. <laughs> so, he's like, use my shirt and wipe it up. These children don't bother me anymore. So I'm a dad blader. He's a full-time dad blader now. Niels Jansen. Oh, so what's happening here? Okay, is, is there so, a wall right to flip happening there? So Julian Kudos over by the USD wedge box. And he wants everything. No, he's no, no, waxing he's it. Waxing he's it. waxing it up there. Ricardo, he's waxing it. Okay, yes. I see. And it looks like he wants all the benches off the ground and behind. So that if he does come off far side, he has a clear landing. So clearly he's intending to grind the top of that okay, glass. Okay, we got it here. We got it here. Wow. Well, last year he kind of grinded it. Is he going to alley up top solid this year? I don't know, man. So look at how high it is. It's about I know. I six know. feet high. So we'll call it three three meters high, maybe three and a half meters off where he's going to launch. But which, which part did he wax? The, one, the, the, the slant right on the right. The slant going down on the right. Okay. Yeah, the, the wall, the top of the, the wall. The actual top of the clear glass wall. He yes. did a kind run last year. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm saying either he could do an alley fish brain or an alley top so. A 
<laughs> you can see how tall that is by looking at Miguel. Yeah. Yes. Winter Clash live stream. Are you ready for the final trick of Winter Clash 2024? Oh, oh, it's an alley-oop top acid. Okay, I missed it, but I wasn't that far. He wants alley-oop top acid. He's going to do it. He, he got his feet in position, and it and the, the wall yes. jumping high the wall bends away from the grind. Yeah, but it's it, a little bit slanted. And it moves, huh? The wall moves. This is dangerous. But it's Julian. It is Julian. Julian Kudo. Julian Kudo. It's not Julian Kudo. It's Julian Kudo. <laughs> Julian Kudo! Let's go, Julian! Oh! Wow! It's right there! Close. So close! Next one! Do you think he needs more speed? Or? But then it's gonna become too short, it's even harder. Yes. So maybe it's more of the pop. He's got it. The pop! Maybe yeah. more of a pop so he doesn't get past the grind. Yes. Okay, this makes sense. And now if anyone can do it, it's Julian. Julian! Julian Kudo! Aight, aight! Oh! Oh, he did it! He did it! Oh my he goodness! He did it! He, he locked it. it on! Ali Oop Top Acid! And he landed on the Kudos! On the he landed wall. on the Kudos! And the Kudos are right there! The flaggy baguettes! <laughs> Look at the Kudos with their flaggy baguettes! Oh my gosh! What a perfect scripted <laughs> ending! I couldn't have written and it any better! And it's the same end as last year! Yeah? It's the same end as last year! Like, they Is love, it? They do love you this th trick! Come on, do you think it's a 100% Julian Kudo? No, I'm just saying it's the same end as last year because Julian had the last trick last year too, and then they put him up. Well, I, this I, I have no idea who I would say won this. No clue. Yes. I'm biased, 100% biased, but yeah. I'm on Nils. I think probably I'm Tim Nils. Yeah, I'm. I would say Nils made it look easier than the other guys. So. He did stuff with but less tries, but I'll tell you what, David that was an ball. awesome way to end the contest. He literally waxed and grinded something that no one else touched this entire weekend, and he alley oop top acid it. There's still something going on. Joe. Joe Atkinson, Joe is, Atkinson back. is back. Joe Atkinson is back. We need to get the <laughs> camera over here. Trick. Where? Where is he coming? He's over there. Look like on Grindhouse. Okay. On the Grindhouse box. So I'm not sure what's going on. Joe Atkinson is going up here. Okay, he's going to go to the third. Uh, okay. Wow. I'm telling you, he wants up. Wall ride. So he wants to grind up, wall in a, ride, in and a turn of grind down. In a turn of events. Who would have thought that Joe is coming back for our last trick? So, that could be it. Joe Atkinson, after getting carted off for taking a rib shot on the rail transfer, getting hung out like wet laundry, needing help to get off the course, has somehow risen and is now attempting to recapture his final trick as if he's tapped into some superhuman otherworldly look, source look of energy. Look what is going on here. The energy is coming back. It's turning jokes. into a nightclub of skating proportions. Here comes Joe Atkinson. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh he my did it. fucking god. He did it. He went did up. He grinded. And he, he still went up, grind down. Stalled and grinded down. And he still added a shuffle on the position. Oh my god. Joe Atkinson.
Wow, oh, Joe wow. Atkinson. Wow. Unbelievable. Out of nowhere, Joe Atkinson returns. So look at this. Should we do a recap look in the booth? Look at this. Wow, that was so nice. <laughs> Miguel. <laughs> yeah, the world. We should go to the booth and do like a quick little recap. Okay, let's see it. Boss, get in here, man. Unreal. Okay, let me see what's happening here because <laughs> this is not good. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're not good here. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, everything is kind of like okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All I can say is wow. What a final, unbelievable ending to the pro contest here at Winter Clash 2024. Joe Atkinson took that fall, got ribbed on the down slope FR rail. We thought he was done. And then he comes back after Julian Kudo's last trick. So we essentially thought the contest was over. over. And then everyone starts moving in a cryptic pattern. Joe Atkinson has risen from the medical tent, <laughs> demanding, no, requesting, no, demanding one last trick. Look, and that's all he, he needed. He was up there holding on his ribs. He couldn't breathe. His ribs. He couldn't yes. stand up straight. And then he does it first try. The crowd energy rose up I, and I, propelled him. What trick did he do? I really, good. What did he, he do? Up? Full speed, grinding up a backslide on that steep rail on that local box. Wall riding, Wall ride, turn turning, and royaling down, down, and down and to Fakey. To Fakey. To Fakey, the whole way. Unreal. I think, from what I saw here, he still slided down the ramp like a little shuffle yeah. on the on the, on the on the local... Yeah, like, like after the royale. Royale. On the bank, yes. So essentially, wow. he got all the speed from the Grindhouse launch box, cut through the audience that was parted like the Red Sea, backslide up the Joe Atkinson rail. They already called it his rail. Wall stall. Turn around, Royale down, shuffle to Fakey. One Amazing. try, they asked him. They they asked Joe, do you need one more? They gave him the mic. Is the contest done? He said one. Look at this guy's dancing. One and done. We got a party going on in there already. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's on. It's that's, on. That's typical win the clash fashion. So what's coming up next is we're going to be down on the floor for the award ceremony. Yes, we are going to try to set everything and hopefully everything is going to be okay because it's like a little bit of a... A different thing, we're waiting on Pedro to arrive with a camera right yes. here. So it's gonna be on. it's gonna be some minutes. Right now the judges are deliberating. Right now the judges are deliberating about who are the finalists or the who are the top three for men's pro, women's pro, and amateur. Men's amateur, women's amateur, men's junior and women's junior. Will you be would you like to be a judge in this match? No, I'll tell you what though, I got a lot of respect for the judges. I have much more respect for the skaters because what we saw was beyond what you could ask a normal human to do. Yes. This was beyond what you could do after you got hurt. This was the crowd, this was the energy of the winter clash, lifting the competitors up. Yeah. We thought Joe Atkinson was done, done for the weekend and maybe had broken ribs. And he shows and back he up in laces, possibly <laughs> the most talked about trick in one try. Yeah. So Respect to the judges, more respect to the competitors, maximum respect to Yo-Yo and the Winter Clash team for organizing it. So as we were saying and earlier... There's more people to say respect to. Respect to all the guys that watched this live stream for absolutely. 10 hours with us. Dude. There's still 3,334 people watching with us. Yeah. And there's another about 1,500 one inside this building here. At one time we had 3,800 simultaneous streamers on YouTube and about 2,000 people in the building. Yeah, so there's over 5,000, close to 6,000 people watching this. The most watched 
Winter Clash live stream of all time. So you guys helped us make history, and we thank you for that. So what's going to come up next is we are going to go down on the floor, and we're going to bring you exclusive access to the awards ceremony. It's going to be some minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 2024 Winter Clash live stream. Again, presented by Team Wheels Addict, which includes Janice, Ricardo, Mick, Basti, Harry, Harry, Pedro, Pedro on the floor, Alex in Portugal, and Biz back in California. Make sure you guys follow at Winter Clash Official on Instagram and make plans now for and Winter Clash 2025. And I'm just saying. Mad thank you to our sponsors of this live stream, which yes. is Flying Eagle Skates, Echo Skates, City Legends, and Entente Frames. And you can find out information about them by cl clicking the links in the description to this live stream. Don't go anywhere. We're going to put you guys on pause and we're going to bring you exclusive access to the award ceremony. Don't you guys want to know who won? We'll see you in the chat. Thank you. Check, check. Do you need headphones? What? Do you need headphones? You don't, you don't need headphones? Do you need headphones? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, hey. So, we're live behind the live stream booth and the DJ booth at the Winter Clash. A dance battle is broken out on the floor while the judges are deliberating who won. So that becomes maybe the $5,000 question. Who do you think won? Come on, live stream. We just have a question for you guys. Come here. 
Jump on down here. So what did you think of the finals? Yeah, it's incredible. Okay, we were good or we are good? So should we go this way or should we ask random people? Okay, cool. Let's look at people. Okay, so we're going down. Hey, from South Africa. So what did you think of the finals? Fucking amazing. This is my first time I've ever gone to Winter Clash and it was everything and more. I loved your, it. Your first time? Your first time. And what did you think about Joe Atkinson coming back from the medical tent to get his last trick? Was he possessed? Maybe, maybe, maybe. It looked like he got a bit winded and got a second chance, but that's just my... <laughs> okay. But it was awesome. So the $5,000 question, who do you think is the new Winter Clash champion? Nils. Nils. Has to be Nils. Has to be. Because? Everything he did was amazing. Everything up until the last trick, it was it was clean, consistent, big. Nils. Yeah, Nils make it makes it look easy. Yeah. yeah, my man, enjoy. Just cutting through the crowd here, on our way down to the contest floor, exclusive access. Oh, the Jumbo Crew, you guys come on in here. So this is Mick Cazales and Cody Sanders from the Jumbo Crew. Now, what did you guys think of the finals? It was insane. I didn't even know people could do that amplitude. Did you guys think that the contest was over after Julian Cudeau landed the alley of top acid? Uh, I think the contest is over after Julian lands any fucking trick because they're all crazy. But wasn't it insane that we thought Joe Atkinson was hurt and gone, and then he came back from the dead? Hey, you can't hurt steel, baby. He has a, the, that clutch gene. He just comes in. I feel like he's a man possessed. So if you were guys to put money on it, who do you think is the new 2024 Winter Class champion? I said it every day in my life. It's Julian Cadeau, and he's never going to lose him again, baby. Never it's lose it's again. probably Julian, I think. So that's two for Julian and one for Nils. Let's go, you guys. Don't forget to sus subscribe to Jumbo on YouTube. The boys from Texas. Pardon us, you guys. Come on, Ricardo. So, we're going to cut this way. Hello, gentlemen. Nico, Nico, hey Vasquetman, I want to ask you a couple questions. Yeah. What did you think of the finals for the Winter Clash 2024? That was awesome, really, some really creative tricks and every, every time it's crazier than the year before, it's great. I thought, I thought that after Julian landed the disaster alley of top acid, yeah. 
the contest was over. And then Joe Atkinson comes back. What happened? The, the local is the, the local spot is for Joe, so every time it, normal Joe made a signature on it. So from now on, that's the Joe Loco spot. Yeah, exactly. Joe Loco. I thought he was injured from the rail, but he came back. Do you think it's possible that he fed off the energy of the crowd? Yeah, exactly. He still had. He still take the energy of everybody. It's crazy, yeah. And he made his final trick in one try. So, if someone was to tell you who won, well, I don't know. It's for me. It's Julian because he got some technical tricks. Yes. But for the show and all the crowd is with Joe, like every yeah. year. Loco Joe for the show, and Julian for the technical win. That's a fair answer. Let's go this way. Oh, can we make it here? Whatever. Easy, easy. Okay. So let's go here. This is the transfer. We're in the contest. Joe came off that rail. Earlier in the contest, Joe was trying to transfer off that rail to this rail when he got hung up and he hit his ribs. And he went down there and the medics took him away. We thought he was done, but he wasn't done. As you can see, this is a serious rail. Serious height rail. You can totally rib that. And it looks like we've got a jump rope breaking out. A jump rope battle. Jump rope. Oh my god. That guy did a backflip in the jump rope contest. Oh. Hey, you guys, while we're here, what did you guys think about the finals? Blown away. Blown away. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So when Julian Kudo did the alley of top acid, did you think that was the last trick? Ridiculous. It's never the last trick. So what? how did Joe Atkinson come back from his injury? He put, he put his skates on and went at it. If you could describe this contest in one word, what would that be? Oh, I think you know. Ridiculous. So we've got ridiculous for one, Kudo for three, and Nils for one. So we've got a jump rope contest going off. Ah, oh, Eric, what's going on, man? Basket. So what did you think stood out to you the most in the finals for men? There was too much. Too much. I don't know. What do you think? I think it was amazing, and I can't figure out how Joe Atkinson came back from being injured to do his last trick. In Yeah. So where do you think that energy came from? Out of his ribs. Out of his ribs. Well, just power yeah. from within. He has a special kind of power. Some people said that he, uh, he's possessed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a special kind of power. Now, if someone was to ask you, who do you think is going to be the champion? Good question. Dominic skated very well as well. Julian. But many more. It's hard to say. If you don't count the last tricks, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough answer. That last heat had three former champions and one amateur champion. So, yeah, yeah, okay. He made it look easy, huh? Yeah, fair game. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to be a fan and not a judge. That's a hard job up there. That's why I'm here. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Thank you, Eric. Enjoy. Oh, my goodness. We've got Mr. Wheel seen over here. Now, did you watch the finals unfold? And what stood out to you in that final heat? Dominic Bruce is obviously the most handsome man in the room. Julian Cudeau is the fastest. 
and Nils is probably the most accurate. So there you go. Okay, now in my mind, and I watched the whole thing, after Julian Cadeau did his disaster alley top acid, I thought the contest was over. And then, from the ashes, rises Joe Atkinson from the medical tent. Yeah, Yorkshire people are tough. They are tough. You can beat them up, they'll just keep coming. And does a skate competition ever really end? That's the second time I've heard that. It and ends when the skaters decide it ends. It only ends when the skaters say, I'm done or I'm too broke to skate. I thought Joe Atkinson was too broke to skate. Clearly not. What do you think of his last trick in one try? He just, he does whatever he wants on skates. Whatever he decides, it's happening. Okay. Full reveal, clickbait title for your episode from the Winter Clash. It's going to be? Joe Atkinson was robbed. Wow, you heard it here first, and we'll see you in the comments. No mercy. Thank you. Yeah, where are they? Where are the Julians at? I don't know where they went. Let's see if we can track them down, huh? There goes one. Joe Vasquetman. Hey, it's Matt Mickey from the live stream. I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the event. What did you, bro? How, how, how was your experience, Matt? It was. How was it? How was it from your perspective? Well, it sounds like we both have as much of our voice left. Now, I, know, like, um, I hurt myself a little bit in the morning, couldn't skate. And the first time ever I could experience Winter Clash as a spectator. Yes. And I compensated a lot of skating with my boys. Yes. <laughs> it's been incredible. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know if this is uh, able to be listened to. Yes. It is? Yes. Does it work? Yes. Shout out to all the people. Matt Mickey, fucking legend. Ricardo Lido, fucking legend. Winter Clash, legend. Who was your favorite skater in the finals? I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed a lot of skaters, but uh, it's hard to say favorite. I really enjoyed Julien Cadeau, zero top surf, 360 out, yes. best trick of the day. Yes. What I saw, what I saw. When Julien Cadeau did zero top, alley -oop top, so 360 into the transition. That was sick. Yes, I enjoyed that. Yes, absolutely. But I enjoyed a lot of people With like, normal stuff on a fucking incredible level i don't i don't get it how this what about guy's joe atkinson's last trick up on the loco box i'm not sure how he came back from the dead i don't know either i don't know either so i i don't want to say anything strange so i can just say like i was not um, expecting it but at the same time i was not surprised let's call yeah. it that's the that's the best way to put it but the, I, I'd say the last five tricks of anybody, I, I was, it was kind of predictable what people were doing. But I was not expecting them to, to land it like that, that quick. Joe Atkins, like first try, okay, whatever. One try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. I think he's got some voodoo power. And one, one other person we interviewed said that's a, the Joe Loco Box now. Joe Loco Box. Yeah, I mean, it, it would fit, I guess. Another thing was um, Bobby Spasov, because he wanted to do as a last trick what David Sizemore did, yes. the war ride, right? yes. and then David just did it, yes. and then he was like, oh, what the fuck? And okay. then he, he comes did. back over here, and this thing, the like 540. Yes. Was, uh, fucking stupid, but yes. because he just landed it, he, he can get yeah, away he with it. No, 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 it's okay, he landed it, it's okay. Yes. The idea was not the wisest, but yes. it, was, it was amazing to yes. witness. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Joe. Joe Zank, everybody. Hey, the jump rope, the jump rope jam session is going off, man. Do you want to get a look at that? Pardon us, excuse us, excuse us, excuse us. Yes, we got a jump rope competition here. Look at this. Oh, so this is immediately after the winter clash. It was a dance battle, now it's a jump rope contest. While we wait for the judges to deliberate on who won, 
We don't know the winners yet, so we're having fun the only way we know how. The Winter Clash way. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can go find some other people to talk to about the contest. Come with me. Ah, Julian. Julian! So we have just a couple questions. Uh, this is Matt Mickey. I'm here with Julian Cudeau. Uh Made it all the way to the finals, into the final round. And you had your last trick with the alley of top acid on the glass ledge. It was phenomenal. I thought that was the last trick in the contest. And then Joe came from out of nowhere. So tell me, how do you feel in your spirit about your performance? I feel pretty good. I, I wanted to do a little bit more of, in terms of tricks, but I landed the most important to me. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Let's see, let's see what the judges think. Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't see the one of Joe. I just saw everybody went nuts. Yes. And I was like, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Tell so me. what Joe did is he went up the box, backslide up the rail, wall stall, bounce off the wall, royale to fakie. No way, first try. First try. So I want to know, you saw Joe get injured, right? I didn't saw him falling, but that's what I understood. So he hit his ribs on the rail, and I thought he was over, and then he came back. So did it surprise you when he came back? To be honest, when I'm in the comp, I just like 100% into it, so I'm not thinking. I just go when I have to go until I can, yeah, stand on my feet. But yeah, as, as always, final is made of surprise, and. Joe did a fucking great one. That was a big surprise. Let me ask you this. You've won three winter clashes before. What would it mean to you to have a fourth victory? It would mean a lot, but it would mean that I still have a lot of work because I, I want to win way more. <laughs> so if you win one more, you want to win more. I, I want to win some more anyway. Awesome. But I'm getting older, so I, can, I hope I'm taking this one. I love your competitive spirit. And I always enjoy skating. Thank you for taking time to talk to us and good luck. Thank you very much, Matt. Okay. See you soon, Julian. Okay, merci. Julian Kudo, everybody. If he wins a fourth, he wants more. That's a hungry man. And that's what I like to see. What's up, my man? Yo, yo. Hey, uh, what's your name? Michael Mishek. Yes. Okay. And were you skating this weekend? Yeah, yeah. Well. Oh, that's right. In the juniors? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I remember with your shaggy hair. Beautiful. Okay. So did you watch the finals for the pro? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. Okay. So what did you think? Who, thought, who did you think skated the best? Uh, Nils was very good. Kudos. And I really like Dominic Bros. Yeah. Okay. So if you were to message your friends back home, who you thought won the men's pro? It's between Nils and, uh, and Kudo probably. Okay. Yeah. Nils and Kudo. And what do you think about any tricks that were a surprise that you didn't expect to see? Uh, the Bobby backflip to Soul. The try of backflip to Soul. Yeah. yeah. And disaster front staff on the abroad disaster front staff on oh, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the local box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no landing. Yeah. This was crazy. Yeah. So do you think you're going to keep coming back to the Winter Clash? Do you want to go all the way up to the pro level? Yeah, I'd love to. But I've got four four more years in junior and then maybe pro. Yeah, I'm a, I am a, So how old are you? I'm 14 right now. Okay. So they want you to be 18 to go pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'll be back to the Winter Clash. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, my man. I remember this guy. I remember him now. He had a helmet on with the hair sticking out. He was smooth. Yes, okay. Let's see, who should we talk to now? Okay. My man, what's up? 
How many winter clashes have you been to? Uh, four, four right now. Okay, and what do you think about this winter clash compared to the others? It's amazing. It's amazing. Like every other winter clash, you know, I'm looking every year. I'm looking forward to this moment. You know, winter clash is once a year. What made this one different than the other three you've been to? Um, to be honest, I don't know. It's like every time it's just like more and more and more fun because you meet more and more people and like these people you meet almost like just once a year, you know, here and that's that. So what's the main reason why you come to the Winter Clash and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Serbia originally. Serbia? Yeah. I come now from Switzerland because I live there right now. But I come here for the people, for the community, for the competition, to watch. Sometimes I uh, compete as well, but yeah, I love this. Awesome, very cool. And what's your name? Augie. Augie. Augie, I'm Mick. Pleasure to meet you. The people, the community, and the competition. He keeps coming back. Are you going to come to Winter Clash again? Of course, every year. Every next year, and we're going to meet here again. Okay, and if your buddy who couldn't come messaged you and said, who do you think won? What? what? If your friend sent you a message and asked you, who do you think won? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I was like, I, I, I love all of these guys. And it's like different styles of skating. Thankfully, I'm not a judge. Right. Same here. <laughs> I'm thankful I'm not a yes. judge, man. I like to just watch yeah. and talk about it. Yeah, and when I see who won, then I'll be like, I'll think about it more. But different styles, so many different tricks. I just love it. So what was the thing that surprised you the most in the finals? To be honest, all of the guys are so sick. It's such a different level. Every year, the park is different. The tricks go, for me, I think the tricks go harder and harder and harder. The, uh, uh, the, the grinding of this part of there, of the, of the fucking uh, gate, was like, I, I was like, what the, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's completely different stuff. Every time new creative tricks, I don't know, like it's it's amazing. I love the creativity. Last question. So you've been to four winter clashes. Yeah. There was a lot more youth skaters and a lot more women skaters this year. Yeah. What do you think about the level of the junior and women skating? Hey, I love that. I, I didn't even know that this year is going to be like uh, juniors uh, and like uh, women juniors and everything. I was surprised and I loved it because it's like it's so much better done. Like it's so many more opportunities for people to win and to like feel uh, just like feel joy at skating I don't know I loved it I love it too thank you so much enjoy and we'll see you next year okay Bye. fellow filmer my man you were out on the course with the camera catching all the action right I don't speak English you don't speak English okay so favorite skater in the final your favorite skater but it's Nils. Nils. Why Nils? Because it's in my team. Only for this. So Nils for Rossi's. Yeah, okay, cool. I like Nils because he's smooth. He's very smooth. Yeah, all right, man. Thank you so much. So we're walking around the course asking attendees, fellow competitors, we had Julie Kudo on. We're just trying to figure out essentially what people thought of their Winter Clash 2024 experience and what did they like best about the contest? The juniors, the women, the pros, the finals. Who do they think won? We'll continue to get some more opinions while we wait for the judges to come down. We got some prize money to hand out. Let's go this way, Ricardo. Francesco, what's going on, man? Hey, you were skating with a nice shirt. This nice shirt, you were skating in it? Yeah. I was telling all the viewers on the live stream, do you know we had over 3,800 viewers on the live stream? Wow. More than we've ever had. It was a new record. I tell all the viewers, if you wear a, 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 a nice shirt to the skating contest, that means you're taking it serious. So, and I saw you land some tricks. Pain. That was so painful because I, I did the final after in the warm up. I hit my ribs. Oh, that was like crazy painful. I lost the breath for a second, yeah. and then uh, I realized there was no pain. So 
so I was like, okay, I can skate. <laughs> I just try to have fun and, you know, just... So you enjoyed, you enjoyed your Winter Clash experience? Uh, I enjoy every year the Winter Clash. So were you able to watch the finals? Yeah, yes, I watched the final, the pro final. So I know you ride Rossi's, so you were probably cheering for Nils. But did you see anything else in the finals that surprised you? Um, definitely, David Sizemore on the qualified. He did some crazy stuff. That was amazing to watch. Well, so many tricks were was insane. Like I just said that nobody skated this from this side. Oh, the Rossi's wall ride. Yeah, why didn't anybody no, skate this on this side? Possible. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's too high up. So, how many Winter Clashes have you been to? Uh, five, I guess. So this Winter Clash, we had more women skaters yeah. and more junior skaters. What do you think about the level of the junior skaters and the women skaters? It's incredible. I really, I think my favorite part was watching the female, junior, and I am, and pro. That was, Step it up. wow, incredible. And so, so many new faces. So many, the level was too high, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the level of skating for the women and the juniors was really high. So what is your favorite thing about coming to the Winter Clash? Your favorite part about the Winter Clash? Favorite, sorry? Your favorite part. What do you like about the Winter Clash the best? Uh, I, I think the energy of the Winter Clash is like something that for a week I need to rest after that because too much energy. And then you are smiling every day, uh, hang out with every skater, every skater. Yeah, the energy is really high for like three days. So when you go home, you have to rest. So what do you think about who you feel won the finals? The pro final? That's really hard. Yeah. For me, the top three, uh, Nils Kudo and maybe Dominic Bruce. Yeah, that was probably my three favorite. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I, I don't know. It's yeah, it's a tough yeah. job for the judges, but really fun to watch, huh? Yeah. So will you be back for Winter Clash next year? Every year. I'm still tomorrow. I'm gonna booking the hotel for the next year. So I. <laughs> You're booking your hotel for the next Winter Clash tomorrow. Yeah, so finally, I can sleep in the blue collar. Yes. <laughs> this is a legendary place. It's right around the corner, you know. Hey, Francesco, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure to meet you, and we'll see you next year, okay? Francesco. So who do we got next? Should we go? Sayer? Oh my gosh, that Mickey here. Sayer, hey, I got a, I got an, I got a, a new question to ask you. How, how new is it? Is this your first time at the Winter Clash? This is my first time at Winter Clash. And what did you come here for overall? I came here, uh, to launch our brand and like and what's your brand i knew and what do you guys make we make we make a really amazing skate bag any apparel yeah we have some apparel are you wearing any of that apparel right now uh i've got a i've got a hat on that that gives off new mexico vibes are you guys based in new mexico we are based in new mexico okay. and we want everybody to know that we're making like kind of like the best skate bag ever made do you have any more left to sell if i wanted to buy one uh yeah on our l online store but not here we sold out like it was a good show like everybody was so stoked to see it and you like, sold out of the bags at the trade show yeah 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 it was like everybody was like nobody makes a good skate bag let's let's go you know like and your skate bag is different because it's over the shoulder Yes, and it's big enough to take your skates inside, right? Yeah, everything. If it's okay, everything. well, let me ask you this. Travel every, everywhere. Let's, this let's is your down, first, let's, if this is your first time, play down. if let's this play is down. your first time, if this is your first time to the Winter Clash, yeah. if this is your first time to the Winter Clash, uh -huh. will you be back? I'm always coming back to Winter Clash. You know why? Because Matt Mickey's going to hold me tight. Like, gonna, a baby. Like, a baby. like a baby, like a baby. So and now we're always gonna, we're always gonna 
Knuckle. Hold on. Let me get my arm around you. Let me get my arm around you. I so love, now, I love that we can why, all the time why aren't we sharing a room, Sayer? I feel like we'd get along. We could share a room next time. Well, okay. Just contact me next time. Well, hey, were you able to watch the finals? Uh, I watched the finals in the VIP booth with uh, everybody who probably owns a skate park, and it was amazing. So who, amazing. what surprised you about the finals the most? Oh, my God. Nils. Nils. Yeah, give me a little caress on the yeah. Okay. Nils and if, is the man. And if you knew you were going in a tunnel and you, you don't know if you're gonna come out of the tunnel, your last message to the world would be blank won the winter clash. I'd say Mills Jansen's won the winter clash. He's so clean. He's like butter on a warm tortilla. He's that smooth. He's everything he does is so goddamn smooth, I just wanna like rub it on my butter butter it up on my toast. Hello! Well, let's get up. Let's get up, you kid ass. So you, 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 you kid ass. You came to the trade show for the first time. You sold out. It's a resounding success. I talked to another guy from another country who said tomorrow he's booking his hotel for next year. So what room are we staying in next year? Oh, I think we're. I think we're going to stay at the uh, the blue collar. The heartbreak suite. Yeah. We're yeah. Be the okay. Heart, heartbreaker suite. Yes. In blue yes. Collar. Together. Okay, anything you want to let the world know? We're, we're live streaming on the oh, wheels out of Oh, it's live? Yes. And this is live? Yes. Uh, I'm just so glad we get to like cuddle together. Do you want to shout out your company? Oh, yes, of course I want to shout out. What's your Instagram? Instagram is a new product. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the bag. That's the new bag. What does it hold? A new product. And it's designed by who? I designed it, yeah. <laughs> wow. We're getting like a... The people. I designed it for skaters who need a good bag. You don't want this, these crappy bags that are not made well. You want something ground up design. Like, come on. Like, come on, man. Link up to a new brand on Instagram. It's made by Sayer Danforth in Taos, New Mexico. We're going to report live next year from our shared room, the Heartbreak Suite, and we hope to see you at the trade show before the bags sell out next year. Good shit, Sayer. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love Sayer, too. Hey, we've known each other for a really long time. A really long time. Okay. So we got Cody Lampman. Yeah. Hey, Cody, get over here, man. So it's Matt Mickey. From Intuition Skate Shop and the Winter Clash live stream, were you able to watch most of the contest today? I was. I was out there. I was climbing around up there like a bat out of hell. That's your style, up in the rafters in the shadows. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. have you been to Winter Clash before? I have. How many? Just one other one last year, buddy. So, do you feel like there's growth from the amount of youth and women skaters from last year to this year? Yeah, definitely. My boy Nolan was out there killing it. My girl Kate was out there killing it, but for sure, yeah. And what do you think about the level of skating from the kids and the women? Amazing. Just as good as the pros. Just as good. And speaking of the pros, in the finals, did anyone surprise you? Bobby Spaz. Biggest five I've ever seen. And then he gave the Jordan shrug. Yeah, no like, problem. No problem. Ten foot five, no problem. To the flat. Yeah, that's a pro. First try. Yeah. When he already tried two other tricks for his last trick, so he switched channels. That's not easy. That's my boy. Bobby, Bobby Bangers. Okay, all right, now let me tell you this, or let me ask you this. Did you see Joe Atkinson get hurt ribbing the rail? Did your breath almost get knocked out? I thought that he was gonna be on scarred with torn intestines. Yeah. That's how, you know, that's how Houdini died, a shot to the gut. That killed Houdini. And speaking of Houdini, after Julian Cudeau landed the disaster alley of top acid, out of nowhere, kicking the wheelchair away, Joe Atkinson rises from the medical tent. Did that surprise you? Absolutely. I thought he was dead and gone, but he got up there like a new man. And he was demanding a last trick. Only one more try needed. Yes. And what did you think of his last trick? Unbelievable. That was made for him. He knew it. Someone else told me that's the Joe Loco box. Joe Loco. That's Joe Loco country up there. Yes. Okay. Now, gun to your head. You had to send one last message before your phone dies. It's on 1%, and you got to let the boys back home know who won. 
I can't say. All I can say is boobs on a hot plate. Wow, man. That sounds like breakfast somewhere from some, from some restaurant east of the Mississippi. Hell. Okay. Well, good to see you, Cody. Thanks so much. God bless you, Cody. We'll keep the wheel spinning. Okay. 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 Let's go back to the to the media booth and the live stream headquarters. Let's go, you guys. Pardon, pardon. Pardon. So we're running low on battery, but we gotta keep the content flowing. So we're going back through the, the skate park to take you guys back to the live stream booth. And we're gonna get another camera and another setup. Come on. Okay. We can do that. Winter Clash 2024. So this is like the backlash. This is what happens when a bomb goes off in a skate hall in Eindhoven and there's 1,500 participants and viewers. There's enough luggage here to fill a 747 jet. There's enough skates here to start a skate shop. This is a Blade Trade Bonanza. $50, like new. That's a lie. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, we got a couple questions. A couple questions. Yeah, so what's your name and where are you from? I'm uh, from the Netherlands and I'm Mike Garcia. I'm okay. Owning us, so the north. The north of the Netherlands. So you're a ramp local. What do you think of all the new youth and women skaters coming to compete in the winter class? Amazing, really amazing. It's enjoying to watch. It's amazing. I enjoy it that they are here and to see more of them coming. I want to see more of them too. It's very yeah. encouraging to see more women and kids skating. It's now, well. if you're a local, you've been to how many winter clashes? Uh, this is my first, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is your first one? Yeah, my first one. So everything is new? Yeah, everything is new. Did you watch the finals? I watched the finals. Oh, definitely. It was amazing. And what in the finals was the biggest surprise to you? Uh, all the slammers, man. And all the, 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 the vibe. It's just one Blader family enjoying everything. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it was quite a vibe. Yeah, yeah. So if you were a judge, and thank God we're not, because that's not an easy job. If you had to hand out the big check to the pro winner, who do you think would, would be on that check? Oh, shit, man. I don't know. It's a really hard decision for me to say that. They all did amazing, and they all did like, amazing trick. Joe Etzkin did amazing slammers. Kudo did amazing slammers. Yaro as well. I love Yaro. I saw him as a little kid enjoying. Yeah, Yaro is a local. So let me ask you this, last question. If, if you can't pick a winner, what is your favorite trick? My favorite trick, I like flips. So I like the, the best flip ever with most of the spins. So yeah, I'm also a flip guy, so yeah, yeah. So anybody was, that was throwing flips got you? Okay, awesome, right on. So maybe like a kudo trick? Okay, cool, awesome. Thank you so much, man. Do you think you're coming to Winter Clash next year? Oh, definitely. But no friends, definitely. Right on, man. Oh, we'll do it. We had the biggest audience we ever had, you know? Yeah, yeah, keep going, man. It's amazing. Good job. We'll do that. Thank you so much. Let's get you guys back to headquarters. Some confetti exploded. More skates. So this is the headquarters. This is Harry No Pro. He's an epic, funky banana.
Okay. We got sound here. Okay. Let's call Mel Miki. Okay, guys. We are waiting for the final results. We are waiting for the final results. Is that it, Matt? We're waiting for the final results. Yeah. You so ready for this here? Oh, I'm absolutely ready, Ricardo. So the contest is wound down. Yes. And what an unexpected ending from a skater who the unexpected should be expected from in Joe Atkinson. 100%. Rising from the medical tent dead to, oh, I'll have my last trick. And needing only one try to land that last trick. Wow. And well, it's, everyone was on the chat asking, is Joe okay? Was Joe okay? Yes, I wanted to know if Joe was okay. And guess what? I don't know. I don't know. He came back. He did. And rode the energy of the crowd to one more trick. But I think right now his ribs are sore. Now the question is, was that enough for Joe to take the win? What do you think? I don't think so. Because he basically did one line at the beginning of the heat. And then he got, then he got broke off, and then he was gone until the heat ended. He didn't come back until Julian Cudeau, the last competitor, laced his last try. It is true. So, and, yeah, he, he abandoned a little bit too early. If it's a 10 minute jam session, he was getting really good, but he, he left a bit too early, though. No? Yeah, well, I mean, he couldn't help it. He got, he got almost cut in of half course, by that rail. Of course, of so course. So, the other competitors who skated the whole heat, Got more tricks. Yeah, they got more time and they got more tricks. So I would say Joe Atkinson had the greatest intro, dropping off the glass into the spine, falling the window. The greatest outro? And the greatest outro. And you know what they say, all killer and no filler? Yeah. And the killer almost killed him. I think it was the filler that almost killed him. You think so? The one in the middle, like, I mean, I'm not saying it was the filler, but at the end of the day, if you could compared to the tricks, to the way that he started, and to the way that he ended, yeah. it was just, it would probably do something else after that. Yeah, well, it's it's unfortunate that he got broke off on that rail and got that rib shot. I hope his guts and his ribs are okay. Yeah. But I feel like, <laughs> well, the Bladies were earlier today, so you're gonna see the Bladies at the uh, award yes. show. Yes. That's for sure. The thing is, we would love to go back but yeah it is but it is camera is that one is is down so i'm sorry guys yeah we've been on a live stream for over 10 hours it's been 11 hours yeah so we've we given you have, we still half have, of a day we still have 2100 people oh this with is beautiful us. yeah everybody's waiting to see the results so and I don't blame you are guys. we yes so are we we can assure you guys everybody that's watching at home or at work or while you're traveling as soon as we get word that the award ceremony is starting, we're going to flip the camera and we will give you the uh, the results as they are handed out. First Meanwhile, hand. Meanwhile, this is what you got here. Yeah, we got uh, we got the backlash, the after clash pre-party, which is basically like people walking around, talking about the same things we're talking about, who won, and also just kind of reminiscing on the weekend. It's pretty wild that it's all come to be complete as far as the skating portion. Of course, there's still the award ceremony and the after clash party tonight. But why do you think they're going to be doing the awards? Uh, I feel like it's going to be within the next five or ten minutes. I would certainly hope. But where? Where in the park? Because usually they choose the tallest obstacle. The thing is, oh, be it's going to be up there on the grindhouse box. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the blue box where it's high and everyone can see whoever gets the award. So people down below can take a photo pointing up. That makes sense to me. Okay. Got Snoopy. <laughs> Snoopy with his sunglasses on, he's chilling. Yeah, Danilo Senna, man. That's a good point. So in, a, in my back pocket, I have a list of... Yeah, you know what? You know what? 
Did anyone say Danilo? Everyone was just talking about the final heat. Yes, so but Danilo, down. Danilo killed it. Let's he's, run down everybody who was in the final. He started the, his jam session with the 1260. Yes, and he put like 540 true fishes. 540 true top sole, 540 true mizu on the down ledge. 540 true top board. Yes. So these are all the pros in the finals. Danilo Senna, Martin Danny, Jorgen Ennen. Remember Jorgen? David Sizemore dropping in from yes. the ceiling rafter. Christian Zargek, Zargexny. And then Yaro Freen, the local. Levy Van Rien. Bobby Spazov with a huge 540. Bobby did really good too. Yes, he did. Romana Brat with the Disaster Alley of Unity. Joe Atkinson, of course, with the Joe Loco box. He owns that now. Dominic Bruce, not bad kid. Nils Jansen, a lot of people said he was the winner. And also Julian Kudo. Wow. And you remember when we interviewed Julian Kudo? And I said, if you win number four, is that a good thing, a big deal for you? He said, I want to win more. Wow. He's a hungry, hungry man. And <laughs> the only thing he wants to eat are trophies. Hello again. I'm back. Basti, what do you know, kid? Oh, I was down in the crowd. Enjoying oh, were you doing the, the, clash. the Were you doing the jump rope? No. Dance off? No. I was just uh, chatting with some people. Okay. And what did you learn from chatting with the people down there? What do they think about the contest? That they also don't want to be a judge. Yeah. And don't know who should be the winner. Did you guys already discuss that? Uh, yeah, we asked a lot of people who they thought won. And the thing about it is, a lot of people were saying, they're still, I think a lot of people are still in shock about what they saw. Yeah. And to be quite honest, I am as well. I'm glad I'm not a judge. I love being a commentator, telling the story, letting people know what's going on, and not having to decide, quote unquote, who was best on this day. But a lot of people did say they like Niels Jansen, they like Julie Kudo, and they had favorite tricks. So even if they wouldn't tell me who their winner was, they would say what their favorite tricks throughout the day were. But as we were just saying, and Basti didn't hear it, funny enough, there was not a lot of people here with us today speaking about Danilo. When you asked for their favorite or who was going to be the, the, the winner, no one said Danilo in the house, did they? No. Yeah. So I think I think yes. I think Danilo is too. top three at least. Yeah. I think Danilo is top three at least. Yes. So, but that's just my opinion from what I saw. I think the I, so I, people people on the chat they're starting to to tell us who they think the top three are. Okay, I think, let's see. I think Sizemore is in there and oh yeah, Nils David Sizemore. There. I don't know in top three. Who, yeah, I don't think so. I would love to, but he did look. Imagine this, he did the drop, and his first trick was a huge one eighty, which it didn't land. So it's like All when right. when you start with a with a non landing trick, it's hard. True. Like Danilo started yeah, with true. the 1260. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, we will find out in a few minutes, I guess. Danilo did a 1260, then turned around in 540 into the quarter five. David Sizemore did land other tricks in his heat. He went up yeah. the rail, turned right back around, and came down the rail. Yeah. And he got creative all across the course. Yeah. I think David Sizemore, you can make a case for top five. But I think top three get the money. So. So I think uh, they will uh, do the award, so award ceremony my at, uh, at the Grand House Box because it's the highest point in the park. Yeah. Well, not the, yeah, almost the highest point, but it makes no sense on the local box. But there's still in the room finding out. They're still up in the media room yeah. deliberating. Yeah, there's. I, I bet there's a heavy discussion going on. Oh, for sure. Some serious prize money and the glory. You know, to it say that you're a winner class champion, that's a, a career-defining moment. Oh, 100%. That doesn't sure. happen to a lot of people. And then there's new Dude. categories, too. Yeah. Junior finals, boys and girls, amateur finals, men and women, pro finals, men and women. So there's six divisions. It's quite the lineup. 
This is this is something that I could see. Nils Kudo, Danilo, and Bastrik or Joe. Okay. Yeah, Joe Best Hammer. That's the the faction award. And some people are saying Mary, Patricia, and Armel for played as well. Armel, uh, Patricia didn't make it to the finals. Yeah. That is one thing that I know for sure. And I've been saying it for the past couple of hours. That is that Anna Julia just won. <laughs> well, she won our hearts, and we're waiting for her to come up. Wow. <laughs> There's no way out. <laughs> I know. As a commentator, I wouldn't should be saying that, but there's no way out. <laughs> she's the best. Yeah, she's, she's the best boss. female skater. She could probably. She's in the juniors, man. She could probably be winning in in the pro women. Yes. Or at the very least, contend. She yeah. would be keeping up with them. Yeah, sure. On the 100%. same level. On the same level. Yes. Yeah. So while we're kind of waiting for the results, quick wanted to, uh, quickly wanted to thank everybody watching at home. We did break the record. We wanted to pass 3,000 simultaneous viewers, and we hit like 3,600 or 3,800. So we hit an all-time high for as many viewers as we've ever had on the Winter Clash live stream. So thank you guys for being a part of making history. And what that means is basically this Winter Clash was viewed and watched and experienced by more rollerbaders than any other Winter Clash in history. So that makes this a massive success just in the, the, the amount of exposure that the live stream got. And that doesn't even include the follow-up edit that's coming in a couple weeks. So thank you guys so much. And also, if you couldn't be with us the whole day, this will be available later on YouTube. Yep. So you can check it out. I bet Ricardo will take care of cutting uh, in the different divisions. Ah, will you will do, do it. Yeah. It's gonna take me some time, but I will do it. Yeah. It's a lot of footage to go through, but at the same time, I feel like it's an authentic experience to see what goes on in the Winter Clash. These are long days. This is not a two-hour jam session. This people are still skating. Let me show. Day. Let me show you what people are doing right now. A three-day weekend jam-packed with skating. People are still skating over here. Oh, did we lost camera too? No, we didn't. I still have camera too, I just don't know. I can't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah, I think we hit 3.8. 3.8K. Thank you, Anton, for staying up until 7 a.m. Thank you, I Roll a Boot, for not actually being fully saturated in person like all your photos. Glad to see you have normal skin tone. Check this out. There's some toe roll action happening. Oh, wow. It's a toe roll showdown. There's some 3D printed skates. That's yeah. what those are. I've seen those. The fun never ends. Look at those guys. Yeah, some people I asked about after Julian Kudo landed his disaster alley top acid, did you think that the contest was over? I thought the contest was over. And several people said, man, the rollerblading contest is never over. It's never over until everyone says they're going to stop skating or they get so hurt that they can't keep skating. Well, they're so not wrong. That. No, they're not wrong. They're not wrong, but this contest is long. Steven Brando in the house. Well, Basti, we did it again, man. And this time we made history. We made the largest happy viewing audience of any Winter Clash in history. And I think they were treated to something special. This Pro Finals was surprising at every turn. And that doesn't even include the amateur men and women, or the junior men and women, or the fact that we had more juniors and more women competitors than any other Winter Clash in the past. 
so probably than any other contest. It's very possible. At least in any other contest recently. <laughs> we got people saying Sir for Sir Denford number one. And we got Gabriel Nunes for saying Ana Julia for pro next year. Gabriel Nunes, which is an amazing skater who participated here already a couple of years ago, used to skate for Seva Brazil. I don't know where Fabiola is. I think she's in Brazil. I think Fabiola knows about the Winter Clash. She's been here. That she's been time. here. She's been to Winter Clash. Okay. Yeah. A couple so times. maybe you was it last year? Yeah, last year. Message Fabiola and ask her yes, to come she, next she year. Yes, she even had the yeah. Jump Street podcast. Okay, she was here last year. And she was there in 2008, I think. I think in 2008 there was the biggest turnout of Americans ever here. 2018? Yeah. Or last year? No, 2008. Oh, 2008. 2008, there was Americans everybody. Ever. Oh, you're going way back, man. Stockholm. What city was Winter Clash in then? In Mühlhausen, Germany. Oh, okay. Everybody was there. The old country. The old country. <laughs> Well, well Winter Clash's home now is Eindhoven. Eindhoven. Yeah. Eindhoven. The whole city had banner, banners. The whole city had banners featuring skating and directing you to come to the Winter Clash. It was awesome to see. So you could say that Winter Clash will always be hosted at, at Eindhoven. This is the home of Winter Clash. It's, yeah. Yes. And I think it speaks for the city itself that people just enjoy coming here. Yeah, this seems like a recreational epicenter. Yeah. There's dance class, there's skating, yeah. there's parkour, yeah. there's physical, physical uh, therapy. There's opportunities here for... There's fitness classes. Yes, it's like oh. a gym with ramps. Did we did we say uh, a massive thank you to the team of Area 51 already? No, we did not. Okay, so there's a massive thank you to the team of Area 51 hosting this year after year and doing a great job. That's without a doubt. I feel like this year, with the skate hall being completely remodeled, the facilities are better than ever. Yeah. And the planning was more complete than ever. Yeah. So Yo-Yo also told us that uh, it was just going smooth. The whole event was going smooth. Just everything worked perfectly. That's so, good to hear from the man yeah. upstairs. Yeah. And I'm not talking about God. Yo-Yo has an office here upstairs. Yeah. So when Yo-Yo upstairs says things are going smooth, that's a really good sign. Because yeah. you want the, the organizer to be pleased yeah. with his event. I mean, it's a, a hell well, of a word. Well, someone is saying 11.30 p.m. in Saturday, the stream in Sydney. It's 9.50 a.m. Let's get a results. We're, well, we've been here for 11 hours and 15 minutes. We know. There's two things you can't stop, Ricardo. You can't stop time, and you can't stop rollerbladers taking their time. <laughs> and you know this is true. It is true. Sure as I am tall. We got the this, this Scottish crew. What do they want? Dom. They want Dom on the podium. Ah. They want Dom to dominate. I like Dominic Bruce. He's a good Dominic kid, Bruce getting really good yeah, too. He's awesome. I mean. Now, who is the tallest skater? Tom Moist is asking. I'm not sure. Back in the day, it was uh, it was Azikwe Anderson, and now it might be Kaleo. It's Kaleo. Or I might be as tall as Kaleo. But the, from the skaters on the final, it was probably... Oh, the tallest Levy. skater was Dominic Bruce. Dominic. Oh, no. Levy Van Rien. Levy. Dominic or Levy Van Rien? The Mesmer guys. Yeah, the Mesmer guys are stretched up. And even <laughs> even Martin Danning is, is catching up. He's yes. going up. Uh, Harry says Kaleo. Yeah. Where's Harry? Harry's around, ah, man. He's, he's always right, watching. He is, right Harry behind is. us. And he's always in the chat. Don't you notice? Harry is on the camera and in the chat. Double and work. behind us. <laughs> Danilo Sinner. <laughs> Tallest skater, Gonzo. <laughs> Shout out, Gonzo. Well, if he's on top of a chair, maybe. Yeah, Tiago <laughs> Diaby is pretty tall. There is a secret. Where? 
Where is Jaco? Secret. He's in Las Vegas performing with Beatles. Oh. Love at the Mirage. Hello, Drew Backrack. There is a secret crew of, t of skaters who are taller than six feet. It's called the SFC. It's the six foot crew. You're only in it if you know. We have Drew. Sending some chat. love to Drew. Oh, what's up? Drew Blood. Drew. Hey, Drew, I told Miguel. I'm I pulled him aside and I told him, thank you for saving Drew Blood's life in Paris in 2004. He looked at me straight face and said, I did that. How, how did it happen? Tell us. He, uh, Drew put his arm through a window and cut his arm and then went to bed and he didn't know he was bleeding. And then in the, in the night, Miguel woke him up and said, man, your arm is bleeding. We gotta go to the hospital. And he had a big cut on his arm. So they got him stitched up before he lost all his blood. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know that. I was there. With the, uh, that was the day I'm YTA, right? Yeah, 2004, I'm YTA. Yeah. Wow. Well, he's here, and he's saying this is fun, and it sure is. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Imagine if you were here. One of these days, Drew, you got to come to Winter Clash, kid. It's so amazing how, the, <laughs> how they party down there. They're partying and down it, there it, like it's going on for like one and a half hours <laughs> yeah, already. And, and I they're think. partying down there like they didn't know. And there's even the after party still. Yeah, the after party is going to get started before oh, too long. Yeah, that, that started actually 15 minutes ago. The after party already started, and we haven't won our awards. This is totally rollerblader style. But I'm not leaving until we tell our loyal live streamers who won the 2024 Winter Clash. It is my mission from God. And my directive from Yo-Yo. Good, uh, good point, Rashad. Also big. Yeah, Rashad is big, but he's not. He might be six feet, if that. Chris Farmer is six feet tall, straight up even. I'm six foot three without my skates on, or my Dwight Yoakam boots. Well, I've been asked, who do I think it won? I said it before. I'm biased. I like Niels. Yeah, that's fair, Ricardo. That's fair. What about you, Basti? Man, I really, I, I really can. I really can. I can't pick one. I'm, I'm not able to. I'm sorry. Oh my God! Look at the chaos there. <laughs> <laughs> A merry-go-round. Now, if we could just get rollerbladers to behave like that with their skates on. It would be something different. Look at how organized they are. <laughs> Everybody just enjoys. Everybody and when you get rollerbladers like enjoy. that at the skate park and you try to get them out of the way so you can skate a ledge, they look at you like you're speaking Japanese. They need to put um, that... Um, dude, I forgot the name of that, uh, that song in the early 2000s where everybody oh, started... Down um, with the dang, the dang, the dang, diggy. Was it by Korn? No, oh, not not. Was Korn. it by Natalie and Brulier? Some 41. Some 41? Yeah, uh, where everybody starts. <laughs> wow, <laughs> almost <laughs> toast. <laughs> I haven't listened to this in a long time. Oh, didn't mean the DJ. Yeah, I would put Danilo in top three. Yes. Yes. Look, Danilo can win. He can win. He can win. Yeah, if absolutely. you think of what he, the way he skated, he could win. Yeah, he was very effective, and he, I think he landed the tricks Look, that he you wanted know what? to land. I, I kind of, the way that I see the winner of Winter Clash is always about doing the tricks that no one else could do. And at the end of the day, that's what he did. Now, he may have done a lot of spinning to tricks, and for a lot of the people, that may not be the most appealing trick, but it's extremely hard. And he didn't do like the regular spinning to tricks, he did the hard ones. The 542 Mizu. 542 Fish. 542 Top Horn on the On the deadliest spot. To the drop. He started the run with Dude. a 1260. Dude. Followed up with the 540 in a line. To me, it's the consistency that he hits that tricks. He does that like other people do a backside royale. You're right. He did those tricks in the qualifier, yeah. and then he did it again yeah. in the final. So it wasn't luck. Yeah. It wasn't luck. It's 
the 1260 was. Insane. Robbie Pitts is definitely over six feet. Absolutely. And we had. Uh, we had. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling that joke? <laughs> so two days ago, we were in Amsterdam, me and Basti, and we were staying by Eric, which you were actually interviewing. And when he saw Rene Ulgrin, we were watching VG3. He asked. No, that we were watching Oak Street. Oak Street, sorry, yeah. Oak Street. And he was asking if is that Robbie Pitts? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and today we had that Robbie Pitts watching. We had Rene Ulgrin watching the stream oh, yes, with us. Yes. Maybe still is. We don't know. Robbie oh. Pitts is not six nine, but he might be six nine in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have the real Rob? Did we have the real Robbie Pitts watching with us too? I'm not sure. We don't know. Let's say hi to my friends. Steve Go get him, Alf. Gabriel Hayden is definitely in the six foot crew. And it is hard yeah. to make six foot people stylish. It yeah. is true. Gabriel is Hayden is stylish, but don't forget about Tori Traceder. Yes. Tori Traceder is tall and stylish. Tori Traceder, we, we talked to Tori like three weeks ago when we were together out, and we were, Tori was. Uh, Reminding us that there's no sitting down on tricks. Remember? Yes, sir. Offspring, offspring makes me want to break my neck. Clark Kirkman is about 6'8". <laughs> and he used to do 900s at the hoedown. But I don't know if he's throwing any 900s lately. That's the BMX song, man, where we're listening right now. The BMX Worlds, that was like their, their song. I don't know what you're saying, but you're saying something. There's another guy right around the corner that was at the first window clash. Oh, we got John. Come on in. Let's bring John in. Yeah. Sit, you sit with John. Looks like we've got we got John a guest. Julio. We got a guest coming in. Coming. We'll see if he's going to come into the booth. Yes, he's here, John Julio. Would you like to talk for a second? So you should be able to hear us. Here's your microphone. Ricardo's going to put us on. Oh man! So I'm here with here we uh, go. Welcome, John Julio <laughs> of them. Skates. How do I find myself here? <laughs> and uh, Basti is here, and he remembers you being at the first Winter Clash. Is that That's true? Right. That's right. What year was that? Uh, 2005. Five. Thank. You. It was 2005, and yeah. I remember back then, it was the biggest thing to us when you sent that email. Okay, we are attending Winter Clash wow. because Winter Clash it was the first event. And I remember Yo-Yo calling me and was like, hey, John Julia just sent an email. They're coming to win the clash. It was a big deal, it man. It was a really big deal, man. So maybe you set really a lot of this deal. in motion. Well, I mean, no, no, not that. But Winter Clash has been uh, the pinpoint of uh, many things in my lifespan for role playing um, in terms of brands and traveling into Europe. Um, the 2005 was when we launched Volo. And we were out here with I was out here with Eric Bailey and John yeah. Starr for about three weeks, yeah. sleeping on couches, and we found ourselves. Yeah. Was it Muhlhausen? No. Yeah. No, it was in Augish. Augish. Yeah. Augish, and then we went to Dresden. Dresden. Right. Stay right. Good. Remember that 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 night after right. Winter Clash where we had that huge snowball fight in Dresden? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Barely remember that. That was. But yeah, and then obviously like for 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 them skates like 2018. So. Um, I would say winter clashes. Uh, uh, it's, it's like deep, it lives deep in my heart. So. Absolutely, I would agree. This is only my second winter clash, but I hope to keep coming as often as I'll have us back. A couple sacks. Number one, we broke the viewership record today. We had over 3,800 wow. simultaneous unique viewers on the live stream. Amazing. And last yeah. year, uh, what did we have last year? 3,000? 3,000. So we went over 800 Incredible. more than the year before. Yeah. And yeah. there was more women skaters. Yeah. 50 Yeah, the level skaters. was insane. And then uh, the junior skaters, more participants than ever. You've been to yeah. a lot of winter clashes. What do you think about the juniors and the women and their level of skating? I mean, it was really hard for me to see the juniors. Like, you 
can you get a good spot but I was able to see the ending of the of the, of the women's and it was you know uh, you know, I, I, it, it was incredible like yeah. the girls were went all out um, a lot of injuries also yeah which was a couple a, of those girls a, got really broke off shame. yeah but you had you know, hero out there yeah and, for and she she I mean all the girls it's insane to, uh, to see um, how fearless they are you know like I think they're definitely the stuff that was they were doing like the, the female skaters at the Winter Clash have taken it up like three notches. Yeah. And they're yeah. growing in numbers. This is awesome. Yeah. Now, and the level, like Mary doing the transfer and yes. um, the USD box with variations on that. Yes. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. So. All those girls were taking grinds to drop. Yeah, to drop. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother level. So David Sizemore, yeah. dev yeah. skater from Atlanta, now lives in Copenhagen. Yeah. He made it to the finals. Did, did you see him get up in the rafters? I did. I didn't know he was going to What were you thinking? I thought, Jesus, David, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what's he doing up there? Yeah. And if he doesn't make it, he's not going to want to get back up there and try. No, it's, it's uh, high. It's high. It's yeah. hard to get up there. I tried to get up there. I couldn't. It's, uh, it's well, a lot of work. He made it, and that yeah. was a sick way to introduce yeah, himself. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely started off really strong. And he so. skated good in the finals, too. Yeah, he did. He did. I'm yeah. stoked that uh, he's here to represent them skates. And, um, Look at this, man. I can barely hear you. <laughs> I know. They're partying. Yeah. We're trying to figure out who won the contest, and they're like, what yeah. contest? Yeah, right. So here's that's one a tough one. That's, that's I'm glad I'm not a judge. It's the double level train show. Yeah. Did that work out well for you guys? Yeah. How did you guys do with you know, merch and eating clients? Yeah, I, I mean, skaters? Not, not to, I mean, just to promote it, like, we did, We probably, I mean, I've been going to Winter Clash for, since it started, obviously, and. As a brand, like I think we sold the most merch that we have had since we've been here. Since wow! Since the beginning, so yeah. I've heard good things really, about the trade show. Yeah, it reminds me it has that bitter cold vibe where you know you open the door and you get swarmed and people are super excited. Obviously, and, yes. Um, it's so many countries representation here, so it's a uh, it's really cool. So as a brand and a skater, what's the what's the best thing that you like about the Winter Clash? Um. It's the community. I mean, I was talking to the guys this earlier. Uh, there's so many new faces, and, yeah. and it's really interesting to see over, over the last, even the last couple of years. On, um, I don't, you know, I used to like recognize every like like 90 percent of the people, yes. and now it's like it's pretty pretty incredible to see a new Very generation. Yeah. A new generation. There's a lot of new faces and that's not necessarily I don't know how you feel about it. Like, I think it's awesome. Yeah. That means I mean, we got more people to the reach. Same way, like yes. seeing all these people. Absolutely. I a, see my old friends yeah. and then I meet a lot of new people who I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But that means there's new role winners out there. Definitely. And for a shop like me and a brand like you, that's good news, baby. Yeah. Yes. So, um, Absolutely. So well, you guys are doing a great job. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that. I don't want to take too much more of your time. Team, wheel, team Wheels uh, team Wheels Addicts, we did it as a team. Yeah, yeah. So, and Yo-Yo I mean, helped us yeah. make this happen. Yeah, thanks. Dude, we, um, obviously, we met our goal. The creator. We met your goal. I yeah, surpassed it. Yeah, we still got over 2,000 people watching Amazing. right now. Amazing, yeah. We're just waiting to see who won. Let me ask you this. Last midnight. question. It's yeah. midnight. Is it midnight? Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Just turn. Go to bed. People. Last question, JJ. Did anything in the finals surprise you? Well... I, I, I had the delay, I could barely see. I did, I, we were watching it on live feed as well over oh, there. Oh, cool, cool. So we would hear cheers and I would see the delay. Um, so I, I actually missed um, Joe when he fell really Ooh, bad. So, yeah, he got broke off. Um, what's very surprising for him, I mean, I, I hope he's not broken anything, but he got up there and he took the last trick of the day and he did, did the gnarliest trick of you the day. You saw that. I saw that. Yeah. So I think everyone saw that. So, um, that might have been the most surprising. Um, totally yeah. agree. Yeah, I mean, I skated this course. It's, it was really challenging to to do what all these other ones doing today. We so came back from an injury and went to the highest point of the course. Yeah, yeah. And then wall ran and came back in to yeah. grind. Uh, anyway, that's that's probably that's the most surprising. Me too. Yeah, I yeah. thought the contest was over. Yeah, yeah. I and thought I thought rose, last run, like last trick, right? So. He rose up and everything got out of the way. Yeah. And did he do it first try? Yes. So of course, of course. They call that the Loco Joe Box now. Might as well. 
Local Joe. Cool, man. Well, Local hey. Joe. All right. Get your that's my cue. Started. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got to go back home. Appreciate Figure it out. Yes. Thank right. you, John. Thank you, you guys for having me. Continued support of appreciate the Winter Clash. It. Yeah, I'll be back we'll next year. We'll see you in 2025. All right. We'll be bigger and better Thank than you. ever. Thank anniversary you, next year. Don't forget you got headphones on. Anniversary. Next year is the 20th anniversary of the Winter Clash. Yes. Yes. We'll catch you later. Bye, JJ. Yep. Oh, there's another guest coming, maybe. Possibly. I see one. So we're looking over towards the media room. I don't see anybody coming down yet. But I know they know everyone is waiting. So they're not lollygagging by any means. They're probably taking serious consideration as yes. to... It's taking longer than the last year. Is that, that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Last year, we went down with the camera, and in a little bit, we were actually announcing it. But when they were announcing it, we were there. And All now, down there with the remote cam. Yeah. Well, we were there for a bit, huh? It's been 11 hours and 33 minutes with this trip. Wow. It's the longest one. What an experience, man. The first time we did, we did it for seven hours. Remember that, Basti? It was seven hours. The first one. Was that 2020? 2019. 2019. The year before I came, huh? 2019, yes. just Ricardo, Harry, and me. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yeah. And then in 2020, when he was there, when he showed up, it yeah. was supposed to be the three of us, but he yeah. showed up and he saved us. Yeah. I, I catch him. I catch him. I saw him for the first yeah. time after 20 years, and I put him, like, oh, yeah. you go with us. Yes. And that, that, just that was the start. That's, that's a, that's that was the start of an epic team. Yeah, but that's like, like everything at Wonder Clash happens. The, the natural, naturally, is it a comes? It's, it's caffeine. It's I coffee. need caffeine. It's coffee, chocolate. Coffee, chocolate. So the party is still going strong there. It's snack o'clock. We've been doing this for way too long. Come on, Cody. You want to see with us? You want to see with us? Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm just chilling. Let's are get a chair. Canelbers my favorite German chocolate. And my friend Basti got some for me for this trip. I was really hiding. No, no, no you're, not, you're not hiding. German you're sitting here. candy, chocolate, wafers, sandwiches in the world. I love them. Yaro, we have a special guest. Wow. So can you hear us talking? Yeah, perfectly. Okay, Yaro. Welcome. So we got a camera here. Perfect. It's Matt Mickey again. Good to reintroduce myself and we've got Basti here. My man, hi. Good yes. to see you. And so we wanted to know a couple things. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about all the new junior and junior boys and girls and all the new women skaters coming to the Winter Clash. Wow, to be fair, these amount of people that were coming here and the amateurs and the juniors and the girls, the level was high. Yeah. It was really high. Some of the amateurs and the juniors, uh, juniors, I was like, okay, let them skate in pro. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were so already. good. Yeah. Even some of the junior ladies. Yeah, they were yes. so good. Oh. So it looks like we're going to get... We're going to get the award Price ceremony giving. underway, yes, but yeah. before we go, you placed third last year in pro. I was, yeah. And you're from the Netherlands. I'm from so the Netherlands. So we can hear how loud so. the audience cheers for local people. So do you feel like you're skating stronger at home? Uh, I'm trying to give it my all every time, but here in the Netherlands at the local skate park, um, yeah. 
Did Yo, my best. I feel like you skated great. This is the first time I've ever seen you skate and know that it was you skating. Did anything in the final surprise you? I think everybody surprised us. Everybody killed it. Everybody did amazing. And uh, I think we put up a great show. You did, no doubt. So we got to cut this short. And Go we've actually it. got the results. Thanks for stopping Thank by, Thank you, brother. Yaro. Thanks. Thank you, Yaro. So, Yaro Freen, Netherlands the skater stopping by. ceremony is in full effect. Ricardo. Change the camera. <laughs> the cameras, I think the camera's tired, a little bit tired too. I wish you got an okay view. So we're doing the awards now. Miguel yes. is out there. It would be awesome if we could connect the sound to their sound, but we do not have a way, I think. Maybe we could. We could have Miguel announcing it. This is this is Seoul Best Setup Award. He doesn't have his best setup with him. He sold his best setup on Blade Trade. Somebody in the comments bought the best setup before they could give him the award, and now they want the award too. That sounds like a rollerblader move right there. <laughs> If he's lucky. So this guy here got the award for the most unique setup. Now we want to see it. I think he gets what he wins is they're gonna take his wheels and they're gonna. They're gonna groove his wheels or oh, so we shave have a his picture. wheels back off for him. Ooh, I think we have a picture of the setup. Don't take your skates. They're gonna go and, and shave his wheels. Wait, we got the setup. Wait, 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 not too close. Okay, so that is it. What is it? Huh? It's a Solomon setup. Wow, it looks nice. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, there's some green With in there. Green. It's got some green camo. It has green Robbie Pitts, Wish Frames, okay, so they're about and to New Souls. Oh, the best sign. <laughs> the best sign. My sign said, go home. No wax. <laughs> really so cool. they're giving out an award for the best sign in the crowd. Was Skate fast and die. Wait, no. The best sign I saw all day said, grab your backslides. Did it? No. But you can imagine. <laughs> You're easy, Ricardo. I know. <laughs> Look at this sign. What you can see saying? it. Harry, can we see the, the sign, please? Matt. Yes, boss. Do you remember in which one of your videos is that... <laughs> What does it say? backslide from you in Stuttgart on Oxygen oh, look. on the I black don't, rail. I don't, but I remember. Is that the ju that's the judges. Look at this. that. The best line is the judges. Judges all giving a 10. <laughs> was it in a Benny Harmonis video? No, it wasn't one of your videos. Oh, God. It was that one day when we went to Stuttgart. Oh, maybe it was in uh, Fear Afraid. Proximity? Fear Afraid. Fear Afraid. Dead Wheels, Most Creative Trick Award, sponsored by Dead Wheels. Yep. Levy wins the Most Creative Trick. Okay, Levy Van Rijn won the 
Most Creative Trick Award. Levy Van Reen, Most Creative Line. There he is. Levy Van Reen. Local hero. <laughs> wow. Levy Van Line. Levy Van Lines helping you move units of wheels one link trick after another. <laughs> Levy Van grows old like fine wine. Van Ryan. <laughs> oh, what was it? Bobby won. Bobby Spassoff. What did he won? What? Ha. Another special award. Yes, we don't know what was it. Was it the best trick? What was it? I don't know. Yeah, the kudos were dressed up this year. Try, try. So, Bobby Bangers won. Let's see what it says. Oh, blank. Best trick? I think it's the blank best trick. Yeah. From blank brand skates. Awesome. Is that the 540? Must have been. This is yeah. Jill's. Jill's got the best switch up. Oh, the 270 back backslide to Sweat Sense of Fakey. Yes. Well deserved. On the down rail. Look at this guy. Look at a haircut. <laughs> Those are some rocky sounds, huh? That's a well-dressed man right there. It gives me some yes. B cam vibes. Yes. Brian Ke Brandon Campbell style. Yes. Yes. This recording yes. will be available. It was later. a volunteer. I told you. He before. made it to the finals yes. and he still won the best switch up. Yes. Yeah, I told like you. a boss. Here's the real switch up from his skating outfit to that outfit. <laughs> Ladies, he will be at the after party. Look, he's got cargo pockets on his jacket. That's a fashion icon in the making. That's Get out of the way, Miguel. I want to see more of that Gillis guy. Biggest hammer faction. Okay. I think so. Let's see. If the logo on the sign says faction. Yes. Can you go up? Is Joe Atkinson still alive? He can stay up. Is he possessed? There he is. Come on, Joey. Joe Atkinson. There you go, man. Easy on the ribs, mate. Easy on the ribs, man. He doesn't feel... Oh, my God. So let's see what the logo is on there. Does it say Faction? Yes, it is. So Faction, best hammer. Joe Atkinson. Yes, one arm up. Loco Joe Box. Backslide up. Wall ride stall. 270 Royale down. Shuffle to Fakie. Junior Min. Okay, we just met him right yeah. now. Check him out. Mikel? Yes? Yes. 
Look, look at him coming up. You were speaking with him. Yes, it's Polish kid. Yes, Mikhail. So that is third place. Mishik. <laughs> what a classic song for this award ceremony. I love this kid. <laughs> it's so sick. Who's gonna win in the junior man? Okay. Got it there. And the, the first place junior man is also from Japan. Ayushimizu! Japanese first and second. Haruhi Shimizu, first place junior men. Yes. Second place junior men. Also Jun, from Japan. Jun Shoha. Yes. And third place junior men, Michael Piedzak from Poland. Haruhi. Congratulations. Skates with G-Skate in the Yasutoko. That's oh. amazing. That's the future of our sport right yes. there. This is the future of rollerblading. These are the athletes that are going to take skating into the future. Go to the next level. They Third are already at such a high level. Man. It's just like it was insane to watch them skate. Absolutely. from the Netherlands, Eva. Eva Klopp, third place junior women from the Netherlands. That's Yo-Yo. That's Yo-Yo with the check in his hand and the ball cap on and the smile. That's Yo-Yo, the event organizer for the Winter Clash. He's the reason we're all here. The founder. Papa of Winter Clash. The daddy of Winter Clash. He's the reason we're all here. Yo Yo Jacoby. Up there with the blue ball cap on. Future talent does look promising. Okay, so Eva, third place, Junior. There's Ava Klump, look at that trophy and the check. Good for her. Katarzyna? I think so. Okay, let's see what the sign says. I think it's Katarzyna. Kemenioros from Poland. Hold that up. Yes. Yes, Katarzyna. Amelia Maria Pogacinu from Italy. Wow, she's getting good. And yes, all this footage will be chopped up and banked on the Wheel Attic YouTube to watch forever in some weeks. So yeah, I would say next back. week. Next week will okay. be up. Next week will be up. Yeah, you guys can totally rewatch this over and over.
Gil made the third place. I told you he's gonna go top three. <laughs> Dude, winning. So third place, Gilles, Gilles Boylens from Belgium. Yes. Amateur men. Oh. He left his coat. He'll be back for that jacket, man. That's part of his persona. Wow. No, he's out there without the jacket. He's, yeah, he's killing it. He's giving some hugs away, man. His body heat is rising. He's winning, literally. It's and he's second, such a nice guy. His second win for the, for the night. Second Noburu place got for the second. amateur men. So who else? Noburu. Noburu. And so then second place, men's amateur, Noburu Katayama from Japan. That makes... We should win that now. I don't know. Leonardo? Walters? I don't know. Walters didn't land his last trick. Ben Dash. Ben Dash. First, first place. First. Men's amateur. First. Leonardo Cardoso. Yes. First medal to Brazil goes as a first place. Yes. For the men's amateur. Ben so Dash. In Brazil, they're going to raise him up and he's going to be, he's going to get a key to the city. He's now the mayor of his town. That's what happens when you win a skate contest. You go back home to Brazil. You are now the mayor. First time at a winter clash. First time out of Brazil into Europe, and wow, we wins. Leonardo Cardoso, we will see you next year in the Pro Comp, man. Ben Dash. Ben Dash. Muitos parabéns, Ben. Quick recap: Amateur men, third place, Gilles 